the two seemed to be trying to practice an extremely overbearing elixir. For this reason, they also collected a lot of rare immortals, and counted them down to a few thousand. With the introduction of living drugs, they must be shocking. I don't know what happened, when they control the flames and throw the fairy grass together, they always glance at each other accidentally. It can be seen that most of the eyes they look at each other are vigilance, for fear that Dang Kung will be taken away by the other party when it is used for elixir. This is used by him to advance the Holy King and has a great relationship. This should be a good irony, people can't help laughing, but Xiu Xiu's partner is so wary of the other side, I really don't know if they should laugh at their minds, or if they should feel the cruelty of this world. Time passed and it took three days to blink. Until the night of the fourth day, the two talented people got up regardless of the order, first glanced at the alchemy furnace, and then looked at each other. There was a flash of cold light in the old eyes. Boom! When the two looked at each other, there was a thunderous sound from Juxiao, and even with the coercion that made the heavens and the earth fight for it, Rao was the cultivation of their saints, and their hearts shuddered. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Mu Emperor as soon as possible. The old humpback and old humpback frowned, looking up subconsciously, looking towards the nihilism through the underground palace. But seeing the sky above the Juxiao sky, it is already covered with dark clouds, covering the bright stars, and there are thunder and lightning tearing, like snakes, one after another intertwined into the thundering sea of thunder. God! The humpbacked old man and the humpbacked old man suddenly changed color. When they reached their level, they naturally saw Tianjia, and naturally they also recognized Tianjia, and Tianhaohu thunder was nt it just Tianjia. Damn it! The faces of the two were extremely ugly, and alchemy reached the most critical stage of Rongdan's soul, but some people were robbery on this star and some people were robbery, and they would respond to the calamity. If they worked so hard for a long time, they would all come suddenly heaven's disaster and all his achievements. Go! The old man with a humpback hummed, sacrificed fairy light, entangled the bronze furnace that sealed Ye Chen and Shang Guan Yuer, and stepped out of the underground palace, even if he was a saint, he was also afraid of God's punishment. The old humpback hurried to keep up his face was also fierce and terrible, and thousands of efforts were eventually put to waste. Compared to them, Shang Guan Yu in the copper furnace looked at Ye Chen, who was opposite, and it was definitely Ye Chen that was brought by Ye Chen. His cultivation was impacting the Quasi Sage from the peak of the Imperial Realm. Ye Chen's whole body is entangled with Shen Hui, and his blood is magnificent. The sacred body is like gold casting. Shang Guan Yu opened Zhang Yakao and was unable to speak for a while. Until then, she really understood why Ye Chen devoured the fairy grass crazily. This was to break the situation with the might of the sky. Ye Chen blinked his eyes, suddenly opened her mouth, and swallowed all the celestial sperm essences in the copper furnace into her belly, fully equipped with the power to impact the Quasi Sage, and the most oppressive cultivation, which broke out in a flash strong rushing towards the peak of the imperial realm and leading to the bottleneck of Zunchen. On the spot, the ban that banned him in the copper furnace was broken open, and Ye Chen Kuo got up. I don't know if it was intentional or coincidental. That majestic little brother was so straight and upright against the red cheeks of Shang Guan Yu -er, an inch, an inch. Ye Chen apparently didn't notice such an awkward picture. He was twisting his neck fiercely, and the corners of his mouth were soaked with sneer, and he was going to kill the humpbacked old man and the humpbacked old man. I looked at Guan Yu again, and I was all there. My heart was fluttering. My eyes looked at the magnificent east. One inch, it was an inch behind. Two hundred years of practice. She had never seen this thing up close. Three or two seconds later, she realized the embarrassment. Remove remove you. Ye Chen found out that this was wrong. It was really a little embarrassing. Thanks to his little brother, it was so long. If it was another one or two inches long, it would directly throw Shang Guan Yu's face. 
Seeing Ye Chen's eyes straight, Shang Guan Yu stared at him severely, not yet moving away. Accident, this is an accident. Ye Chen Gen laughed, hurriedly took out her clothes and put on them, and during the period she did not forget to lift the ban on Shang Guan Yu and gave her a dress. Shang Guan Yu put it on with her hands. The clothes were tightly wrapped by her, but they could be tightly wrapped, but she still felt like nothing, and her body had been seen. It was no different than wearing it. Ye Chen's eyes were still shining, and he looked up and down on Shang Guan Yu. -er. Seeing this, Shang Guan Yu -er offered a killing sword, the sword pointed directly at Ye Chen, the crimson on the cheek spread to the neck, the beautiful eyes like water, and sparks were blooming, you are a swinger. Don't make trouble. Ye Chen immediately raised his hand and put Shang Guan Yu -er directly into the Chaos God tribe. You. Shang Guan Yu -er wanted to rush out, but found that dating was in a realm, more mysterious than the bronze stove of the humpbacked old man. Although there was no restraint, she could not find a way out. Be honest and ding, I won't hurt you. Ye Chen replied, twisting his neck fiercely again, and advanced to the first quasi holy battle, he would single out two sages. Outside, the old man with a humpback flying out of the ground suddenly settled down, his old eyes stared at the empty sky. The humpbacked old man also stopped, and the turbid old eyes stared at the sky slightly. It seemed that something was wrong. The scope of the thundering sea was expanding that day, covering the sky, but this was not the main thing. The main thing was that day. Lei Hai followed her wherever they went, and where Lei Hai followed. The two glanced at each other, and they looked at the bronze furnace of the seal Ye Chen very consistently. At this moment, even the most stupid people can see that the people crossing the calamity are in the copper furnace beside them. Asshole. The old man with a humpback was so angry that he pushed open the stove top and was busy for a long time, even making a wedding dress for others. Of course, before he looked in, he saw a golden dragon in the furnace rushing out, knocking it over and flying out, and even the humpbacked old cricket was recruited on the spot and was dumped out by the dragon's tail. It was so strong. Shang Guan Yu -er, in the Chaos Tripod, was astonished, and Ye Chen's combat power surprised her. You know, those two saints. However, Ye Chen is just a monk who has just advanced to the Quasi Sage. Even though it is a half step away, it is a world of difference, but Ye Chen is such a beast. Boom. Boom. When Shang Guan Yu -er was shocked, there were two rumbling sounds the hump-backed old man and the hump-backed old man who flew out, each pressing a mountain peak to collapse instantly. Ye Chen has transformed from a dragon to a human form, heading straight for the old man with a humpback, full of blood and blood. The old man with a humpback got up, his face was fierce, and the divine saints were actually flying by a quasi sage, which is a shame. However, just as the hump-backed old man was about to kill, Ling Tian had a thunderbolt lowered and flew the blood bones he split, and the other humpbacked old cricket was not much better. Both were under the cover of Ye Chen Tian Calamity, and they both responded to it. Even if they really wanted to destroy Ye Chen, they didn't dare to step forward, and they stepped back and walked away. They knew the power of Tian Calamity. Where to go? Ye Chen smashed a thunder with one punch, and one smashed behind the humpbacked old man. Eight wastes and one punch mixed a lot of magical powers, with Chaos Doctrine, the source of the Eucharist, and Goddess Power, and the smashed humpbacked old man half-body, startled old man suddenly changed color. What? The humpbacked old man roared, murdered, and stood against the Ling Tian Thunder. He sacrificed his destiny weapon and pressed it to Ye Chen. In his opinion, the sacred holy soldier's blow was enough to crush Ye Chen's quasi holy. Of course, fantasy is beautiful and reality is cruel. Although his holy soldier is strong, it is difficult to suppress Ye Chen. He was broken by a punch that was borne by Ye Chen's head, and then was engulfed by Chao Ding. The sacred soldier was destroyed, and the humpbacked elder was backswept, and the body healed before was cracked. The thunderous thunder descended again, one after another, annihilating the ashes of its flesh. 
The humpbacked old man was afraid, leaving only the Yuan Shen, and no longer dared to confront Ye Chen. The monk who had just advanced to the quasi sanity was incomparably strong, and he was even more overbearing. Ye Chen sneered, three or two shrank to the point, and all he did was kill you while you were sick. Do you really want to die? The humpbacked man roared and roared, and there was a constant light on his eyebrows. Each fairy light was wrapped with a terror weapon. Under the count, there were as many forwards as possible. In order to survive, he also cut out. However, in the presence of Ye Chen, no matter how many instruments are useless, the chaos is dominated, like a mountain giant, buzzing and trembling, there is chaotic airflow overflowing, crushing thousands of instruments and thinning them. Its essence has also been engulfed by its powerful, becoming a nourishing body. This time, the humpbacked old man no longer had to rely on him, turned and fled, but was stabbed by the sky to stabilize his body, and Ye Chen was killed, a sword of wind god, and his Yuan Shen cut off the ashes. Perhaps it wasn't until the soul flew away that the humpbacked old man really regretted that he should not bring Ye Chen, who had drifted away from his consciousness, back to refining the elixir, so that he would end up dead. After beheading the old man with a humpback, Ye Chen went straight to that old humpback with a sword. The humpbacked old man was running fast, and the star had been scooped out, like the immortal flying into the starry sky. Seeing Ye Chen chasing and killing, the old humpback was discolored, and the old trembling was trembling. Ye Chen was killed, proving that the old humpback had been beheaded, and she was at the same level as the old humpback in such a short time. Ye Chen can destroy the old man with a humpback, and naturally can destroy her. Thinking of this, the humpbacked old magpie burned the origin, the speed sword, I just wanted to get out sooner. Ye Chen looked cold, pursuing and killing, while chasing and killing the old humpback while fighting against the calamity. He has no mercy for the two powerful saints, humpback old man and humpback old man. They are all evil alchemists and I do not know how many living people have used it to make elixir, and among those who have been caught by them, there may be Dacha reincarnations, just like Shang Guan Yuer. Therefore, he can only kill, whether for the dead grudges or for the natives of Dachu. Boom! Boom! The vast sky, the thunder became quite restless due to the disaster. The main reason is that Ye Chen's Tianjia is too overbearing, and Tianhai and Lihai are so huge that they have caused a sensation in the quartet. Pursuing the killing all the way down, all the major forces in the starry sky have sent people to inspect it, and there are many casual repairs, including many saints, which are extremely large in number, one after another. The monks who arrived first were all shocked, can they attract such a mighty god of punishment? Good domineering blood. The elder monk said with deep eyes, if the old man expected that it was not bad, then it should be the legendary sacred ancient Eucharist, but why is there only the origin without the Eucharist? The advanced Quasi San will chase and kill the saint, and that man's courage is fat enough. The humped humpbacked old man looked very familiar, most of them were Baisha in the moon and moon. Yunyu Shuangsha always appears and disappears at the same time. Perhaps it has been destroyed. Someone froze his beard deeply. The Quasi Holy Junior who crossed the robbery is an ancient holy body. He is very powerful and has the power to kill saints. It's okay. Too many people looked cold. In the millennia, Shuangsha also created a lot of blood robberies in this star field. This is the modern report, and the Eucharist is regarded as a heavenly walk. It's such a big move again. Dragon 5 also came in the corner of the crowd, and saw Ye Chen chasing the saint against thunder, and could not help rubbing his eyebrows. It really comes with a pretense mode. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. The starry sky trembled, shrouded in thunderous waves of thunder, and the power of silence spread. The monks from the quartet retreated and Lei Hai was expanding, for fear of being struck by thunder as a result of thunder. Ye Chen was bathed in thunder, his body was stained with the blood of the Eucharist, and the thunder was carried by his body. 
the people who saw the picture were shocking. If they were replaced, they would have been annihilated. Looking at the humpbacked old cricket again, the shape was even more miserable. The old body was broken more than once, and the Tao was broken. Not only Ye Chen's attack, but also Xiao Xiao's thunder made it difficult for her to fight. Ye Chen moved in a big step, killing the old humpback a hundred feet away. The humpbacked old man trembled, and suddenly turned around, his palm printed with Yunyu Shentung's evolution, and pushed out with one palm. Boom! With a single blow, Ye Chen was unmoved, but the sage-level humpbacked old man was shaken and fluttered, his arms were blurred, and he was cracked by the flesh of thunder. At the same time, Ye Chen was also wounded and was hacked by thunder. In the final analysis, this is his thunderstorm. No matter whether he is passively responded or not, he is always suffering from thunderstorms. And the thunder is getting stronger and stronger, one by one. For the sake of destroying the humpbacked old man, he is distracted to fight against the calamity. Broke in. Steady in shape, Ye Chen swept the sky, wiped out Ling Tian thunder, and chased and killed the old humpback again. Do you really want to die? Seeing Ye Chen chasing, the old humpbacked old man was angry and drank, just like the old humpbacked old man, forced by the madman Ye Chen to go mad. If he wanted to get rid of it, it would not be finished until one party was destroyed. Ye Chen didn't say a word, only responded with the most powerful attack, and punched the starry sky with a punch. Kill. The humpbacked old man was really driven crazy, and confessed that he could not escape, but turned his body, burned the origin again, activated the taboo secret technique, the powerful magical powers were frequent, and the starry sky was turbulent. Ye Chen is stronger than him, his whole body is full of glory, and he is more dazzling than Tianjia, like a golden war god. The humpbacked old man retired and retreated. Even though she is a sage, she can't escape the world even if she is beyond the world, and Ye Chen slashes the Yuan Shen with a sword. That scene, the monks who looked at the quartet side, and a saint was thus destroyed. In the chaos tripod, Shang Guan Yu was also pale with shock. In her memory, no one dared to hunt down the saint against thunder, and no one in her memory was as stunning as Ye Chen. Suddenly, she was at a loss for a moment, and a sense of familiarity was born in a moment. Boom! Boom! Her nagging was finally interrupted by a roar, letting her look subconsciously to the outside world. The humpbacked old cricket was destroyed. Ye Chen was concentrating on fighting against the calamity. It was really a of war. The arrogant mind shivered, but he was bathed in thunder all the way, but all the thunder that was cut off was annihilated by it, as if it were God's calamity is a decoration in his eyes. Not only Shang Guan Yu was shocked, but the monks in the quartet were also shocked. No one had seen such a strong person in transition and robbing the capital. Boom! The starry sky trembled, Ye Chen smashed into nothingness, and punched through the chaotic cloud. Then, he moved the golden sword, blended with hundreds of supernatural powers, blended with the chaos doctrine, blended with the source of the Eucharist, blended the invincible war will and the power of reincarnation. Cut the huge Tian Lei Hai Sheng Sheng in half. At this point, the starry sky has fallen into peace. Everyone in the quartet looked at Ye Chen, who was standing in the starry sky. His existence was more dazzling than the sun. So many people, only Long Wu did not go to see Ye Chen, but stared elsewhere. It was Lei Hai that was cut off by Ye Chen, and it was listed in the starry sky on the east and west with Ye Chen as the center. The two halves of Lei Hai did not dissipate, but slowly gathered into two blurred figures. Such a change surprised the monks from the quartet, and they looked at Ye Chen on both sides of the east and west, and their eyes fell on the two silhouettes transformed by Lei Hai. A trembling spirit was slowly recovering. Ye Chen stood quietly, and seemed to notice something wrong. He frowned slightly at both sides of the east and west. The so-called Tianjia was not finished yet, and the next Tianjia was the most weird and powerful. In the eyes of everyone, Ye Chen's eastern starry sky, 
the half of Lei Hai turned into a golden figure, revealing the true look, eyes like the stars, black hair like a waterfall, the shadow of the giant Yu Yu, the sound of dragon chanting, surrounded by dragon air, every strand of dragon air is heavy like a mountain. Seeing that man's true face, Long Wu's eyes were highlighted, his body was trembling, and his eyes were instantly filled with tears. The face had been engraved in his soul for hundreds of times, and he would never forget it. Take Zhu Longdi. Ye Chen murmured, staring at the east. He had not seen the emperor take Zhu Dragon Emperor, but he had seen the true body of the Lord God of the Dragon God, and his appearance was exactly the same as that of the eastern starry sky. That wasn't really the Emperor Solong, but the Emperor's imprint of Emperor Solong, who had integrated into the starry sky in the past. At this point, Ye Chen understood the disaster. The Tegzu Dragon Emperor is exactly the same as the Emperor Donghua when he met the Emperor of Heaven in the past. If he wants to survive the destruction of the Emperor, he must defeat the imprint of Emperor Tao. There is no other way. Thinking of this, Ye Chen bowed his head slightly and looked at the western starry sky. To be able to appear with the Tegzu Dragon Emperor seal, the person in the western starry sky must also be an emperor. It is also attracting a lot of attention. In the western starry sky, another blurry figure also appears true. That should be a person, more accurately, an ape, wearing a gold armor, sturdy, powerful, and dazzling, and the eyes of fire are bright and dazzling. Momentum can only be described in two words, overbearing. Fight the holy emperor. Ye Chen murmured again, his eyes narrowed into a line. He has not seen the fighting emperor, but he is very familiar with the blood of the fighting emperor. It was the bloodline of the sacred ape of the battle, and in the previous life, the tiger baby inherited the bloodline of the sacred ape of the battle. Among the 130 emperors of the heavens and the world, only the emperor of the battle was the blood of the sacred ape of the battle. Ye Chen was boiling with blood, burning like fire, and his combat power rose almost to the top, and he dared not slack off. Hundred years ago, the emperor Donghua, who was provoked during the imperial empire, was branded, and only one person killed him half. Today, these are the imprints of two great emperors, each of which is not a weak imprint of the Donghua female emperor. He wants to fight the two emperors alone. The battle has been Ling Xiaoxian, but the battle is only Zhu Yuhuang Chuan. Whether it was the Emperor Donghua during the Imperial Empire in the past, or the Emperor takes Yulong and the fighting Emperor today, they are not the Emperor's deity, but the imprint of the Emperor, and the starry sky was fused before eternity. To put it plainly, today's Taegzu Dragon Emperor and the fighting Emperor are both quasi-sacred, the same order as Ye Chen. It is also the juvenile Eucharist against the juvenile Emperor, and two juvenile Emperors. They were once the most powerful of the heavens and the world, and they have ruled all the spirits. Their legends are all myths. Boom. Rumble. The starry sky was turbulent, and Su was unable to withstand the mighty pressure of Emperor Takes Yulong and the Emperor of Fighting. Emperor Takes and Emperor of Fighting War, his figures are as towering as mountains, and they seem to be tough and never fall. Their vicissitudes are too old and far beyond myth. The starry sky was bursting in turbulence. The east and west starry sky centered on Ye Chen was collapsing at a speed that was visible to the naked eye. That starry sky was full of silence, and stepping into it was death. The monks of the quartet changed, and looked at the starry sky pale. This, what a is this? My husband practiced for nearly three thousand years, and he has never seen a humanoid scourge. Too many older monks were stunned only to feel dizzy. Is the sacred ancient holy body scourge so strange? How could those two have such powerful coercion? I saw too great, the emperor. Someone said, but he didn't realize that the words were trembling, his heart was trembling, and he didn't dare to look directly at Takes Yulong and the fighting emperor. The emperor Takes Yu, the emperor of fighting and fighting, Ye Chen, your stunningness once again refreshed my shocking bottom line. In the corner of the crowd, Long Wu took a sigh of relief, his eyes glowing. 
Bikub www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Boom. 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 The starry sky was turbulent, and the thumping sound was slow and rhythmic. Listen carefully, but it is the sound of people walking. Sue is so heavy that the solace of the feet every time they fall on the ground, the starry sky is booming. The fighting emperor moved, and came slowly, with an extra black iron rod in his hand, which was engraved with ancient patterns, surrounded by golden breath, and each strand was with a mighty momentum. Tegzu Dragon Emperor also moved, with a slow pace, holding a killing sword in his hand. It was a Tegzu Dragon Sword, lingering on the dragon's air, the long and long sound of dragons, intertwined with the mysterious sounds of the avenue. Whether it is the Fighting Emperor or the Tegzu Dragon Emperor, they follow the essence of the road, ordinary and ancient. Ye Chen sacrificed the killing halberd, and Chaos God Ding is suspended above his head. As for Shang Guan Yu and Chaos Ding, he is also sealed in a copper furnace to prevent the fierce war from being affected. He did not dare to slack off, and on top of his peak fighting power, he opened magic roads and many forbidden techniques, while chaotic roads appeared together, intertwined into a chain of order, surrounding him, echoing the origin of the Eucharist. As the starry sky exploded, the fighting emperor first killed, stepping on a piece of starry sky. The throbbing Wujin iron rod, Ling Tian's one-handed tyrant is unparalleled, and seems to be able to smash 100,000 miles. Ye Chen looked stunned, his blood was rising, and suddenly he lifted the killing spear to block. LB. The sound of metal collision was very crisp, and the halberd collided with the iron rod, wiping out the bright sparks. With one blow, Ye Chen was half-kneeled in the starry sky with the blow of the fighting emperor. His arms were split, and the blood of the Holy Emperor spurted out. The blood of the fighting Emperor was too aggressive, and the attack was too aggressive. Ye Chen knew in his heart that it is no wonder that the fighting Emperor is the shortest-lived Emperor. Such a mighty road must defy itself in a long time. This is a stigma, and it is difficult to destroy the Emperor. For a brief moment, the Tegzu Dragon Emperor also killed, wielded the Tegzu Dragon Sword, and cut out a galaxy. The Tegzu Dragon Emperor is a sword that kills one sword. It incorporates the rules of Emperor Dao and there are many Tegzu magical powers. Although the galaxy cut out is bright, it has the power to destroy the world. Among the flashes of light, Ye Chen hissed loudly, and raised the Wujin Iron Rod of the Fighting Emperor. Zhen retreated from the Fighting Emperor, Ye Chen did not dare to stop and immediately walked away to avoid the Dragon Emperor lore. Of course, although he escaped the extinction of Tegzu Longdi's sword, he still succeeded. His back was chopped up with a blood sacrifice. Through the cracked sacred body, he could still see the brilliant blood-colored spine. The fighting emperor came from the club, but Ye Chen had not yet stabilized his body, and was turned over by a club. Before he had stabilized his body, Tegzu Longdi came, and his sword was extinct and his power was destroyed. Puff. Ye Chen was traumatized, every strand of holy blood sprayed thinly, each strand was very dazzling. If it were not at the critical moment, he moved too far to avoid the key points, I am afraid that the dragon god would have been beheaded by the dragon emperor. Two emperors, really look down on the younger generation. Ye Chen finally settled down his mouth was gushing with blood, the wounds, and Emperor's law lingering, obliterating his essence, making the wound not only heal, but also an outward expansion. The Dragon Emperor and the Holy Emperor followed suit, killing them from the east and the west, without giving him a breath. War. Ye Chen snorted, reshaped the sacred body, burned blood, pushed the combat power to the top again by one point, opened the chaos, and stepped on the Golden Holy Sea to fight the two emperors alone. Boom! Boom! The battle is imminent and the scenes are vast. Ye Chen is like a king of war. He is so angry that every time he makes a shot, it is a supernatural power that breaks the sky. The emperor is like an emperor, with powerful combat power, the rules of the emperor's Tao are flying, 
and the order of space is even more inscrutable. All the shots are killing and killing the heavens and the earth, and they almost split Ye Chen several times. The Holy Emperor is like a god, with fire eyes and golden eyes. He is utterly overwhelming. His domineering is extremely fierce. Each time the Ujin Iron Rod moves, he brings the power of destruction and decay, and no one can stop it. The Youth Eucharist fought alone for two young emperors, and the fighting was fierce. Ye Chen was bathed in holy blood, the battle was difficult, the holy body was full of scars, his bones were exposed, and he was shocked. Seeing this picture, the monks in the quartet were horrified, and they all looked at Tegzu Dragon Emperor and the Fighting Emperor in shock. Although they did not know who the two were, they knew that they were extremely powerful. The holy body could cut off a saint against thunder and thunder, how powerful the battle was, but they were unable to stand up. Based on this determination, each of him has a combat power, and each of them is not weak in the Eucharist, not to mention the two are working together. In the corner of the crowd, the Dragon Five looked dignified. As the remnant soul of the Tegzu Dragon Emperor, he knew too much about the terribleness of the Dragon Emperor. In addition to the fighting emperor who did not lose the dragon emperor, the two emperors battled against each other with the best of both worlds. The aboriginal Eucharist was no match, and the battle was extremely unfair from the beginning. Puff! When the look of the Dragon Five was dignified, Ye Chen was severely damaged once again, and was cut off by the Tegzu dragon emperor. He nearly burst out of the sacred body that was smashed by the fighting emperor. He nearly died on the spot. At this point, the three have fought for no less than three hundred rounds, blood stained the red starry sky, mostly the ancient blood of the ancients. Ye Chen's eyes were blood red, and despite his mighty combat ability, he could still face two young emperors, but he was still suppressed. Each attack would pay a terrible price. After all, he was one to two. In the east, the Tegzu emperor came from the sword stepped on the Dragon Sea, and leaned against the Tegzu immortal field intertwined by the rules of Emperor Tao. That was the vision of his Tao. The starry sky was trembling and cracked. In the west, the fighting emperor holds a black gold iron rod in his hands, and the whole body is burning with flames. In the eyes of fire and gold, the Tao world is evolving. That is his emperor's law and he is unique. Ye Chen clenched the killing euphorbia and was forced to go crazy. With this type of play, he was doomed to hate. At this moment, the chaos of his chaos hanging from his head shuddered, as if he heard Ye Chen's roaring inside, awakening his spiritual loyalty and loyalty to the Lord, but he flew away and went straight to Dragon Emperor. Its purpose is very simple, that is to contain the Dragon Emperor and fight for the time for Ye Chen to destroy the fighting Emperor. War Ye Chen spurred the halberd to kill the Emperor of Fighting. Knowing Chao's plan, he would never waste time. If he talks about fighting alone, he is not afraid of any monk of the same level, regardless of whether he is a juvenile emperor or the rule of emperor. This is the faith of the invincible Eucharist, the chaos, and the monstrous war. Boom! Boom! The war has begun again, and the scenes are vaster than before. Chaos God Ding fought against Tegzu Longdi, blocking it. It was large and heavy, simple and natural, and the armored sky characters were arranged around it. It accompanied Ye Chen to be hacked all the way by the sky, and he transformed Nirvana more than once. In addition, it is a Daluo Shen iron. It has already qualified for the battle with the rules of the Emperor, but it only has. Although it is extraordinary, but the other party is a young emperor who has been transformed from Emperor Dao's law. His body was cut out of a sword mark, and the blooming fairy light wiped out the atmosphere. He was still defeated by the dragon emperor. On the other side, Ye Chen and the battle of the holy emperor broke down, and the entire starry sky was turbulent. Fighting alone against the emperor, his pressure abruptly reduced, and his attack was unmatched. Each shot was a pinnacle. The battle between the two of them can be described as primitive and violent. When the battle emperor smashed Ye Chen, he would be stabbed by Ye Chen. His body was smashed more than once by the battle emperor, 
and the body of the emperor was more than exploded by him, the holy emperor was bathed in the holy blood, and he was also bathed in the emperor's blood. No matter what. Dragon 5 frowning Ye Chen and fighting the emperor. The combat power does not want to go up and down, Ye Chen may really be able to annihilate the fighting emperor, but Chao Ding may not be able to support that time. Long Wu's worries are not targeted. The chaos tripod at this moment has been cut by the Taegzu Emperor Dragon Emperor. The whole body of fairy light is almost annihilated, and the time available for it is really limited. Once the chaos tripod is defeated, and Ye Chen fails to defeat the fighting emperor, then the battle situation will return to the previous situation. Ye Chen will still fight the second emperor alone, and most likely will bleed blood in this starry sky. The quartet's astonishment keeps on, and most of the eyes are fixed on the chaos tripod. Many older monks scratched their beards. It seemed that they could see the material of chaos ding. It was just a magic weapon, but it was a powerful man who could stand shoulder to shoulder with his master. It was amazing. Because www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Boom. Boom. Ye Chen fought fiercely with the battle of the Holy Emperor, and his body was stained with blood. The battle of the Emperor was not much better, the towering body was also flung by Ye Chen's blood. Ye Chen's eyes were blood red, and his blood was burning like fire. The young emperor was too difficult to cut off. He was fighting against the strength of the holy emperor, and was not weak against the empress Donghua, and he was forced to go mad. War Once again, he throbbed the halberd, and halberd split a galaxy and cut through the starry sky. He didn't have much time, and Chaos Ding couldn't hold up too much time. The opponent was two emperor dragon emperor, and there was always the possibility of defeat, and he needed to cut the fighting emperor in this short period of time. Hum. The fighting emperor also stirred the Wujin iron rod, sweeping out a galaxy, and the starry sky broke. The war halberd collided with the iron rod, making a gurgling noise, centering on the point where the war halberd and the iron rod collided, a bright halo spread across the sky and the starry sky was turbulent. Seeing this, the monks in the quartet suddenly changed color, and then retreated. Of course, the bright halo was too fast. Wherever it passed, Zing collapsed and became a weak person. It was instantly turned into fly ash, and even the screams were saved, and even the Yuan Shen was gone. In a regretful blow, Ye Chen Chen's body cracked, and the emperor's body also bleed. The celestial halberd and wujin iron rods were all shaken out. Perhaps they were too heavy and crushed a starry sky. War. Ye Chen hissed and screamed with bare hands, his golden fist was shining, with my invincible fighting intention. The fighting emperor lost the wujin iron rod, and came from bare hands, holding magical powers, unparalleled in the attack. The battle was fierce again, and Ye Chen broke the holy emperor with a punch and the Holy King punched Ye Chen's half of the sacred body with a punch, both of them were overbearing, their bodies recovered, and they fought again. Boom! Boom! The starry sky trembled again, the quartet was horrified, and this war fluctuated, as if it had surpassed the quasi-holy level. LB With the crisp sound of metal collision, Chao Ding was cut out by Taegzu Longdi with one sword. The chaos tripod was defeated. Although it was not cut, the tripod body was covered with sword marks, blemishes, and the whole body of fairy light was annihilated. Its faithful protection of the master was eventually hit by the Emperor Dragon Emperor's Taoism. Its record is still enough to be proud, it actually blocked a young emperor for nearly ten rounds. Chaos Ding is defeated, and Taegzu Longdi has no blockers. He holds Taegzu Dragon Sword and goes straight to Ye Chen. Seeing the Dragon Emperor coming with the sword, Ye Chen was crazy, the blood veins were trembling, the power of the repair was burning, and he was struck by the blow of the Battle Emperor, and his body burst with a punch. How domineering the Emperor's resilience is, the flesh and blood is dazzling with golden light, and he recovers instantly. War 
Ye Chen had no time to recover the broken sacred body and waved his fist again. The Dragon Emperor was killing him. He had no time. Puff! The Fighting Emperor who just recovered his body was smashed by his fist, and the blood filled the starry sky. For a brief moment, the Emperor Tegzu died, and the sword was destroyed, and the starry sky lost its color. Ye Chen was mad, ignoring Tai Salong Emperor, clenched eight fists, and blasted again to the Fighting Emperor. He knows better than anyone that he alone has no chance of winning the two young emperors. He can only fight for a brief moment to see if Tegzu Dragon Emperor cuts him first, or he destroys the Fighting Emperor first. Break me! Ye Chen's roar trembled the sky, and the pores of the sacred ancient sacred body burned the source of the sacred body. Eight wastes and one punch combined thousands of supernatural powers, chaos, the power of blood circulation, the power of reincarnation, and invincible warfare. The punch of the pinnacle passed through the everlasting heaven. At this moment, his mood was sublimated. In his eyes, it seems that the years in this world have become slow, that is the nirvana of the Tao. Puff! The fighting emperor turned into a mist of blood, was blown out by Ye Chen, and turned into a rule, returning to the starry sky. It can be seen that, at the last moment of dissipation, the fighting emperor revealed an ancient smile, the eyes of fire were lost, and it was more gentle, which was a marvel to the younger generation. Puff! The emperor of fighting was blasted off. At the same moment, the sword of the Tegzu Long Emperor arrived, destroying the earth and destroying the sky. Ye Jian cut off Ye Chen and flew it out more than 80,000 feet. He almost killed Ye Chen on the spot. Ye Chen blew his blood before he settled on his shape, and Tegzu Longdi arrived with a sword. Survival instincts made him start suddenly and flew away. Emperor Tegzu followed the shadow like a shadow, with a sword with the power of destroying and dying, approaching Ye Chen's heart. The speed of the Dragon Emperor is too fast, the sword of the dragon is trembling, the sound of the dragon chants, and the Emperor's law is flying. The tip of the sword is only an inch away from the heart of Ye Chen's eyebrow. If he crosses that inch, Ye Chen will probably die. Ye Chen burned the origin again, although the Tegzu dragon sword was still an inch away from his eyebrow, but the force of silence lingering by the sword's edge had split his eyebrow, and his whole body was cold, as if he had fallen into a gloom. He could not escape, nor could he escape. The Dragon Emperor sword was an extinct sword, and he had been locked dead. Once he had a slight slack, he would be punctured by the Emperor takes a Dragon sword in an instant. Just an inch, a little difference, it was ashes. In such a scene, Long Wuxin who watched referred to his throat, Rao was his fixation, and his expression was pale. The same is true of the monks of the quartet. Ye Chen is flying backwards, and Emperor Tegzu is flying. The sword is pointing directly at Ye Chen's eyebrow. The two are in this posture. They are shoulder to shoulder and maintain a relative balance. It is that one inch. Once the balance is broken, the sky must be stained with blood. After all, the blood was still full of stars. The relative balance of speed was eventually broken. Tegzu Longdi's sword advanced an inch, but he did not pierce Ye Chen's eyebrows, but was clenched tightly by Ye Chen's palm. For a brief moment, Ye Chen had a respite, the Yuan Shen made a sudden revelation, and the emperor retreated from the palm of his hand. Reset. It was a brief moment, Ye Chen I Yuan Chen returned to the flesh, but it was a step, blood vomiting. The dragon emperor came again, the dragon spirit was overflowing, and the emperor's rule of law flew, just like an impeccable emperor. Ye Chen wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, Xian Lun was born to run wildly, forcibly condensed the broken sacred body, and the disintegrated combat power then climbed to the peak. He fought alone in the same order, and he feared no one. War. With a roar, Ye Chen broke a starry sky and went straight to Dragon Emperor. Tegzu Longdi raised his sword, and one sword cut the starry sky. Ye Chen, who was crazy, didn't dodge or escape, leaving the blood and bones of his holy body to be cut by the sword of the Dragon Emperor. And he, 
the most converged punch, also blasted on the Dragon Emperor, and one punch destroyed half of the Dragon Emperor's body. This is a game that hurts the enemy by 1000 and damages 800. Although it is crazy, it is straightforward. The Emperor takes a step back, but Ye Chen, like a wild beast, swooped up with a horrible evil. The next battle will be fierce and bloody. Ye Chen is a madman, bathed in holy blood and emperor blood, only attacking and defending, and punching tirelessly, one punch is even more powerful, the peak is even more peak, and the nirvana of Tao is really a punch. Tai Solong Emperor hit the western starry sky from the eastern starry sky all the way. It was another sublimation of the state of mind. The Tao was transformed in nirvana, so that his combat power soared above Tai Solong for a few moments. He found the feeling when he was against the demon emperor. Boom! Boom! The starry sky broke, and as Ye Chen punched, he trembled violently. The monks of the quartet looked heart beating. They had seen overbearing, never seen Ye Chen. The look of Long Wu was embarrassing. For the first time, he saw the invincible dragon emperor so suppressed. Looking at it, the dragon five smiled. With a smile, Ye Chen could fight the Emperor of the Emperor, as well as destroy the Emperor Tegs a Dragon Emperor. The winner of the juvenile body would be Ye Chen. Starry Sky, I don't know when the tremor stopped. Tai Solong Emperor was bombed by Ye Chen with one punch, turned into a rule, and returned to this vast starry sky. The battle between the Emperor and the Emperor Tegzu, when Emperor Tegzu dissipated, also revealed a gratifying smile to Ye Chen. He didn't know that there would be such amazing descendants in the later generations. When the imperial realm crossed the sky, he could not compete with the Empress of Donghua, and no one could do anything. Of course, this does not mean that Emperor Taegzu and the Emperor of Fighting are not as good as Emperor Donghua, because Ye Chen's Tao has transformed into Nirvana during this war, otherwise it will be difficult to survive under the siege of the two emperors. Taegzu Longdi dissipated and the starry sky was plunged into a dead silence. Everyone is staring at one side. There, a figure was dazzling. It was Ye Chen, dripping with blood and fluttering, there was always the possibility of falling into the starry sky. In this battle, he was seriously injured, and almost died several times. However, his record is amazing, one to two, actually beheaded two young emperors. This is an extremely dangerous calamity, and any difference may kill him. However, this is also an evil creation. In the battle with the Emperor, he came to understand the Tao that others could not reach, and the rule of the Emperor was like a sharpening stone that polished his piece of rusty iron into a godlike sword. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. The sky was annihilated and all the people were silent, like Wang Yang's crowds were silent, watching silently. Everyone is still thinking about it, remembering the previous tragic picture, so far they are still worried. Ye Chen stabilized his body, but his condition was very poor. The Emperor's Law of the Dragon Emperor and the Holy Emperor in his body was still in chaos, devouring his essence and destroying his roots. Seeing this, Long Wu in the corner of the crowd suddenly lifted his feet and took Ye Chen back to the family to heal him. Of course, before his footsteps fell, he saw a dark arrow shooting at Ye Chen. I don't know who shot it, only that the arrow was very powerful, with the divine power to destroy Ye Chen. Asshole. Dragon 5 was furious and wanted to rescue, but he couldn't keep up, the dark arrow was too fast. The monks in the quartet were also uproar. Even if the older monks regretted to save Ye Chen, they could not reach it. In the eyes of everyone, the dark arrow hole penetrated the starry sky. It was too cold and heavy, and it crushed the starry sky. The person who shot it must be a worldwide generation, and the power of the arrow fell to the ground. When the clouds of smoke dissipated, the scarred starry sky was revealed, and Ye Chen's figure disappeared. Seeing this picture, too many monks are boasting. Because Ye Chen is too strong and amazing, and the potential is too huge, if he is given enough time, 
he must be an eternal giant, and his presence has made many forces feel great threats. As a result, this is what it is today, while Ye Chen is seriously injured, he will be strangled and cradle. Hey! After booing, all the stars in the quartet were sighing, instinctively thinking that Ye Chen had been cut off. They have regrets. It is difficult to make a statue for 100,000 years against the blood of the ancient holy body against the sky, so amazing that the younger generation, who has been killed by the mysterious strongman, can never be moved. However, where did they know that the moment before the arrow of God annihilated Ye Chen, Ye Chen slammed into the black hole in the space? With his weak state, it was absolutely difficult to stop the killing arrow. As for the six immortal eyes, they also broke their self-confidence due to Tianjia, but they were still restrained by the curse of charm. Wait for me. Ye Chen sat down coldly, sitting cross-legged, knowing who attacked him secretly. The mysterious man hid in the void, and thought that he was seamless, but he couldn't hide from the glimpse of six eyes. Knowing who he was, he would never give up. This is a blood debt, which is to be repaid with blood. Suddenly, he closed his eyes slightly, the origin and the Tao were trembling together. Like an invisible big hand, he wiped out the remaining imperial laws, and the immortal wheel was born and the wild refining body worked, leaving its broken holy body. New flesh grows at a rate that is visible to the naked eye. Then, the storage bags exploded one by one, and the tablets of the elixir flew out. They were transformed into elixir essence and poured into his body. His sacred body was like a bottomless pit, which was swallowed by the whale and replenished by the calamity. Everything is proceeding in an orderly way. The deep and lonely black hole is very dazzling. Outside, monks from the quartet have begun to retreat, and their looks are different. Some sighs, some emotions, some sighs, and some sneers. This starry sky soon returned to its former openness. The figures were scattered. Long Wu still stood there, and quietly looked at the starry sky where Ye Chen disappeared. He knows Ye Chen better than anyone, knowing that Ye Chen is still alive, and in a black hole in space, he can cut off an impeccable emperor who is so easy to be killed. For a long time, Ye Chen had not appeared. Long Wu could not help but frowned, knowing what kind of injury Ye Chen was suffering from, and there would be no black hole in a short time, and he needed careful healing. He didn't know when he took a deep breath, finally glanced at the starry sky, and turned away. In the black hole in space, Ye Chen Ru sits in a meditation seat, the sacred body has been restored, and the last ray of emperor's law remaining in the body is also annihilated, his breath becomes magnificent, and his blood is looming like the sea. Beside him, the chaos god is suspended, buzzing and trembling, there is chaotic airflow, and chaotic roads interweave. Under the siege of the sky, Ye Chen transformed, and it became Nirvana, becoming even more extraordinary. The sword marks cut by the Taegzu Emperor were slowly healing, and the magical instruments could recover on their own, which was extraordinary. Time passed slowly, and nine hours passed in a blink. It wasn't until the tenth hour that Ye Chen spit out a stale gas and slowly opened his eyes. His eyes have become deeper and deeper. There are no waves in the ancient well, but if you look carefully, you can see that there are visions intertwined in the depths of the eyes, and there is a road that is evolving. Not bad. Ye Chen smiled slightly, turned over, and stretched out some stiff sacred body. The majestic strength in his body gave him a kind of self-confidence, which was to compete with the Holy King. After a stretch of stretching, he rushed to Chaos Tripod, and for a moment, Chaos Tripod advanced. After a lapse of a hundred years, he swallowed an unknown number of extraordinary instruments. His destiny, God, finally entered the ranks of holy soldiers, plus the evil spirit brought about by the war with the Emperor, its power must be overbearing. Not bad. Ye Chen smiled again, glanced at the tripod, the chaos inside was chaotic, and the chaos became a world inside. It was very mysterious. It had spiritual wisdom and was extraordinary. It evolved on its own. After looking at him, he fixed his eyes, 
but did not see the tomb zombies that had been sealed in the Chaos Tripod. In this regard, he was not surprised. The Chaos God Ding fought against Taegzu Long Emperor and suffered heavy horror. The tomb zombies in Ding Zhong had to be turned into flying ash in the fierce battle. Dust returns to dust, soil returns to soil. Ye Chen made a sound, waved his hand to sprinkle the flying ash of the tomb zombies into the black hole, and it was considered silent. After doing this, he sacrificed a bronze furnace and released the sealed Shang Guan Yuer. Shang Guan Yuer came out of the copper furnace, but stepped back subconsciously, and looked at Ye Chen in horror. In the copper furnace, she watched Ye Chen Li and beheaded two saints, and watched the young man in front of the sky, and watched him cut two terrible existences with her own eyes. From beginning to end, she was the only one who knew the ins and outs. She was shocked, shocked Ye Chen's strength. She was terrified, terrified that there were such powerful people in this world. Su Shi was shocked and terrified and filled her thoughts, making her suddenly forget the boundless darkness around her. Two or three seconds later, she reacted, holding her sword in trembling hands, pointing directly at Ye Chen, and glancing at the black holes in the square. Then she looked at Ye Chen, this, what is this place? Black hole in space. Ye Chen took a sip of wine, and replied casually. Empty, space black hole. Shang Guan Yuer's face was even paler. He had only heard of the fierce name of the black hole. This was the first time he had seen it. As it is said in the rumor, he was in the dark and terrible. Don't be afraid, there is me. Ye Chen grinned, and his eyes began to look up and down at Shang Guan Yu again. You, what are you doing? Shang Guan Yu stepped back subconsciously, and the jade hand holding the sword trembled again, his expression terrified, mainly because Ye Chen's sneer was abnormal. I don't do anything. Ye Chen shook his head and flirted his hair, narcissistically frowning his hair. The black hole is a good place. No one will bother me, let me be happy. You. Shang Guan Yuer was still backing away, and humiliating tears had crossed the beautiful face. It's a big game. Seeing Shang Guan Yuer crying, Ye Chen could not help but cough, and hurried forward, just to tease Shang Guan Yu who had wanted to practice Taoism for two hundred years, she was frightened to cry. Don't come over. Shang Guan Yu moaned, fixed his figure, and crossed his sword across his neck. Don't make trouble. Ye Chen still came over, and flew in, raised his hand and took up Shang Guan Yu's killing sword, which is not easy to find. If this is a self-confidence in front of him, it is a big deal. Lest Shang Guan Yu do stupid things, he also consciously held a seal on his body. This time, Shang Guan Yu had more tears on her cheeks, and she had a long way to go. She had not been refined into a panacea, but she was going to be robbed of chastity by the prodigal, and she didn't even have a chance to explode. Ye Chen Gen laughed, wiped away the tears on her cheek, and sacrificed the fairy light that awakened the memory. Shang Guan Yu still in despair, suddenly saw that Xian Guang was not in the eyebrows, and wanted to speak, but suddenly felt the buzz of Shen Hai and the severe pain, which instantly blurred her vision. Well. Hissing sounded, the black hole was clear in the lonely space, and she lost consciousness in pain. Ye Chen lifted her ban. Although she couldn't bear it, she couldn't help it. This is the stage for the reincarnated people to wake up the memory. Fortunately, the time limit is not very long, and it will not cause long-term sin. Shang Guan Yu Xiao's body shivered so loudly, hissing sound continued, and even her memory was confused. With the constant integration of Xian Guang, a dusty memory was slowly eased away, that year, she met him in the Dan Furnace and was naked, that year, he was crucified and looked to the horizon, and her heart broke in broken lungs, that year she died in his arms, and his name was called to death. She remembered, remembered Jian Chen's past, remembered Shang Guan Yu -er, and also remembered the loved one named Ye Chen. Suddenly, she lifted her cheeks, tears all over her face, and shed the last gloomy beautiful eyes, 
staring at the young man in front of him, as he remembered, bleak and vicissitudes. Welcome back. Ye Chen smiled, with tears in her smile. Ye Chen. She wept, fell into his arms, hugged tightly, exhausted her strength, and her beautiful cheek pressed against his warm chest, listening greedily to the thick heartbeat. Only in this way, she was sure that the person in front of him was the real Ye Chen, not an illusory dream. Tears, wet his clothes, and wet her love. The past two hundred years of this past life are like a fantasy dream. Before she woke up, under the Nancho city walls, she fell in his arms, looking at the face dimly, speaking the last love word in Hong Chen, and telling Fan Chen's last story. After waking up, she has already passed through the six reincarnations. She is still in his arms, in the black hole in this lonely space, with beautiful tears, telling the past and depicting the vicissitudes of the sea. The black hole was deep and lonely, and the boundless darkness fixed their figure, and this moment was eternity. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Sensational pictures are always there, accompanied by tears and choking, melted into ancient memories. After the sensation, the scene was slightly awkward. Ye Chen supported the old waist again, a bite of old blood followed by a bite of old blood. No wonder that Shang Guan Yu held him too hard, Rao was the strength of the sacred body, and was also clasped with bones. Sometimes Ye Chen would think, why can't he just hold a guy to pretend to be forced to eat by his face? On the side, there were tears on the eyes of Shang Guan Yu that had never been dried. Looking at Ye Chen holding the old waist to spit blood, his look was very embarrassing. I... I'm too excited, but why don't you avoid it? I should avoid it. Ye Chen was gushing blood in his mouth when he spoke, thanks to his profound knowledge. If this were to be a general quasi sage, his mother's scum would be as if shit. What happened to Da Chu, Shang Wen's house? Shang Guan Yu squatted down, looking at Ye Chen as if she had beautiful eyes, even though she had been in reincarnation for two hundred years, she still did not forget the past. The invading demon was overthrown. Ye Chen drew out the hip flask, and found a comfortable place to sit down. The Da Chu monks who were reincarnated in their hometown are all found. As for your Shang Guan family, it is like the major forces of Da Chu it is not complete. Many reincarnations have come to these heavens and earths. In the past two hundred years, I have searched a lot and found Shang Guan Han Yu, but I have not seen your father. You never let Da Chu down. Shang Guan Han Yu laughed with tears. When she died, there was little monk Da Chu left. She could imagine how hard Ye Chen had fought to protect Da Chu. The one who keeps that land is the 90 million British souls of Da Chu. Ye Chen smiled with vicissitudes. In his years, we will go home together. In his years, he said, come and rub my waist first. It was a sensational bridge. Ye Chen Mao had a big reversal of the plot, and two old blood burst out. Need what you rub, you're fine. Shang Guan Yu also restored the playfulness and sturdiness of the previous life. There is not much to say in the second sentence, and one step forward is enough. It's all right, the waist is broken. Ye Chen grinned in pain and his skills in acting improved greatly. It's okay, I can't die. Shang Guan Han Yu grinned. I really love that. You see me again, you want to marry me. Shang Guan Yu held her white jaw with her two jade hands, blinked her eyes and looked at Ye Chen, without any woman restraint, but she remembered the alchemy furnace twice in this past life there was a crimson on her cheek. Don't marry. Under the watchful eye of Shang Guan Yu, Ye Chen's nagging shook his head. Why? Back pain. That's right. Shang Guan Yu hesitated and smiled. He got behind Ye Chen took hold of Ye Chen's neck, and put his front body on Ye Chen's back, especially the two upright Yu Feng. It's not soft. The hanging Yu Er murmured, blowing a scent into Ye Chen's ear. It's okay. Ye Chen again coughed, feeling the softness of his back, 
and glanced at his lower body again. His little brother had set up a small tent for him, and it was completely flat. Have you ever gone to bed with my sister and used it comfortably? Shang Guan Yu blinked and blinked. If your sister hears this sentence, she should have a wonderful expression. Ye Chen's expression was serious and serious. Reincarnation of this past life and this life, my Da Chu women really talk more and more. Then you can't get on. I, hey. Ye Chen didn't finish her sentence, then suddenly turned her head and looked deep into the black hole. What's wrong? Seeing Ye Chen frown, Shang Guan Yu also looked in the direction that Ye Chen looked, but she didn't have fairy eyes, she was destined to see nothing but darkness. Come in. Ye Chen stood up and whisked Shang Guan Yu into a bronze furnace. After receiving Shang Guan Yu, Ye Chen went straight to the party, holding the Chixiao sword in his hand, and a chaotic tripod over his head. He didn't know how long he had marched before he stopped slowly. A few thousand feet away, there was a demon mist raging, each strand was cold and lonely, and heavy like a mountain, separated by a long distance, Ye Chen felt the pressure, and the holy blood in his body became restless. God! Ye Chen's eyes were almost stunned into a line, staring at the demon mist, the breath of the demon mist, he was extremely familiar, exactly the same as the demon breath that invaded Da Chu in the past. It's a demon again! Ye Chen frowned. One hundred years ago, he encountered a horrible demon in a black hole, so much that he suffered a trauma and coma. He drifted in the black hole for nearly a hundred years. In the black hole in space, a demon was encountered again. Ye Chen knew that this matter would not be simple, and perhaps a secret was hidden. Shang Guan Yu in the copper furnace also smelled the magic mist. It looked like water in the eyes, and there was a flash of cold light. Even after two hundred years, she was still remembering the breath of the demon. Those invaders stained that great mountain with blood. Ye Chen had opened fairy eyes, gathered pupil strength as much as she could, and lifted away the layers of magic fog, and saw the depths. Deep in the magic mist, it was a lotus flower, black lotus flower, the magic mist overflowed from it, it was very weird, flashing the magical light, Ye Chen's heart was almost lost. Let's look at the side of the heavenly devil's black lotus, which is surrounded by nine ancient golden letters, and the nine ancient characters are arranged by themselves. The ancient seal formation is gathered, and the black lotus is suppressed. Ye Chen murmured and recognized the origin of the nine ancient characters at a glance. Ye Jiatian's a suppressed Tian Mo black lotus, Ye Chen saw it clearly and frowned again. I do nt know how many years the Jia Jia Tian Z and Tian Mo Black Lotus have remained in the black hole in this space. Who sacrificed the black lotus that suppressed the crickets of Tian Jia? Hum. When Ye Chen meditated, the chaos of his chaos hanging on his head trembled and shook himself, and the goddess bloomed on his own, and the engraved armored tentacles on it were also alive, circling around it quickly. As the host, Ye Chen knew very well that it was not Chaos Ding's self-recovery, but the self-recovery of the Armored Tianzi, which seemed to be called by the Nine Armored Tianzi. Let us look at the Nine Armored Sky characters that suppress the Tian Mao Black Lotus. They are trembling violently, and Chan Chan S. Jinhui has been annihilated for a few minutes. The Pangea Tianzi imprinted on Chaos Ding came to help. Lightning Thunder but when Ye Chen gave a frivolous gesture, Tian Lei and Xian Huo appeared in his left and right hands in succession. As a demon, he will never let it go. They are stained with the blood debts of De Chu Ying's soul. Even if the nine armored characters are not summoned, he will definitely take the shot. He has comforted De Chu Ying's soul in the spirit of heaven. Immortal fire crucified Bao, Tian Li condensed arrows. It is another Bao stretching like a full moon and Thunder Goddess Arrow, which combines chaos doctrine, many mysteries, the power of the bloodline and the power of cultivation, can be described as the pinnacle of his arrow pointing directly at the magic lotus of the day. One hit. With Ye Chen's frivolity, Thunder God's arrow broke away from the fairy fire god's bow, with a smashing and penetrating hole penetration, penetrated the rolling magic mist, 
and the target shot at the Black Lotus extremely clearly. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Yu Emperor as soon as possible. Boom! The Thunder Arrow is too powerful, like a worldly god, and the black holes in the space are trembling. Of course, just before God's arrow was ten feet away from that day, the silent heaven demon Black Lotus trembled a little, and a dark halo spread, with the power to destroy the world. On the spot, the thunderbolt was settled, the dark halo passed, and it instantly turned into fly ash. Seeing this, Ye Chen's look changed suddenly. It was his peak. He was better than anyone, but he was instantly crushed into fly ash. He couldn't imagine how terrible that day. Hum. The black hole was buzzing, and the black halo from the black lotus did not stop because the thunder god arrow was crushed. It was still spreading rapidly to the quartet, with enough power to destroy everything in the world. At the time of the electric light fire, Ye Chen suddenly condensed a shield standing in front of him, and the Lord of Chaos loyal to protect the Lord, also came to help, blocking in front of Ye Chen, blooming bright fairy light. The dark halo blew, the shield condensed by Ye Chen was crushed without even supporting it for a second. Then, it was the Chaos Tripod. The dark halo collided with the tripod to make a snoring sound, and the chaos tripod flew out on the spot. The lingering fairy light instantly annihilated to the extreme. Puff! After the chaos trip, Ye Chen also flew out, and was hit hard by the spread of the dark halo, and fell until 8,000 feet away. The sacred body was cracked, and the blood of Ken Ken was spraying thin. Zundi! Ye Chen paced blood kept flowing from her mouth, and she looked at the magic black lotus that day. Although he didn't know what the magic black lotus was that day, he knew that it was extremely powerful. Judging by the power of the previous dark halo, the cultivation must be a quasi-perfect emperor, and he could even shoulder with the sword god. It is ridiculous that he had previously glanced at it, but was unable to see this. If the chaos had not blocked more than 80% of his injuries, he would most likely have died and become history dust. Boom! The thunder rang through the black hole, and the black magic lotus trembled, and more magic mist rolled. In the surging magic mist, a blurry figure appeared, ghostly and unpredictable. Suddenly, the nine cricket words that suppressed Halien also trembled, and the condensed seal burst open. The nine Biangiatianzi are spiritual. For example, the nine Taoist immortals flew to Ye Chen and were imprinted on the Chaos Tripod. They didn't know how many years suppressed the Black Magic Lotus of Tianmo. At that time, the Black Lotus was still in a weak state, but after a sea of vicissitudes, the Black Lotus recovered. They could no longer suppress it. Seeing the Devil's Black Lotus turned into a human form, Ye Chen looked mad, and did not hesitate to sacrifice Xiao Yuan moved the six forbidden spells of the eye, and above the devil's black lotus, a flame instantly ignited. However, the skylight flame just ignited, and the black lotus bloomed with magic light, which actually extinguished the skylight flame. Go! Ye Chen directly opened the heavenly path. The quasi-monarch level demon has exceeded the limit he can compete with, and even the sky photo is useless. If he stays in this black hole, he may be spiked at any time. This is not Dachu. There is no reincarnation of the heavens to suppress the realm, and the Zundi is Zundi. He is a quasi-sage monk, and he is a cricket ant from beginning to end. He is not even qualified to be a cricket ant. Coming out of the black hole was a dead star. Ye Chen didn't stand still and almost fell to the ground. Although he escaped from birth, he was still cold all over, and if half of his body seemed to fall into Juyu, he would have to escape because of him, otherwise most of them would have become fly ash, and the quasi-perfect emperor was too terrible. In a black hole in space, it should be impossible to get out, Ye Chen thought to himself. In addition, he needs to go to the Xianhuang continent as soon as possible to inform Kun Lun Su of this matter. There is a black hole in the space where the quasi empire level demons appear within the bounds of the heavens and earth. The matter is very important and should not be delayed. 
thinking to myself, Ye Chen hurriedly wiped the blood from the corner of her mouth. However, before he lifted his feet, there was a black swirl of illusion in the void in front of him. The next moment, a figure covered with a black robe emerged from the whirlpool. The body was sometimes illusory and sometimes solid, and the whole body was lingering in the black mist. Every strand was as heavy as a giant mountain. Boom! The starry sky shuddered, and the turbulence seemed to be unable to withstand the coercion of the black robe man. Ye Chen looked pale and stepped back subconsciously. The man in the black robe showed the spirit of heavenly demon, wasn't it the of black magic he encountered in the black hole? Now transformed into a human form. Miscalculation, serious miscalculation. Ye Chen never thought that Tian Mo could freely move through the black holes in space. By this point, his escape route was cut off. In Dachu, he could cut off the demon emperor, but in these heavens and earths, a holy king can destroy him, not to mention a flawless quasi-perfect emperor. Wild Ancient Eucharist The black robe god of devil laughed, his voice was dull, distant and ancient, people could not find the source, a pair of blood-colored pupils, and the cold glimmering light, making everyone look creepy. His eerie smile, even the coldness of his bones, has a heartbreaking resentment towards the Eucharist. Before the ancient times, if it was NT for the Eucharist Emperor, the demon had already won the heavens and earth, and the endless years, it is a permanent regret that stayed in the demon's heart, and the demon domain hated the ancient deity. The Hippeo Tianmo seems to have been sealed in the black hole for too long. Although he remembers the history of the five emperors who had fought alone in the wild, he never knew that Ye Chen had beheaded a great emperor in the demon realm in Dachu. At this time, if he knew and did not know what he felt, it would be an ancient holy body, and it would be the demon road. For a brief moment, the black robe demon raised his eyes slightly and looked at the distant sky. When he was stunned, Ye Chen had fled, the whole body was burning with flames, and he was bright under the night. The black-robed Tian Mo Yin laughed, raised the palm of his hand, and went to the piece of sky where Ye Chen escaped. Suddenly, Xiu Shen exploded, collapsing at a speed that was visible to the naked eye, and heaven and earth lost their color. Ye Chen, who was still fleeing, was crushed by Su Tian on the spot and smashed the earth out of a deep pit. When he got up, he felt overwhelmed by the pressure of the sky, heavier than the 8,000 feet giant Yu. Ye Chen's legs were trembling, and he was about to kneel down. The black robe Tian Mo had not fallen yet, and the ground had cracked. His powerful sacred ancient sacred body was also crushed and cracked, and his blood was dripping. His eyes were red and his heart was roaring, but his holy blood was boiling, but it was still difficult to move. This is the absolute suppression of the realm. A quasi sage, in the presence of a quasi prince, does not even have the qualifications to be a cricket. Just one palm, even him, will disappear instantly. Ye Chen. Shang Guan Yu in the copper furnace was already in tears. This is really unjust. She has reincarnation of past and present life, and after two hundred years, she finally meets again. She still has time to be his bride, but she will go to Huang Chuan again. Sorry. Ye Chen smiled helplessly, dropped his hands, gave up the resistance, and lowered his proud head. I'm sorry, not only to Shang Guan Yu -er, but also to the heroic hero who died in the Battle of Da Chu. He promised to take them back to his hometown. Now it seems only a joke. The vast expanse of sky collapsed in an instant, and the demons destroyed the sky with one palm, and everything they passed was ashes. Of course, at this moment, the collapsed virtual sky is actually a standstill. The devil's palm of stagnation has stopped, the wind is no longer blowing, the branches are no longer swaying, and the air is no longer flowing. Even the teardrops that fell on Guan Yu's cheek, also stopped in mid-air, flickering with blurred light. For a moment, everything in this world seemed to be still. Boom! With a thunder roaring through the sky, the sky and earth rested for a moment, and the original was restored instantly, and the annihilated palm of the black robe heaven demon turned into the nine dust of dust at this instant. 
The look of the black robe demon changed greatly, as if he knew what kind of magical power it was, and suddenly looked away. Ye Chen and Shang Guanyuer, who resumed their actions, also subconsciously raised their heads and looked at Su Tian. There, a figure came slowly, and his appearance was unclear. All I knew was that his figure was bleak, as if he was walking in the long river, from the ancient times, every step, was vicissitudes. 6. Looking at the starry sky, Ye Chen murmured, and his mind became a little stunned. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Yu Emperor as soon as possible. Boom. 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 The earth and earth are shaking, slowly and rhythmically, listening carefully, but the sound of people walking, Su is so heavy as a mountain, that every time the solace of the feet fall to the ground, the heavens swell. The coming of the six taos is like a from an ancient age. All the wind and dust are myths. He was still so dumb, his eyes were empty, his mouth was full of stubble, his face was not in the slightest emotion, like a puppet who did not mess with the world, and his existence was only to witness the vicissitudes of time. There was no trace of monk on his body, as if it were immortal, it was a realm of returning to nature, with each foot stepping on the heavens and earth, the endless avenue, ordinary and mean. Ye Chen was still at a loss, still looking at the future himself slowly. Shang Guanyu was also at a loss, and the blurred face of Lai Yudeo gradually became clear in her beautiful eyes. The outlines of the five features were exactly like Ye Chen's, just like twin brothers. The black robe Tian Mo stared at Lu Deo, his body trembled inexplicably, he took a step back subconsciously, his expression was extremely daunting, because he felt the pressure of Emperor from Lu Deo. Go for the best. The black robe heaven demon moved the heavenly mystery, and the black vortex behind him reappeared, and flew into the black hole in an instant. Lu Deo stopped, raised his hand slightly, and explored the emptiness of the black robe only to get into the black hole in the space. He was caught by his hand again, and Ye Chen looked shocked. Is it psychic? Ye Chen's state of mind was quite restless, and Lu Deo ignored the barrier between the black hole and the heavens and earth. Even more shocked than him was the black robe demon. He plunged into a black hole in space and turned to escape, but suddenly there was a mysterious power behind him, and he appeared again and returned to the stars. Who is he? The black robe heaven demon retreated, and the Quasi Empire repaired him, looking terrified, and dared not look directly at the six roads. His heart, Yuan Chen, blood and body were all shivering in a moment. Who he is, the black robe demon does not know. Maybe, even Lai Yudeo himself didn't know who he was, only the overflowing breath on the black robe demon made him extremely disgusted. He didn't come to save Ye Chen but to destroy the demon. The breeze blew, and six raised their hands again. Six palms of one hand, ordinary and unremarkable, is a simple single palm, which actually smoothed out the broken virtual sky. And the black robe demon in the horrified state was also flipped out by his palm, and the inverted body, such as a god, flew directly out of the dead star, and then crossed the starry sky, his body was cracked, the blood stained the sky, and every drop was magical. Ye Chen opened his mouth and was horrified again. Hibo Tian Mo was flew out 80,000 miles with six palms. Is Lu Deo the Great? Ye Chen's heart tumbled, and a quasi monarch level demon was so unbearable in front of him. Shang Guanyu was also shocked. Rao was that Ye Chen couldn't hold the black robe heavenly demon's palm. It is conceivable how strong the black robe heavenly demon was but it was such a strong quasi-empire level demon who was wiped by six strokes Fei, she didn't dare to imagine that there are still such strong people in this world. When the two were shocked, Lu Deo lifted his feet, one step across the entire starry sky of 80,000 miles. 80,000 miles away, the smeared black robe demon just stopped his body, and saw Lu Deo appear in front of him, so that he didn't even have time to react, and was lifted up with a palm. It was another 80,000 miles. The body of the black robe heavenly demon fly down, crushing the piece by piece of starry sky. 
the six looks were dumbfounded, his eyes were empty, and he didn't say a word. He lifted his feet again and stepped down one step, which was 80,000 miles, or he took off with one palm before the black-robed heavenly demon had stood firmly. Boom! 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 Next, the starry sky was quite calm, and the roaring noises continued. What? The roar was accompanied by a roar. That was the roar of the black-robed demon. Sadly, a genuine generation of quasi-perfect emperor, after being lifted by the six lanes for the first time, he had never stood firm, and there was no room to fight back, 80,000 miles and then 80,000 miles. Here, a starry sky then collapsed. Behind the starry sky, Ye Chen was like a fairy mane, madly shrank into inches, and chased all the way. However, his speed was still too slow, and he never stopped, but he still could not catch up with the six, only to see the stars collapse, and only heard the roar and the roar of the black robe demon roaring and dancing. I don't know how long before he stopped suddenly, staring blankly at a starry sky in the distance. The starry sky had been drenched with blood, and the quasi empire level black robe demon, bloody, was stabbed to death in the starry sky, and even the Yuan Shen was annihilated. He should be the most aggrieved quasi perfect emperor who died in heaven demon realm. The quasi perfect emperor repaired it, but he did not stand firm from the beginning to the end. He was hit by a man from the eastern starry sky to the western starry sky. He even had time to use the magical power counter attacked and was crucified. Ye Chen didn't say a word for a long time, the picture was too shocking, and a prospective emperor was beheaded in this way. Closed his eyes, Ye Chen looked at the starry sky not far from the Hippeo Tianmo. Lu Dao had turned around and left silently, just like a hurrying passerby in the dust, coming fast and going fast. The back of Lu Dao is still so lonely, his shoulders covered with the dust of years. Ye Chen hurriedly chased after him, calling softly, it was the future him, exactly the same as the form of red dust. Since the time and space of the future came to this era, they should have a simple dialogue. However, Lu Dao didn't turn around for his call, still taking heavy steps. Ye Chen would never give up. One would shrink to the other, and he would care about the seniors and juniors. He also cares about the present and the future. He directly reaches out and pats his six shoulders to get his attention. Of course, he emptied his hand because the six lines in front of him were not physical, but illusory. To be more precise, they were an afterimage. The real six lines had been gone for a long time. Ye Chen really stopped. Although he really wanted to chase Lu Dao, he didn't know which direction to go. Helpless, Ye Chen had to turn around and came to Aerob Tianmo. The blood-drenched body of the black robe demon turned into a black lotus, which is his body, which is slowly turning into fly ash, and the dead can't die anymore. With the breeze, it has completely turned into historical dust. This is all due to the six roads, both now and in future time and space, he is fighting against the demon. It is regrettable that the worlds of time and space in the future have been defeated, and even the emperor has been killed. In the future, he will have to change course against time and come to this era in order to rewrite history. Ye Chen was silent, like a statue standing. He did not know whether to follow the current trajectory, whether the heavens and earth would be defeated. If the winner is still the demon realm, then these heavens and realms will fall into a dark age with no time limit. Shang Guan Yu came out. First, he looked around at the starry sky, and then tentatively looked at Ye Chen. Why does he look exactly like you, even with the Xian Kang Jade Ring? What do you want to say? Thoughts were interrupted. Ye Chen smiled at Shang Guan Yuer. He is very similar to Dacha's Red Dust Seniors. Shang Guan Yuer said slowly, All of them are dumb faced, their backs are engraved with vicissitudes and so lonely. They are just like you, they all have stories, people, and the story must be very similar. If Hong Chen is still alive, and if Hong Chen also comes to the heavens and the world, he and Lai Yudeo should be indistinguishable from each other. Ye Chen smiled again, his words inexplicable, 
and Shang Guanyuer was confused. Indeed, in Dachu, Hong Chen is not a weak emperor. Without the reincarnation of the heavens, Hong Chen's realm must be on the same level as the six, and their strength must be equal. What makes Ye Chen wondered is why there are two future he came to the heavens and earth, whether Hong Chen and Lai Yudeo are the people of an era in the future, and who are they first. Seeing Ye Chen musing and silent, although Shang Guanyu had doubts in her heart, she did not ask. However, she looked at Ye Chen with a subtle change. In fact, the young man who seemed to be out of touch had hidden many secrets and covered him with a layer of mystery. Ye Chen finally moved, took out the black robe and covered him, and then put on the ghost mask, because people were gathered in the quartet starry sky, Su Shideo had previously made too much movement. As for him, he had to disguise, but he didn't want to be recognized, otherwise he would inevitably be upset. Gone. Ye Chen glanced at the quartet, turned around immediately, and left the starry sky with Shang Guanyuer. It was not long before the two left, and the quartet's silhouettes gathered in this starry sky. There is no shortage of rumors and surprises, mainly because this star field has made too much noise in recent days. The former is a tomb zombie, and then the Eucharist. The scene is even more outrageous. The starry sky is full of scars, and there is a strong breath remaining. Already older monks froze their beards with deep eyes. From that residual breath, they smelled the coercion that made people tremble in their hearts, and they were at least the great saint, even the emperor. Here, Ye Chen took Shang Guanyuer far enough from the starry sky. Along the way, Shang Guanyuer jumped up and down, even though she was two hundred years old, but still like a little girl who is not ignorant of the world, just like the past life, cute and cute, innocent. Ye Chen settled down staring brightly at the starry sky in front of her, her eyes fixed on a woman in white, her identity seemed not simple, and she was followed by two old men. The woman in white was a reincarnation of Da Chu, and he still had a little relationship with her. Shang Guanyu's beautiful eyes were also brightened, she pulled Ye Chen and pointed to the white woman, that's my sister. Your sister? Ye Chen froze for a moment, the expression under the ghost mask became a little strange and exciting. More accurately, it is the sister of my life. Shang Guanyuer smiled slightly playfully. Dar Chu's seniority, is messed up again. Ye Chen could not help expressing a deep voice. Genesis? What do you mean? Your elder sister is also a reincarnation of Da Chu. As soon as this word came out, Shang Guanyuer froze and once again tentatively stared at Ye Chen, who is the reincarnation. Hua Yat Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Xian Wu Emperor as soon as possible. A word from Ye Chen made Shang Guanyu's expression also strange. He took a subconscious glance at the white woman who was coming from the sky, and looked at Ye Chen with a doubt, I see you, Hua Yuan Sr. It is different from my sister in this life. Ye Chen could not help but smile, after reincarnation, the appearances of previous and present life may be different. This is fresh. Shang Guan Yuer hissed. There's more fresh. Ye Chen coughed, and passed a memory to Shang Guan Yuer with a sense of divine knowledge. That was the picture of Wu San Bao and Tai I real people fighting for the 13th. Looking at Guan Yuer again, after seeing the picture of the memory of the gods, the whole person became bad. There was an impulse to vomit, and the picture was almost lawless. Shuang'er As the two talked, the reincarnation Huayu and the two old men had arrived. Hearing the call of reincarnation Huayu, Shang Guanyu smiled, it was ridiculous. She didn't know whether to call her reincarnation sister Huawa or her predecessor. Indeed, as Ye Chen said, this generation of Da Chu's hometown was completely confused because of these six reincarnations. It's not bad that the sister in this life is a reincarnation. Da Chu's hometown is very kind even if he doesn't know it, and the one in front of him is still a familiar one. Where did you go this time? Hua Yan glanced at Shang Guanyu pretentiously. Grabbed by black and white Zhuangxia, 
want to take me to alchemy. Shang Guanyu er spit out his tongue. It's so daring. The faces of Hua Yan and the two elders suddenly became cold, and various murderous tactics overflowed. I did not know that these incidents happened when Shang Guanyu er disappeared. Fortunately, there is no danger. Shang Guanyu er smiled playfully. A few days ago, the man who crossed the gang cut off Baisha, but he saved you. Who else will there be beside him? Shang Guanyu er said, not forgetting to glance at Ye Chen on the side of her body. If it were not Ye Chen, she would probably have been refined into elixir now, most likely already taken. This is it. An old man next to Hua Yan also looked at Ye Chen, and saw Ye Chen wearing a black robe and a mask. He was surprised at all, especially Ye Chen's anger, which put him under great pressure. Younger Ye Chen. Ye Chen smiled slightly. He's my old friend, and he's waiting to return to the family with me. Shang Guanyu er interjected with a smile. So it is. Ye Chen. The two old men were nothing, but Hua Huan aside, the moment they heard the name, they suddenly had an inexplicable familiarity, as if they had heard the name there. What are you waiting for, to awaken her memories of the past life? Shang Guanyu er gave a voice to Ye Chen, and she was eager to try. She wanted to see Huawei's strange expression after she awakened her memory. This starry sky is so lively now, it is safer to return to your family. Ye Chen smiled. This is also true. It's a coincidence that I came too early. As soon as Shang Guan Yu'er's words came to an end, he heard the laughter of the strange yin and yang tones, and three passing figures fell on Ye Chen, not far away. There are three old men, one in purple, one in black, and one in white. The cultivation is not weak. The old man in purple is a saint, and the old man in black and white is a quasi sage. The robes worn by the three were very strange. To be more precise, the totems painted on their robes were strange, but a skull. This skeleton alone made people feel trembling. Wearing the same totem robe, the three were needless to say they were a force but this time they were going to inquire about the piece of starry sky, but they happened to encounter Hua Ying and Shang Guan Yuer. The faces of Hua Ying and others have changed, and the two old men beside her also sacrificed magical instruments, blocking them in front of Hua Ying and Shang Guan Yuer, and staring at the three of them with a serious look. Only Shang Guan Yuer Yunking Fengking Si has no pressure, because Ye Chen is here, enough to cope. Ye Chen's eyes froze slightly, and he glanced up and down at the three old men. His eyes stayed on the robes they wore for a while, and he still had an impression on the robes. Earlier, after he crossed the sky, some people attacked him with archery, and the robes worn by those who attacked him were exactly the same as the three old men in the opposite direction, so it seemed that they must be a family. They are the people of the King of Skulls. Su was aware that Ye Chen was interested, and Shang Guan Yu er came and said, it is one of the few giant engines in this star field, and the strong are like clouds. Using a skeleton as a totem, it's not a good bird at first glance. Ye Chen touched his chin meaningfully. As you said. Shang Guan Yu er nodded gently. For thousands of years, the Skeleton King Palace did create a lot of blood robbery in this star field. No one wants to provoke this behemoth. It is said that the Skeleton King Palace has a quasi-sacred king is an earthly, terrifying one. Queen Holy King Ye Chen raised an eyebrow, and secretly pondered that the fighting power of the quasi-holy king was quite different from that of the holy king, but he did not know how much worse he was than the quasi-holy king. Blocking our way will certainly not be good. Shang Guan Yu er looked at the three old men across from him. Your family has a festival with the Skeleton King Palace. Ye Chen took his thoughts and looked at it. It's more than a holiday. Shang Guan Yu er looked cold for a moment. I don't know how many people have killed their hands. If the grandfather had some deterrence, the family would have been destroyed. It's really too early to come by now. Ye Chen twisted his neck fiercely. Walk with me for a while. My godson misses me very much. When the two talked, the old man in the opposite purple opened his mouth, 
and although there was a smile on his face, it was a creepy smile. No time. Hua Yao's face was frosty, and he had more swords in his hand, always ready to fight hard. Why do you needlessly struggle? The old man in black and white also laughed and looked at it with interest. When looking at Huayan and Shang Guanyuer, there was still obscene light flashing in the old eyes. It's too bullying. The two old men in front of Hua Yi sulked in anger and climbed to the peak. How about bullying you? The old man in black sneered, stepped out, and patted it with one palm. Virgin go, I'll wait. It takes a price to bully a person. Before the two old men in front of Hua Yi finished speaking, he was interrupted by Ye Chen. He stepped forward and blasted the old man in black with a punch. Everything was between the electric light and flint. When no one had ever reacted, Ye Chen's punch had collided with the old man in the palm of his hand, and suddenly a thunder rang through the four starry sky. The next picture was abnormally bloody. At that moment, the old man in black who was still awe-inspiring and courageous. He flew out at this moment. He flew out of the sky full of feet, and his body had not fallen yet. Even the Yuan Shen couldn't escape the silence and became the flying ash in this starry sky. This. Hua Yan was shocked, the two old men in front of her were also shocked, and the old white-clad and purple-clad elders who were on the opposite side were also shocked. It was actually killed by one stroke. Is he a saint? Hua Yan looked at Ye Chen's back in horror. One punch could kill a quasi principal, wasn't it the saint level? Otherwise, how could Jun's Hung have such an overwhelming combat power? Look at the old man in white and the old man in the opposite, after a moment of shock, his look changed. Especially the old man in purple, he is a saint. Rao is not sure that he can kill a quasi sage with one punch, but the person wearing the mask on the other side has done it. This has explained everything, that is, wearing a mask on the opposite side. He is a saint and stronger than him. Miscalculation, serious miscalculation. The old man in purple clothes looked dignified, thinking that he could easily capture Shang Guanyu and they would go back to invite Merit, but he didn't want to kill a in the middle and his combat power was outrageous. Nowadays, it is clear whether the two sides are strong or weak. If you fight, you will know who the winner is. Thinking of this, the old man in purple clothing suddenly turned around, and a saint in dignity chose to flee. The old man in white is not slow, and even the saints have fled. Is this quasi-sanity waiting to be killed? Want to go? Ye Chen sneered and raised his foot to catch up, three or two shrank into an inch, and instantly killed behind the old man in white. The old man in white changed his face suddenly, only to feel that his whole body was cold, and he wanted to sacrifice the magic weapon to protect himself, but it was all too late, because Ye Chen had already slashed in the sky with a tremendous power. The blood was instantly stained with stars, and the old man in white was split by Ye Chen's palm and turned into a mist of blood. Another move, destroying a quasi-saint. The only old man in purple clothes was shaking in his heart, and his head did not turn back. The speed of his walking away was not covered. Of course, compared to speed, his deeds and Ye Chen were a bit worse, but he could not catch up but was caught up by Ye Chen. Without a word, it was a domineering side leak, and he flew out on the spot. Fight me. The response of the old man in purple was very fast. Only then did he stop his body, and then he sacrificed the sacred soldier, which was a skeleton, cast with special materials, and infused with countless blood. Ye Chen didn't say a word, only responded with the strongest gesture. The Chaos God tribute was offered, and the heroic power of the world was displayed. In one hit, the skeleton soldier was crushed and its essence was swallowed clean on the spot. The old man in purple vomited blood, and the sacred soldier was destroyed, and he suffered from back terror. In addition to the pressure of the chaos god, he was crushed to kneel by a saint. Seniors spare lives. The old man in purple hurriedly begged for forgiveness, terrified, and there was no previous sage gesture above him. At this point, 
he really understands what kind of existence he has provoked, the absolute suppression of his combat power. However, Ye Chen had no mercy and moved the oracle. No, no no. The old man in purple clothes stood out, his pupils shrunk to the size of a needle tip at a speed that was visible to the naked eye, and the gods and gods were not yet there. He felt cold, as if he had fallen into Juyu. Puff! Blood splattered, and the Shen Mengdong pierced the purple man's eyebrows, smashing his Yuan Zhen body in one shot. As for the old man in purple clothing, he was included in the Chaos God tribe so that he could go back to refining it to death. After all, he had to leave, and it would be good for them to protect them. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. One saint and two quasi sages were destroyed one after another, making the starry sky silent. Everything was in an instant or two, and Hua Huan did not respond to them at this moment. They were clearly a quasi sage. How could there be such a strong combat force that completely subverted their ideas? When the reaction came, the three looked at Ye Chen's complexion, thanks to the fact that they had not acted rashly. Compared to them, Shang Guan Yu was much calmer. She knew very well about Ye Chen's combat power, and could cut the emperor's ruthless man, but he could not judge his strength by ordinary saints. Shuang Er, what is his origin? Seeing Shang Guan Yu as if he was all right from the beginning to the end, Hua Yan finally asked the doubts in his heart, but he did not know that his sister had such a good friend. Old friend. Shang Guan Yu grinned, not the ancient past on the spot. Why have I never heard you mention it? Hua Yan looked at Shang Guan Yu with an unbelieving mountain. Take him off his mask, maybe you know him. I know. Come, seers have a share. When the two spoke, Ye Chen had already returned, and he was carrying three storage bags in his hands, which were the loot that the old man who cut purple clothes had earned. Seniors can't do it. The two elders were flattered, hurriedly resigned, and the salvation of life has not yet been repaid. How dare they want people's treasures? The so-called meaning of incompetence. I'm not a senior. Ye Chen smiled and shoved the two storage bags to Shang Guan Yu and the reincarnation Hua Ying. As for the third storage bag, it was given to the two old people. Senior, this. Take it away. Without waiting for Hua Yan to quit, Ye Chen smiled slightly and stopped him in advance. It's a gift. Shang Guan Yu grinned, not forgetting to blink Ye Chen. No more, come back. I want to take it back. I want to be beautiful. Shang Guan Yu made a grimace at Ye Chen and ran away, bouncing innocently, just like an ancient spirit. Ye Chen smiled helplessly and lifted his heel up, but it caused Huawei's strange look. Just now, they clearly heard the word dowry. There is something in the relationship. And it's still a big deal, maybe we can have a glass of wedding wine after a day or two. With a murmur in their hearts, the three looked at each other and they followed Ye Chen's steps. Four people, like four gods, crossed the vast sky. This starry sky is still not calm. More and more people gathered, attracting people from all major forces. No wonder that the six moves caused too much noise, and the destruction of a quasi-perfect emperor is not a trivial matter. Of course, they are doomed to find nothing. Rao is that Ye Chen has never followed the six steps along the way, not to mention that they, the six gods are out of the ghost, leaving only the back view to the starry sky. Here, Ye Chen, they have flew into an ancient star. This is the family star of Shang Guan Yu and the reincarnation Hua Ying. It is called Tianlingzing. It is not far from the Yang Chen star of the Dragon Five family. It is only lonely and only a million miles away. Just like in the past, when he first entered the ancient stars, Ye Chen exhibited the evolution of Zhou Tian. The Shang Guan Yu on the side also hoped to look at him, hoping that Ye Chen would give him a big surprise. However, to her regret, Ye Chen shook her head slightly after Zhou Tian's calculation. This ancient star had no other reincarnated people except Shang Guan Yu and reincarnation Huaxu. 
we'll find it. Shang Guanyu whispered a smile, gently held Ye Chen's palm, and pulled him into a fairy mountain. Their return attracted a lot of old guys. The main reason is that Shang Guanyu has been out for too long, and basically has no news. Now that he is safe to return, this is a sigh of relief, and the atmosphere at the scene is relatively hot. After rejoicing, most people looked at Ye Chen. When Shang Guanyu still held Ye Chen's palm, many old guys looked at Ye Chen's nagging up and down like a monkey. Ye Chen's stare was unnatural and chilly, there was always a premonition of being beaten. He was thinking too much. The old guys are still very reasonable. Seeing his eyes look like monkeys, but also looking at the future son-in-law. The disadvantage is that Ye Chen still wears a mask. Gone. Shang Guanyu grinned, ran away with Ye Chen, took a few steps, and seemed to think of something, and returned to pull the reincarnation Huaya together, to wake up the memories of previous lives. Hua Zheng was a little bit confused, but she was still pulled by Shang Guanyu. -er. She wanted to see Ye Chen Zhen Rong. Looking at the back of the three men, a group of old guys froze their beards with grave words. This is not easy. Zun Chen Chiu has such a subtle breath, it really can't see through. It's more than simple. The two old men who had previously blessed Hui Hu sighed. How to say? On the way back, he blasted a quasi sage with one punch, a quasi sacred with one palm, and a sage who was beheaded by the true body of the Yuan god. Is the flesh still sealed in his tripod? Are these things still happening? A group of old guys were startled and startled, and a quasi sage monk beheaded two quasi sages and a sage, which are truly unimaginable. The other party belongs to the palace of the skeleton king. Thanks to that senior, otherwise I would have been buried in the starry sky. The two elders took a deep breath, and there was a flash of gratitude in the old eyes. Skull of King of Skulls The four characters appeared one by one. The old guys present, whether they were saints or quasi-sages, were all cold at the same time. This is red and naked provocation. My ancestor was not seriously injured, and it was Xiao Yuan who was about to end so the palace of the skeleton king dared to be so brazen. Let's go back first. The old guys turned around, with a lot of anxiety under the cold look. If the ancestors died, they could imagine how the family would suffer. On the other side, Ye Chen has been taken by Shang Guanyu to a mountain peak, which is her exclusive mountain peak. Then, an enchantment covered the whole mountain. At this point, Ye Chen took off the ghost mask, revealing the sharp and vicissitudes of his face. Seeing Ye Chen Zhenrong, Hua Yan had a momentary encounter, and his face seemed to have been seen there. Ye Chen smiled, and raised a hand, a fairy light popped into the heart of Hua Ying's eyebrows. Suddenly, Hua Yan Jiao shuddered, and her confused look became painful, and she groaned in pain. Ye Chen couldn't heal the pain for him but just watched quietly, just like Da Chu two hundred years ago. He watched her die on Haoshan Chihu's back. The death was with sour affection. Even though the vicissitudes of life have passed through that share, they are still vividly remembered. On one side, Shang Guanyu was silent, even though he couldn't bear it, he couldn't help it. I don't know when I saw Hua Yan Jiao's body stop trembling, her last glance disappeared from her beautiful eyes but she got dim tears in her eyes, looking at Ye Chen like that, her expression shivering. Dust Knight, are you? Hua Yan burst into tears, stretched out his jade hand, and tremblingly touched Ye Chen's body, hoping to touch only a flesh and blood person, not an illusion. It's me. Ye Chen smiled, with tears and vicissitudes in her smile. Should I call your sister? Or should you call your senior? Shang Guanyu -er spoke, blinking at Hua Hua with a pair of spirits and big eyes, honestly, Da Chu's grades are a bit messy. You. Shang Guanyu -er. Hua Yi took a moment, in the old days of Da Chu, they met. It's me. This. Hua Yan only felt dizzy, but looked at Ye Chen with a disorientation. Six reincarnations, 
you have reincarnated. Ye Chen smiled slightly. Shang Guanyu is just like you, reincarnated. Coincidentally, you have also become a family sister. Reincarnation, reincarnation. Hua Yao's mind became more and more confused, and the past memories and memories of this life are intertwined. Now there is a reincarnation of reincarnation, just like a dream. Ye Chen did not speak any more. The reincarnation was too mysterious. In addition, Hua Hua had only awakened the memories of previous lives. It always had to give him time to react. Even if it was a sword god, it was difficult to accept it. Soon, the confused Hua Hua grabbed Ye Chen with a pair of tears and eyes full of hope. Where is your father? Xu them? Where are they all and are they still alive? Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Xian Mu Emperor as soon as possible. Su was too excited, and Hua Hua's discourse was incoherent, just because he wanted to know too much. She is a reincarnation, but also a wife and mother. She is a good family. She was broken by the invasion of the demon. The reincarnation is like a dream. It is them who care most about waking up. Shi Shui and Shi Yu are in Da Chu. They are living very well and have their own children. Ye Chen said, not forgetting to pass a white handkerchief to Hua Yan, Shi Yu also reborn here the heavens and the world are now in Suan Yu ancient star Ji's house, as for him. With that said, Ye Chen stopped for a moment, and Hao Shen Xian Zhen appeared in his mind. As for him, your husband is not in Da Chu. I haven't found it yet. Thank you. Hua Yan covered her mouth and cried, her words choked and she couldn't stop crying, and the tears still couldn't stop, hazing her beautiful eyes and moistening her beautiful cheeks. Ye Chen's heart felt pain, Da Chu Ying's soul was 90 million, how many people like her should be? Seeing Hua Yu like this, Shang Guan Yu -er couldn't help crying. Like Hua Yu, she also played various roles in previous lives. After reincarnation, she also missed her relatives. I don't know when I saw Huayong wiping her tears, I'm going to Suan Yu Zingji's house to find Xiu. Senior, I understand your state of mind. Ye Chen stopped Huayan, but I don't know how many star fields are separated by this distance, how far the road is, Rao is a sage who dare not travel easily, let alone you, this way it's dangerous. The juniors are very clear. They don't have to be emotional. I miss them. Hua Yan did not leave, but could not stop crying in his eyes. It won't take long, he will take you back to your hometown. Ye Chen smiled. During this period, I also hoped that my predecessors could calm down. For me, time is just like the white horse. I understand. Hua Yan laughed with tears and looked at Ye Chen. There was a touch of elder's kindness in her beautiful look. Thank you Dust Yat, if your father knows, how happy he should be. I... I'm not his child. Ye Chen Gen laughed. Reincarnation of this past life and this life, after spending two hundred years, you still can't forgive your father. Hua Yan looked at Ye Chen with a faint look. Her love was lost to his mother-in-law. I'm really not his child. Ye Chen touched the tip of his nose. I swallowed the sperm of the sun of the earth, and the blood was in harmony with all beings, so the Qian Kong causality mirror will be bright. This. Hua Huan, never thought that there were other hidden feelings in the past, the misunderstanding, and misunderstanding caused many misunderstandings, so that Hao Shen Qian Zhen died with regret. This, this is really. Shang Guan Yu -er scratched his head his expression became strange. Sorry, I didn't know it until later. Ye Chen's words were full of apology, to Hua Yan, and also to Hao Shen Xian Zhen. Hao Shen Xian Zhen would not know how to feel if he knew about it. Even so, he will still treat you as a child. Hua Yan laughed, and reflected in the self-confidence of God, whether it is or not, it is not important, what is important is that they are still alive. Sister Xiu also knows that you two are not related to each other. Shang Guan Yu -er blinked, not only her, 
but Hua Hua also looked at Ye Chen. The eyes of the people who came were not normal. Others in Dacha did not know how can they not know how Shen Shihu's affection for Ye Chen. I knew it. Seeing Shang Guanyu and Hua Ying's eyes were abnormal, Ye Chen Gan coughed. She should be very happy. Hua Yan smiled. All right. Okay. Ye Chen touched the tip of his nose again, and Hao Shen Shihu's expression at that time involuntarily emerged in his mind. He was very excited to say that he was in bed with a black hole. You two didn't go to bed. When Ye Chen Shen Yi, Shang Guan Yu er started blinking again. In a word, the questioning Ye Chen looked wonderful, and he heard Hua Hua's wonderful look. You little niece, my mother is here and it is embarrassing if I don't take you so unobstructed. Su Shi realized that his speech was abnormal, and Shang Guan Yu could not help but spat out his tongue. However, her problem is to make Huali's eyes look more abnormal to Ye Chen, just like to see her son-in-law. She is a mother-in-law, and she really wants to ask Ye Chen to miss her daughter. Ye Chen was embarrassed, and his whole body looked unnatural. Heaven and Earth Conscience I did Ntiko, I really did Ntiko, 200 years of spiritual practice, I went to bed with Chu Ling, and it is still passive, you look at it, but do Nt look so abnormal? The atmosphere of the scene became a little weird. After all, Ye Chen's laughter broke the scene of silence. Laughing and laughing, the laughter of this goods came to an abrupt end, and he fled away, I'm looking for a reincarnation. I'll go too. Seeing Ye Chen leaving, Shang Guan Yu grinned and walked in two steps to follow. And me. Hua Yan followed. The soul of the reincarnation is only me, and you can't help. Ye Chen waved his hand. No, if you can't go back, who do I look for? Shang Guan Yu put aside his mouth. No way. I will bring this downhill to the reincarnated people. Then I don't care, I will follow. Don't make trouble, you really can't help. Ye Chen said, having lifted his feet up to Sun Xiuxian, and then the words of Sun came back. Stay in this fairy mountain, and don't want to walk around anymore. In ancient times, Yu Er drummed his mouth, and even though he didn't keep up, he knew Ye Chen was a burden. Ye Fan Chen returned with them to prove everything. On the surface, it was to wake up the memory for Hua Yan but in fact escorted them all the way, for fear that the mysterious strongman would halfway away to him. Now that people have arrived, Hua Ye has also unlocked the memories of previous lives. Naturally, he would not be so idle. There are still many reincarnated people in this star field. Delaying more than half a minute would be dangerous. On the mountain peaks, only Huayan and Shang Guan Yu remained, all watching the direction in which Chen Chen left. Whether Hua Ying or Shang Guan Yu are, there are hopes in the beautiful eyes. It is expected that the reincarnated people that Ye Chen has found have someone they care about, like Hao Shen Xian Zhen and Shang Guan Xian Zone. Hundred years ago, how much he suffered, Da Chu Ying's soul is 90 million, and when will he find it by himself? Hua Yan took a deep breath, Zi Ye Chen was not the natural flesh of Hao Shen Xian Zhen, she saw the back is still a little distressed. She has never seen such a sad back. Can't go with him to find a reincarnation, we should do something. Shang Guan Yu er said. The strength of my Tian Ling family is not weak enough to protect the reincarnated people. Hua Yan whispered a smile, turned and walked down the mountain, we still arrange accommodation for Dacha reincarnation as soon as possible. I think so too. Shang Guan Yu er followed and looked at Hua Ai with a playful smile, grinning, should I call your elder sister, or honor you as a senior? Da Chu's hometown has been broken up, and she called her sister. Hua Yan shrugged and shrugged. Sister, talk about it, Ye Chen's kid didn't have sister Xiu. I. You still call senior. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Xian Yu Emperor as soon as possible. Starry night, Ye Chen flew out of the ancient star. Shen Hai imprinted the sky map, his goals were extremely clear, and a route had been planned. 
At three hours, he landed on an ancient star about the same size as Suzaku, but quickly flew out again. Under the evolution of Jotian, there was no Big Chu reincarnation in that ancient star. Continue on the road to the second ancient star in the plan and fly all the way, it will take six hours. This time, he did not regret it, but found more than a dozen reincarnated people. There were three Zheng Yang sects, two Huangs, one Xiang family, four Xingyu palaces, and four Dacher royal families. Then there was the third ancient star. The reincarnation was there, but it caused some ridiculous contradictions. Next, Ye Chen's lonely figure appeared in many ancient stars in this vast star field. He is still a tourist, all the way around, stop and go all the way, never really rested. So, January has passed quietly. In January, he traveled through this star field to almost all ancient stars, and found nearly 10,000 reincarnated people, not all of them, and many reincarnation became spirit beasts, monsters and fairy grass. This path is not all smooth, there are always one or two forces chaos everywhere, it is inevitable to encounter it, just like the Skull King Palace, pretending to be impossible, but it is a defeat defeated by Ye Chen, causing a lot of the storm caused the quartet to explore again. Regrettably, although there are many reincarnations of Sun, none of them are extremely familiar to him. The only one who is relatively familiar is the general under the throne of the throne, who has fought alongside him. It was another deep night, Ye Chen stopped in a starry sky, his eyes staring into the distance slightly. There, there is an extremely large ancient star, which is comparable to the purple star of the Luojian zone. That's the ancient star of the Skeleton King's palace. It really deserves the name of the skull. There is a huge unreal skull outside the astral body. Such a huge skull is extraordinarily mere mere sight. Ye Chen searched for a month, this is the last ancient star that has never set foot, and it was deliberately placed at the end. Holy Lord, remember to be careful. The warnings of reincarnated people came from the chaos god Ding. The Skull King's palace is no better than other ancient stars. It has the quasi-sacred king in it which is not a mess. Understand? Ye Chen smiled, then put on a black robe, put on a ghost mask, and Zhou Tian evolution covered the breath, this time it was tears to find people, not to dry it. After Chiao Zhuang some time, he suddenly lifted his feet, like a light quietly submerged into the skull star. The skull star in the night was very gloomy before falling down, Ye Chen heard the sound of sorrow and sorrow as if it was not an ancient star that stepped in, but a land of nine quietness, even the pure spiritual power in the air, bloody gas and the grievances and evil thoughts of the roar of the undead. Ye Chen was not too close to the fairy mountain of the skeleton king's hall, but was hiding in an old forest in the deep mountains. The evolution of Zhou Tian is already running. What makes him happy and frowning is that there are really reincarnations in this ancient star, and not one but two. It is quite certain that the reincarnation is a man and a woman. Awkward. Ye Chen scratched his head. He had previously destroyed the two sages and a saint in the temple of the Skull King. If this was a reincarnation's ancestor, it would be a big deal, and he had not realized it before. Awkward. She shook her head, Ye Chen turned and stepped into the empty space, and flew out of this ancient skull. As the Skull King Palace, it must not be a playful force, but you can't just rush in so stupidly, but there is a quasi-sacred king sitting in the town, and you will be beaten by accident. Therefore, Ye Chen needed an identity, an identity that entered the palace of the Skull King with a big swing. He wanted to mix in with the identity of the two quasi-sages and one saint who had been cut off before. It was strange that they could not think about it. They were already dead and the Yuan Shen Jade card in the Skeleton King's palace must also be broken. In the eyes of the Skeleton King palace, they were indeed dead. This time, if they mix in with their identities, they will be blamed if they do not cause suspicion, and they will be caught for investigation. After thinking about it, Ye Chen decided to take the insurance point. It was just a bit more work. When the Skeleton Ancient Star came out, he hid in the starry void, 
and quietly waited for the skeleton to enter and exit the skeleton ancient star. Just snoring them and entering in their identity. Not long after, I saw an old sword in purple in the distant starry sky. His cultivation status is not weak, only the peak of the imperial realm, and a skull totem on his robe. It's up to you. Ye Chen struck out instantly, without saying a few words, and slapped the palm in the past. The old man in purple clothes suddenly changed his look. Obviously, no one had expected to attack him at the door of the skeleton king's house. He was caught off guard on the spot and knelt face to face. Go to sleep. Ye Chen searched the old man in purple and threw it into the starry void, and blessed several seals. And he has changed the appearance of the old man in purple, no matter whether it is breath or cultivation, he has imitated the same, and then he has evolved blessings in order to confuse audio-visual. After doing this, he turned and flew into the skeleton ancient star again. With the new identity, naturally he will no longer sneak in, he really swayed into the skeleton fairy mountain. The fairy mountain of the skeleton king palace is not much worse than the big Luojian zone. There are thousands of immortal mountains. With each peak as a base, they form a large array, which is a protective enchantment and attacking array. Ye Chen sighed, just by this defense, most people can't get in, and no one dares to come in. The Skeleton King's palace in the night was so lonely that there was almost no figure, and most of them had returned to the mountain. However, although no figure was visible, Ye Chen was able to capture many hidden breaths, including quasi sages and saints. He also found a familiar atmosphere, the man who attacked him on the day of the robbery. In addition, Ye Chen's heart is jealous of an underground palace in the depths of the Immortal Mountain, where the atmosphere is the most obscure, and is a quasi sacred king, whose combat power is not comparable to saints. Really strong. After looking at it, Ye Chen calculated again and again, and found the position of the reincarnation accurately. Without much thought, he sneaked over and took the reincarnated man first. Not long before he stopped. In the distance, there is a high platform between the three fairy mountains. There were two people locked on the high platform, a man and a woman. The man was hooked there by the loot bone, and the blood was dripping. The woman was locked on a copper pillar by a chain. It was also covered with scars. If they seem to have committed a serious crime, they will be locked in a high platform and punished until they are tortured to death. Ye Chen's eyes became cold, and the man and woman on the high stage were reincarnations. Seeing that the robes they wore were not people in the temple of the skeleton king, they were more like innocent people who were captured. Not only did he look cold, but the reincarnation people in the Chaos God tribe and many instruments were also murderous. They were the natives of Dachu. They had fought to protect the heavens and the world 200 years ago, but now they are tortured. So miserable, so how could they not be angry? Ye Chen has reached out the palm of his hand, transfigured the big hand, and caught the locked man and woman reincarnated. Of course, the high platform was forbidden, and a powerful enchantment appeared silently, blocking his transcendental hand. Broke in. Ye Chen gave a frivolous, extremely powerful, crushed the high sky prohibition with one palm, brought the reincarnation down, and instantly brought it into the chaos, allowing other reincarnation to heal him. Perhaps Su's method was too fierce, making a lot of noises and alarming the Skull King Palace. Who? Suddenly, there was a violent drinking, and there were people on the peaks of the Skeleton King's Palace. Every face was cold and each was magnificent. Some people dared to run into the Skeleton King's Palace at night. Hey! With the sound of a sword, Chixiao appeared in Ye Chen's hands, surrounded by the sword air, extremely cold. He would never leave so easily. At least he had to cut a few people to vent his anger. How daring! The scream of a tremor sounded, and one party had already killed the Skull King Dian Chiang, but it was an old man in a black robe, who was a quasi-sacred man. He was holding a scepter in his hand, which was extraordinary. Ye Chen moved, stepped into the sky, and cut out a galaxy with one sword. 
The old man in black robe discolored, only feeling cold all over the body, suddenly raised his scepter to block. However, in the face of Ye Chen's peak sword, all he did was futile, his scepter was cut off on the spot, and he, as the master, was instantly smashed into flying ash while being counterfazed. Damn it! Some sages came, their blood wafted, their anger shook the sky, and they had previously wanted to be rescued, but they had not caught up. I've been looking for you for a long time. Ye Chen sneered, still strong, and went straight to kill the man, because the saint who was killing was exactly the man who attacked him on the day of his robbery. Ye Chen still remembered his breath. Off! The sage sighed coldly, suddenly wielding his sword and beating, the power destroyed the dead, but he killed the blow. Ye Chen escaped from the side, and a slash to the blood-haired saint, who was chopped off with a sword, almost chopped, blood stained the sky, and every drop was extremely dazzling. Swifa Sheng stabilized his body, but his face changed, knowing that the other party had the ability to kill the Quasi Sage, but he did not know that it was so horrible. Ye Chen came with a sword, and the magic spirit and murderous spirit danced together. Kill. The Skull King Dian Chiang was killed, surrounded by the quartet, a huge number of hundreds of thousands, covering the sky, like the ocean and the sea, rolling violent waves, rolling a horrific killing machine. Roll. Ye Chen screamed loudly, a sword cut out a blood path, and the strong man who pounced on turned into pieces of fly ash. During this period, there were no quaint saints, and the monk looking at the kingdom suddenly looked pale. Stop him. Behind the skeleton king palace strong man, the blood sage was angry and drunk, but he was constantly backing away, because Ye Chen killed others, while the cold eyes still stared at him. The saint's order must not be violated, even if he is afraid of Ye Chen, the strong men in the skeleton king palace are still coming. Stop me. Ye Chen shouted with the power of repair, and the skeleton king palace repaired to the weak, and was shocked into blood mist on the spot. It was another blood path. Ye Chen shrank and shrank, avoiding many sages and quasi-sacred blows. He was killed in front of the blood-haired saint for a second time, and the body of the blood-haired saint with a palm shot broke. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Asshole. The saints and quasi sages of the King of the Skulls and Kings screamed, as the tide came to kill them, there was a large array of assassinations, and they aimed at Ye Chen, revived the worldly power, and wanted to kill Ye Chen in one shot. Ye Chen ignored it directly, still chasing the blood sacrifice saint, and slicing his sword one after another. The sage was fierce faced dragging his body back and kicking back, all his body was overwhelmed by anger. He couldn't understand. The Skeleton King Palace was crowded with nearly one million people. Feng Shen Zhu When the saint was angry, Ye Chen struck again in a flash, and a sword hole penetrated his chest. The blood-haired saint was severely wounded, and the Yuan Shen came out. If he wanted to get rid of it, Ye Chen was quicker, but catching up was a palm. The Blood Sage Saint, the Yuan Chen, was almost wiped out and banned by Ye Chen. At this moment, the attack of the Skull King Palace powerhouse also arrived, blasting from all directions, overwhelming. Not only that, the underground palace deep in the Skeleton King's Palace also burst, and a blood cloak rushed out. The coercion was silent and overbearing. The world was turbulent. It was the quasi-sacred king of the skeleton king's palace. Seeing this, Ye Chen was also planning to kill the quartet. He didn't even want to open it directly, but it was the quasi-sacred king. Stay. The skull ordered the quasi-holy king to be cold, and moved in a big move, covering the sky with one palm and pressing against Ye Chen. With a palm as heavy as a giant mountain and a giant mountain, the quasi-sacred king carried powerful forces capable of destroying everything, fused with hundreds of supernatural powers, and before one palm really fell, the empty sky collapsed. Ye Chen frowned, turning suddenly, stepping through a sky, 
breaking through the sky with one punch and powerful defeat, and combining Taoism with many magical powers, with invincible warfare, to meet Zunchen Wang. Boom! The punch and the palm collided, the rumbling trembled Juxiao, hundreds of immortal mountains of the Skeleton King Palace collapsed and the strong men who flung up the Skeleton King Palace were knocked out one after another by the shock. Look at the King of the Skull and King Zunchen and Ye Chen, both were shocked, and Ye Chen's mouth overflowed with blood. The quasi-sacred King of the Skull King's Hall is not much better. The body that was blasted by Ye Chen's body turned to the sea. Although he did not spit blood, the palms were already dripping with blood, and each drop of blood was black. Skull King Dian Strong are all discolored, I do not know Ye Chen can fight with his ancestors without distinction. The quasi-sacred king of the Skeleton King Palace is also frightened. It is obviously only quasi-sacred, but it can regret it without falling into the wind. This news is too shocking. When did the quasi-sacred combat power become so strong? Zunchen Wang really isn't a joke. Ye Chen wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and it was regarded as a rough assessment of the fighting power of the monk at the level of the Holy King. Although not as fierce as the Holy King, it was far more terrifying than the saint. See you. At last, he glanced at the quasi-sacred king of the skeleton king's palace, and he stepped up into the sky and turned away. Where to go? The sacred king of the skull king's hall sighed coldly, and moved another step, such as the pursuit of the gods. At this moment, his shocked expression had turned into a trance, and he could not tolerate an equal split between a quasi-sacred battle, which was a great shame to him in the realm of the quasi-sacred king. What's more, his skeleton king's palace is such a star powerhouse that he was so troubled and killed a lot. He was also taken away by a saint primitive god. How could he, as the ancestor of the skeleton palace, give up? If this matter is going to go out, the palace of the Skull King will sweep the floor with awe. These are two reasons, and for another reason, it is that Ye Chen's talent makes him afraid, but Zunchen is so strong, if it is given enough time, it is definitely a calamity. Therefore, he is going to die, for whatever reason, he must strangle Ye Chen in the cradle. The other strong men in the Skeleton King Palace have the same idea, and will not let Ye Chen live in the world. So much so that the saints, quasi-saints, and hundreds of thousands of monks in the Skeleton King Palace chased all of them out, either as swords, mounts, beasts, or clouds and fog, and the battle was extremely large. At night, it was supposed to be lonely, but at this moment it became very lively and the starry sky was turbulent. This star power was once again alarmed and sent out to investigate again. When they saw the battle in the Skeleton King Palace, they were discolored. For many years, they had never seen such a huge battle. What the Skeleton King Palace did, it was such a battle. Someone was surprised in the discoloration. Do you want to start a war? Too many people are shaking their hearts, and they know the power of the Skeleton King's Palace. Only in this huge battle, few stars can hold it. It's not war, it's about hunting him down. Someone set his sight on the fleeing Ye Chen. One quasi-sacred king, nine sages, hundreds of quasi-sages, hundreds of thousands of monks, just to kill one person. What is the origin of the man in the black robe and mask? It was such a huge lineup of the Skull King Palace. Too many people were surprised and very curious about the origin of Ye Chen. The old man has practiced the path for more than two thousand years and he has never seen it run so fast. Too many old monks looked at Ye Chen in amazement, with a strange look, and with such a fast speed, it is no wonder that they dare to provoke the Skull King Palace, with no effort to escape, no one can reach this star field. Boom! 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 At the time of the quartet discussion, the movement in the starry sky was even more immense, only because the Skull King's Hall, whether the quasi-sacred king or the sage quasi-sacred, was trying to magnify Ye Chen when he hunted down Ye Chen. It's a pity that they can't do it. To be precise, they can't do it faster than Ye Chen's nagging. Even though all kinds of magical powers are lore kills, none can hit Ye Chen. 
Ye Chen was astonished and fast as lightning, drawing a gorgeous arc in the vast sky. It is true that he did not cover this development, Rao is the king of the skeleton king, and the holy king was thrown away. Somehow, the starry sky fell into silence, because after chasing after him, Ye Chen was not seen. Asshole! The roar of the ancestor of the skeleton king temple, the Quasi Holy King, shook the starry sky, like a crazy demon with hair. The shame, the great shame, failed to catch him in such a battle. The most ridiculous thing is that they still do not know who the other party is, and who they should go to if they want revenge. The monks in the quartet were connected one by one, sighing. Especially the older monks, who have been praying for thousands of years, have never seen the Skull King Palace eat like this. At this moment, as the protagonist of this drama, thousands of illuminated spirit beads have been sacrificed in the black hole of space, propping up a circle of bright land, extremely warm in the black hole. At this point, he took the man, the woman, and the two reincarnated people out of the tripod. Although the reincarnated people continued to infuse them with spirits in Shending, they were still in a bad state. They were still in a fainting state at the moment. They looked pale and indifferent. Ye Chen hurriedly raised her hand, placed it on the shoulders of the two, and poured the source of the rolling Eucharist into the two. The two of them are relatively familiar to Ye Chen. The male is Xiao Feng, the first branch of the Tianting Palace. There was a time when he was the first general under the Xianhuang throne. Whether it was the Xianhuang era in the past or the rule of the heavenly courts, he was very successful. As for the woman, it was the owner of Wanhua Valley, the sister of the Emperor Dao, and the aunt of Baiyu, Poria. Ye Chen was in awe of the two of them from beginning to end. Xiao Feng has never unloaded the armor since he became the master of the palace. He is just like a general. Under the walls of Nanchu City, he died extremely fiercely. And Fuling is one of the most advanced female predecessors seen by Da Chu. The younger sister of the Sword Emperor, a celestial invasion, died of invasion in the old man of Zuch. Now, looking at the miserableness of the two of them, Ye Chenexin's pains and pains, when he was chased and killed by the Skeleton King Palace, he was more than one impulse to kill back to seek justice for them. Thinking to her heart, Ye Chen temporarily received the cold light, waved a lot of elixir, and sank into the two. The two were injured too much. Rao shot him and failed to awaken them from the fainting state. It was not until three hours later that he received the magical power and placed the two on the condensed cloud. Xiao Feng and Fuling are still in a fainting state, but their condition is improving. The Heart Pulse and Yuan Shen have been protected by the source of the Eucharist. It is only a matter of time to recover, at least it is a lifeless worry. Having settled them, Ye Chen smashed out the bloodstained sage of the Skull King Temple. The sage with hair was just released, then took a step back, and his pale look was full of terror. Although he was sealed in the chaotic dating, he saw it for real. The masked quasi sage monk in front of him was not ordinary and overbearing, and he could fight against the quasi sage king. It is no wonder that he lost so miserably, was also captured, because the opponent has this strength. The more he thought, the more fear he felt, as if he had guessed his end, and Yuan Shen shook back and forth. Ye Chen sneered, stepping forward step by step, and looked at it with interest, Have you escaped? Who the are you? I have no resentment against you. I don't know if it was because of terror or something else. The predecessors are really forgetful. Ye Chen smiled slightly, raised her hand slightly, and took off her ghost mask with a flick of her face, exposing that angular face with many vicissitudes. You! The blood-haired sage Yuan Shen trembled fiercely, as if recognizing Ye Chen, his eyes stood out at the speed visible to the naked eye, and the pupils shrank to the size of the needle tip at the speed visible to the naked eye. He thought that the arrow he had attacked that day had killed Ye Chen, but he could not think that Ye Chen was still alive. He understands, all understands, and understands why Ye Chen only chases him without chasing others. This is revenge. For this reason, the Skull King's palace is noisy at night, this is the master who must report. 
Ye Chen did not respond to the unbelievable look of the blood-haired saint, and he was too lazy to respond. His palm was pressed against the blood-haired saint's heavenly cover, and the powerful magical powers were moved. Suddenly, the saint screamed loudly through the black hole, and the illusory primitive was distorted. It was only at this moment that he really understood what it was to regret. He should not provoke Ye Chen, the evil god, to the point of killing himself, so that he would turn into a historical dust in this black hole. However, where did he know that Ye Chen wasn't looking for him, but for the reincarnated man? No wonder he was so happy that he jumped around and pretended to run, but he was not taken out. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. The sage screamed unknown when. He was destroyed, leaving only the power of the pure and pure Yuan Shen, and Ye Chen was driven into Xiao Feng and Fuling Shen Hai. Really don't say, nourished by the power of the sages, Xiao Feng and Fuling's faces are a little more rosy. Although they still can't wake up, their breath is really thick. Come back home. Ye Chen stood up, took Xiao Feng and Fuling back into the tripod, and turned around to make a black hole in space. Still night, this starry sky is not calm. Everywhere, there are people in the skeleton king's palace, each fierce god looking for Ye Chen's figure one by one. Ye Chen sneered and turned away. After three or five hours, they returned to the ancient star of the Long Wu family. Seeing Ye Chen's return, Dragon Five appeared on the mountain as soon as possible, and the robber and the cheap donkey named Qi King also came. Looking at Ye Chen who was jumping around, they were all booing. In recent days, whether it is the tomb zombies, the overbearing scourge, the Quasi Empire strongman being destroyed, and the Skeleton King chasing and killing, which one is indispensable to Ye Chen's figure, it has turned against the sky. Ye Chen glanced at the goods, and then sacrificed dating and many instruments, and released the reincarnated people. The next picture is particularly sensational. The same people from their hometowns, seeing each other again and again, they were all sorrowful, and each tear burst into tears. In this scene, the question mark that made King Key Goods look, and the huge donkey's head couldn't turn a little. Whenever it has something to do with Ye Chen's goods, his mother doesn't have a normal one. It was not until late at night that the mountain peaks were calm. As for the nearly 10,000 reincarnated people, they have left and are temporarily placed in the Long Wu family. As for the fainting Xiao Feng and Fuling, they are still in the Chaos Tripod, nourished by the Chaos Air. On the mountain peaks, there were only Dragon Five and Ye Chen, oh no, and the unreliable Qi King dangled not far, and from time to time he would glance at this area, especially Ye Chen's nagging. It's undeniable that your pretense was okay a month ago. Long Wu said with a meaningful voice, saying that he still handed over a pot of wine, and his snoring voice never ceased. Listening to you, you were there on the day I crossed the street. Ye Chen smiled and took the hip flask. I can make such a big movement, I don't even need to know that it is you. Long Wu grinned. It is only half a holy body. It actually touched the emperor's imprint, and it is two statues, and it is still 133. The emperor takes a dragon emperor and the fighting emperor of the ten emperors are known for their attack. I was almost wiped out. Ye Chen took a deep breath remembering that night, still lingering. The advanced Quasi Sage can touch the imprint of the Tao of the two great emperors. I don't know how many sages you will provoke when you know the advanced sage. Long Wu sighed, visually, it should be shocking. Isn't the advanced sage the self-nirvana of the heavens and the heavens with five declines? Why, and the god of heaven's punishment? Ye Chen stared at the dragon five in amazement. General monks do not provoke God's punishment from the advanced saints. Who made you a desolate ancient body? Long Wu shrugged. With the blood of the shoulders of the emperor, any number of robbers will be different from ordinary people. You should have a deep understanding of this. Your saints are robbed but the heavens and the heavens are declining. It is not possible, but it is certain. The horrors are extremely overbearing. 
Can I think this is an extra reward? Ye Chen said with a twitch. So, if you're not ready, don't take it easy. Long Wu patted Ye Chen on the shoulder. The two emperor's imprints almost destroyed you, let alone three or four. I understand. Ye Chen rubbed his brows fiercely, remembering the saints robbers, and could not help shaking. Say something else. Long Wu opened the topic. A month ago, a starry sky burst. I heard that the world's strongest man was chopped, and the stars were full of noise. That matter can be related to you. It's all about it, Ye Chen said slowly, thinking of a terrible existence in a black hole in space, but a dark lotus flower, suppressed by the armored Tian word, and a quasi empire. Heaven? Quasi Emperor. Dragon Five's face changed, and he didn't know that the beheaded guy Shaikyong was actually Quasi Emperor, and he was still a Quasi Evil, which was appalling. In my guess, the Quasi Emperor demons were in a weak state when they were sealed, and they slept in the black hole in space for a number of years before they returned to the peak. Ye Chen continued, before recovering the peak, only the seal can be broken, weird, and he can walk freely through black holes. I'm curious, how did you escape in the face of a quasi-perfect emperor-level demon? Dragon 5 looked at Ye Chen without squinting. As far as I know, Xian Lun Tian Shao is not effective against demon. It was six ways that saved me and cut off the quasi-perpetual demon. Ye Chen finally said the secret of the night. He's still in this star field. Long Wu was really shocked, very shocked by those six. Not here. Ye Chen shook her head gently. It was because of the smell of the demon that it came across a few stars, not to save me, but to cut off the quasi-permanent demon. To be able to cut the emperor, how strong should he be? Don't talk about him, talk about the celestial family of celestial star. This time Ye Chen changed the topic, you should know the celestial family a million miles away from your family's ancient star, and there is also the reincarnation of Chu. People, namely Shang Guanyu and Huaying, are the maidens of the celestial family. They take the time to connect with each other and take care of each other. They can also be regarded as a safe place for reincarnated people. Tianling family, Long Wu said with a stun, that's a big engine of this star field. I just hope that when Dacha returns to the heavens and the world, everyone in Dacha will be okay. Ye Chen looked up at the starry sky and seemed to be able to see the great mountains and rivers across countless star domains. According to you, the sword and emperor Dachu is set off a hundred years ago, and now most of them have found Dachu. You are too vague ancient dragon soul, you know a lot, can you predict the exact time of Dachu's return? You can't even count it, let alone me. Long Wu shook his head and smiled. It is worth noting that it will not be overnight to bring Da Chu back to all heavens and earth. This time may be one year, or maybe it is possible for two years, three decades, or even a century or a millennium. I hope Da Chu, whose original source is broken, will be able to sustain that time. Ye Chen's discourse was full of worries. Don't think again. For two hundred years, you are too tired. Take a rest. Long Wu smiled. Can't rest. Ye Chen smiled slightly and stretched a lazy waist, the reincarnation of this star field has been found, I should go on the road, and more reincarnation is going to seek. The curse of your charm. This time is for it. Ye Chen took a deep breath. There is no other way. I can only think of cursing with curses. Although this method is dangerous, it is not impossible. Let me some days, I will find a way to rescue. Long Wu said in a hurry. It can't be dragged. Ye Chen smiled slowly and said slowly, My way is too shallow to suppress the charm curse. It is constantly consuming the pupil of Xian Lun's eyes. It used to show the skylight and it was almost backwashed. Over time, Dao Zhen will suffer. You are sure to do this. Long Wu frowned at Ye Chen. The curse is no small feat. Come here, don't get ink. Then try it. Long Wu stood up, but it was Qi King who swept away not far. 
Looking at the King Chi again, he was still swaying. Suddenly he heard that the wind was blowing. When he couldn't respond, he flew out of the mountain on the spot, and then he heard a curse. Long Wu ignored the shouting scold directly. There was such a donkey in the mountain who was afraid of the chaos in the world. How could he be at ease with Ye Chen to curse? As a result, he relentlessly shot and could only let that donkey go somewhere else down the mountain. Here, Ye Chen has sacrificed the enchantment, covering the entire mountain, and does not want to make mistakes during the period. Dragon 5 also started to work, holding a seal on the enchantment, which was related to Ye Chen's life and death. After doing this, the two talents stood opposite each other, but the distance was only three feet apart. They were both like a stone-carved statue. They looked exactly the same, they were extremely solemn, and the next thing would be very dangerous. Because www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. The breeze blew, Ye Chen closed her left eye gently. The next moment, the left eye of the fairy wheel suddenly opened and closed, and the imprint of the fairy wheel moved with it, and the horror pupils appeared, forming an invisible ripple, spreading out indefinitely, and the crushed space was distorted. Ye Chen sacrificed Xiao Yuan, and moved the sky to the Dragon Five. Suddenly, Long Wu's shoulders ignited a black flame. Of course, the flaming flame of the sky shines less than three seconds before it dies, and it touches the curse of being too false. But seeing Ye Chen's eyebrows, and the charm of cursing the pattern, there is an ancient dragon-shaped pattern. That was the external pattern cursed by Taegzukyulong just like the skylight on the previous tomb zombies. Now the skylight on Dragon 5 also triggered the curse, causing him to be too cursed. Well. With the dull roar, Ye Chen hugged his head and knelt down on the ground. His condition was extremely bad in an instant, the fairy eye had confessed himself, the sea of gods was bursting to burst, the sacred body had cracks in many places, and the blood had spattered into a person. The curse is too weak and the curse of charm is not weak. The invisible power is destroying his roots. The look of Dragon 5 changed, and he wanted to help, but he didn't know where to start, and he couldn't help. Ye Chen sat on the ground, and the Yuan Shen came out, and sat cross-legged like the holy body. If you look closely, you can see that among his primitive gods, a black dragon and a white dragon are fighting. That was the cursing of the foreign minister. The black dragon was cursed by charm, the white dragon was too cursed. As Ye Chen guessed, if he bears two kinds of curses, they will overcome each other. The cursing power is against the cursing power. In this picture, Rao is the heart that Long Wu looked at. The two kinds of curses, Ye Chen may be buried at any time. From the moment he cursed too much, everything was beyond his control. As Long Wu thought, everything was beyond control. At this moment, Ye Chen Yuan Shen is like a container. More precisely, it is a battle platform. A battle platform for the battle of the curse of ignorance and the curse of charm. The two curse wars will affect the battle platform. Indeed, due to the battle between the curse of too much imagination and the curse of charm, the power of Ye Chen Yuan Shen was consumed as much as possible and the true body of Yuan Shen also became distorted, and there was always the possibility of annihilation. There is even more thorny. On Ye Chen Yuan Shen, he suddenly appeared thunder, tearing his Yuan Shen. Condemnation Dragon 5's face changed suddenly. In the two curse battles, Ye Chen was already miserable, extremely weak, and condemned. Thunder condemned the thunder, condensed into a thunder dragon, and began to wreak havoc in Ye Chen's body, with death and majesty. It was ferocious, and then turned into a fate, then devoured Ye Chen's vitality. Ye Chen I Yuan's tremor trembled due to the scourge of heaven, which inspired the chaos doctrine. The rules of every chain chain waste, intertwined into Dao dragons, protect the true body of Ye Chen I Yuan's deity, and confronted the sky to condemn Thunder Dragon. Of course, this is not the end the magic road actually came out to make chaos, the evil spirits were surging and turned into a magic dragon. 
Ye Chen Yu and Shen trembled again, the source of the Eucharist became manifest, and turned into the source of the holy dragon to meet the demon magic dragon. Then, Ye Chen was illuminated by the Buddha's light throughout the body, and the day-to-day -day mantra of the pure world resounded, turning it into a Buddha dragon, devouring Ye Chen Yuan's divine power, and it seemed that he would become a devout devotee of the Buddha. The Buddha became manifest, the power of Ye Chen's blood vessels trembled, and a blood dragon was formed to fight against it. But it's not over. Within Ye Chen Yuan Chen, there is a gossip of nine palaces. That is the evolution of Zhou Tian, more precisely, the counterphasing of Zhou Tian evolution. It is a red dragon, which is constantly devouring Ye Chen's cultivation power, and wants to pull Ye Chen to become an uncultivated monk. The raging of the Zhou Tian Ke dragon caused Ye Chen Xi's resistance. Even if the golden dragon turned, it was Xiu's power. He fought with Zhou Tian Ke dragon and competed in Ye Chen's body. Don't worry, it's still over. After the Zhou Tian along, an inexplicable dragon has also manifested, which is the taboo offended by Ye Chen all the way, such as the taboo of fantasy and reality, such as the taboo of the blood succession limit. Many taboos were revealed, and Ye Chen was turned back, turning into a taboo dragon, engulfing Ye Chen's majestic vitality. When there are villains, they have their own decent. Ye Chen's war intentions attacked strongly, the battle dragon manifested, and the taboo dragon was fighting. This time, it's really lively. Enchanted black dragon and Tegzu white dragon, heaven condemned dragon and law road dragon, magic road dragon and origin holy dragon, Buddha road Buddha dragon and true blood vessel, Zhou Tian red dragon and Xiu Jin long, taboo dragon and war will dragon, the whole twelve dragons were fighting in Ye Chen's body. The twelve dragon melee, in addition to the enchanting black dragon and the Tegzu white dragon, is a five to five lineup. One side attacked, the other side defended, and the fight was in full swing. This is a scary picture. There are twelve dragons in the Yuan Shen. Think about it. I don't know how to describe the look of Dragon 5. His half open mouth failed to close for a long time. What does this do, Hodgepodge? Still not messy enough? I'm waiting to get rid of the curse of enchantment. Where did you guys come out and do things? There is no icing on the cake, only worse. Those are all running out of the well. Looking at Ye Chen, she was already in a coma. The twelve dragons were fighting in his body, driving him to the end of the Yuan Shen platform to the brink of collapse. Rao was the one who had never thought of a charm curse that had provoked so many fierce masters. Although comatose, he was still conscious. He didn't know it at first sight, and was shocked at first sight. He didn't know he had so many terrible hidden dangers, as if he had missed the timing, and chose to swallow him completely when he was extremely weak. His primordial began to collapse, and the power of the pure primordial disappeared in the heavens and the earth. Whether it was Xiaowe, the origin, the blood, or the Tao were being annihilated, and he was hurting a lot. Can't lose. Survival would have allowed him to cling to the Yuan Shen Zintai, and he would not die if the Yuan Shen Zintai was not destroyed. Long Wu, like an ant on a hot pot, came forward several times and didn't know how to help. Ye Chen's current condition is extremely bad. Any wind and grass move will make him a disaster. Okay? When the Dragon 5 could do nothing, Ye Chen's collapsed Yuan Shen had power to manifest. It was an invisible force, mysterious and mysterious, illusory and illusory, turned into a mark, more precisely a reincarnation, moving rapidly, the mysterious fairy light was flying. Long Wu's eyes are so high that he can see through it at a glance, isn't it Ye Chen's reincarnation? His eyes were like a torch. Many terrible existences were manifested, and together they destroyed Ye Chen's life, this inspired the reincarnation body. To say this reincarnation is not ordinary hegemony. Once it appeared, it reshaped Ye Chen's collapsed Yuan Shen, and even the Yuan Shen power that Ye Chen dissipated in the heavens and earths was dragged back. Not only that, the overbearing reincarnation, which operates in its own evolution, has continuously resolved the condemned thunder dragon, magic road dragon, 
Buddha rode Buddha Dragon, Jotian Red Dragon and Taboo Dragon in Ye Chen's body. The five-headed dragon is constantly annihilating, and their strength has been returned to Ye Chen Dao Zi, bloodline, cultivation, origin, and warfare, and the look of the five dragons in shock is faint. Roar! 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 As the five savage dragon chants sounded in succession, the heaven-condemned thunder dragon, demon dragon, Buddha Tao Falong, Zhou Tian Along, and the forbidden dragon dissipated one after another, becoming Yuchen Tao, blood, cultivation, origin, and war. Long Wu can clearly feel that they are transforming into Nirvana. God condemned them for dissipating, and the roads in Ye Chen's body were Dao Long, Bloodline Holy Dragon, Origin Holy Dragon, Xiu Jin Long, and Zhan Long. They also dissipated and returned to Ye Chen's body. Is this okay? Long Wu swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Is this a blessing caused by misfortune? Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Roar! Roar! Long Yin sound continued, transmitted from Ye Chen Yu and Chen. Twelve dragons, dissipating ten of them, have only two heads left, that is, the two vain white dragon representing the two vague curse and the fascinating black dragon representing the voracious curse. They are still under attack, without distinction. Although Ye Chen's reincarnation is in operation, he has not interfered in the wars of charm and curse, because Rao is the force of reincarnation and cannot resolve them, so he has to let them fight. What the power of reincarnation can do is to prevent forces other than the two curses from running out of chaos. As they attacked each other, the curse of the charm and the curse of the futility weakened each other in the battle. Long Wu breathed a sigh of relief, there was no other force to make chaos, only two curses were fighting, Ye Chen's pressure abruptly, plus the power of reincarnation to bless the Yuan Shen, his battle platform was more stable. Ye Chen's consciousness gradually recovered in the chaos. Looking inside from the curse of charm and the curse of two faults, he still clung to his heart. He just had to wait until the two curses were annihilated. This is a protracted battle. Ye Chen has spent three hours in the torment since the battle of Taegzu curse and charm curse began. It wasn't until the fourth hour that the two dragon shapes transformed by the curse changed dramatically. Looking at it carefully, whether it is the cursing of the charm black dragon or the two white dragon, they have become transparent, and no longer as fierce as before and the power of their curses is also extremely weak. Carry it down. The boulders in Dragon 5's heart finally let go. Both curses were weak, and they couldn't turn any big waves. Of course, at this moment, it suddenly changed. However, when seeing Ye Chen's self-sealed fairy wheel eye, she actually untied the seal herself, and the fairy wheel mark on the pupil was turning giving birth to an overbearing, powerful, and mysterious force. Then, the enchanted black dragon and the Tegzu white dragon in the weak state were annihilated by the power of Xianyan's manifestation, and the cursing power carried by Yan Miai and Tegzu was absorbed by Xianyan. This. The dragon is five, and I don't know what happened. Ye Chen was also stunned, and I didn't know what happened. I didn't know that Xian Lunyan unlocked the seal on its own, and also hidden such a strange power, that even curses could be absorbed and become nourishment. Zion Luncheon Mantra, open. When the two were in a daze, there seemed to be such a sound in the midst, as if it were from a distant ancient age, with majesty and mystery, people don't know who said it. In only a moment, the enchanting black dragon and the Tegza white dragon were annihilated, and the power of the curse turned into fairy eye nourishment. And with the fascination of the black dragon and Tegzu white dragon, Ye Chen's heartbroken cursed curse and Tegzu cursed divine pattern dissipated, and in his fairy eyes, a powerful force was added. Ye Chen Yu and Shen returned to his position, the whole body of fairy light fluttered, and there were many mysterious visions all around him. This time, he was blessed by misfortune, many terrible beings manifested, and they all went into trouble. Instead of swallowing them up, they stimulated many forces in his body, forced reincarnation, and resolved the crisis. In addition, 
the curse of the charm and the curse of the two false curse, both defeated, was profited by the fairy eye fisherman, swallowed the curse, and became the key to open the gate of the heavenly curse of the fairy wheel, and the forbidden law came into being. The dragon five was stunned, and shocked to add, Ye Chen, a closed eye who looked like a monster. He should be shocked because Ye Chen broke the taboo again. It is not the blood of the immortal family. It has only six fairy eyes, but it has opened the Xian Lun Tian Zhao, Xian Lun Tian Dao, and Xian Lun Born. Now it is opened again. Xian Lun Tian Xian, nine rounds of Xian Lun Forbidden, he has opened the fourth. When the breeze blew, he slowly opened his eyes, his eyes were full of ancient wells, and he became more profound, especially the mysterious power overflowing in the left eye of Xian Lun, which his master couldn't figure out. Niubian. Long Yumin came up and grinned, his face sulking. It turns out that character is very important. Ye Chen stood up and said something meaningful. It's okay to pretend. Long Wu touched his chin and said something with great care. Try the power of Xian Lun Tianxian first. Ye Chen opened the left eye of Xian Lun and aimed at an old tree not far away. Anything that has spirit can be cursed. It is best to experiment with big trees. Heavenly curse. With Ye Chen's frivolity, the eyes of the fairy eye spread, and the swinging space shook. But the old tree trembled not far away, and an ancient mark appeared on the tree. It immediately fell into the tree, and the old tree also changed. Both the trunk and the leaves withered at the speed visible to the naked eye. It continued until it turned into a stack of fly ash. Long Wu was so shocked that when he first saw Xian Luncheon Mantra, the power was really not that simple. Looking at Ye Chen again, he stumbled in situ, his face was pale, and there was blood flowing from the corners of his mouth. Tian Zhao consumes Xiao Yuan, Tian Tao consumes Sperm Yuan, and natural consumption consumes the origin. Even in the sky, I still underestimated Xian Lun's prohibition. The overbearing magical powers all have overbearing counterattacks. Long Wuya whispered and raised his hand on Ye Chen's shoulder, instilling the power of dragon spirit. There is Tian Zhao, and I will never use it against the enemy again. Ye Chen shook her head and smiled. Tian knows how many races have cursed six immortal eyes. I don't want to cause terrible curses because of it. Without suffering, you don't have a long memory. Long Wu closed his palms and turned away from the mountain. You rest first, I will contact the Tianling family and wait for me to return to see you off. Stupid, stupid. As soon as Long Wu got out of the mountain, he heard shouts and shouts outside the mountain. That's King Chi, still annoyed that Dragon 5 had thrown him out of the mountain before, when he saw Dragon 5 coming out, he scolded with a throat, or else he said it was King Chi. The scolding sounds are domineering. Dragon 5 ignored it directly, but had no time to talk to that cheap donkey and went straight to the family ancestral hall. The donkey of Qi King felt uninterested, so he no longer cursed, shook his head and ran up the mountain. However, just three seconds after he got up, he flew out again. He was kicked by Ye Chen, and then he uttered a domineering curse, all his mother is eating shit. Ye Chen also ignored and blessed the enchantment and released Xiao Feng and Fuling together. The two of them were awake and in good condition, but they stood together as soon as they were released. They sacrificed horrific killing swords, and looked at Ye Chen with vigilance, where is this? Who are you? I'm afraid, I'm a good person. Ye Chen grinned and smiled. Good guy. Xiao Feng and Fuling listened, but stepped back again clenched the sword in their hands, and blame Ye Chen's nagging that he really didn't want a good bird, and smiled abnormally. What kind of expression do you two have? Seeing the two still alert, Ye Chen couldn't help but twitch the corners of his mouth and didn't say much anymore. He raised his hand directly, sacrificed fairy light, and flew towards the two of them. You. Xiao Feng and Fuling looked different, trying to block the fairy light, but found that the fairy light was very strange, that is, an illusory fairy light, and they did not enter their eyebrows on the spot. The next moment, 
the killing sword in his hands fell, and he held his head at the same moment. Then, there was a painful groan, and the sea of God was buzzing, and it was about to burst, confusion of the mind. Ye Chen scooped out of the jug, found a comfortable place to sit, and quietly waited for the reincarnated to return. When I didn't know what to do, I saw Xiao Feng and Fuling's bodies stop trembling, the last bit of pain and confusion in their eyes dissipated, and they were covered with tears, all looking at the youth in front of them. Ye Chen? Ye Chen? He spoke in unison, but was extremely husky, vicissitudes of time. Ye Chen smiled, and immediately got up, not too many of them, sacrificed God's knowledge, rolled up many things that happened in these years, and have not entered the two people's sea of God, all they want to know. The two were already in tears, watching each of the familiar figures in Chen Hai, crying silently. The six reincarnations are like a dream. Before she woke up, she was still lying on the shoulders of the old man in Zuch, speaking the last word of love in the world, and he was still standing under the southern city of Chu, holding on to the last inch of land of Da Chua for his life. After waking up, it is past life and past life. Two hundred years have passed. Even in previous lives, they are all powerful men, and it is difficult to accept this ancient dream. It is too false. The night gradually dim. On the mountain peak, there was no more choking sound. The three of them stood like statues, each holding a jug and looking up at the stars quietly. It seemed that they could see the great mountains and rivers through countless years. The reincarnation of Da Chua also came. More than two thousand people were full of wine, and the atmosphere was lively again. Looking at many people in his hometown, Xiao Feng smiled vicissitudes, drank a drink, and looked at Ye Chen, reincarnation of this past life and this life, two hundred years of years, I don't know if my armor is still there. Xin Ting Xiao Feng, never removes his armor, his nephew knows it. Ye Chen smiled, whisked out a pair of armor, and it was stained with blood that had not dried up, the blood of Xiao Feng's previous life. Always ready to go to the battlefield. Xiao Feng smiled heartily, and after two hundred years, he put on the armor again, just like a worldwide general, with a strong tiger body and swallowing mountains and rivers. Predecessor Poria, your kaleidoscope. Ye Chen brushed her hand again, handing a magic sword to Poria. Thank you very much. Fuling whispered a smile and stroked it gently. This is the magic sword she used in her previous life. It has been sealed by Ye Chen and has been stained with the blood of her previous life. Actually, I really want to know what the relationship between you is in this life. It will not be the legendary lover. Ye Chen cleared his throat and looked at Xiao Feng and Fuling with a cough. I don't want to be funny. Xiao Feng smiled immediately and glanced at Poria. We are brothers and sisters. I can rest assured. Ye Chen grinned. Otherwise Zuj Yu's nagging would be very embarrassing. Have you ever found him? Fuling bowed her head, like ripples of watery eyes, full of hope. Not yet. Ye Chen shook her head slightly, then smiled comfortably. If he is here in the heavens and earth, the younger one will find him if he dies. For no other reason, it is your belated love. Thank you. Poria choked, and water mist filled the eyes which condensed into frost in the moonlight. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Sorry, I sent the wrong chapter and missed a chapter. This chapter is chapter 1362. As for the help chapter, it's chapter 1363. Boom! When the three talked, they suddenly heard a bang outside the mountain, ringing through the sky, breaking the night's silence. Ye Chen frowned slightly, got up, and stared at the outside of Xian Chan, Long Wu family for a moment. Outside the mountain, crowds of people like the ocean and the sea, or flying Fijian, or riding spirit beasts, or rising clouds and fog driving, they are all wearing robes engraved with skulls and totems, standing full of imaginary sky. 
Skeleton King Palace. The elders of the Dragon Five family all boarded the Lian Xiao, looking at the mountain pale, with nine sages, nearly a hundred quasi sages, and hundreds of thousands of monks. Such a huge battle, the momentum was shaking. Sacrifice enchantment. Dragon Five suddenly screamed, the Skeleton King Palace lined up like this, killing and cutting the air, the visitors must not be good. Immediately, the Dragon Five family was surrounded by a rainbow of gods from all directions, and a vast enchantment covered Xian Chan. In this regard, the Skull King Palace strongman just looked at it with a smile, but did not stop it. In their view, the so-called enchantment of the Dragon Five family was like a decoration in front of them, which could be broken with a single blow. The ancestors of the Dragon Five family were shocked, woke up from the retreat, stepped into the sky, and when they saw such a battle, they suddenly became pale. But I do nt know what the deist in the Skull Hall means. Why? A black-robed sage in the temple of the Skeleton King laughed, revealing two rows of white teeth, here, those who hide my Skeleton King's temple need to pay the price of blood. Hiding. The ancestors of the Long Wu family were confused, where did the Deia start? If you don't see the coffin, don't cry, attack me. Daohu, have something to say, I'll wait. It's late. The saint in black robes directly interrupted the words of the ancestors of the Dragon Five family, raised his sword to point to the Dragon Five family enchantment, and smiled darkly and obscenely. Suddenly, the quartet trembled in the sky, and the killing array moved by the Skeleton King Palace at the same time revived the power, sweeping out a line of formations, each with a destructive power. Seeing this, both the ancestors of the Dragon Five family and the elders and juniors of the Dragon Five family have become pale, and the sky-forming formations are enough to blow away their mountain guardian enemies, then, waiting for them was the annihilated, and no one was spared. When the Dragon Five family was desperate, countless arrays of magical mansions blasted on the enchantment in any order. Boom! Boom! The rumbling sounded and the world shook. However, in the imagination, the image of the Dragon family's guardian enchantment being broken by a single blow was not shown. Okay? The Sage of the King of Skeletons frowned, his eyes narrowed, and hundreds of attacking arrays failed to shake the enchantment. Compared to them, the ancestors of the Dragon Five family and many elders are also embarrassed. They know how powerful the Skull King Palace attack method is, enough to blow through their mountain guardian enemies in one shot. But now, the Long Wu family's mountain guardian enclave is safe and sound. They haven't been shaken at all. How could they not be surprised? They didn't even know their own powerful mountain guardian. However, where do they know that since Long Wu has awakened the memories of previous lives, they have transformed the family mountain guardian enchantment, and they all use two imaginary arrays, which is not ordinary domineering. Attack, keep attacking. Thousands of surprises, the black robe saint in the skeleton king's palace burst into fury. The saint ordered that he did not dare to disobey, and the Skeleton King Palace strongman once again operated the magic circle and blasted to the enchantment. On the mountain peaks, Dragon Five's face is not very good looking. Although the family guarding the mountain enchantment has a blessing from the array of ancient dragons, it can face absolute suppression of strength. It is only a matter of time before it is broken. Once the enchantment is breached, the family will face a catastrophic disaster, and the Skeleton King Palace is too strong. Looking down, Long Wu turned his head and looked at Ye Chen beside him. Ye Chen seemed to understand the meaning of Long Wu's eyes, and said leisurely, with the evolution of heaven and heaven covering my breath, the Holy King may not be able to track me, let alone his temple of the Skull King. That said, the Skeleton King's Palace was deliberately looking for differences. Dragon Five looked cold for a moment. It's not irrelevant. Ye Chen frowned, as if thinking of something, his eyes fell on Xiao Feng and Fuling, and he found a skull mark in both of them. No wonder. Ye Chen raised his hand and erased the skull mark on Xiao Feng and Fuling's body. It can also be considered as the reason why the Skull King Palace was found so accurately. 
it's a hundred secrets and a sparse one. Xiao Feng said coldly, not knowing that the mark had been planted in his body. Sorry, your family is implicated. Fulling guilty guilt, if it were not for the imprints in their bodies, the Skeleton King's palace would not be found here, in the final analysis, it is their negligence. What are you talking about? Long Wu smiled immediately. Sooner or later, the family and the Skeleton King's palace are going to go to war, but it's just a little bit ahead of time. Why be guilty, I'm a family. The opponent's battle is too huge, and he will lose the battle. Ye Chen groaned, please ask for help. Allies and the Celestial Clan have been notified. Long Wu said, I just don't know if he will come to the rescue, the Skull King Palace is too powerful, and no one in this star domain wants to provoke such terrible existence. How long can the enchantment last? Ye Chen said lightly. No more than a day. Stay as far as possible, I'll go to the Tianling family. Ye Chen said, ready to use heaven to leave. There are Hua Chen and Shang Guan Yuer, why do you run again? Long Wu could not help but wonder. Hua Ye and Shang Guan Yuer asked the immovable family to come to the rescue. Ye Chen smiled. Although they are the maidens of the celestial family, they are far from reaching the level of mobilizing monks. This is a war. The Celestial Family did not have to send troops. Reason, not to mention the other side is the Temple of the Skeleton King. Then you go for nothing, even the Maiden please stay still, let alone you outsider. That's hard to say. Ye Chen smiled and then entered the black hole. If he was alone, he would not be afraid of the Skeleton King Palace, but he would also take care of the people of the Dragon Five family. Once the war began, there would be countless deaths and injuries. This was not what he wanted. I saw it, so he had to ask for foreign aid in person. I hope he can move to the Tianling family. Long Wu muttered as he looked at the direction where Ye Chen left. He thought about the problem too simple. How could the Tianling family fight the Skull King's Hall because they saved a small family? There is a family interest involved here not that they can control it. At midnight, the ancestors of the Long Wu family came, glanced at Xiao Feng and others, and their eyes fell on Long Wu. Dragon Wu smiled. Without waiting for his ancestors to speak, he moved his hand prints, reviving many of the law circles depicted in the four sides of the family, and blessing the mountain guardian enchantment, which became stronger because of it. The ancestors of the Dragon Five family were amazed. I didn't know that Dragon 5 still had such magical powers. It can be considered to understand why the family mountain guardianship became so strong, all because of his grandchildren. Outside the mountain, the black-robed saint of the Skeleton King Palace has frowned more than once. The hordes of a small family are so arrogant that it really exceeded his expectations. I knew this, and he should have sacrificed a knot in the Dragon 5 family. The attack was ordered by Ji Qian, and it was not so troublesome at the moment. Attack, keep attacking. The saint in black robes became more and more angry, and the sound of anger and thunder shook the sky. Skull King Dian Qiang is fierce in all respects, and each one is as devastating as chicken blood. Here, Ye Chen has pierced the black hole, and the place is 30,000 miles away from the ancient star of the Dragon Five family. This starry sky is very lively, and there are not many people who come to watch the show. They all point to the ancient stars of the Dragon 5 family. Many of them have allies in Dragon 5, but they dare not come forward, just wait and see. Ye Chen glanced across the sky like a sacred mang. Target, Tianling Star Tianling Family. Celestial Star, Celestial Family. In front of the main hall, Two kneeling shadows were kneeling down and looked closely, wasn't it Hua Hua and Shang Guan Yuer? Father, please send troops. Father, please send troops. Hua Yan and Shang Guan Yuer kept nodding, and they did NT know how many times they said it, and every time they said it, they would nod their heads once, their foreheads were bleeding, and their tone was begging. There were too many reincarnated people in the Dragon Five family. Those were all loved ones in their hometown, 
they can't sit idly by. As Ye Chen expected, as virgins, despite their noble status, they had no real power at hand, and they even asked the family to go to the rescue. They also had no right to mobilize the family's monk army. Therefore, they can only seek the family in this way, hoping that the family will send troops to rescue the Dragon Five family. Looking around them, the silhouettes were moving, all of them were high-level members of the Tianling family. They were very puzzled about her actions. I didn't know that for a small family, their maiden was so excited. What's the situation? Many elders scratched their heads, and now they don't understand what's going on. The Longwu family and the Tianling family couldn't beat each other. Where did Chuang'er and Shweter make trouble? Two silly girls, don't talk anymore. A kind elder has stepped forward, watching Hua Yu and Shang Guan Yu's blood on his forehead a little distressed, someone said, what is this? Of course, Hua Ying and Shang Guan Yu still didn't get up, bowed their heads to the hall again, with a crying cry of crying, Father, please order to send troops to be a poor poor daughter. Don't make any more noise. A shout rang out from the hall, shaking the hall. A middle-aged man wearing a python robe walked out. His body was magnificent, and the majesty of the superior was manifested in long steps. This person was Hua Yan He. The father of Shang Guan Yu er, the contemporary lord of the Tianling family. Father, please send troops. Seeing his father out of the hall, Hua Yan and Shang Guan Yu er nodded again. I want to know what the Sundust Star is, and I want you to do so. There are our loved ones. Loved ones. Not only the elders present, but also the lord of the Tianling family frowned. The Dragon Five family and the Tianling family never touched each other. Why did they even give birth to their loved ones? Father, Yang Chen Xing really has our loved ones. Hua Yan's tears and eyes were tight, and they didn't plan to explain. Even if it was explained, most of the people present would not believe it. Even if they did, they could not react for a while when the reaction came, the day Lily was cold. Just for a small family, let my Tianling family go to war with the Skeleton King Temple. The heavenly Saint Shen Sheng shook the earth, you know what this means, once the war starts, there will be countless people in my Tianling family. Death, are they not your loved ones? We. Lord of Heaven's Spirit, is it so hot? Before Hua Hua and Shang Guan Yu are finished speaking, a gurgling voice came from outside the mountain, and the voice did not fall, Ye Chen fell from the sky. P.S. Due to the wrong chapters, the background review will be re-reviewed, and the New Year's editing will be closed. The subsequent updated chapters may not be refreshed. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Ye Chen suddenly came, let the people present collectively froze, and collectively cast their gaze. All the elders, including the Lord of the Spirits, looked strangely at Ye Chen, and his eyes seemed to say, My family has enchantments, how did your mother come in? Hua Yan and Shang Guan Yu had got up, hurried to Ye Chen, and looked guilty. In this picture, they are even more confused when they see the Lord of the Spirits, and they don't know what their relationship is. Everyone looked strangely, Ye Chen had saluted, Ye Chen, the younger, has seen you. Ye Chen. Too many elders scratched their beards. Does this name sound so familiar? He is Ye Chen. The Lord of the Spirits surprised, scanning Ye Chen up and down. He had not seen Ye Chen, but he heard the elders say that it was a couple called Ye Chen who saved him. Two daughters, for this purpose, also beheaded two quasi sages and one sage of the skeleton king's palace. He had never seen it before in retreat, but now he saw a real person, and it turned out to be dragons and phoenixes. Is he really that strong? Murmured in the Lord of the Spirit, still unbelieving that rumor. Remembered, the one who saved my maid, also called Ye Chen. When the Lord of the Heavens was contemplating, Many elders patted their heads. The sage, but I remember coming last with a mask. 
I never thought that there was such a beautiful face under the mask. What does the old man think is a thousand-year-old guy? In the past, the little girl suffered. Thanks to the help of her friend, the Tianling family will never forget this kind of graciousness. The Heavenly Lord spoke with a gentle smile. If there is any difficulty in the future, just speak. Coincidentally, the juniors are having trouble. I want to ask the Tianling family for a little help. Ye Chen laughed. Just a little friend. It's not a big deal, just want to ask the Tianling family to send a soldier to Yang Chen Star to save a field. It's Yang Chen again. The elders froze for a moment, looking at Ye Chen like a fool, is this a small favor? This is a war. It's like playing in your mouth. Tian Ling Sheng frowned, dare to ask Ye Chen Ziaowu, what is your relationship with that Sundist star? That's an ancient star in my family. Ye Chen was too lazy to explain, and just pulled a reason. It really shocked me that Yang Chen has such amazing children. Senior, I said yes, you promised to help. Ye Chen drew his ears, and he didn't listen to the Lord of the Spirit to pull these useless things but he didn't communicate with each other, to rescue the soldiers. My friend, I see a nt help the Tianling family at this time. The Tianling lord shook his head apologetically. I will be responsible for the clan. Once the war with the Skeleton King Palace begins, there will be countless deaths and injuries. Father, you can't say nothing without faith. Aside from Huayan and Shang Guanyuer, they both spoke. War. What a child's play. Seniors worry, juniors know. After waiting for Hui Ai and Shang Guanyu to argue again, Ye Chen spoke, and the words were lingering. But it would not be once and for all to destroy the Skeleton King's palace, and there would be no Skeleton King's palace to stare out, I think the spirit house will be a lot safer. Destroyed the Skeleton King's hall. Ye Chen said, hearing the tremors of the people present, what kind of existence it is. The strong are like clouds, and the Quasi Holy King sits in town. You say that it will be destroyed? Little friends, the wish is beautiful, the reality is cruel, my Tianling family can't destroy the Skeleton King's Hall. The Tianling Lord laughed, even if it can be destroyed, I can't leave a few people in the Tianling family, and it will end compared to the Skeleton King's palace, it's not much better. That's right. One of the elders groaned. Not to mention anything else, just the ancestor of the Skeleton King Palace is tricky. It's not good to be obscured by a sharp gun and hidden arrows. What if the ancestors killed the ancestors of the Skeleton King Palace? Ye Chen looked at the old guys with a smile. Don't make trouble, that's the Quasi Holy King, you're a Quasi Holy. If the little friend destroys the Skeleton Ancestor, the Tianling family will send troops. The elder was interrupted by a voice before he finished speaking, and the voice passed from the depths of the fairy hill of the Tianling family. Actually the ancestor. Both the lord of the spirits and the elders present saluted to one party, and a white-haired old man had come slowly in that direction. It can be described as the immortal wind and the only one in the Tianling family. A quasi-sacred king. This star domain name is called Tianling Patriarch. Grandpa. Huayan and Shang Guanyu are also saluted one after another, and did not know how to alarm the family ancestors. The Tianling ancestor smiled mildly and looked at Ye Chen. Little boy, you are satisfied with this answer. Self-satisfied. Ye Chen smiled immediately, but glanced slightly at the ancestral ancestor Yuan Shen, a ray of black gas entangled in it constantly devouring his vitality. What? Ye Chen got closer, and narrowed his eyes to see, then he could see what the black air was, it was a hair, extremely weird, haunting the terrible silence, if it was not heavenly spirit the ancestors were high, or they would have been swallowed up by the hair. The ancestor of Tianling must have entered the tomb. Ye Chen murmured, touching his chin. And it caused a terrible existence. Well, most of the hair belonged to the owner of the tomb, and he got entangled with him. Ye Chen is looking at it vigorously, but it makes the Tianling family's group of old guys look even stranger. 
Did you come to rescue the soldiers? What do you mean by staring at my ancestors? This is a god, this child is sick. Many old guys choked their beards with a long heart, and looked at Ye Chen up and down again. Hua Ying and Shang Guan Yu were embarrassed, coughed and reached out and dragged Ye Chen's nagging. Ye Chen was interrupted in thought, only to find that he was dysfunctional, and he couldn't help but laugh and looked at the ancestor of Tian Ling. Senior, look at the hair for at least 9,000 years. The owner of the tomb should not mess with it. As soon as this word came out, the celestial masters of the heavenly spirits were stunned, but the ancestors of the celestial spirits frowned, and immediately flicked their sleeves, and disappeared in front of the hall in an instant, followed by Ye Chen's nagging. They did not respond to the lord of the spirits, and they did not know why the ancestors of the spirits took Ye Chen away. On a mountain peak, the ancestor of Tian Ling fell, and looked tentatively at Ye Chen, can you see? Ye Chen smiled and nodded. At this juncture, young people have no time to make fun of this with their predecessors. It's terribly terrifying. Tian Ling's ancestor looked at Ye Chen. Even the skeletal ancestor can't see it, but it was penetrated by you at first glance. The old age still looks down on you too much. Senior is ridiculous. It is indeed an ancient tomb. The old ancestor of the spirit sighed. The old husband advanced to the quasi-sacred king. He was arrogant and went to the ancient tomb to find treasures. I saw a lot of treasures, but it also caused a terrible existence. Genfas, you guessed it well, the person buried in the tomb had at least 9,000 years of rest in the tomb, because of my recklessness, she caused her corpse. A 9,000-year-old tomb zombie, the older generation can still come back alive the younger generation is a bit shocked. Causality has its own report. The ancestor of Tian Ling smiled and shook his head. That hair has been entangled with my husband for nearly a thousand years, and has continuously devoured my vitality, and has injured Daogen over the years. I have thought of fighting it, but I can't do it. Then, if it were NT for the permission of the Holy King, it would have turned into historical dust. If the juniors don't come to rescue the soldiers, the ancestors will go to the skeleton ancestors in the near future. Ye Chen's words were long and full of deep meaning, and he thought he could understand. As you said. The ancestor of the Tian Ling smiled and did not deny. My life is gone, and I will soon return to the world. After my death, how did the skeleton ancestor pass the Tian Ling family? It's all dead? but it's better to pull up the skeleton ancestor and go down to Huang Chuan, so as not to make him mess. The seniors are so determined that I can destroy him. Ye Chen Rao looked at the Tian Ling ancestor with interest. You are not easy. Tian Ling ancestor laughed, my husband is not sure if you can destroy the skeleton ancestor, but I will follow you secretly and wait for you to kill him seriously, and I will shoot without hesitation. In order to complete your unfinished business, pull him down to Jiuhuang Chuan. Can younger people think so, seniors are using me. Ye Chen smiled lightly. For the dying, I can do everything for the sake of family heritage, and even violate the morals and use the junior to play for me. The Tian Ling ancestor is also free and easy, at least he can calmly face his dirty conspiracies, this time, it is clear. The Younger Comprehension Ye Chen scooped out of the hip flask. If you change to me, you will follow the path of the older generation. We all have people to protect, even if the means of protection are dirty. I know that I am using you, but you still want to go to the skeleton ancestors desperately. You can't do it so hard, he can't do me. Ye Chen smiled and shrugged casually. I don't know where you are confident. The Tian Ling ancestor couldn't help but smile, but Rao is so, I will follow, you and I have the same purpose, that is to destroy the skeleton ancestor, my mortal body, it's still useful, I might as well play for you. Seniors don't have to be so pessimistic, juniors are hurt by the rule of law. Really? The Tian Ling ancestor suddenly turned his head, his dim old eyes bloomed with dazzling light. The wounds of the predecessors are rooted in the hair, 
although they are more serious than the road injuries, but they are better than the road injuries. Ye Chen smiled, already offering the fairy fire, the flame of Jin Chanken, hanging in his hands. Seeing Ye Chen moving with flames, the old eyes of Tianling's ancestors that dazzled and dazzled, but quickly dimmed again. The old man tried many times, and it is impossible to use real fire. True fire level, naturally doesn't work. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and wrapped the gods of the ancestors of heavenly spirits with fairy fire, Zhuo Xianyan of the Emperor Xian Mu and even Yang Xian fire, and the hair was the object of the dead, it belongs to Xian, Xiang to Xian, which is inherently restrained. It's up to you. Just try it. Tianling ancestor smiled gently, but did not stop, it will take too long, your Sundist star will be under siege, and it will be broken if there is a difference. It didn't take me more than three hours to catch up, Ye Chen said with a smile. It doesn't take long to heal the senior's injuries. One hour is enough, and we will kill them together afterwards. You are optimistic. It's okay to try it, what if it's cured? Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Zion Mu Emperor as soon as possible. Ye Chen suddenly came, let the people present collectively froze, and collectively cast their gaze. All the elders, including the Lord of the Spirits, looked strangely at Ye Chen, and his eyes seemed to say, My family has enchantments, how did your mother come in? Hua Yan and Shang Guan Yu had got up, hurried to Ye Chen, and looked guilty. In this picture, they are even more confused when they see the Lord of the Spirits, and they don't know what their relationship is. Everyone looked strangely, Ye Chen had saluted, Ye Chen, the younger, has seen you. Ye Chen. Too many elders scratched their beards. Does this name sound so familiar? He is Ye Chen. The Lord of the Spirits surprised, scanning Ye Chen up and down. He had not seen Ye Chen, but he heard the elders say that it was a couple called Ye Chen who saved him. Two daughters, for this purpose, also beheaded two quasi sages and one sage of the skeleton king's palace. He had never seen it before in retreat, but now he saw a real person, and it turned out to be dragons and phoenixes. Is he really that strong? murmured in the Lord of the Spirit, still unbelieving that rumor. Remembered, the one who saved my maid, also called Ye Chen. When the Lord of the Heavens was contemplating, many elders patted their heads. The sage, but I remember coming last with a mask. I never thought that there was such a beautiful face under the mask. What does the old man think is a thousand-year-old guy? In the past, the little girl suffered. Thanks to the help of her friend, the Tianling family will never forget this kind of graciousness. The Heavenly Lord spoke with a gentle smile. If there is any difficulty in the future, just speak. Coincidentally, the juniors are having trouble. I want to ask the Tianling family for a little help. Ye Chen laughed. Just a little friend. It's not a big deal, just want to ask the Tianling family to send a soldier to Yang Chen Star to save a field. It's Yang Chen again. The elders froze for a moment, looking at Ye Chen like a fool, is this a small favor? This is a war. It's like playing in your mouth. Tian Ling Sheng frowned, dare to ask Ye Chen Ziaohu, what is your relationship with that Sundist star? That's an ancient star in my family. Ye Chen was too lazy to explain, and just pulled a reason. It really shocked me that Yang Chen has such amazing children. Senior, I said yes, you promised to help. Ye Chen drew his ears, and he didn't listen to the Lord of the Spirit to pull these useless things but he didn't communicate with each other, to rescue the soldiers. My friend, Icant helped the Tianling family at this time. The Tianling lord shook his head apologetically. I will be responsible for the clan. Once the war with the Skeleton King Palace begins, there will be countless deaths and injuries. Father, you can't say nothing without faith. Aside from Huayan and Shang Guanyuer, they both spoke. War. What a child's play. Seniors worry, juniors know. 
After waiting for Hui Ai and Shang Guan Yu to argue again, Ye Chen spoke, and the words were lingering. But it would not be once and for all to destroy the Skeleton King's palace, and there would be no Skeleton King's palace to stare out, I think the spirit house will be a lot safer. Destroyed the Skeleton King's hall. Ye Chen said, hearing the tremors of the people present, what kind of existence it is. The strong are like clouds, and the Quasi Holy King sits in town. You say that it will be destroyed? Little friends, the wish is beautiful, the reality is cruel, my Tianling family can't destroy the Skeleton King's Hall. The Tianling Lord laughed, even if it can be destroyed, I can't leave a few people in the Tianling family, and it will end compared to the Skeleton King's Palace, it's not much better. That's right. One of the elders groaned. Not to mention anything else, just the ancestor of the Skeleton King Palace is tricky. It's not good to be obscured by a sharp gun and hidden arrows. What if the ancestors killed the ancestors of the Skeleton King Palace? Ye Chen looked at the old guys with a smile. Don't make trouble, that's the Quasi Holy King, you're a Quasi Holy. If the little friend destroys the Skeleton Ancestor, the Tianling family will send troops. The elder was interrupted by a voice before he finished speaking, and the voice passed from the depths of the fairy hill of the Tianling family. Actually the ancestor. Both the lord of the spirits and the elders present saluted to one party, and a white-haired old man had come slowly in that direction. It can be described as the immortal wind and the only one in the Tianling family. A quasi-sacred king, this star domain name is called Tianling Patriarch. Grandpa. Huayan and Shang Guanyu are also saluted one after another, and did not know how to alarm the family ancestors. The Tianling ancestor smiled mildly and looked at Ye Chen. Little boy, you are satisfied with this answer. Self-satisfied. Ye Chen smiled immediately, but glanced slightly at the ancestral ancestor Yuan Shen, a ray of black gas entangled in it, constantly devouring his vitality. What? Ye Chen got closer, and narrowed his eyes to see, then he could see what the black air was, it was a hair, extremely weird, haunting the terrible silence, if it was not heavenly spirit the ancestors were high, or they would have been swallowed up by the hair. The ancestor of Tianling must have entered the tomb. Ye Chen murmured, touching his chin. And it caused a terrible existence. Well, most of the hair belonged to the owner of the tomb and he got entangled with him. Ye Chen is looking at it vigorously, but it makes the Tianling family's group of old guys look even stranger. Did you come to rescue the soldiers? What do you mean by staring at my ancestors? This is a god, this child is sick. Many old guys choked their beards with a long heart, and looked at Ye Chen up and down again. Hua Ying and Shang Guan Yu were embarrassed, coughed, and reached out and dragged Ye Chen's nagging. Ye Chen was interrupted in thought, only to find that he was dysfunctional, and he couldn't help but laugh and looked at the ancestor of Tian Ling. Senior, look at the hair for at least 9,000 years. The owner of the tomb should not mess with it. As soon as this word came out, the celestial masters of the heavenly spirits were stunned, but the ancestors of the celestial spirits frowned, and immediately flicked their sleeves, and disappeared in front of the hall in an instant followed by Ye Chen's nagging. They did not respond to the Lord of the Spirits, and they did not know why the ancestors of the spirits took Ye Chen away. On a mountain peak, the ancestor of Tian Ling fell, and looked tentatively at Ye Chen, can you see? Ye Chen smiled and nodded. At this juncture, young people have no time to make fun of this with their predecessors. It's terribly terrifying. Tian Ling's ancestor looked at Ye Chen. Even the skeletal ancestor can't see it, but it was penetrated by you at first glance. The old age still looks down on you too much. Senior is ridiculous. It is indeed an ancient tomb. The old ancestor of the spirit sighed. The old husband advanced to the quasi-sacred king. He was arrogant and went to the ancient tomb to find treasures. I saw a lot of treasures, but it also caused a terrible existence. Genfas, you guessed it well, the person buried in the tomb had at least 9,000 years of rest in the tomb, because of my recklessness, 
she caused her corpse. A 9,000-year-old tomb zombie, the older generation can still come back alive, the younger generation is a bit shocked. Causality has its own report. The ancestor of Tian Ling smiled and shook his head. That hair has been entangled with my husband for nearly a thousand years, and has continuously devoured my vitality, and has injured Daogen over the years. I have thought of fighting it, but I can't do it. Then, if it were NT for the permission of the Holy King, it would have turned into historical dust. If the juniors don't come to rescue the soldiers, the ancestors will go to the skeleton ancestors in the near future. Ye Chen's words were long and full of deep meaning, and he thought he could understand. As you said. The ancestor of the Tian Ling smiled and did not deny. My life is gone, and I will soon return to the world. After my death, how did the skeleton ancestor pass the Tian Ling family? It s all dead, but it s better to pull up the skeleton ancestor and go down to Huang Chuan, so as not to make him mess. The seniors are so determined that I can destroy him. Ye Chen Rao looked at the Tian Ling ancestor with interest. You are not easy. Tian Ling ancestor laughed, my husband is not sure if you can destroy the skeleton ancestor, but I will follow you secretly and wait for you to kill him seriously, and I will shoot without hesitation. In order to complete your unfinished business, pull him down to Jiu Huang Chuan. Can younger people think so, seniors are using me. Ye Chen smiled lightly. For the dying, I can do everything for the sake of family heritage, and even violate the morals and use the junior to play for me. The Tian Ling ancestor is also free and easy, at least he can calmly face his dirty conspiracies, this time, it is clear. The younger comprehension. Ye Chen scooped out of the hip flask. If you change to me, you will follow the path of the older generation. We all have people to protect, even if the means of protection are dirty. I know that I am using you, but you still want to go to the skeleton ancestors desperately. You can't do it so hard, he can't do me. Ye Chen smiled and shrugged casually. I don't know where you're confident. The Tian Ling ancestor couldn't help but smile, but Rao is so, I will follow, you and I have the same purpose, that is to destroy the skeleton ancestor, my mortal body, it's still useful, I might as well play for you. Seniors don't have to be so pessimistic, juniors are hurt by the rule of law. Really? The Tian Ling ancestor suddenly turned his head, his dim old eyes bloomed with dazzling light. The wounds of the predecessors are rooted in the hair, although they are more serious than the road injuries, but they are better than the road injuries. Ye Chen smiled, already offering the fairy fire, the flame of Jin Chanken, hanging in his hands. Seeing Ye Chen moving with flames, the old eyes of Tian Ling's ancestors that dazzled and dazzled, but quickly dimmed again. The old man tried many times, and it is impossible to use real fire. True fire level naturally doesn't work. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and wrapped the gods of the ancestors of heavenly spirits with fairy fire, Zhuo Xianyan of the Emperor Xian Wu and even Yang Xian fire, and the hair was the object of the dead, it belongs to Xian, Xiang to Xian, which is inherently restrained. It's up to you. Just try it. Tian Ling ancestor smiled gently, but did not stop, it will take too long. Your Sundist star will be under siege, and it will be broken if there is a difference. It didn't take me more than three hours to catch up, Ye Chen said with a smile. It doesn't take long to heal the seniors' injuries. One hour is enough, and we will kill them together afterwards. You are optimistic. It's okay to try it, what if it's cured? Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Quick decision. Under the shock of the Long Wu family, five million monks outside the mountain have drowned the army of the Skeleton King. Kill. The Dragon Five held the Dragon Sword and killed Xian Shan, followed by Xiao Feng and Fuling, as well as many reincarnations. As for the weak, do not go out to find excitement. Kill. The ancestors of the Dragon Five family also led the strong family members to kill them. 
Once the war has begun, they will never die. Kill. The waiting allies of the Longwei family have also been killed from the quartet at this moment, and they have seen clearly. The Tianling family and the Skeleton King's palace are at war. The Tianling family leads and is afraid of a bird. The battle was fierce. Under the absolute suppression, the silhouettes of the Skeleton King palace turned into flying ash. This is during the war. Human life is like a mustard. Rao is a saint and a Kwai San is constantly being submerged under the shadow of a tide. There is no suspense in war without suspense. The army of the Skeleton King Siege of the Dragon Five family was only a few hundred thousand, and the army of the Tianling who besieged the Skeleton King of the army was nearly 70 million. The battle ended within three minutes. The strong man here in the Skeleton King Palace was annihilated, and no one was spared, and all became historical dust. These individuals were depressed until death. I thought that breaking the enchantment could catch a few female members of the Dragon Five family to repair it severely. Who would have thought that there was still this bridge, but they were sieged. Go. With the shout of the Lord of the Spirits, nearly seven million monks ascended to heaven and headed for the Skull Star. The news here was passed back to the Temple of the Skull King, and the whole house was shocked. Asshole. The skeletal ancestor was furious, raised his feet and flew out of Xian Shan, his face was extremely embarrassed. As the leader of the Tianling family, he was going to kill the Tianling family to kill his hatred. However, soon after the uncle flew out of Xian Shan, he suddenly settled down, staring slightly at the side of Xiuxian because he felt a powerful breath slowly approaching him, at the same level as him. Skull and Taoist friends this is where to go in a hurry. The words of the cricket rang, faint and ruthless, and the ancestor of the spirit appeared, coming from afar, his body was sometimes illusory and real. It's you. Seeing the Tianling ancestor, the skeleton ancestor looked like a nine demon. You and my grudges, the skeleton king's palace and the Tianling family grudges, all liquidated. The ancestor of the spirit spoke lightly, and the momentum and the dance danced together. This battle, the husband has waited for thousands of years, today I will use Ruzi Skull, to sacrifice my deceased's family, the blood debt will be paid with blood. Arrogant. The skeleton ancestor was furious and walked up into the sky, pushing out a sea of skull blood. The ancestors of Tian Ling didn't speak, only responded with the most powerful attack, evolved magical power with one hand, and shot a galaxy, integrating thousands of mysterious techniques, while the Tao flew inward, as powerful as a giant mountain. Zinc collided with the blood of the skeletons, devouring each other, the trembling sky, the turbulence of the virtual sky, all were the monks of the Quasi Sacred King, and the two of them regretted it, but they were indiscriminate. At this point, the skeleton ancestor was only a little bit bloody, as if he had seen the return of the peak ancestor of the Tianling ancestor. He was puzzled. The ancestor of the heavenly spirit was obviously wounded. He was entangled for thousands of years and never recovered. He is a quasi-sacred king who will end his life, but now he is full of vitality and vitality. It is obvious that the wound has been cured, and its combat power is even higher than in previous years. What happened? Skull Ancestor gritted his teeth. Over the years, he has not aggressively invaded the Tianling family, that is, he is afraid of the quasi-sacred king of the ancestor Tianling. Silence again destroys the Tianling family, but now it is waiting for such an ending. Skeleton ancestors are getting more and more angry. If they knew this, they should kill them in advance and not give them a chance to recover. The Tianling ancestor killed again and his shot was the peak magic power, which was an endless killing technique. The skeletal ancestor was full of fierce faces, and the brows revealed the ancient skeleton pattern, attacking the ancestors of the heavenly spirit. Boom! Boom! The battle began immediately, and the battle of the Quasi Holy King level was not ordinary and spectacular. This heaven and earth broke up, they couldn't withstand the coercion of the two, nor could they withstand the war fluctuations. It can be seen that the same quasi-sacred king, the skeletal ancestors have a weaker combat strength, 
and the ancestor ancestors do a good job. Although the supernatural mysticism is arrogant and has the power to cut the sky and destroy the earth, it can't hurt the ancestors. The fight between the two is in full swing, and in the Skull Fairy Mountain, the look of the king of the skeleton palace is pale. However, neither the skeleton ancestor nor the skeleton king palace strongman had ever noticed that someone had stolen into the skeleton fairy mountain, his body was unpredictable, broke the mountain guardian encirclement, and sneaked in space. That person is naturally Ye Chen. The Tianling ancestors had already discussed it with him before coming, and the division of labor was clear, the skeletal ancestors were handed over by the Tianling ancestors, and Ye Chen was responsible for sneaking into the fairy mountain and destroying the position of the skeleton king's mountain guardianship. Waiting for the Tianling army to kill and destroy the skeleton king hall. Ye Chen's hiding method is still very clever. There is a blessing from Zhou Tian evolution, which cannot be noticed by non-quasi-sacred kings. The problem is that the only quasi-sacred king in the skeleton king palace was fighting off the mountain with the Tianling ancestors, which gave him the opportunity to sneak into it without being aware of his existence. Come to the Skull King Palace again, Ye Chen can be said to be familiar. Settling in a void hole home, Ye Chen opened his fairy eyes and glanced at the quartet. It was easy to find the position of the guardian of the Skeleton King's Mountain Guardian. In addition, there were many attacking formations and virtual sky lore. The array is huge, and Rao is the scalp that he looks at. After keeping all his feet in mind, he moved his steps and went straight to the depths of the Skeleton King's Hall. The last time he came, he noticed that the palace of the Skull King was fascinating in the depths and exuberant spirits. With this vision, there must be treasures, and he is still a treasure, and he can do it when he is idle. Okay? While walking, he was still sneaking in space, could not help but stop, looking sideways at a fairy mountain. That fairy mountain can be described as towering and majestic, soaring into the clouds, it is scary that it is a large mountain piled with heads, measuring 8,000 feet, just looking at them is creepy. How many people have been killed? At least not less than 10 million, Rao is astonished by Ye Chen. Suddenly, Ye Chen stretched out his palm and touched the skull mountain lightly. Of those who died, perhaps there was a reincarnated Da Chu, and he could take them back to his hometown in the future. Blood debt and blood compensation, a whisper in his heart, Ye Chen took another step and stepped into the depths of Xian Chan. Not long after, a fairy lake appeared before him. Of course, Ye Chen can see that the treasure is not this lake, but a green lotus in the center of the lake. It is only as high as a baby and there is light rain pouring. Whether it is a branch or a lotus leaf, it shines with a brilliant luster. Crystal clear, there are gorgeous visions intertwined, very mysterious. It is the lotus of life. Ye Chen's eyes glittered, as if she had seen what Qing Lian was, but it was a magical medicine that supplemented life. It was most useful for those who would end Xiao Yuan. Refining into the body could supplement 500 years of life. To his surprise, the treasure in the Skeleton King's Palace was the Lotus of Life, which was a priceless treasure. The Lotus of Life can be renewed, and it is useful to the person who will end Xiao Yuan, but also to him. Along the way, he touched the sky more than once. It was an injunction that could only be triggered by offering a sacrifice to Xiao Yuan. He wasted more than Xiao Yuan. It was best to supplement Xiao Yuan with this Life Lotus. The spontaneous Ling Lian closed her eyes, Ye Chen glanced around the lake. Skeleton ancestors valued the lotus of life, placing many lines of restraint around the lake. In addition, there are four strong guardians of the Skeleton King Palace in the east, west, north, south, and northeast. Their repairs are all quasi-sacred, and Rao is a war outside the mountains, which did not allow them to leave the lake one step. Ye Chen smiled and sneaked in the space, silently gazing towards the Quasi Sage who sat in the east of the town. It wasn't until he was three feet away from the Quasi Principal that he sacrificed the Chixiao sword, and the sword screamed. Who? The Quasi Holy Vigilant was so alert that he seemed to be aware of the murder. However, 
before he had the slightest movement, Ye Chen's sword had arrived, and a clear hole pierced his eyebrows, blood splattered, the Quasi Sacred was killed on the spot, and the Yuan Shen could not escape. Who? The remaining three Quasi Princesses suddenly changed color, got up, rushed out, and swept to this side. The space was crushed and collapsed on the spot. Although the three Quasi Principles were strong, they did not force Ye Chen, because as soon as they shot, Ye Chen shrank and walked out. Puff! With a splatter of blood splattering, the head of the Quasi Sacred Saint in the south was cut off by Ye Chen, which was also a lore. At this moment, the remaining two Quasi Principles were scared, and their faces were pale. Only one second before and after, the two Quasi Sacred Gods were so killed, and even the shadow of the person who shot them was not seen. Help! At the time of crisis, a Quasi Priest sacrificed a fairy light, and he needed to call the Skeleton King Strongman. However, the wish is beautiful, and the reality is cruel. His fairy light was sacrificed, but before it was hit, he was killed by Ye Chen's sword, and Yuan Chen's true body was instantly cut off. Patriarch save me! The only remaining Quasi San shouted, but as soon as his voice came out, he was annihilated and his spirits fell away. After beheading the four Quasi Sages, Ye Chen blasted the lake with a punch. His fist was so loud that the Skull King Dian Stronger was shocked, and shadows came from all directions. Ye Chen ignored it directly. He had sacrificed the Chaos Tripod, and the tripod turned down, and the whole lake was taken away. Naturally, the Lotus of Life and the Good Lake had only one pit left. Who? When the strong king of the Skeleton King Palace was killed, the four sides were screaming loudly. When the four Quasi priests guarding the Lotus of Life were killed and the lake became bare, all of them understood what was happening instantly. Ziyu and Tianling ancestors mixed in when fighting. It's just that there's no one here. No one's here to see who's moving their hands. Seal this world. Still the sage of the king of the skulls and kings responded quickly and resounded through the heavens, believing that the stealers were still hiding somewhere in this heaven and earth, so they ordered a band to trap the stealers. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Mu Emperor as soon as possible. Skull saints talked about, and four were convenient for someone to shoot, sacrificed out of the enchantment, covering the world. This enchantment is very overbearing. It has the power of banning and the power of destruction. The 80 square foot space collapses so much that Ye Chen, who just wanted to get rid of him, was forced out on the spot. Awkward. Ye Chen stabilized his body and ran slowly, didn't he get surrounded? Hand it over. The skeleton saint was angry and exposed, and the fierce light was exposed. He had sacrificed his holy sword and was ready to take down Ye Chen. Like him, all the strong men in the Sifang Skull King Palace also sacrificed their killing tools. Hundreds of killing forces have recovered and aimed at Ye Chen. The Lotus of Life is the treasure of the Skull Palace. No. Ye Chen was just like nothing, saying that he didn't forget to sigh at Chixiaojian, and then wiped it with the sleeve, it was a dead pig who was not afraid of boiling water. Court death. The skeleton saint was so angry that he stepped into the enchantment in one step, spreading his dry palms and grabbing Ye Chen. Ye Chen sneered, never regressed, waved his arms, the fairy light was rolling, overflowing with chaos, each strand was as heavy as a mountain, and the space where healed was just broken. The sage of the skeleton changed drastically, and was drowned on the spot. Upon seeing this, the four-way Skull King Dian strongmen were all astonished, and they did not know what kind of magical power Ye Chen used, but they were so miserable in a single blow that their sage was so arrogant. Kill, kill me. The Skull Sage exudes a shawl, fierce-looking, and growls like a mad dog. Immediately, hundreds of killing arrays swept out of the dead goddess, and the Skeleton King Palace strongmen also moved to kill the sword, or the sword, or the palm seal or the magic weapon, overwhelming. With such a large number of attacks, Rao Ye, Ye had to temporarily avoid the frontal edge, 
and then rushed into the black hole in space. However, the quartet's attack did not stop because of his disappearance. He only entered the black hole in space, and the overwhelming attack arrived. This side of the world was so blasted on the spot that the shock was so great that many fairy hills of the Skeleton King Palace suffered. Affected, collapsed suddenly. With such fierce movements, the skeleton ancestor who fought outside the mountain against the Tianling ancestor looked sideways. Asshole. The skeleton ancestor suddenly turned around, as if he had seen the picture of the depths of the skeleton king's hall across countless peaks, and the lotus of his life was stolen, but it was something he was planning to extend. Of course, he wanted to leave, but the ancestor of the spirit did not give it a chance, and killed in an instant. The sword merged with the quasi-sacred king, and it was utterly domineering. He almost split it with a sword. The skeleton ancestor was furious and dragged his blood away. The ancestors of Tianling were savage, chasing after them with a killing sword in their hands, and one sword cut out a vast universe of stars. The resumption of the war is even more tragic. The skeletal ancestor was enraged, the lotus of life was stolen, and the power of the siege of the Skull King to siege the Dragon Five family was destroyed, which caused him to fall into a violent state instantly, just like a lunatic. Blood, stained with vanity, those with skeleton ancestors, and heavenly ancestors, a quasi-sacred king went mad, still terrible. Rao is the ancestor of the heavenly ancestors, and was not badly affected. At the same time, nearly seven million monks led by the Lord of the Spirits came to death, like a black curtain covering the sky, Ling Tien came, surrounding the entire skeleton king's palace and the array of attack methods was full of virtual sky. Seeing this battle, the Skull King Diane Strong was trembling with tremor, and hurriedly strengthened the Mountain Guardian enchantment. Attack The Lord of the Spirits of the Heavens is very popular, drinking like a thunderous world, Yang Jian Yeo refers to the Skull Fairy Mountain. Nearly 10,000 attacking formations regained power at the same time, immortal light fluttered, dying energy raged, and the formations of gods gathered together into the ocean. With the destructive power, they drowned the skeleton king Xian Chan. However, the guardian realm of the skeleton king palace is too strong, and Rao is able to shake half a minute with nearly 10,000 magic circles. It's my turn. Ye Chen killed from the black hole in space, shrinking into a step, and boarded a vast mountain peak. Above this mountain peak, there is a huge array of 800 feet, which is the central formation of the Skull King Palace's mountain guardian encirclement. He had already seen that the central formation would naturally be destroyed. You are not dead yet. The guardian of the Skull Hall, who guards the front of the center, looks at Ye Chen unbelievably, but he does not know where Ye Chen is still alive, or where Ye Chen came from. It is worthy of recognition that his goal is to form a platform the ultimate goal is to disintegrate the guardian enchantment from within. Hold him. The Skull Palace strongmen drank violently. If the tide came, knowing Ye Chen's purpose, they would not let it succeed. The central array platform is very strong. Once destroyed, the power of the guardian enchantment will plummet. Once the guardian enchantment is breached, it is impossible to meet the palace of the Skeleton King. Roll. Ye Chen came on the sea of magic evil blood, left-handed dragon sword, right-handed Chixiao sword, all the way to kill. The blood, which instantly reddened the mountain, and even more powerful Ye Chen, the ancestor of the skeleton, could not be blocked by ordinary people. Wherever he passed, the strong men in the Skull King Palace turned into pieces and turned into flying ash. More Skull Palace Powerfuls came, but it was too late, because Ye Chen had already killed the front of the center array. Break me! Ye Chen slashed the center array with a knife, turned his sword, and cut off the lines on the mountain. In an instant, the guardian realm of the Skeleton King buzzed and shuddered. It became thinner instantly. The central array platform was the main realm of the realm. Now it is destroyed. What a blow for the realm of the guardian. Next place. Destroyed the center array platform, Ye Chen disappeared in an instant, appeared again, 
is a mountain peak opposite. Then, there was a rumbling sound on that mountain peak, and the blood mist was diffused. The strong men in the skeleton hall guarding the battlefield were all cut off, and the battlefield on that peak was also broken by Ye Chen. The guardian enchantment trembled even more, and with the bombardment of the Tianling army, the enchantment almost collapsed. Kill him. The Skull King Palace is strong like Wang Yang Yang. If Ye Chen is allowed to destroy the enchantment formation, the Skull King Palace will not stand for more than a quarter of an hour. Guarding the enchantment is their last barrier. However, Ye Chen is no matter who he is. His speed of opening is unparalleled. In addition to his overbearing combat power, even if he catches up with him, he cannot stop him. Even if he stops him, he is also killed by his power. It was a staggering picture. The Skull King Palace was as strong as a cloud, one piece after another, but he couldn't do anything with Ye Chen, and Ye Chen did not fight with it, specializing in the formation of enchantment. The Skull Star was turbulent, and there was a battle between the skeleton ancestors and the heavenly ancestors in Juxiao Su, there was an army of heavenly spirits bombarding the enchantment below, and there was Ye Chen's wild mess in the immortal mountains. Boom! With a thunderous sky blasting, the skeleton king palace guarded the enchantment, and it exploded. Hundreds of immortal mountains were shattered and collapsed, and they were built as weak skeleton palace disciples. I do nt know how many were destroyed. Kill. The Holy Spirit Lord first entered. Kill. The army of heavenly spirits poured in from all directions, like a raging sea of ocean, flooded the skeleton king palace. Ye Chen no longer fled, and suddenly turned around, Yi Jian Sheng split a sacred monk in the skull hall. It's all you. A saint roared from the temple of skulls, with a fierce face like a ghost. He didn't even think about escaping, because he couldn't escape at all, he just wanted to pull Ye Chen down to Huang Chuan before he died. If it wasn't for Ye Chen's troubles and constant destruction of the enchantment formation, and the skeleton king palace might have the opportunity to defeat defeat, it is Ye Chen who pushed the skeleton king palace to a state of utter danger. Ye Chen didn't say a word, only responded with the strongest attack, with an indifferent look and no compassion. War is at stake. This is the real shocking world war. The number of people participating in the battle has reached nearly 10 million. It has gone up to the emptiness of the sky, down to the vast earth, as far as the emptiness of the sky, and as close to the towering mountains as possible. Into the sky, there are also people who have fallen to the earth. This is the real life of a mustard. The saints are inexperienced, let alone a quasi-sage and a monk in the realm of the emperor. They can't even escape, they all have red eyes. They are endless. Outside the skull and stars, many monks gathered, mostly casual and neutral forces, to watch the battle. Seeing this picture, everyone was in a state of mind. The hiss, his tongue, his emotions and his shock turned into a tide, one wave higher than the other. That's the Skull King Palace. A big engine of this star field, the strong one is like a cloud, and the quasi princess monk sits in the town, but now he is under siege by the quartet, no accident, he will be removed today. Too many people still watch it with great joy, just because the Skull Hall has created too many killings in these years. It will be considered as retribution to be destroyed today. Without them, this star field will be much more peaceful. Dry. Looking at it, someone actually entered the Skull Star. Dry. Once someone has entered, a chain reaction will be set off. Those who have been oppressed by the Skeleton King Palace and those who have blood debt with the Skeleton King Palace all these years have waited for this day. Dry. More people killed and went into the army of monks, all allies of the Skeleton King Palace. It's just that the allies of the Skeleton King Palace are killed, but they are not fighting the Tianling army for the Skeleton King Palace, but they are fighting the Skeleton King Palace. Although they are allies, they have not been harmed by the Skeleton King Palace in recent years. Alliance is not sincere, how can we help? Moreover, the fools can see that in this battle, the Skeleton King Palace will be defeated. 
who would stupidly find it uncomfortable to help the Tianling army, it can be regarded as a loyalty, so that the Tianling army will not settle accounts after the fall. At this moment, the Tianling army, which has the absolute upper hand, is stronger and more powerful. Suppressed by absolute forces, the Skeleton King Palace is not an opponent. As they had previously thought, once the Guardian Realm was breached, they would not last more than a quarter of an hour. The war was over and the whole army of the Skeleton King Palace was destroyed. At this moment, everyone is looking at Sun Xiuxian. If there is another person living in the Skeleton King Palace, it is the Skeleton Ancestor who is still fighting against the Tianling Ancestor and the battle is extremely fierce. Puff. In the spotlight, a figure fell to Juxiao, and his body burst in the fall. Looking closely, it is the ancestor of the skeleton. He was defeated. He was also the quasi-sacred king. He was defeated by the ancestors of the heavenly spirit, but with unwillingness and anger. Until now, he did not know why he lost so terribly, what went wrong. However, no one told him the answer, and some were only Ling Tianyi, the ancestor of Tian Ling. Repeated chapters have been modified. Everyone may not be able to display them normally. Solution, delete Immortal Emperor from the bookshelf, and then add Immortal Emperor to the bookshelf. This will display normally. Sandeo apologizes for the inconvenience caused to everyone. Everyone subscribes to the loss of repeated chapters. I will pay for it. New Year's Eve 30 red envelopes. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Puff. The skeletal ancestor turned into blood mist, and the flesh and the perished together. As he was slain, this worldly battle ended. Overlooking from the sky, hundreds of thousands of miles have been stained with blood, and the world has become bloody. It looks like an infernal hell, and the hearts of people watching are really bloody. The Tianling ancestors returned from the sky of emptiness. Without a word, he stepped into the Skeleton King's palace. Today's Skeleton King palace is in ruins. Thousands of immortal mountains have fallen during the war. Only one is retained, which is the mountain piled with skulls. The ancestor of Tianling raised his hand, pushed the skull Xian Shan, and swept away the skulls. Countless people behind also came forward, crying crying, holding their skulls. They were their ancestors. They were chopped in the past and were piled up here by the king of skeletons. After years, the sea was victorious. Finally can welcome them home. Ye Chen looked silently, there were thousands of skeletons, and there might be reincarnated people, but he could not recognize them. The wind blew, the Tianling ancestor turned around first, and the form was even older and more dignified, the quasi-sacred king, but it was only after thousands of years that the deceased had come to welcome the Tianling family. Sadness was imagined. The monks of the quartet turned around, holding skulls in their hands and fighting a great victory, but their way home was tears all the way. The skeleton king palace was destroyed. Watching the Tianling army each set off on their way home, the spectators took a deep breath. Who would have thought that the Great King Skull King Palace was so destroyed, and who would have thought that the siege of a family of five little dragons had caused such a huge war? Too many people are also ancestors of skeletons. This is a situation, and you can't fight at a glance? Gone. The spectators have also dispersed, the Skeleton King Palace has been destroyed and the power of this star domain will be reshuffled. The Tianling family will become the new king of this star domain. Countless people went west, and only one went east. That's Ye Chen, the loneliness of the back, this reincarnation of the star domain has been found, and he is on his way. In front of the starry sky, a figure stood as many as two thousand, all of which are Ye Chen's familiar faces, headed by Long Wu, Xiao Feng, Fuling, Hua Ying, and Shang Guanyu are all there. Ye Chen coughed, stepped forward, and had not spoken yet, and saw Qian Ying pounce into his arms, it was Shang Guanyu, with tears in his face, never say goodbye, is this going to go? 
it's sensational, really want to cry. Ye Chen shook her head and smiled. I don't understand the mood at all. Shang Guan Yu let go, a little anxious, and while wiping the tears on his cheek, he stared at Ye Chen's stern look again, come back and marry me. I'm afraid that when I return, you are already an old woman. Ye Chen smiled slightly, as the wind passed, they waved at Long Wu and Xiao Feng, and walked to the distant starry sky. He s married again, and he will meet again every year, and I hope that your children will be full. I also expect you to find Chu Ling and Chu Xian. Long Wu also waved their hands. He was still alone on the road, and this parting, I don't know how to see you again, maybe it will be a hundred years. Under everyone's attention, Ye Chen Xiao Si's back gradually blurred, until it turned into a ray of starlight. As Ye Chen walked, his pace accelerated, like a godly mansion, across the starry sky of Hao. He is a passerby. Every star and every star field in these heavens and earths is just a post station for him. When he is tired, he will take a rest and take away the dust. Change day and night, reincarnation day and night. In the blink of an eye, it was another three or five days before he stepped out of the star field and set foot on a new expanse of star fields. He stopped, glanced forward, and then he turned to the back, seeing a four-footed animal swaying along, humming in a minor key, and hesitating carefully, but is it Kikai's donkey? This donkey is also strange. He came out of Starfield and followed him all the way. He followed him wherever he went, like a dog skin plaster. He couldn't shake it off, and he hummed the thief's impulsive minor all the way. What are you doing? Chi King stepped forward with a vigorous pace, shaking the donkey's tail very rhythmically, as he saw Ye Chen for the first time, obliquely looking at Ye Chen. Nothing. Ye Chen Ruokyang's mace sticking out casually, did not forget to take a sigh to the top, and then rubbed it with the sleeve of his sleeves, wiping brightly. Don't make trouble, and want to punch me again. The donkey immediately persuaded, and even the mule of the donkey's tail went down. Follow me all the way, what do you want to do? Ye Chen revealed two rows of white teeth, looked at the donkey with interest, and smiled abnormally, and the donkey looked hairy. Speak nonsense, I'll go with my relatives. This is fresh. Ye Chen sighed, looked at the King Chi up and down, and said something meaningful, visually, your old man should be a donkey too. I don't know, donkey. If you chat like this, it's easy to be killed if you go out. Don't talk to me about these useless things, and say, what do you want to do with me? Ye Chen raised his mace. That must be a good thing. Chi King grinned and revealed two rows of thief-sized donkey teeth, and the smile was not ordinary wretchedness, there is a baby, there is a big baby in this star field. You follow me and have a baby or bird relationship with this star field. There must be a relationship. The King of Chi and his legs hoisted and simply sat there. I can't get it by myself. I need your help. We should divide the two equally and not lie to you. That's a big treasure. How big? Ye Chen glanced at the Donkey King, alas, King Chi. Almost so big. Chi Chi made a gesture with two donkey hooves, feeling that he was smaller, and consciously zoomed in a circle, well, it should be so big. Ye Chen touched his chin and looked at the two donkey hoofs of Chi King. Then he looked at the strangely long donkey face of Chi King. Can you tell me what you are comparing? Egg. Chi Wang's domineering side leaked a word. Egg. Don't make trouble, it's not such a big egg, it's a dragon egg. Dragon egg, can't. Ye Chen looked at King Chi with an unbelieving look, I haven't heard of it. I know this. Chi King shook his donkey's head. I'm the best at finding a baby. Who has a baby, who doesn't have a baby, who has a big baby, and whose baby is small, I see. I knew it at a glance, and said that dragon egg, I could smell it all the way. I don't know that you still have the skills to blast the sky. Ye Chen looked at the King Chi again with a meaningful look, and consciously moved his storage bag to the place. 
it's useless if you don't talk about it. Chi Wang cast a charming little wink at Ye Chen. No, Ye Chen said neatly, and he was about to move forward, joking, it was a dragon egg, even if you give it to you? There will be two dragons to chat with you someday. Don't. It's a dragon egg. If I beat you, I'm going to thunder and thunder. Chi King hurriedly got up and followed, but it was so inch, just a word, there was a thunderous thunder that sounded above the sky this shocked the starry sky. Don't care about those details. King Chi took a look down, glanced at nothing, and reached beside Ye Chen. But that's a treasure. Raising is a dragon, he said. Ye Chen ignored the goods, took a step consciously, and glanced subconsciously at nothing. He wasn't afraid of the thunder, and he was afraid that the thunder would crook him and swear on him. But I couldn't get so close, I was struck by lightning. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Mu Emperor as soon as possible. Boom. When Ye Chen looked at the sky, he heard another boom. Of course, this boom is not passed from nothing, nor is it from thunder, but from not far away. Hearing the sound, Ye Chen raised her eyebrows, closed her eyes in vain, and lifted her eyes to the distance. Even the Qi King who was about to continue spraying, followed Ye Chen's eyes and looked at the source of the booming sound. As they watched, a distant boom rang again, one after another, and was unusually noisy. Listen carefully, but there is someone fighting, and the two sides of the fighting are not low, otherwise it will not create such a big movement, even this starry sky will be buzzed and shaken. Soon, three figures appeared, two old men in blood robes and one young man. The two old men in blood robes wore the same robes, and there was a totem depiction of the moon on the robes. Needless to say, they belonged to the same force. As for the young man, it was strange. The long hair was purple. The dragon in circles and bursts of dragon chants. It can be seen that the person who was hunted down was a young man with purple hair, who was repaired by the imperial realm, was actually besieged by two quasi-sacred people, covered with blood, and had a sensational blood hole in his chest, which was very scary. Ye Chen glanced at it, and did not look at it anymore. He stepped forward. Although he knew that the young man with purple hair would die, he did not intervene. He is not a savior, and the world is always a strong one. Seeing Ye Chen leave, King Chi also looked away and hurriedly chased after him, whether you can do it. I want to do you, I'm very busy. Ye Chen dropped a word, the pace was not reduced, he had no time to talk nonsense with a donkey, and at that time might as well look for a reincarnated person. The King Chi was anxious, and four donkey hoofs followed, and continued to fudge Ye Chen to engage in dragon eggs. Of course, Ye Chen said that the smallpox was falling, Ye Chen was indifferent. Instead of being indifferent, the pace accelerated a lot. He just wanted to find the reincarnation of this star field as soon as possible. This star field is extremely special, it is the star field closest to the barren continent. Therefore, as long as he walks through this star field, he will not be far from the barren continent. He needs to go to the barren continent as soon as possible to inform Kun Lun Su and the temple of the encounter of the demon in the black hole. Today, the sword gods of the heavens and the emperor of the great Chu are both in the great Chu. Hey? As she was walking, Ye Chen uttered a flick in her heart, and suddenly stopped. Seeing Ye Chen stop, Chi Wang's donkey's eyes lighted up and there was a show in the dark road, and he immediately stepped forward to prepare to spray. However, Ye Chen didn't look at it, but the other side. There is a beautiful fairy light coming from the sky. It is a shadow of Tsing Yi, holding the Excalibur at a very fast speed. Looking at the direction, it is directed at them. To be more precise, it is departed with the two old men in blood robes and the young man with purple hair. At this moment, King Qi Donkey's eyes widened, because the Tsing Yi woman was too beautiful, like the following fairy. Ye Chen's eyes were also bright, not because the woman was too beautiful, but because her cheek was exactly the same as one of Da Chu's reincarnations, 
or she was a reincarnation. While speaking, the Tsing Yi woman has set foot in this starry sky, and without a word, she has joined the war. This Tsing Yi woman is much more fierce. Although it is a quasi holy practice, the combat power is not ordinary arrogance. A sword cut out a galaxy and shocked two quasi holy old robes. It wasn't until thousands of feet away that the two old men in blood robes stabilized their bodies and saw the beauty of the Tsing Yi woman. Suddenly, the two changed, as if they knew the horror of the Tsing Yi woman, they didn't even want to open up directly. If the face of the woman in Tsing Yi was frosty, Lian Buletin moved lightly across the starry sky, and one sword cut off one of the old men in the blood robes, but killed one sword, and the old man in the blood robes died together with the Yuan Shen. The second old man in the blood robe dared to turn back, burned Xiao Yuan, and increased the speed to the extreme. However, it is difficult to turn around, and it is difficult for him to catch up with the Tsing Yi woman and annihilate with a sword. Two strokes beheaded two quasi sages, not only the king of Qi, but even Ye Chen couldn't help sighing. The Qi king sighed about the combat power of the Tsing Yi woman, while Ye Chen sighed about the blood of the Tsing Yi woman, which was actually the body of the Tao spirit. It was exactly the same blood as the official Han Yu in the previous life. Ye Chen had to sigh, for a reincarnation, many things were messed up, such as Bai Yu has the same Wan Hu a pupil as the previous life, Yan Guan Han Yu has the same blood veins as the previous life Jining Shuang, such as the Tsing Yi woman has the previous world official Han Yu same Tao spirit body. In addition to these, there are those messy generations. When the two sighed, the Tsing Yi woman had closed her sword and returned to the young man with purple hair. Jade's hands were placed on her shoulders, instilling innocence and innocence, and powerfully wiped out the horrific killings in her body. Ye Chen moved and walked up. He was better than the Tsing Yi woman than healed. Since the Tsing Yi woman was a reincarnation, and it happened that the purple-haired young man was related to her, he would never hesitate. Of course, he only took two steps, and his look suddenly changed, because a dim light did not know where to shoot from with a smashing hole and a penetrating force, the target was the Tsing Yi woman. The dim light appeared too abrupt, and as fast as lightning, Rao was unable to respond. The woman in Tsing Yi was tricked on the spot, her body was pierced, and every splatter of blood splashed was extremely dazzling. She could have avoided it. All to protect the purple-haired young man, it was because of this moment that she had no time to fight against the dim light, and she was pierced by her body. Asshole. Zifa youth was furious and came in, but was pushed away by the woman in Tsing Yi. Pushing away the purple-haired youth again, she sacrificed the Excalibur again, staring frostily at a dark starry sky with a very cold tone, dignified saints, so secretly using secret calculations. The old man only cares about the result, the process is not important. The quiet voice sounded, an old man in a black robe came from a distant starry sky, also wearing a moon robe, holding a blue dragon cane, some old, his skin was wrinkled, and he was old. The eyes are even more opaque. Come on. The woman in Tsing Yi transmitted a voice to Zifa youth, but she went straight to the old man in the black robe with a sword in her hand. She could cut the saint, but she was not a saint's opponent, let alone injured. I. Let's go. As soon as Zifa youth's voice came out, she was interrupted by the Tsing Yi woman. Walk. Are you gone? The old man in black sneered sneered, moved a few thousand feet in one step, and killed in an instant, covering the starry sky with a single palm, the coercion of the starry sky was crushing. The woman's jade hand in Tsing Yi was stained with blood flowing from the corners of her mouth and smeared on the Excalibur. But when the Excalibur appeared on the Excalibur, the chirping of the sword screamed, it seemed that she wanted to perform a taboo magical power. Of course, without waiting for her to fight against the old man in the black robe, Ye Chen was killed. He appeared in front of her like a ghost, and the fist punch was powerful, and the punch of the old man in the black robe was blown. Rao is a saint. The old man in black robes was also shaken back flying all the way out 8,000 feet. 
The woman in Tsingyi was stunned, and she looked at Ye Chen who was standing in front of her. One was wondering who Ye Chen was, but shocked Ye Chen's fighting power, and the prospective monk struck a sage with a punch. For a brief moment, Ye Chen had already killed the old man in the black robe like a savage beast. Eight thousand feet away, the old man in the black robe has stopped his body, he is embarrassed, his palms are cracked, his blood is dripping, his face is as fierce as a demon, he is a sage, and he was beaten and flew face to face, he even did not see who the other party was, only that it was a quasi-sanity. Who is it? The old man in black robes roared and broke the starry sky in one step. Coincidentally, he who killed himself from the west to the east collided with Ye Chen who killed himself from the east to the west. He still had time to use the great killing technique, and he was blown away by a punch from Ye Chen. What? The old man in black robe exudes his hair, and the roar shakes the starry sky. Ye Chen didn't say a word, only responded with the most powerful attack, dare to attack the reincarnated, how could he be good? Boom! 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 The starry sky became unsettled, and the booming sound was endless. The sad old man in black robes called loudly, but was unable to lift his head, or had no room to fight back, and was beaten by Ye Chen all the way to the east. When he arrived in the western starry sky, he saw blood. Such a scene of blasting the sky, seeing that the Tsing Yi woman Ye Kao slightly opened, it has not been closed for a long time. She thought that in the quasi-sacred, she was already strong enough, but two strokes and two quasi-sacred sacred, but did not expect that there is more perverted than her, a sage was beaten without even a chance to breathe. The Zifa youth was also shocked. He had seen the sturdy Zunchen, but never seen such a sturdy one like Ye Chen. Compared to them, King Qi goods are much calmer. I knew Ye Chen's combat power and had the power of a quasi-sacred king. He was not playing with a saint. How about the Eucharist? Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. What? The starry sky is still not calm, full of the voice of the old man in black robes, but now it is no longer a roar, but a scream. Otherwise, what about saints? The screams were so domineering. He is a sage who is not fake, but is unknown all the way by the way. Until this moment, he really knew Ye Chen's strength, not only horror, but also evil spirits, more scary than that Tsing Yi woman, and the bloodlines made him shocked. Dignified saint, he turned and fled, and if he continued to fight, he would most likely become a dust of history. However, he didn't rush away for his escape. The road to Huangchuan was quite normal. Compared with the speed of opening and closing, he missed Ye Chen a lot. He was caught up shortly after he escaped, and the picture was bloody. The trembling starry sky soon returned to calm. The old man in the black robe was destroyed, and he was aggrieved until death. He was murdered by a quasi sage. If he had known such a rude master, he would never run out to pretend, and he would not die. Under the attention of the Tsing Yi woman, the youth with purple hair, and the King Qi, Ye Chen returned with heavy steps like mountains and raging seas, with the hands of the old man in black robes and hands. The saint's physical body is a good thing. It is best practiced as a guard to the reincarnation. However, he does it all the way, and always leaves the reincarnation secure before leaving. The women in Tsing Yi and the youth with purple hair have stepped forward, saluting, thank you friends for helping. I want to know what the relationship between you is. Ye Chen smiled at the Tsing Yi woman and the young man with purple hair while receiving the body of the old man in a black robe. Don't tell me that I am a lover. Before, the senior laughed. Zifa youth coughed. She is the younger aunt. Every generation has been declining, and this time it has finally risen again. Ye Chen said with a deep voice. This sentence made the Tsing Yi woman, the young man with purple hair, and even the King Qi who came here, one of them. He didn't know what Ye Chen was talking about. He said that he was also a senior. Ye Chen smiled slightly, 
did not explain the problem of seniority, just looked at the Tsing Yi woman quietly. Looking at it, her expression became a bit embarrassed, as if she remembered the past, it was an ordinary farmyard. She was holding Ye Xing Chen, who was covered with blood. She was stupid, repeating that sentence. Leaving words. You promised me to grow old with me. She is a reincarnation of Da Chu, a reincarnation of Xing Er, and a former daughter of Xing Ye Palace and the wife of Ye Xing Chen. However, this godlessness turned their marriage into a funeral. Ye Xing Chen was beheaded by Wu Xianjian, and she was desperate holding him under a peach tree into a cloud. So far, Ye Chen still remembers taking Ye Xing Chen to Xing Ye Gong to propose relatives, and he still remembers the miserable picture. They want to be ordinary people, leaving a lot of blemishes. For a while, Ye Chen raised his hand slightly, and there was fairy light lingering on his fingertips, which was the fairy light that awakened memory. However, he did not sacrifice the secret technique to awaken the memory of previous lives, and his raised hand was slightly lowered again. He is not sure if a person like Ye Xing Chen can be reincarnated. He needs to prove it. If he can be reincarnate, he will undo the seal of her previous life. But if Ye Xing Chen is not eligible for reincarnation, then she will unlock her seal unveiled a miserable past. After much thought, he still decided to temporarily dispel the idea and did not want to repeat the events of that year. At the scene, the atmosphere was a little weird. Ye Chen didn't speak, just staring at the Saint Xingyu. The Xingyu maiden is seen unnaturally. She is a Kuei Sai San, and is not a general Kuei Sai San. Her blood is extremely overbearing. She is the pride of the sky. Never had her peers stared at her like this. However, for some reason, she had an inexplicable feeling, as if she had seen this young man before. To her side, Zifa Youth has wanted to speak more than once, but she didn't know how to speak. Chi Wang's nagging was the most direct. He kicked Ye Chen with his hoof. Look, all the eyes have fallen out. You have to look after people and girls. If you look at it, you can tell me, old donkey, I will match you. Get out. Ye Chen cursed, raising his hand again, placing one hand on the shoulder of Xing Yu Sheng Nian, and one hand on the shoulder of the young man with purple hair, instilling bouncing essence and healing them. Ancient Eucharist. Feeling Ye Chen's majestic essence, the Saint Xing Yu could not help but be shocked, and only now did she realize what kind of blood she was carrying. Even her blood would be suppressed. No wonder he has the power to cut saints, and the hegemony of the sacraments is known to the world. For the surprise of the Xing Yu maid, Ye Chen only smiled slightly. The blood of the Xianling and the blood of the Eucharist is quite related. It is the combination of these two blood that created the immortal emperor before the ages. When it is not long, Ye Chen closed her palms. As for the injuries of the Saint Moon and the purple-haired youth, the celestial body is comparable to the magic medicine, and Ye Chen's ability to heal is not covered. Thank you, friends. Saint Xingyu and Zifa Youth saluted again, grateful. Raising your hand. Ye Chen smiled. Who are those people and why are they hunting you down? Worship to the moon goddess. Saint Xingyu returned to God, but her voice was extremely cold. Worship to the moon god. Without waiting for Ye Chen to speak, Chi Wang sighed and turned and ran away. The four donkey hoofs ran fast, snapped, and blinked. Eat shit! Ye Chen stunned and glanced over at Chi Wang's side, wondering why the goods ran. It should be scared by the worship of Luna. The young man with purple hair shook his head. The worship of the moon is strong. Ye Chen tentatively looked at Zifa Youth. Strong? Strong outrageous. Zifa youth took a deep breath. One holy king and three quasi holy kings. This lineup is a big engine in the whole world. Yes, it's scary enough. Ye Chen Gen coughed, Mo said that it was Qi King, Rao was also shocked. This way, the most powerful force that has ever seen the lineup is Da Luo Jianzong. Unexpectedly, 
the so-called moon worship is actually more overbearing than the Luojian zone. Most of them are close to the Xianhuang continent. Ye Chen felt his chin, thinking in his heart. There are countless immortal inheritances of the barren continent, and there is no shortage of sword gods and other levels, that is where the monks are. Therefore, the distance from the barren continent is also close to the light. It is not surprising that the lineup of moon worship is still a big engine on the barren continent. As for the King Qi, I have definitely been to this star field before, and I have heard of the power of worship of the moon god, so I was scared to hear the worship of the moon god, only because Ye Chen beheaded them a saint. Lunaism has been investigated, but most of those who have a relationship with Ye Chen will be annihilated. Dayu, while the worship of the moon gods has not yet been investigated, you should leave soon. As Ye Chen thought, the maiden of Xingye whispered, as for your great grace, the royal spirit has no unforgettable teeth, if my royal family is still alive in his years, and if Taoists are in trouble, they will help. So, I'll see you later. Ye Chen stretched his waist, turned away, and disappeared instantly. In this world, there is still the inheritance of the Eucharist. Looking at the direction of Ye Chen's departure, the maiden of Xingyu muttered, her expression was a little hesitant, and she was still quite familiar with Ye Chen's face. He, he is an ancient holy body. Although the Xingyu maid murmured, it was still heard by the youth of purple hair. He only knew Ye Chen's majesty, but he did not know Ye Chen's bloodlines. It's a matter of going out. I know. Let's go back first. Saint Xingyu turned and embarked on her way home. I will not go out again in the future. This time, you and I are in great danger to help you. This time, you will not be so lucky. When I went back, I stayed in the family. The worship of the moon gods was crazy. Is the worship of the moon gods aware that I have dragon eggs in the Yuling family? Otherwise, why do I always find trouble with my Yuling family in recent days? Zifa youth panic followed the steps of the Xingyu maiden. Do not rule out this possibility. Saint Xingyu took a deep breath. If this is the case, the dragon egg may not be able to keep it. You must know that there is an eternal giant behind the worship of the moon god. The two talked, and then gradually went away until they disappeared into the starry sky, very fast, like two gods. However, the two of them didn't realize that after they left, the starry sky space behind them twisted a little, Ye Chen showed up and followed their steps, hiding very well. His purpose was very simple. He had to the two of them back. The power of worship of the moon gods was huge, and Baobuki would intercept them. Finally, he could find the reincarnated people, but he couldn't make a mistake. Moreover, he is going to search for this star field one by one. Since the Xingyu maiden was first found here, then he went to the Yuling family first. It is an ancient star he has never been to, and maybe there will be a reincarnation. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. This is an extremely large ancient star. According to its size, it has a fight with Ziwei star, and before entering, it feels a majestic atmosphere to face the surge, and at first glance, it knows that it has bred vigorous souls. This is the Royal Spirit Star, the ancient star of the Royal Spirit family, like a dazzling pearl in the starry sky. At night, the Xingyu Maiden and Zifa Youth came from afar, and they were assigned to the Royal Spirit Star in succession. After them, Ye Chen also arrived. Facts have proved that his hidden ability is really not covered. Rao is the Xingyu Maiden who is in the blood of Dao Spirit. Such a big ancient star, there should be reincarnation. Ye Chen thought in his heart, he also lifted his foot into it, fell on a towering mountain peak, raised his eyes to look around. Yu Ling Xing is indeed full of vitality, with extremely pure spiritual power, surrounded by clouds and mists. There is momentum in the mountains and rivers. When you are in it, you can only feel sublimated and open your mind. Ye Chen has already begun to calculate, and his eyes are flashing with light. From the moment he stepped on Yuling Xing, he noticed the reincarnated people. 
Nowadays, with the evolution of Jotian, more reincarnated people are calculated. His luck is still good. Yu Ling Xing is huge and has a large number of births. The number of reincarnation is also piled up, nearly a thousand, distributed in all directions. Forget it, Ye Chen Mia frowned slightly, because nearly a thousand reincarnated people can accurately figure out who he is, and there is only one person he can't count, or there is a mysterious power in the underworld to cover up his opportunity even Zhou Tian's evolution cannot penetrate that mysterious barrier. Who is it? Ye Chen received the magical power, lifted his foot into the void, and headed for the reincarnated man closest to him. As for the reincarnated man he could not count, he would wait to see him last. Yuling Singh has a vast territory. In addition to Yuling Jia Xian Chan, there are many magnificent ancient cities. Ye Chen flew into one of the ancient cities, and sprang into a small garden like a ghost. Three or five seconds later, I saw him come out, and he still had an old man in his hands. The old man was still asleep, and the sound of snoring was not ordinary, loud and loud. He slept like a dead pig, even though Ye Chen Ti now, I still haven't woke up, and the snoring is very rhythmic. This old man is an acquaintance of Ye Chen. His name is Huang Daogong. Ye Chen met with him for the first time, or he had some relationship with the Haoshan family in the birthday gift of the Supreme Master Ding Zhen. For Huang Daogong, Ye Chen has a deep memory, not because of his fighting power, but the picture before death. Huang Daogong, also a member of the Great Chu Expeditionary Force, was the only one who preached for him except Zi Xian, Chu Linger, and Taegzu Yulong. He was grey-haired and buried Xiao Yuan in blood. He Yuan Shen blew up his old body and paved a road. He should be fortunate to be able to reincarnate, much better than those big Chu Ying souls who cant reincarnate and become mortal. At least he can live another life and at least return to his hometown. The breeze blew and Ye Chen turned and disappeared. He did not wake up the sleeping zodiac, nor did he open up his past life memories, but instead stuffed the chaos ding, and blessed him in case the waking yelled. Another ancient city, Ye Chen arrived quietly, taking away a man and a woman, all reincarnated. Next, he will be busy enough. In this quiet night, he constantly walks through the ancient cities, like an illusory ghost coming without a trace and coming fast. Like Huang Daogong, he did not awaken the memories of previous lives for them, only to find the reincarnation of the Emperor Star and then unblock them together, and the provinces explained the reincarnation. It wasn't until dawn that he exhaled deeply. Busy overnight, except for the reincarnated person who cannot be counted, other reincarnated people have been found. During that period, he also looked at the Imperial Spirit Fairy Mountain from afar. The mountain peak has thousands of mountains. It can be described as a strong one like a cloud. Among them, there is a very subtle atmosphere. He didn't go in to look for it, because Xianling, the Imperial family, had only the reincarnation of the Saint Xingyu. In addition, he also smelled another strange breath, which seemed to be looming. He could still hear a deep dragon groan, and then went to seek out, but the breath had disappeared. At this moment, he was standing in front of a valley, and the reincarnation was in the valley. He could calculate the exact location of the person, but he has not been able to determine his identity. Who is it? Ye Chen murmured and went up into the valley. The valley is very quiet, full of green bamboo, without any trace of earthly filth walking in the bamboo forest, infected by the hidden seclusion here, and the state of mind also seems to return to normal. For this feeling, Ye Chen seems to have known each other, as if it had been deposited there, it is extremely true. After all, he saw an old figure in the depths of the bamboo forest, reflecting the light of the morning light, picking up a piece of bamboo leaves and putting them in a bamboo basket behind him, and seemed to go back to stir-fry. Realizing that someone was watching him behind him, the old man stopped and looked back subconsciously, looking at Ye Chen. Ye Chen saw his face clearly now, and his heart couldn't help but have a momentary moment. It seemed to recall many years of past. 
it was an ordinary town. A blind old man carved a wood carving and named a case named Zhou Tian before he died. The mystery of evolution was passed on to him and has not been erased so far. That's right, the old man who picked tea is the old blind man in Qingxian ancient town, Zhou Yi. Zhou Yi also died of the invasion of the demon, and he did not repair it. Even with the deduction of the anti-sky, it is still difficult to stop the demon, but his evolution of Zhou Tian has become a great help to Ye Chen. At the time of Ye Chen's reincarnation, Zhou Yi had come slowly, a pair of kind eyes and a gentle look at Ye Chen. There was still a hint of confusion in the old eyes. Little friend, have you seen me before? I've seen it before. Ye Chen smiled and shot Xian Guang with a finger, and fell into Zhou Yi's eyebrows. Just like other reincarnated people, Zhou Yi is no exception. Immortal light shows pain. Ye Chen didn't say a word, just looked at Zhou Yi quietly, and inadvertently moved Zhou Tian's evolution. The deduction was Zhou Yi in front of him. Even though it was so close, it was still impenetrable. At this point, he understands why the identity of Zhou Yi could not be counted in the past. It must be because of the evolution of Zhou Tian in the previous life. There was no monk in the previous life. His status is special. After reincarnation, the mysterious power was still there. However, Zhou Yi in this life is not without a monk, he has a cultivation practice, but only the imperial realm. Ye Chen speculated that it was because of reincarnation that he had erased Zhou Yi was special status. The breeze blew, Zhou Yi's old body stopped trembling, staring at Ye Chen with a stunned look. Ye Chen smiled, 200 years have passed since then. Senior Zhou Yi, you are reincarnated. It seems my luck is good. After a while, Zhou Yi could not help but shook his head with a smile. Senior doesn't seem to be very surprised. Ye Chen laughed. Zheng Qin has broken too many opportunities, and if I see too much, I can see no wonder. Zhou Yi smiled gently. The old feeling is that after 200 years, I can still see you again. Reincarnation of this past life and this life, for 200 years, the predecessor is like that year. The same is true of you, all the way. The kindness of Zhou Yi smiled, grabbed Ye Chen's wrist, and pulled straight to the depths. You and I rarely meet again, try the old tea. Deep in the bamboo forest, there is a bamboo room with a bamboo chair in front of the room, and the two are sitting opposite each other. The reincarnated people met, but the picture was surprisingly calm, just like this quiet valley, with no ripples of red dust. One person has broken too many opportunities, and one person has experienced the vicissitudes of the sea. It is difficult to make them moody. The fragrance of tea soon filled the bamboo forest. Although the fragrance was strong, the tea was light. With a cup of tea under the belly, Ye Chen looked at Zhou Yi. The deduction of the seniors is still there. While it awakened the memory, Zhou Tian evolved naturally. Zhou Yi smiled slightly and filled Ye Chen with a cup of tea. The difference is that I can hardly reach the heights of previous years. It is not difficult for the predecessors to return to the peak of the evolution of the natural machine. Ye Chen said slowly. It is not necessarily a good thing to break too many opportunities. Zhou Yi shook his head with a smile, with guilt in his smile. The old man regrets the decisions of the past and puts you on a path of no return. The seniors don't need to feel guilty. Ye Chen smiled. You can calculate that Da Chu is a reincarnation, and you can also count on the younger generations to evolve every day to find reincarnated people. What the seniors left to the younger generations is just a deduction. It is still a hope. The younger generation never regretted practicing Zhou Tian evolution, because it did help me find too many big Chuying souls. Even so, I'm not at ease. My predecessors have spoken heavily. The choice is mice. Zhou Tian evolution will start to devour your cultivation after you have passed through the decline of heaven and man. Su is too guilty. Zhou Yi began to explain the ancient tradition to Ye Chen. That will be the beginning of your journey towards the non-cultivation. Every time you devour one point of cultivation, 
your deduction will increase by one point. When you cultivate to the instant that you are exhausted, the deduction will also reach its peak. Once you become a non-fellow, then you can no longer rebuild the practice road, unless you are reincarnated as I am, but this is not true, and there is no reincarnation. What about the lifespan of the monks? How many years can they live? Ye Chen looked at Zhou Yi with hope. It depends on how many opportunities you can break. Zhou Yi said slowly, since the moment you become a non paroch every time you deduced, the lifespan is reduced. This is what God has done to those who break. Backbite, so once the cultivation is turned into an uncultivated monk, there is no need to move Zhou Tian to evolve. The so-called natural opportunity is your taboo. That being said, I may not find all the reincarnated people in my lifetime. Ye Chen smiled bitterly. The so-called life expectancy will be the invincible nature of my search for them. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xian Wu Emperor as soon as possible. The word Ye Chen made the bamboo forest in the valley very quiet. A quasi-sacred monk has a lifespan of up to 3,000 years. After subtracting the 200 years he has lived, there are more than 2,700 years. After deducting the lifespan lost by the use of skylight, there are almost 500 years left. Therefore, he needs to break through to the saint in 500 years, otherwise he will die and die. Of course, once a saint is advanced, there will be more terrible things waiting for him. Zhou Tian evolution will devour his cultivation, and as his cultivation as the realm declines, his life will also decrease until it becomes a non-cultivation. It is only a few hundred years. Therefore, from this moment on, until he turned into a monk, there were at most nearly 600 years left. 600 years may be a long time for mortals, but for the monks, it is just a snap, the world is so large and even after 600 years, it is difficult to travel, which is why he said not all incarnations can be found in your lifetime. Seeing Ye Chen silent, the opposite Zhou Yi could not help but sigh, and was even more guilty. Until now, he didn't know whether he should have left Zhou Tian evolution in the past. That deduction did indeed help Ye Chen find a lot of big Chuying souls, but he also pushed Ye Chen on a dead end. I don't know when I saw Ye Chen take a breath and looked at Zhou Yi, Senior, I have the lotus of life. Could such a potion be used to renew my life before I became a monk less? Zhou Yi shook his head gently. Since the day you practiced Hushan's evolution, the so-called life-sustaining potions are all decorations. Even if they swallow the potions, they will be resolved by the power in the meditation. It's really a dead end. Ye Chen rubbed his eyebrows with a smile, it's overbearing, even more so. Zhou Tian's pulse will be more sad than you think. Zhou Yi's old eyes were mostly helpless. The junior has smelled the sadness. Ye Chen shook her head and drank the last cup of tea, then sacrificed the Chaos God tribe, and released the reincarnated people who were banned. Looking at the reincarnated people, they looked strange, confused and confused. They looked at Ye Chen suddenly, and glanced at the quartet suddenly. They didn't know how to wake up here. Ye Chen smiled slightly and did not explain. Without waiting for many reincarnated people to speak, nearly thousands of fairy lights that have awakened the memories of previous lives have popped up, and each strand of fairy light has fallen into one's eyebrows. Suddenly, a painful groan sounded, and the lonely valley of bamboo forests became unsettled. In the painful voice, Ye Chen has turned around and flew out of the bamboo forest. Not much time cannot be delayed. As for the nearly a thousand reincarnated people, they will be taken care of by Zhou Yi. Only after he has found all the great souls of Chu Chu Ying in this star field, will he find a safer and safer place for them. Looking at the direction where Ye Chen left, Zhou Yi sighed again, as if he saw him that year. When the breeze blew, he closed his eyes and looked at the reincarnated man quietly. Many of these reincarnated people have seen him, all of them older monks, like the unreliable Huang Daogong, like a female elder in Guanggan Palace, who had visited Qingxian ancient town in the past years. However, 
most of the reincarnated people have never seen him. Just because he was too senior in Dachu in the previous life, too many people didn't know his existence, and he didn't know how terrible he was. Here, Ye Chen has already flew out of Yuling seeing like an immortal. It is extremely fast and disappears instantly. After half an hour, he landed on a small ancient star, and had good luck. He found a reincarnation. The elder was the elder of Bai Chum Wuyun's family, and he had a relationship with him. After leaving Xiaoguxing, he flew at a high speed in one direction, and stopped again after three hours. Although this ancient ancient star was much larger, there were only three reincarnated people. The disciples, the elder of Heilongdeo and the monotheist of Dacher royalty. The next way, the ancient creatures encountered will go down to watch, but luck is good and bad. Sun and moon change, day and night cycle. Nine days passed in a blink of an eye. In the ninth day, Ye Chen has set foot on hundreds of ancient stars, and the harvest is okay. He has sought more than five hundred incarnations. It wasn't until the night of the tenth day that Ye Chen settled in the starry sky, his eyes squinting slightly. This starry sky is very restless. There are many silhouettes flying back and forth in the eyes. They are all wearing robes engraved with a full moon totem, and needless to say they are strong men worshipping the moon. In this regard, Ye Chen is not surprised. Two days ago, two quasi sages and one saint were exterminated. With the knowledge and strength of moon worship, nothing can be done, let alone let alone. Now that something is happening, how can we give up and take it easy, we must investigate the killer in the whole world. Even if we can't find the killer, we can probably get some oil and water, and we can justly rob. Facts have proven that this is how the worship of the moon worship is carried out. I don't know how many people have been robbed of the treasure because of this, and how many people have not only lost the treasure, but also lost their lives. There is no way, a world where the strong are respected, and the weak have no right to speak. Who makes people strong? Suddenly, Ye Chen stepped forward. For unnecessary trouble, he chose to go around. However, he didn't seek anything, it didn't mean that someone didn't find anything, and he hadn't been away for a long time. He was stopped by three people. He was a black, white, and purple quasi sage. The trio's arrogance is not ordinary arrogance. When they stop up, they use unscrupulous methods to look at Ye Chen. If they find treasure, they will act relentlessly. This is so lawless. Ye Chen glanced at the three of them and whispered, Three moon worshippers, why did you stop me? The old man doesn't like the tone of your speech. The old man in purple clothes scratched his beard lightly. You know, a quasi sage, in my eyes, is no different from the ants. The storage bag is left, and you can go. The old man in the black robe gave a faint voice, he was even more direct, with a majestic posture high above him, and even the tone of his speech was imperative. Is the worship of the moon god's robbery all so straightforward? Ye Chen looked at the old man in black with interest, and glanced at his waist with a faint glance. There was a torn jade hanging there, flashing mysterious mystery halo, isn't that the emperor? It seems that you are shameless. The old man in white snorted, and suddenly offered a killing sword, surrounded by the silence of silence, one sword was cut to Ye Chen, but a killing blow. Good luck today. Ye Chen ducked sideways, and stared at the killing sword in the hands of the old man in white, more precisely, at an ancient text carved on that killing sword. That is the character of Jia Jia Tian, and it is precisely because of the characterization of that armor that the sword killing power is extraordinary. As the treasures such as the Jia Jia Tianzi, Ye Chen never let it go. He didn't say a word, and started to dry. He punched the old man in white with a punch, and the old man in white flew out on the spot. It didn't fall until 8,000 feet away. Before they stood still, they were cut off by a golden god. Everything is between the electric light and flint. It is said that the old man in white, even the old man in black and the old man in purple, did not respond. One quasi-sage actually knocked out another quasi-sage. 
When the two of them reacted, Ye Chen had flew into the ghost like a ghost, rolling in a terrible evil spirit. The two changed their looks suddenly, and immediately became hesitant, only to feel the whole body is cold, only to know that it provokes a terrible existence. The other party can destroy the old man in white with a punch, and naturally they can also destroy them. However, even if his two bodies are so mysterious, they can't escape being annihilated and go to Huang Chuan together. Perhaps the three were depressed until death. Robbery could not be lost, this should be the legendary strong. Tragedy could not be reversed by acts, the three quasi holy, and it was so simple to die. After the three of them were destroyed, Ye Chinfu handed the killing sword of the broken jade jade and the old man in white in his hand. The emperor's concubine fell into Ye Chen's heart, and the jade armor was also pulled by Ye Chen. Both the jade and have spirituality. One is fused with the broken emperor. As for the, it is directly imprinted in the chaos god Ding, and it is arranged and combined with other. After finishing this, Ye Chen turned and disappeared. Not long after he left, he saw people from all corners of the country coming together, mostly in the imperial realm no shortage of quasi principles, and three saints. He saw three blood-stained robes, and his face fell instantly. Soon, all orders spread across the quartet, and more people worshipped the moon god from the quartet. The number was extremely large, enclosing a starry sky with a radius of 100,000 miles. However, Ye Chen is no one who wants to surround him. This is not enough manpower. Such a strong lineup is also much worse. No one can stop him on his way without the prospect of the Holy King. It didn't take long before they saw blood blooming on one side and another quasi holy worship of the moon was destroyed. This time, Ye Qingxiu was clever and directly transformed into the person's appearance. Whether he cultivated his breath or not, he imitated exactly the same. Later, he did not forget to cover the opportunity with the evolution of Zhou Tian. With the identity of a worship elder as a shield, his next journey saved a lot of unnecessary trouble, left this starry sky, and continued to find other reincarnated people. It will be two months after he returns to the emperor. In the past two months, he never closed his eyes or stopped. Like a rushing tourist, he just walked through every living ancient star in this star field and looked for nearly 10,000 reincarnated people. Returning to Yu Ling Xing, Yu Ling Xing was a little different from him before, but it was the sacrifice of the star protector. Su Ye worshipped the moon gods in the past two months and there was too much movement, so they took precautions in advance. However, the protection of the star guardian was a decoration for Ye Chen and he even came in without even having time to go to heaven, and he was never found out. Such skills are not available to ordinary people. Okay? During the flight, Ye Chen saw a huge picture far away. It was the quiet valley where Zhou Yi and many reincarnated people lived. It was actually surrounded by black figures, and there were nearly 10,000 people, and the strong lineup was extremely huge. Ye Chen's eyes narrowed into a line, and may you also frowned, because the people who surrounded the valley were the people of Yuling's house, the exclusive robes of Yuling's house. He had seen it. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Yu Emperor as soon as possible. What the hell? Ye Chen murmured, speeding up sharply, like an immortal, instantly immersed in nothingness. When he approached, he discovered that the people of the royal spirit family were bombarding the valley, and the valley was covered by an enchantment. The enchantment was very extraordinary. It had Zhou Tian's secret method to operate and it must be a masterpiece of Zhou Yi. Not only is the enchantment enshrined by Zhou Yi, naturally not simple, the fact is exactly the same, the enchantment is very strong. Ye Chen arrived, entered the valley without anyone's notice and appeared in the bamboo forest. Seeing Ye Chen's return, nearly a thousand reincarnated people saluted. It was already tears and no tears. When Ye Chen left, their memories had not yet been awakened. Now, how can they not be excited? Ye Chen smiled slightly at everyone, and continued to shoot. 
In addition to Zhou Yi's Zhou Tian enchantment, he imposed many prohibitions to prevent the strong spirits outside the valley from attacking suddenly. After doing this, Ye Chen looked at the crowd in confusion, why is the strong spirit family besieging here? What else can we do, because our big Chu people look so good? Huang Daogong yanked his ears, I slept soundly, and the gangs of rabbits came, and they started to work without a word. I don't understand. Ye Chen was a little puzzled. I don't see the cub in white clothes outside. Huang Daogong pointed to a young man in white clothes outside the valley. He is the third son of the Yuling family, and he sees Murong Yunhuang in our family. What do you mean? Ye Chen glanced out of the valley, and then looked at a woman in Tsingyi who was on the side of the zodiac. She was Murong Yunhuang, the elder of Guanggan Palace in the previous life. It turns out that the women in the Guanggan Palace are very attractive everywhere they go. Huang Daogong said with a profound voice. The anger of the red crown is red, and Huang has seen more. Zodiac friends, don't have to make fun again. Mirong Yun Huang said lightly. I. I'm also explaining the facts. Huang Daogong coughed, feeling that when he was cold on his side, he moved subconsciously to the side. Seeing this kind of counseling, Mirong Yun Huang has not been cleaned up in the past life. As for the reincarnation, the shadow has not yet come out. You madman, against you, dare to hit me and show me out, otherwise you look good. As they talked, the third son of the imperial family outside the valley scolded Zheng Huan with a mallet, it's fair to say that the puppet is pretty Zhou Zheng, but it looks like a joke. I said, friends, it's not like you. Ye Chen said, looking at the third son of the Yuling family with great interest, I like to go to like, but also take the looting? This is a bit excessive. Who are you? The third son of the Yuling family cursed. I'm her big cousin. Tell me something when you have something to do. Ye Chen yanked her ears. Say okay first, but don't scare me, I'm not very good tempered, and my folk customs are very tough. Hey, I have a bad temper, hit me. The third son of the Yuling family quit, and ordered to continue the attack. I said that my family is sturdy, and I still put the whole thing up. Ye Chen did not do anything, rolled up his sleeves, and took out a large mace, always ready to rush out and beat the puppet into a fool. Holy! Holy Lord, let's, get light! Mirong Yunhuang spoke before Ye Chen killed him. In a word, it was not only Ye Chen, Huang Daogong and many reincarnated people, Rao was the plain-looking Zhou Yi also suddenly stunned, and after a second or two, they collectively looked at Mirong Yun Huang. Everyone looks weird at Mirong Yun Huang. Wouldn't you like that kid? Staring at everyone, Mirong Yun Huang smiled a little awkwardly, I. I'm his fiancé. The old man pointed at it, I heard it a little bit aggressively. Huang Daogong's expression was serious. I said senior, you are not authentic. Ye Chen grinned. You two just have to go home and talk about your own affairs. You have also fought such a big battle and almost scared me. It's a long story, I. Ah. Before Murong Yunhuang finished speaking, he heard a scream of domineering leakage outside Gu. Hearing the words, everyone looked up and when they saw the youngest member of Yuling's family fell from the air, the board was affixed to the ground, and it looked like they were kicked. Let's look at the man who beat him. It is a woman in Tsingyi who is slender and slender. Take a closer look, isn't it the Xingyu saint? In terms of family status, she is also the aunt of the third son of the Yuling family. In the spotlight, the three sons of the royal spirit got up and saw the sparkling beauty of Xingyu's beautiful eyes sparkling, and she was honest. Aunt, you can't blame me, she hit me first. Yes, you deserve it. The saint Xingyu glanced at the third son of Yuling severely, and was furious. The young couple also mobilized the monk army, you can do it. I was just scaring and scaring her. The youngest member of the Yuling family coughed. Otherwise go back and hit me again. Go back and settle accounts with you again. 
The Xingyu sweared, then stepped into the quiet valley, but ignored the enchantment of the heaven and earth and looked at the look of the strong spirit of the imperial family. After the Xingyu maiden left, the powerful spirit family looked at the three sons of the spirit family, especially the saints. Their old faces were full of black lines. They only knew that they would fight, but they did not want to fight. The daughter-in-law who hasn't passed through the door, if not for the Saint Moon and the Moon, will still be in the drum. As a result, a group of old guys got together and surrounded the sampan three times inside and three times outside. The next picture is not very harmonious. Or is it the third son of the royal family? Noble status, even screams are domineering. In the valley, Saint Xingyu has stepped into the depths and found Murong Yunhuang, with an apology in her smile, Xueling, didn't scare you. When you go back to the family, your aunt will help you out. Murong Yunhuang smiled, she smiled very unnaturally. She was over a thousand years old. Now she has an aunt who is over two hundred years old. It is really embarrassing to say that she is embarrassed to ask for an exit. Obviously, the portrait of the Virgin Xingyu is as it was in the previous life, and she did not recognize it, only to blame that the territory of Da Chu is too vast and there are many people. They are also natives, and not everyone has seen it. She didn't recognize it, which did not mean that the reincarnated people did not recognize it. Too many people looked at the Xingyu Virgin's eyes strangely, especially the reincarnation of Xingyu Palace. I said, don't you think she's familiar? Huang Daogong looked at Ye Chen who was standing beside him. Looks like you have seen the Lady Xingyu. Ye Chen shrugged. She is also a reincarnation of Da Chu. Because she is a bit special, I have not released the seal of the previous life. This generation is a bit messy. There's even more chaos, just good habits. Well. When the two heard the sound, a strange sound came from their sides. The celestial lady recognized Ye Chen. She had only looked for Murong Yunhuang before, but she didn't know there was her life-saving benefactor. You Lingdeo friends, don't come here. Ye Chen smiled slightly. Redemption of the younger generation's eyes is awkward, and the benefactor is also here. Saint Xingyu immediately saluted, and claimed to be a ruthless vicious person who could destroy the saint. I didn't want to unblock it for you, but I don't have much time. I don't know how long I want to wait for this time to return. Then I might as well hit the Sunday. Ye Chen said, raising his palm. The Saint Xingyu heard something inexplicable, and before she could react, she saw that a fairy light had fallen into her eyebrows. Upon seeing this, the people present were extremely excited, and had previously wondered whether the Lady Xingyu was a reincarnation. Now they have a definitive answer. They did not admit it, she is also a native. Murong Yunhuang's expression is the most exciting. If she is in Dacho's previous life, she is one generation higher than Xingyu Gongju. After reincarnation, this generation is directly downgraded several levels. When the crowd was excited, Ye Chen had waved his hands constantly releasing the reincarnated people who were sealed in the Chaos God tripod and many instruments. There were nearly 10,000 people, and they had been awakened from previous memories. The atmosphere in the bamboo forest was instantly lively. Reincarnation of past and present life, after 200 years, the people of the hometown met again, and the state of mind can be imagined. Just before the dream, they were still guarding their home under the walls of Nanchu. The Xingyu maiden awoke, her expression was gaunt, her eyes filled with tears, as if she had a dream. Ye Chen smiled and passed on many things to her. She and Ye Xing Chen died before the invasion of the demon. After that, she didn't know many things, but she didn't know that so many tragic things happened in Dachu. I can't believe that there is reincarnation in this world. K Rao was so. She still burst into tears and looked at Ye Chen with tears in her eyes. Ye Xing Chen was Ye Chen's body. They looked exactly like Ye Chen, just like Ye Xing Chen. Ye Chen shook his head gently. Until now, he didn't know if Ye Xing Chen could reincarnate. 
Only because Ye Zingchen's identity was too special, he was his Taoist body, and then he recovered his freedom. I do not know when I saw the maiden of Xingye wiped away her tears, and she was so beautiful as she smiled at that time, firmly convinced that Ye Xing Chen had been reincarnated, no matter how little hope, it was possible in the face of despair. I'm on my way, Da Chir reincarnated, and settled on Yuling Xing first. Ye Chen laughed, I hope you, who are also Da Chu, can protect them and return to their hometown together. So, the Lord followed me back, and the Yuling family had a starry sky platform. Xing Ye hurriedly. This relationship is good and saves a lot of time. Leave. The Saint Xing Ye took the first step, went straight to the valley, turned around, and glanced at Murong Yun Huang, both of them looked very embarrassed, and Da Chu's seniority was completely confused. Outside the valley, the strong men of the Yuling family are still waiting, and they look embarrassed. They are courageous, and nearly 10,000 people have bombarded Zhou Tian for so long, but in the end it is a farce. Thinking of this, too many people looked at the third son of the royal spirit family, which he called for them. Look at the cricket again, but I didn't pull a few, but they were beaten and wept. A bunch of old guys didn't play light or heavy. Out. I do not know who said a word, attracted all eyes. When I saw more than 10,000 people, I was a little shocked. I didn't know that Xiao I Valley had hidden so many people. It's no wonder that they hadn't opened the Jotian enchantment for so long. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xian Wu Emperor as soon as possible. During the talk, the reincarnated Da Chu has come a long time ago. There are more than 10,000 people. It is a huge black film. It is worth mentioning that no matter how male or female, their faces are not very good looking. The Yulingjia strongmen coughed and greeted each other with a smile, and looked embarrassed one by one. Misunderstandings and misunderstandings, the flood has rushed to the Dragon King Temple, and I hope that everyone in the family will be in Hai Han. Look, you are not stingy. Huang Daogong grinned, revealing two rows of yellow teeth, while talking, he also found a mallet from the storage bag. Like him, most of the reincarnated people are not very normal. The male Xiu shook his head and held a toothpick in his hands, holding the beating guys in his hands, one after the other. As for Da Chu nuns, each smiled like a flower, doing the same action, pulling the sleeves. Seeing this picture, the face of the welcoming Yulingjia strongman became a bit strange. The people on the opposite side were obviously abnormal, and they seemed to be smiling happily. Sure enough, the drama is here, and the Yulingjia strongman, who was walking in front of him, was pulled aside by the Zodiac while he hadn't finished a ceremonial ceremony. Let's talk to your youngest brother. Dao, you. It's okay, I'm not stingy. The reincarnated people of Dacha swarmed up, so that the Imperial Yulingjia strongmen were all pulled to the side, and the three sons of the Yuling family were caught on the spot three laps surrounded by three laps. Why? What are you doing? The three sons of the Yuling family counseled, almost crying on the spot. Don't be afraid, this is the custom of our hometown. Do whatever you like. Huang Daogong's mallet has come down, and the reincarnated people haven't been idle, so they drowned the cricket on the spot. The screams like killing pigs soon cleared the world, and the screams were still so domineering. This picture is lawless, watching the convulsions of the mouths of the strong spirits of the royal family, just said that we are not stingy, how are we doing? What are you all, what are the custom? At the moment, many people look at the Saint Xingyu, she is good, standing on a virtual sky not far away, cannot look at the marginal sky, just like nothing, today is good. Seeing the Xingyu maiden like this, a group of old guys in the Yuling family have meaningfully shoved their beards. I don't know why. In this situation, they all have an impulse to sing a poem. In the valley, Ye Chen also came out, and grinned at the picture. The reincarnated people all came out, but they did not see Zhou Yi. People like him had broken too much imagination, 
and preferred the pure land, but the valley and the forest were the best, and they did not want to go to the imperial family Xian Shan. I don't know when the reincarnated people will stop, and there is a big cool word engraved on each face. Let's look at the youngest member of the royal spirit family. The whole board is a big character. Even the relatives and mothers who were can't recognize it. Each of the strong royal spirit family members booed, this is not just the sturdy folk style. After a episode, the two men and women finally set off on their way home. The third son of the royal spirit family was completely honest this time, shook his head, like a docile little sheep, those shameless beasts, and those who did not start with light or heavy hands, all made children cry. Hey! Mirong Yunhuang couldn't stand it anymore, gave him a stern glance, and passed a roll of white handkerchief. This is good. The youngest Yuling smiled, wiped a nosebleed, took it in a hurry, and smiled without a face and skin. After taking it, she did not forget to sniff the woman's incense on the handkerchief. It felt great. Mirong Yunhuang looked kind and funny. She was more than 1,000 years old and she would also show the worldly beauty to a monk who was more than 200 years old. That was the tenderness of an exclusive woman. Su Shi has gone through a brutal war and reincarnation in 200 years. He did not have a relationship of his own in the previous life. In this life, I really want to have my own home. As night fell, more than 20,000 people returned to Yuling Xian Chan. Yuling Jia Strong is okay. This is their own fairy mountain, familiar with the road. It is the reincarnated people. All novelties are reincarnated in this star field. I have heard of the prestige of the royal spirit family, but this is the only giant in this star field that can resist the worship of the moon worship. The Xingyu saint, who walks side by side with Ye Chen, was also enthusiastic and introduced to everyone. Ye Chen followed her all the way, faintly opened the fairy eye and she was scanning the fairy mountain all the way. He had been here before, but he was outside the mountain, but now he walks in and feels very different. The clouds here are dazzling. If there is a fairyland on earth, the mountains are connected, and the momentum is magnificent. Not ordinary people can afford, quite domineering. In addition to these, there are many terrible forbidden and hidden law formations, all connected with the overbearing potential. After seeing the power of the Yuling family, he was also at ease. The safety of the reincarnation is not a problem. Compared to other stars, the defense here is still very good. Okay? Looking at it, he felt a sudden passing of strange power, extremely vague and extremely mysterious. What? Ye Chen murmured, Xian Lun's eyes narrowed slightly, staring at the depths of this fairy mountain, it seemed that she could see a brilliant golden egg across countless peaks and prohibitions. Vaguely, he could still hear the low-pitched dragon groaning like a faint, a pressure from the blood veins emerged, the blood veins of the things in the egg, and the blood veins of the Eucharist. Mei Yu wrinkled slightly. He moved Zhou Tian to evolve, secretly deducing where the golden egg came from. Of course, with this reckoning, he looked a little stunned. I do nt no. I was shocked. The golden egg in the depths of Xian Shan was also a reincarnation. Why didn't it work out before? Is it because the dragon hasn't hatched yet? Ye Chen had such doubts in his heart that he could figure out even Zhou Yi, but he couldn't figure out the golden egg. Lord? Seeing Ye Chen stop, Saint Xingyu called tentatively. Thoughts were interrupted, Ye Chen closed her eyes and looked at the Saint Xingyu, what is that golden egg? I heard that the Prince Xingya was stunned, and she was a bit shocked. The golden egg was the absolute secret of the Yuling family. The dragon family has a very strong relationship. Few people know it, and there are too many hidden magic arrays around the golden egg. Even the Holy King it was difficult to capture, but Ye Chen saw it through. However, thinking about Ye Chen's magical powers, she was relieved and did not hide that's a dragon egg. It's really a dragon egg. Ye Chen smiled, and secretly said that the king of Chi Chi did not lie to him. There are indeed dragon eggs in this star field, and they are still in the Yuling family, 
and they are not ordinary dragons. That's what my old ancestors got when they went out in the past, the maiden Xingyu continued. But it's very weird. Two hundred years have passed, and I can see that the head has grown bigger, but no dragon has hatched. The dragon race is no better than an ordinary race. It has not seen a broken shell for two hundred years. It must not be an ordinary dragon. Ye Chen said slowly, the blood is extremely tyrannical, and my holy blood is agitated. The same is true for my spiritual blood, whispered Saint Xingyu, it's really bloody. It's also a reincarnation. Reincarnation, reincarnation. The Xingyu maiden stunned and looked at Ye Chen in amazement. Sure lord. No mistakes. Ye Chen smiled slightly. I have been here before, but I haven't figured out that it is a reincarnation. The reason is that there is a mysterious power in the dragon egg, that is the power, which isolated my deduction. Today's targeted deduction is extremely certain that it is a reincarnation. The Lord knows who the reincarnation is. Xingyu hurriedly asked, with beautiful eyes with hope. A very interesting gadget. Gizmos. Is it possible to touch it? Ye Chen asked. I can't be the master of this. The Xingyu maid smiled helplessly. It's just that it has a special identity, but I will ask the ancestor, the problem should be small, the ancestor he hurts me most. I don't have much time. Understand, I'll do it as soon as possible. With a smile, Saint Xingyu stepped onto a towering fairy mountain. This is the accommodation she arranged for the reincarnated people, which can accommodate 30,000 to 50,000 people. Huang Daogong would not be polite, and they all consciously said that everything was covered by Saint Xingyu. After the reincarnation was arranged, the maiden Xingyu left, Su went to the ancestor to ask for instructions to see the dragon egg. Ye Chen crossed his knees on the mountain peak and waited for the news. It was really impossible. He also had many ways to see the dragon eggs. In advance, he asked for it out of courtesy. The Xingyu maid is still very reliable. Before going to find his ancestors, he still did not forget to order the family. He frequently sent many training materials, all of which were top grade, and the quantity was extremely huge. What are the meanings of the goddess? Looking at the piles of training materials sent to the fairy mountain, the elders of the Yuling family were all surprised, who are those who she brought back? I heard that it was Murong Yunhuang's maiden family. The old man with knowledge gently scratched his beard. Say it blindly, I've been to Murong Yunhuang's family, but none of them. Even the mother-in-law, you can't be so tidy. Someone grinned. I saw it very clearly. The amount is a little scary. I have never seen such a treasure. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Xian Wu Emperor as soon as possible. In the debate, Ye Chen, who was sitting on the top of the mountain, got up, sacrificed himself, and covered Xian Chan. Then, more than 10,000 reincarnated people were summoned, and all sat cross legged on the mountain. Xing Yu Maid hasn't returned for a long time. Ye Chen will never be idle. He has to train his blood for the reincarnated people. This is how he came all the way. When he finds the reincarnation, he will give them a chance. The reincarnated people are delighted, but the ancient holy body is the bloodline that shoulders with the emperor. The bloodline that has been tempered by his origin must be the essence. This is a rare creation, and it is of great benefit to cultivation. Immortal fire and sky thunder have been transformed into thunder sea and sea of fire, integrating the source of the Eucharist and sweeping the reincarnated people. Time passed slowly. It wasn't until late at night that Ye Chen saw the magical power. As for the reincarnated people, all of them have transformed in the meditation, and many people have also advanced their cultivation. The Xingyu maiden came, climbed to the top of the mountain, and glanced at the reincarnated people who sat cross-legged, and then looked at Ye Chen a little apologetically. Anyway. Ye Chen could not help but smile, your ancestor can agree with me to see that dragon egg. My ancestor said he would see you first. 
as expected. Holy Lord, please come with me. Xing Yu Sheng Dang stepped out of the mountain immediately, and Ye Chen followed. The two went one after the other and came to the depths of the Yuling family and fell down in front of a stone gate in the ground palace. Ye Chen Miu just wrinkled slightly. Although the stone gate of the palace was sealed, he still smelled a strand of death gas, but it overflowed from the palace, extremely thick. With this death, it is not difficult for him to guess that the ancestor of the royal family is already a holy king who will end his life. With a dull buzz, the stone gates of the earth palaces opened, and more death gas burst out. Ye Chen stepped in, and closed the stone door with his hand. Although the underground palace is lit with a stone lamp, it is still dim and thick with death gas. It is so dreary that it is generally sacred to walk in. It must be wiped out because it is the death of the king. Deep in the palace, Ye Chen stopped slowly, and frowned slightly at an ancient altar not far away. There is an old man sitting on the altar. He is very old, his skin is wrinkled, his white hair is pale, and his whole body is full of death. Forgiveness is forbidden, and it is difficult to contain death in the altar. The vitality is like the dry lake water, Yuan Shen like a candle light in the wind, it may extinguish at any time. The most weird are not these, but the old body of the old man, the flesh below the waist, have been turned into stones, flesh above the waist, barren flesh and blood, and decayed in vitality. This old man, needless to say, is the ancestor of the Yuling family, and is also the only holy king, the Yuling ancestor. Ye Chen murmured, took a step forward, respectfully saluting, Ye Chen, the younger, has met the seniors. But seeing the ancestors of Yuling trembling, his shoulders and dust falling, he opened his tired eyes. His old eyes were turbid like chaos, and he looked at Ye Chen under the altar quietly, exposing the ancient the kindness of the old age, you can still see the ancient Eucharist. Predecessor Xiao Yuan will end, maybe you can try to impact the great holy land. Ye Chen said slowly. I don't have that energy. Yuling's ancestor shook his head tiredly, his voice hoarse and vicissitudes, in the five thousand years, the sea has turned into mulberry fields, and the old has lived long enough and is tired. This thing may be allowed to renew his life. Ye Chen whisked out the lotus of life in the chaos tripod, exuding vitality, this renewal magic drug is useless to him, and it is not bad to take out his personal affection. Settled in the Yuling family, he needed the Yuling ancestor to be alive, but he didn't want to see the Yuling family being annexed by the worship of the moon because the Yuling ancestor died. The magical drug for life extension, the monk's treasure, you will give it to me, and you have not seen a generous little guy like you for many years. The ancestor of Yuling smiled mildly and kindly. The Buddhism said that saving one's life was a victory for the seventh level floating slaughter. Here I receive it. The old ancestor of Yuling smiled with his uncle, one of my lives, I can't swallow the lotus of life. These life-sustaining magic drugs are no longer effective for me. That's really regrettable. Ye Chen shook his head helplessly, and took back the lotus of life to Ding Zhong. How do you know I have dragon eggs at the royal spirit's house? The ancestors of the royal spirit looked at Ye Chen with a smile, looking harmonious. It smelled. Ye Chen coughed. Why have to see it? It's my loved one. You should be a person with a story. The ancestor of Yuling didn't ask deeply, instead of touching Ye Chen's secret, he talked about an ancient past. In the past, he entered the dragon cave by mistake and saw the disputes of the dragon race. When he got that dragon egg, it caused a big catastrophe. Senior in your mouth refers to Ye Chen tentatively looked at Yuling Patriarch. It's all a thing of the past, let alone mention it. The ancestor of Yuling sighed, I can live for up to three years, and those who you bring, I can protect them for up to three years. Three years. Ye Chen murmured, so to speak, most of the Yuling family will suffer after three years. Without the Holy King sitting, even if the Yuling family defense is overbearing, it will be difficult to stop worshipping the moon god. Go. 
The ancestor of Yuling raised his hand and brushed it gently, sending Ye Chen out of the palace. After Ye Chen left, the ancestor of Yuling looked at the direction of the exit of the underground palace and hesitated a long time. Ye Chen only felt the power of space flying around him, as if in a space passageway. He was amazed by the magical power of the ancestors of the ancestors. The understanding of space by a holy king was extremely mysterious. After thinking, he swept towards the quartet. This is a strange world, full of fairy lights and colorful flowers. The flowers and plants here are lush and lush. Compared to the palace of the ancestral ancestors, it is more vibrant. His gaze was not far away, there was a large golden egg suspended there, the size of a wine tank, shining with brilliant gold, overflowing with fairy light, and surrounded by obituaries, the long and vigorous dragon groaned, every strand of breath is dragon-shaped, which is extraordinary. That is the dragon egg, the bloodline is overbearing, and the holy blood is jealous, and the restlessness is raised more than once. Ye Chen walked slowly, stopped outside the dragon egg three feet, and watched the dragon egg sigh, it is actually a Tyrannosaurus Rex. No wonder the breath is so powerful, and no wonder it has not seen a shell for two hundred years. He had heard of Tyrannosaurus Rex, who was the first lord of the dragon family. During the peak period, he could fight against the Tegzu ancient dragon chamber, but he did not have a great emperor. He only blamed the Tegzu dragon for being too strong. Speaking of Tyrannosaurus Rex, he once swallowed a drop of Tyrannosaurus Rex blood. That was the dragon's blood when he gambled with stones in the ancient city of Tian Long, which gave him a good fortune. Not bad. Ye Chen touched his chin and started to circle around the dragon egg, his eyes were a little strange. Looking at it, he could not help but a little figure emerged in his mind. It was a little man with a big slap, chubby, fleshy, and in the past was the purest person in Da Chu Tianting's bloodline. Although the is a force, the speed is like hanging off. That's right, the Tyrannosaurus cub in this egg is the reincarnation of Xia Lingwei. It's no wonder Ye Chen's eyes are strange. In the previous life, Xiao Lingwei slaps so big that she is not ridiculed. Even the pickup girl can't make it. Not that it can't make it, mainly because the chicks are too small. This is the same in this life, but the T-Rex, if it grows up, that head is like a mountain. Ye Chen resolutely, Xiao Lingwei still can't find his wife in this life. If the chicks in the previous life were young, then this life is Optimus Prime. If they go to pick up girls, will they make people cry? If the reincarnation is reincarnation, it is the best of the reincarnation status of the goods. Tyrannosaurus Rex can compete with Tegzu Ancient Dragon. Once such existence exists, once it grows up, it must be the master of the sky. Around, he couldn't help but reach out and stroke the large dragon egg lightly. Of course, it didn't matter that he touched it. The dragon egg was buzzing and shaking, and a crack of hair thickness appeared, and after the first crack, a crack followed. Is the dragon born? Ye Chen looked at the dragon egg in astonishment. Coincidentally made me catch up? Click. Click. When Ye Chen was stunned, the cracks of the dragon eggs were connected into a crack, the cracks were cracked, and the golden light was emitted. Each flare was extremely dazzling, and more dragon gas was sprayed into a domineering dragon shadow. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Suddenly, the dragon egg burst, and the overbearing dragon chant resounded through the heavens, breaking the tranquility of the night. The Yuling family was shocked. Countless people walked out of Dongfu and stepped on the top of the mountain, staring at one side, where there was a sacred mountain soaring into the sky, just like a beam of light inserted into the night supper. Most people looked blank what happened, so powerful blood pressure. Compared to them, the Xingyu Maid and the Royal Spirit Ancestors, as well as many Elder Elders, were surprised. They knew the existence of the dragon eggs and guessed that the dragon came out of the shell. Two hundred years. In the Dark Palace, the ancestor of the Old Spirit trembled, 
his eyes were turbid, and a flash of excitement flashed. The dragon egg was brought back to his family, and he paid a very painful price for this. He thought that he could not wait in his lifetime. The dragon was born, I didn't know that the dragon egg broke its shell tonight. Roar! In the astonishment, there was another trembling dragon yin, with a strong breath, sweeping the whole fairy mountain. In the strange little world, Ye Chen has stepped back, and his eyes are shining not far away. There, the golden breath gathered into Wang Yang. There was fairy light dancing and dragon spirit raging. A mighty dragon vision appeared, and he stood roaring against the sky. Ye Chen grinned, or would he say that it was Tyrannosaurus Rex? This breath of domineering can be compared with the fighting ape. The breath of the two is very similar. Two words describe it, domineering. Under his gaze, the vision of the dragon's shadow slowly dissipated, revealing the true appearance of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Of course, what made him frightened was that the Tyrannosaurus Rex was so different from what he imagined. I said, it s that the dragon is not fake, and the breath is enough to be domineering. It is nonsense. Its size is only the size of a small wine jar, like a little unicorn. From the point of view, Nima is cute. Ye Chen rubbed his eyes, without standing, squatting directly on the ground, his eyes glaringly looked at Tyrannosaurus Rex, the dragon egg with a large wine tank, and a dragon the size of a small wine jar was hatched. You really are a little dragon cub, this head is not much bigger than the previous life. When Ye Chen watched, Tyrannosaurus Rex also found him, flickering his eyes, jumping around, and stabbed Ye Chen with his small head, as if he was very kind to the person he saw at first glance. Ye Chen shook the corners of his mouth, and strongly doubted whether Tyrannosaurus Rex was so cute when he was born. Little Tyrannosaurus Rex was familiar, and fell into Ye Chen's arms. He could not speak, and would use his small head to walk around in his arms. He instinctively thought that this was his father or something. Ye Chen sighed, raised T Rex, and touched his chin to look up and down, especially his little brother's two more glances, it was really a little chicken, only as big as the little finger, and a magnificent one with T-Rex compared to Zhu Qingtian, it's the best gadget. Really interesting. Looking at it, the uncle could not help reaching out, the thief bounced against the chick with a shameless face. On the spot, Tyrannosaurus Rex tears. Ye Chen was so happy that he had no face or skin. He had shot over T-Rex's chicks. He could take it out for 800 years, but he really didn't like it. If you don't, you can play it. I don't know if I would let the adult Tyrannosaurus see this scene, would he hang him to death? Okay? Ye Chen was amused, but suddenly felt a bone-killing attack coming from behind, making people tremble. It was a dark arrow of God, entangled with the air of silence, cold and bloody, with the perforating force of the catastrophic hole, the space that was crushed along the way collapsed, and the most important thing was that it was as fast as magic. Ye Chen discolored, holding the Tyrannosaurus Rex suddenly turned and stepped back, Qi Xiao appeared at the same time at the same time, and the sword was slain by the sword, and the crisis was solved dangerously. At this point, he can clearly see who the shot is, a figure all covered in a black robe, cannot see its face, his body is sometimes illusory and sometimes solid, extremely strange. What can be seen is that his eyes go deep into the abyss, and one more look, the mind may be swallowed. It is a terrible quasi-sacred king, and he will faintly break through to the holy king. The Tyrannosaurus roared in a low voice, a pair of round eyes, glaring at the black-robed man, although it could not speak, but was quite intelligent, and saw that the black-robed man was not a good bird. It really surprised the deity, and actually managed to escape my kill. The Quasi Holy King, even sneak attack. Ye Chen sneered on the surface, but the consciousness had spread out to call for help, but to his surprise, this small world of space was completely isolated from the outside world. I'm not going to waste it. As if knowing Ye Chen's confusion, the man in the black robe smiled even more shyly. Another space. Ye Chen frowned slightly, 
glanced at the four corners, and instantly saw the clue. The small world of this space had been dragged into an unknown alien space, otherwise the two priests would kill to the, Yuling Jia Strong and Yuling ancestors can not fail to know. Give up the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The voice was not what the black robe said, but it came from behind Ye Chen. The person covered by the purple robe was transfigured. The voice was dull and silent. He is also a true quasi-sacred king. The target is this Tyrannosaurus Rex. The two people should not be Yulings. Ye Chen smiled, glanced at the Hippaoran, and glanced at the Zipaoxian again. On Huang Chuan, I will know. The Zipao came slowly, and the smile was creepy. Sorry, I don't know how to get to Huang Quanlu. Ye Chen shrugged. Then I will take you there. The man in the black robe smiled faintly, raising his arms suddenly, grabbing his disguised hands. If you are alone, Lao Tzu strangles you with a kick. Ye Chen snorted coldly. The moment before the big hand approached, he moved the heavens, entered the black hole in space, and disappeared instantly. His sudden disappearance caused the frowns of Zipao and Hippao people to frown suddenly. For thousands of years, he had never seen such a bizarre magical power. The two prospective saints stared at him, but they were run away by the prospective saint. Search! The purple robe man snorted and spread away from the black robe man. His sense of shroud the small world and searched inch by inch. Search! The Yuling family outside is also very lively. The imperial family sealed the fairy mountain, and the imperial master was ordering the imperial family to search one by one. Not long ago, they were overjoyed to see the dragon cubs, but they just arrived. They hadn't seen the dragon hatched from the dragon eggs, and they disappeared into the small world. The dragon egg is very large, and it just happened after it hatched. As long as it is not water in the brain, everyone will guess that this is not simple, not only simple, but also very problematic. Father, is it that some strong men have entered the Yuling family? On a mountain peak, the Saint Xingyu looked at the Yuling Lord with a frown, it's weird that the small world of space disappears. Do not rule out this possibility. Still go and tell the ancestor, his old man should know. Xingyu made hurriedly said. The old ancestor just heard the sound, and no strong man stole it. The Lord of Spirits shook his head gently. Even the ancestors didn't notice it. The other party should have infiltrated my imperial family fairy mountain a long time ago. The Lord of the Spirits groaned. Their goal is very clear, that is the dragon egg, but they have never found the hiding place of the dragon egg. Tonight the dragon egg. A broken shell produced a vision, and this found the exact location of the dragon egg. Will it be a person who worships the moon gods? Saint Xingyu tentatively looked at Yuling Lord. If so, they must be them. Father, what are you looking for? As the two talked, someone stepped on top of the mountain. Since then, it was the third youngest member of the Yuling family. We. The Saint Xingyu didn't finish talking, so she was stunned there, because the youngest third of the royal spirit who had just climbed the mountain, her front feet had not stood still and her rear feet were smashed by a sudden figure on the ground, it is worth mentioning that the posture is still very eye-catching. Looking at the man who hit him again, it is needless to say that it is Ye Chen. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xi'an Mu Emperor as soon as possible. Although the war ended, the Yuling family did not relax their vigilance. Whether it was the Star Guardian, the Sky Guardian, or the Mountain Guardian, all were strengthened with great magical powers to prevent the sudden invasion of worship of the Moon God. Under the moonlit night, silhouettes of the Royal Spirit House moved, the two quasi-principles of the Royal Spirit Lord and the Royal Spirit family and many elders were here, and the rest of the tenth people were also senior officials of the Royal Spirit family. The atmosphere in the hall was a little weird. Three circles inside and three outside circled Ye Chen's nagging around the center, each touching his chin to look up and down, and the old eyes also had ineffable meaning. Tonight's battle, this one can be described as a domineering side leak. 
I have never seen such a quasi-sanitary class. Ye Chen coughed, being stared at him unnaturally, and immediately released the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Once the Tyrannosaurus Rex was released, a group of old guys lowered their heads collectively. No wonder that the little guy was too short and lively, how do you think, they are so cute. Will this be the legendary T-Rex? A group of old guys had strange eyes, and they didn't know that the Tyrannosaurus Rex that was dominant in the world was so cute. Alas! Sue was staring and uncomfortable, and the Tyrannosaurus rebelled on the spot, opening his throat. Its throat doesn't matter, but it makes the atmosphere in the hall very embarrassing. All are talking about the corners of the mouth. They look at the little Tyrannosaurus Rex with a wonderful look. I seriously doubt you are Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here, Ye Chen smiled helplessly, took out a storage bag, and handed it to the Lord of the Spirits. This is the defense and attack of the Tegzugulong family, and it is sent to the Royal Spirit family. To Ancient Gulong. When the Lord of the Spirits heard it, his heart trembled and he took it in a hurry. Not only him, but everyone in the hall was astonished. What is the existence of the Tegzu ancient dragon? He had once dominated the Taigu era for millions of years. In a sense, he was stronger than the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The history of the Tegzu ancient dragon is too long. Their legends are all immortal myths. This family has had the great emperor, the ancient times, the prestige of the dragon emperor, and it still exists today. As a vein of Tegzu Gyulong, its formation method will surely capture the heavens and the earth, which is a priceless treasure. No one would think that a Quasi Sage Junior would still have the array of Tegzu Gyulong's veins, and would be so generous to give to the royal spirit family, what kind of courage and mind. In shock, the Lord of the Spirits looked at Ye Chen, little friend, this is really too valuable. Family, don't want to quit. Ye Chen smiled slightly. Where did he have a map of the ancient dragon's veins, these are all gifts from Dragon 1 and Dragon 5, and they are now sent as gifts. In the final analysis, he is still not assured that the Yuling ancestor Xiao Yuan will end. Once he dies, the Yuling family loses its deterrent. If the worship of the moon gods comes, the Yuling family will most likely be unable to stop it. Therefore, it is now possible to send the array of maps today. How arrogant is the array of maps of the Tegzugulong vein? He has already seen it. With this array of blessings, the defense of the imperial family will definitely increase. The breeze blew, Ye Chen slowly turned around, and the Tyrannosaurus Rex also followed. Looking at the back of Ye Chen's departure, a group of old guys were still beating their hearts. The family of Murong Yunhuang secretly said that she was really a master, and she gave away the array of two fictitious arrays. The value of this family relationship. A bunch of old guys took a deep breath, and just this fat is shows its sincerity. Since the in-laws are so generous, the Yuling family will not be embarrassed anymore. The Lord of the Spirits has made up his mind and rushes to this plan. In the future, he must also treat the family of Murong Yunhuang and Murong family. Xing Yu made smiled, though she knew the reason, but she didn't say it. She stepped out and followed Ye Chen. The two had climbed a mountain of a reincarnated man before they fell, and Huang Daogong swarmed over them, each booing, don't see it, it's really shocking. I thought it was okay to force it. Ye Chen frizzled his hair meaningfully. Well. Everyone dismissed it, and set their sights on the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and looked at the chin like an old fellow of the royal spirit family, this is the legendary Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hum. Hey, you have a good temper. He's a reincarnation. Ye Chen looked for a place comfortably, and scooped out a hip flask. Reincarnation. Everyone made a mistake and looked tentatively at Ye Chen. Who's reincarnation? It's a very gadget. Ye Chen smiled, raising a hand and a fairy light popped up. Xian Guang was dreamy and swift, and she was very fast. She fell into the eyebrows of Xiao Ba Wang, making her small body tremble at once, followed by a painful low roar, rolling straight on the ground. 
the reincarnated people looked at each other and secretly speculated about its identity. They must be extremely familiar to them. Yechanaya drank the wine and looked at it quietly, her eyes blurred. Like the ninety million heroes of the Great Chu, the unreliable little spirit baby also died extremely fiercely. Even though two hundred years have passed, Ye Chen still remembers the picture, only the small Lingwei with a big palm slain in the near sublimation has exhausted the pure blood and turned it into a who covers Juxiao, only in the underworld. He, however, pulled a quasi-perfect emperor to Huang Chuan. He is not the most stunning but the most dazzling record of Tian Xian Xian Zi generation. Even Xi Yan and Hu Wei failed to slay a quasi-perfect emperor, but he did. Facts have proved that the most innocent little Lingwei with the blood in the heavens has the same combat power as his speed. The process of unlocking the memory of Xia Lingwei seems to be more complicated than other reincarnated people, and the time is not ordinary. It is because of his identity of Tyrannosaurus Rex that there is a mysterious power that is interfering. Ye Chen and many reincarnated people are waiting, and the mountain is quiet. Compared to this, the royal spirit house is very lively at night, and it is not ordinary lively. They are out of the royal spirit hall, and they have awakened the elders who are familiar with the array of spirits in the royal spirit family. Even the retreats were spared and all were pulled out. The royal spirit family can't wait to begin to describe the array of the Tegzukyulong's veins, in order to bless the attacking circle and the defense enchantment. The entire royal spirit family goes from two senior elders to ordinary disciples. The night that was supposed to be quiet became bubbly. The efficiency of the Yuling family is very fast, and it is blessed in all directions. Every peak, every palace, and every water spring in the Yuling family has been carved with too many lines. In the dark night, the imperial family originally had a beautiful and splendid fairy mountain. Because of this array of maps, the fairy sphere became overflowing with magic, and the defense enchantment and attacking magic arrays increased accordingly. Bye. When everyone was busy, there was a howl of domineering leaks on a mountain peak. Xiao Lingwei unblocked, and looked at Ye Chen with a grim expression. The memories of past and present entangled him making him wonder what kind of words to express. Such a mysterious thing is incredible. Huang Daogong began to sigh again, as if they had recognized Xia Lingwei, but their expressions were strange, and they were also reincarnation. This gap is so big. The people in the hometown met again, the picture was sensational, and the always unreliable little Lingwei also cried. With a pot of muddy wine, Ye Chen got up. With him together, the reincarnated people also got up, knowing that Ye Chen was going to embark on the journey again. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xian Mu Emperor as soon as possible. Ye Chen waved his hand with a smile, and stepped down the mountain, leaving the reincarnated Xiao Shao's back. The reincarnated people waved their hands without saying a word. I don't know what year it will be to see each other again today. There are too many souls in De Chuying, and after looking for them, he may be tired with grey hair. Under the attention of everyone, Ye Chen he followed Xing Yu made to a huge earth palace in Yuling's house. In the depths of the palace, there is an altar with a large circle and a square. There is a teleportation array on the altar, more precisely a starry sky platform, and the power of space is flying freely. This time Ye Chen came to Yuling's house to use the Starry Sky platform, only to find the little spirit baby unintentionally, which delayed a little time, compared to flying, the Starry Sky platform is much faster. Have you ever been to the Xianhuang continent? Ye Chen stepped onto the altar and asked casually. My ancestor said, if you don't reach the saint, you don't have to go to the wilderness. The Lady Xingyu smiled while adjusting the space coordinates. Although it is a monk's holy land, there are too many crises. I believe this. Ye Chen smiled. There was an existence where even the heavenly sword gods didn't dare to easily provoke it. But imagine how terrible it is. This starry sky station can only transmit nine million miles. The Xingyu tuned the space coordinates and looked at Ye Chen with a smile. 
The rest of the road still needs the Lord to go by himself. Area, there will be a sea of stars, across the sea of stars, is the mysterious continent. But there is something to bring to Yasin Chen. Ye Chen also looked at the Xingyu maid smilingly. If the Lord finds him, he will say that Xing'er is waiting for him, regardless of the end of the earth and the heavens and the heavens. The maiden of Xingyu laughed with tears, I will put on a wedding dress and wait for him to marry me. It won't be long. Ye Chen smiled slightly. Congratulations to the Lord. The Xingyu saint knelt down on one knee, the domain platform running, Ye Chen disappeared instantly. Of course, what the Xingyu maid never noticed was that just before Ye Chen disappeared, a golden light entered the starry sky platform, and the speed was extremely fast. If you look closely, it is actually Xiao Lingwei's puppet. In the palace, because Ye Chen disappeared, she became extremely quiet. There was only an intermittent choking sound of an infatuated woman. Just before the moment, she almost stepped into the starry sky platform with Ye Chen. The breeze blew, and a phantom appeared in the underground palace, looking old and unbearable, kind and gentle, but the ancestor of the spirit, but not the true body of the holy king, but the consciousness of Shen Hai. He came to chase Xia Lingwei, but he was really limited, so his speed was one point weaker. He didn't catch up, and he did not forcibly reverse the starry sky platform. There are some causes and consequences that can't be forced. From the side, the Xingyu saint, who just got up, saw the ancestor of the royal spirit, and hurriedly presented a great gift. The ancestor of Yuling gently waved his hand and smiled gently, I want to know for my father, who you even call the Lord, what is his origin and what secrets are you hiding? The Xingyu maid smiled slightly and wiped away the tears in the corner of her eyes, but did not answer the question of the ancestor of the royal spirit, so she could not explain the matter, even if she said it, it was mostly unbelievable. Here, in the strange space channel, Ye Chen looked at Xiao Lingwei's puppet in a daze. He didn't know when this gadget would come in, and he appeared confused. Little Lingwei shook her head and shook her head, as she did in the past. I don't call me when I go to the barren continent to pretend to be a force, Lao Tzu is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and he is very strong with me. No. Ye Chen touched his chin, and looked up at the little Ling Wei. When you left, your monk was still in the spiritual realm. In the blink of an eye, I ran into the sky. Do you think Lao Tzu spent two hundred years in dragon eggs for nothing? Xiao Ling Wei snorted. Which cow do you like with me? Xiao Wei is not slow to run, but I don't see you growing up. Speak nonsense, all the essence is concentrated. This is also true. Ye Chen smiled and looked at Xia Lingwei, I will give you some blood. In exchange for the holy blood. Ye Lingwei tilted Ye Chen a glance. I can tell you, my father is not very good tempered, don't keep thinking about me, or he'll kick you. Your dad. Ye Chen raised an eyebrow and became interested. Do you know where your dad is? Here. Little Ling Wei pointed to her head, I have some memories sealed by my father. Then your dad is not small. Ye Chen touched his chin, and the vision of Xia Ling Wei when he broke the shell appeared in his mind. The Tyrannosaurus, which stood up to the sky, was indeed big enough. When are you advanced to the saint? Xiao Lingwei looked at Ye Chen with big round eyes. I'm only two hundred years old, advanced saint, what about playing? Then you hurry up, I'm still waiting for you to follow me to save my dad. Save your father. Ye Chen froze for a moment. My dad is sealed. Little Lingwei lay on the ground without pulling, it was a terrible place, and I also learned from the inherited memory that I have to save him. What does your father do? Ye Chen looked at Xia Lingwei tentatively. Zundi. Can't. Ye Chen looked at Xia Lingwei with an unbelievable face. How terrible is the Tyrannosaurus Rex, who is not as strong as a sword god, and can at least be compared with it and be sealed. The other party has nine ancient quasi-perfect emperors. Even the gods of the heavens have to kneel, not to mention my father. Xia Lingwei cursed, 
and in the eyes of Ling Che, Han Mang was blooming. You have said so, even though I have advanced to the saints and used them. Ye Chen grinned, the other nine ancient quasi-perfect emperors, you and I haven't had enough people to grit their teeth. We won't fight them again, said Xiao Ling Wei, I think about it, we sneak in, break the seal, rescue my father, and use your fairy wheel to walk away. It would be better for you to find someone from your Tyrannosaurus family and pull a group of prospective emperors, more directly than anything. Find them, you, and I die faster. Xiao Lingwei said coldly, if they did not commit chaos, my father will not be sealed, and they are all looking for me all over the world. What's wrong with your family? It's a bit messy, Xiao Lingwei said lazily. Otherwise, you can go back to Yuling's house to stay. Ye Chen said with a profound voice. I'm looking for a reincarnation. You follow me like this. Will I be chased and killed with you? You are still not my brother. Don't make trouble, you are a black character, I am a young character, you have to call me an uncle by generation. I'll go for you. Xia Lingwei kicked the ground and screamed and rushed up. Hey, I'm grumpy. Ye Chen quit but before the chi word was spoken, his look suddenly changed, because he caught a cold murderous weapon and was approaching quickly. Between the electric light and the flint, he whisked Xia Lingwei into the chaos tripod, and then hesitated. He had just left, and the place where he had stood was broken, but a dark sword, with the power of destruction and destruction, cut off the entire space channel. Seeing the collapse of the space channel, Ye Chen didn't even want to get out of the space directly. He appeared in the starry sky with blood overflowing from the corner of his mouth. Although he was not cut, he also suffered aftermath and suffered a wound on his shoulder. What's the situation? Ding Zhong Xia Lingwei also changed his color. If Ye Chen hadn't responded fast enough, most of the two of them would have been cut off at the moment. Ghost knows. Ye Chen cursed healed the sword marks on his shoulders, and his face was a bit ugly. You must know that they were in the transmission channel before, and the people who shot could find their location so accurately. Against the sky, let alone by the other side. I really despise you. Yu Yu sounded loudly, stunned, once seeing the figure in black appeared in the starry sky opposite Ye Chen, came slowly, like the ghost of the night. Worship to the moon god. Ye Chen's eyes narrowed, recognizing the totem of the moon on the black human robe. Jun Sheng level, you can escape the old man's blow, you are the first. The eerie smile of the man in black, the sound of the voice from Zhu Yu, cold and silent, everyone can hear people creeping. The sacred king attacked the juniors unexpectedly, your mother is shameless. Ye Chen didn't hit him, he scolded him directly, even though he liked sneak attacks. He hated the feeling of being attacked, and the other side still a holy king. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Regarding Ye Chen's scolding, instead of being angry, the king of moon worshipping was eerie, but he was smiling. I was waiting for the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I never thought I would add another ancient holy body. The luck of luck today is quite good. Ye Chen ignored the words of the moon worshipper, but turned towards the quartet. The quartet starry sky was shaking, and the strong were approaching, and the number was not generally huge. In this regard, he didn't have to go to see that he was an army of monks who worshipped the moon gods. Tonight they had broken two quasi-sacred kings. How could they give up? This must be to attack the Yuling family. Going back with me obediently allows you a way of life and death. When Ye Chen Huan looked at the starry sky, the moon-worshipping king smiled quietly, and the laughter was dull, but he could still hear people all over. The words are too big, so you are not afraid of flashing your waist. Ye Chen cursed, without saying a few words, turned and ran, the posture of the ancient and ancient body opening and closing, still so domineering side leakage. Are you gone? The Moon King King's mouth slightly tilted, stepped out, and stretched across the sky. At this speed, it's awesome. 
Ye Chen trembled in his heart, his blood was burning, and his life opened. Do it, follow him. In the chaos god, the little Lingwei was afraid that the world would not be chaotic. She shouted and jumped up and down, listen to me, let the sky shine, and burn the old of the bitch. You get me. Ye Chen cursed. If he can release the sky photo, he wouldn't be so embarrassed. With all his life left, he can go to Huang Chuan directly after the sky photo is released. It's hard to pretend it's unreasonable. Come, this is for you. Ye Chen simply threw Xia Lingwei out of dating. I'll go for you. Xiao Lingwei yelled and yelled, and turned away, thinking about it, it's worth mentioning that the speed of this product is not worse than Ye Chen. A futile dying struggle. The moon worshipping king stepped forward, waving his palm, sweeping the stars. On the spot, Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei, who were still soaring, were swept out by a single palm, and they turned hundreds of followers in the starry sky until they were more than 8,000 feet away, and stopped their stature. The holy king of moon worship came slowly, like the ghosts and ghosts of the night, with a palm as heavy as a giant mountain, covering the sky of stars, the mighty power of the holy king, and the crushed starry sky. At this moment, Xiao Lingwei persuaded, and turned into the chaos god Ding, honestly no longer honest. Ye Chen also persuaded, and immediately moved the heavenly path. If the other party is a quasi-sacred king, he may be able to fight, but that is an impeccable sacred king. There is no way to fight, and he loses. Although he entered the black hole, the palm of the moon worshipper fell as usual, crushing the starry sky. The king of moon worship came on the starry sky, but his eyebrows were slightly wrinkled. He could see clearly. Ye Chen was not crushed by his palm, but disappeared before the palm print fell. There is still such a magical power in this world. The old eyes of the holy moon king shone with a dim light, and with his holy king's vision, he could not see how Ye Chen disappeared in an instant. Once, ancestors. A crowd of people gathered on the four sides, or ascends the clouds, or mounts the spirit beasts, all wearing robes with totems of the moon and moon. Fighting against a huge army of monks, this starry sky is full. Surrounded Yuling's house. The moon worshipper's old face was green and a cold hum rang through the starry sky. Get the order. The worship of the moon gods combined into one place, the mighty, went straight to Yuling Xing. As Ye Chen guessed, they were going to attack Yuling Xing, but somehow the moon worshipping king suddenly shot and cut off a space channel, which delayed the time. The starry sky trembled, just because the lunar worship battle was too big. Under the count, there were nearly three million monks, such as the tide, which swept the starry sky, and all the forces of the quartet were discolored. One holy king, four quasi-holy kings, nine saints, three million monks. Worshipping the moon? The sound of tremors was everywhere, and the people of the small forces did not dare to take the lead and each turtle shrank in its own ancient star. After a short while, the roar came from the direction of Yuling Xing. Looking away, it was a huge picture. The army of worship of the moon gods surrounded the imperial star, and thousands of attacking formations were frantically bombarding the imperial guardian enchantment. However, what shocked the quartet is that such a battle with the worship of the moon worship did not shake the enchantment of the royal spirit family for half a minute. There was always a strong and mysterious force guarding the enchantment. The moon-worshipping king looked bleak, and constantly ordered bombardment, an immortal imperial swear that he would not return. Hit, hit hard. Looking at the Yuling family again, at this moment, it's quite calming down, drinking tea, drinking tea, and sister-in-law's sister-in-law. Only then has the Tegzu ancient dragon's veins been portrayed, and the worship of the moon is killed. Facts have proved that the pattern of the Tegzu Gyulong's pulse is still very strong, and it is impossible to shake the entire spiritual star as if it is a golden soup. There is a lot of excitement here, and the movement of the black hole in space is not small. However, seeing Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei's teasing, one left and one right, one louder than the other, one running faster than the other, 
and the open-air posture is also a domineering side leak. No wonder they were so unruly, just because someone was chasing behind them, eh, to be precise, not a human, but a dark skull, rolling in a mist of magic, every strand of magic was cold and silent, every mist of mist is as heavy as a mountain, its coercion is worldly. Earlier, Ye Chen walked into the black hole, saw the skull, knew it was terrible, and walked away, but Xiao Lingwei said that it was a treasure, so she had to go home and study it. Unexpectedly, the skull has a good temper, isn't it? This is not the case, but if not, it will start. Xiao Lingwei ran away, and the skull was also green, and she chased after her life, even with Ye Chen on her back, so there was such a beautiful scene. Visually, it is a quasi-perfect emperor's head. As Xia Lingwei ran, she did not forget to look back. Get off, get off to Lao Tzu. Ye Chen yelled, the black line on his face, everyone said don't provoke it. Is your mother full of food? If you want to go back and do it. Don't make trouble, I can't beat it. What sin did Lao Tzu create in his life and meet you slut, wherever he was chased? Blindly, this is a coincidence. Xiao Lingwei shook her head, and her speed was not slow at all. I. Ye Chen yelled before exiting, and was hit by a ray of black mist from the skull. Zundi's skull was filled with silence, and Rao was also a sacred body. Opened. The little Lingwei on one side was not much better. The blood and bones hit by a ray of magic mist were so strong that he was rude to the body of the Dyranosaurus Rex, otherwise, a blow from the head of the emperor would be enough to burst his body. Go. Ye Chen moved the heaven again, and brought out the black hole with Xia Lingwei, avoiding the head suppression. Of course, the two appeared again, but not in the stars, but in a splendid mountain of immortality, a tall stone monument stood tall, four characters stand out, worship the moon god. Are you into the thief's den? Xiao Lingwei stabilized her body and looked at the steel, the four words of worshipping the moon on the steel, which was very dazzling in his round eyes. I heard that the strong men who worship the moon gods have attacked the Yuling family. Ye Chen frowned his hair meaningfully. Xiao Long, I can figure it out, I can pretend to force it tonight. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xian Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Who? In the middle of the night, the quiet worship of the moon was broken because of this loud drink. All of a sudden, people from all corners of the moon worshipping the immortal mountain came, and even though three million people were taken away, there are still many strong men left behind in the old nest. Only sage level monks have six. On the spot, the void where Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei were was surrounded by three layers inside and three outside. Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei were amused, like nothing else, one was holding a mace and rubbing continuously, and the other was more domineering, peeing and squeezing his head. Who are you? A saint who worshipped the moon screamed, his voice unusually cold. I see no, there is a wangling lake. Ye Chen ignored the rebuke of the saint who worshipped the moon, but motioned to Xiao Lingwei to go to the depths of Xian Chan. Swallow it later. Don't waste it. Escaped all night and waited for it. Xiao Lingwei said, and couldn't help but tremor. Develop separately, don't wave. Rest assured that you must show your position. Take me down. So ignored, the six saints worshipping the moon gods were outraged. Dare to worship the moon gods and arbitrarily, and seek death. Of course, as soon as the four men came forward, they flew out but were flew out by Ye Chen with a stick. It is worth mentioning that the posture of the four people flying out was still very graceful and went straight to the sky. This. Everyone was shocked. I didn't know that Ye Chen, a Quasi Sage, still had such an overbearing combat power, but it swept four Quasi Sages in one shot. Such strength is difficult for ordinary saints to achieve. Robbery. Robbery. When the strong worship of the moon gods was shocked, the two howling sounds rang through the sky in succession, and the sound was not so high, shaking the brains of the people worshipping the moon gods. Robbery? 
come to worship Lunaism? If this matter spreads out, no one will believe how great the worship of the moon gods is. This is a big engine of this astral region, and Rao is a three-point jealousy of the imperial family. But the fact is that it is such an inch. Someone really came here to rob, and it was extremely arrogant. Ye Chen had already started working, and he was extremely sturdy. One stick sent a moon worshipper to the sky. Before he could fall, Ye Chen gave another stick and directly gave him Huang Chuan. His fierceness made the face of the moon worshipper strong suddenly pale, and in one strike, he was a saint. Robbery. Ye Chen was a wolverine again, still shocked by the strong worship of the moon god, was swept away in an instant, he made a gap and went straight to a ground house of moon worship. There was a baby in that underground house, he had already seen it clearly, otherwise his goal would not be so clear. Xia Lingwei was not idle, headed directly to Linghu in the depths of Xian Chan. Although the combat power is not stubborn, but the speed is very fast. It is like an immortal fairy. Stop them. Sacrifice. Help. The saints worshipped by the moon gods drank, and gathered the strong to chase Ye Chen and Xia Lingwei. However, although there are many of them, they are not very useful. For example, Ye Chen, they want to stop but they cannot stop, such as Xiao Lingwei, the thief who runs on small things is fast, and no one can keep up with its speed. Hum. With a buzzing sound, Chaos God Tripod also ran out of the Sea of God and the tripod was huge, swallowing a pair of magical instruments. Although the level of those magical instruments is low, they can be piled up and changed in quantity. Roll. Ye Chen pushed all the way across, struck into that palace strongly, and went straight to the underground palace under the palace. Behind him, strong men worshipping the moon gods surged in, but only rushed in, and the next moment they flew out, before they landed they turned into blood mist, and even Zunchen was not spared. Soon, the palace collapsed, Ye Chen was killed, and the treasures in the ground palace were collected, and then rushed to a mountain peak, where there was also a good treasure. Kill, kill me. The moon-worshipping saint drank, but he did not dare to come forward, but he continued to wave the killing sword, and ordered the prospective saints to be cannon fodder. I only hope that these cannon fodder can slightly prevent Ye Chen, so that he can be carried back to the ancestor. The saints ordered that the prospective saints would not dare to disobey, and dared to step forward, and they would be beaten back as much as they could. Ye Chen's arrogance was far beyond their expectations, and no one could stop it. Indeed, there is no moon worship religion where the holy king and quasi sacred king sit. In front of Ye Chen, there is a group of black people, but such a tyrannical person, but also proficient in the world's body magic, and even the killing of the moon worship none of the Xientian lore can hit him. Boom! In the raging blood mist, another mountain peak collapsed. Ye Chen killed, and went straight to the next place consciously. Wherever he passed, whether it was a spirit flower or a grass, or a fruit tree in Ling Chuan, he had been swept away by him. He had never seen such a dedicated robber. On the other side, Xia Lingwei has swallowed that wangling lake. As Ye Chen said, it is indeed a big tonic. It actually helped Xia Lingwei to break through to the quasi sanity. In this regard, the strong worship of the moon gods was shocked, but Ye Chen knew it. Xia Lingwei is a well developed and thin haired girl. For 200 years in the Dragon Egg, she has already completed the transformation of Nirvana, and the foundation has long been solidified. This time, the little thing has grown in size, from the size of the wine jar to the size of the wine tank, the whole body is bright, like a gold smelted dragon, the surging breath is extremely powerful. The blood makes the holy blood restless. All right. Because the little spirit baby turned into a quasi-sanctification, it added a layer of frost to the chaotic worship of the moon, which is more fierce than Ye Chen, and swallowed all the way, without him not eating. The worship of the moon worship was ravaged, and the two beast-dried people turned it over, a figure after another was destroyed, a palace and a palace broke down, 
a mountain peak and a mountain collapsed, and a good piece of fairy mountain was transformed by their disturbance ruins. Such a huge movement has attracted the attention of the quartet, and many families have sent people to check it. When they saw the picture of worshipping the of the moon, everyone talked discolored. There are still people running here in this star field to make troubles. I wonder how much moon worship exists. Looking at it, too many people's expressions became weird. The fire on the side of Yu Ling Sing was so hot, and the moon worshipper was also in full swing. This battle was so vague. Is this the legendary Seekin? Niubi coaxed to attack Yuling Sing, but never wanted to be copied from the old nest. Many people have a happy heart, and have been oppressed by the worship of the moon gods all these years. Watching the worship of the moon gods was shattered into ruins, they are relieved, and some people almost killed them to help. I do not know when I saw the roar of the moon worship star disappeared, no more screams and yelling. In the spotlight, the two goods came out swaying, carrying a large storage bag on their shoulders. Behind them, the moon worship fairy mountain has been raised to the ground, and the ground is full of people worshipping the of the moon. A spirit grass and a stone are not left. God. Everyone looked at the two gods in awe, looking at them, just like looking at monsters. The two of them actually ran to worship Lunaism and robbed them and they also gave the lunaism to the cripples. How strong and powerful they should be, they have never seen such a quasi-sacred level that they can fight. It is undeniable that we are a little bit more angry today. Xiao Lingwei twisted his sturdy body and carried a large storage bag, but exposed a look of sympathy and compassion. Someone forced him to rob the worship of the moon god. Loki and Loki. Ye Chen's face was grave, it's too arrogant it will be thundered. Let us grab it, let's drop it. Honestly, I appreciate your push. Visual inspection, this should be too amusement. Listening to the dialogue between the two, many people meaningfully touched their chins, ran away after the snatch, and still waved, have to make a wave? Otherwise, let's rob these two goods. This matter is reliable, but the treasures of the worship of the moon are in their pockets. Don't make trouble, you can't beat the puppets. Xia Lingwei pulled her nose. Also, don't mess with the puppets, the puppets are not very good tempered, they will go to your house someday. It's pretty good. Gone. Ye Chen glanced at one side and pulled up the little Lingwei and walked away, because the moon worshipping king was killed back, and they put this amusement, wasn't it just to attract the attention of moon worship? Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. It was all the attention again, Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei ran away, and the posture of opening and closing was still so uriny. Not long after, I saw a starry sky explode, worldly coercion, and the crushed starry sky trembled. The king of moon worship came back, rolled up with horrific murderousness gritted his teeth and turned his eyes red, fierce as a ghost, even he did not expect that in this star field, there are people who dare to worship Moon Moon and make trouble when the Moon Worship Army attacked Yuling Sing, it was copied. Seeing this, the monks who were still worshipping the outer view of the Moon Star scattered one after another, and they still knew the true nature of the King of the Moon Worship. Once this madness started, it was a monstrous blood robbery. The moon-worshipping king didn't have time to pay attention to these idlers, like a cold mang went into the moon-worship star. After that, the strong men worshipping the moon gods, such as Wang Yang Yang, poured in moon-worship stars regardless of their succession. Of course, what they saw wasn't the fascinating fairy hills, but a mess of ruins, filled with blood all over the sky, stained the moon-worship star, like an endless hell. Asshole. The worship of the Holy King of the Moon was angry, and the roar with coercion, like a thunder of ancient times, collapsed for half an empty sky. The shame, the great shame, worshipped by the Moon Gods for thousands of years, has not suffered such a big loss, the accumulation of endless years of treasures, but it has been exhausted. Kill. The first Moon Worshipping King first killed the Moon Worship Star and went straight to one side to kill. 
he didn't need to ask and knew the murderer's whereabouts, because many of the stolen treasures had his original brand. The army of worship of the moon also followed, spreading overwhelmingly, like a sea of ocean, sweeping the sky of Hau. Seeing such a battle in the worship of the moon gods, the monks on the four sides watching each other were shocked and pale, and used the power of the whole religion to hunt down the killer. This was obviously crazy. Unable to help, the idle monks who were in pain followed one another and wanted to watch another shocking drama. After they left, two figures emerged from the hall, and they carefully looked at them. It was the two quasi-sacred kings of the Yuling family, who suddenly retreated from the worship of the moon god and surprised the Yuling family. What situation? Looking at the worship of the moon star, the two were shocked. They flew along the way and they heard a lot, but now they can see it with their own eyes. Rao is also shocked by their determination. Here, Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei are still racing like two immortals. The speed is extremely fast. Here we are. Ye Chen stretched back a bit, and took a moment to glance behind him, as if he could see the holy moon worshipper and moon worshipper across the starry sky. Visual inspection, you have successfully attracted their attention. Xiao Lingwei also glanced. In this way, the pressure of the Yuling family will be reduced a lot. The worship of the moon is 80% crazy, but I have no time to take care of the Yuling family. The two of us are so noisy, this star field will probably not be peaceful in the future. Ye Chen looked away, and if the angry moon worship could not catch them, he would be angry with innocent beings. You just have too much scruples. Xiao Lingwei whispered, in a world with strong respect, the rule of iron is since ancient times. The so-called kindness is bound to be a stumbling block. Ye Chen smiled, but didn't say a word, speeding up. After Xiao Lingwei didn't pull, she kept pace with him. In front of them, a dazzling sea of stars has caught their eyes, the immortal is overflowing and boundless. It is really like a real ocean, gathered by endless starlight, strange and distant and magnificent and there are still many visions intertwined between faintly, dreamlike, giving people infinite reverie. This is the Xian Huang Xingai, which is regarded as a watershed by the heavens and the universe, because across this Xingai, it is the Xian Huang continent, which is the monk's holy land, and composes many immortal myths. The two stopped at Xian Huang Xingai and glanced behind them. The reason for the joint offering was that the ancient warship was too large and as tall as a mountain. This is a great magic weapon, its rank is holy soldier, imprinted with the mysterious forbidden, comes with defense enchantment and attack law formation, the two found out when sweeping the moon and worship, and moved it out. The Xian Huang Xingai is no better than other Xingai. There is a mysterious force in it. With restraint and repression, it is impossible to fly above the quasi-perfect emperor. As for the people below the quasi-empire, they want to spend this Xingai can only use special warships. Between words, the huge battleship has already descended into the Sea of Stars. The two boarded without distinction, then took out the pieces of source stones and poured them into the warship. The battleship absorbed the essence of the source stone, buzzed and shivered, pushed away the Zingai, magnificently sailed to the east, and the speed was extremely fast. The upper enchantment also appeared, wrapping the entire battleship. This warship is good. Ye Chen touched his chin, looked up and down the warship and paid particular attention to the prohibition on the ship. It was an ancient formation that passed on by itself, even mysterious. This Xingai is pretty good. Xiao Lingwei stared at Xingai, noting that she had not stretched out her dragon claws and picked up a piece of seawater, but her fingers overflowed with bright starlight and sound of water. Taking a bath in Xingai should feel great. Which one should wash, this bleak Xingai is not good. It seems that you know this Xingai well. Ye Chen Rao looked at Xia Lingwei with interest. In the memory of the father and the emperor, there are only a few words. Xiao Lingwei said, there is a mysterious power in it that can restrain the monk's mana and jump freely, just like a mortal like a river. Drowned, naturally, quasi-emperor monks are excluded. The monk will be drowned by the water, 
really Nima is magical. Ye Chen could not help but sighed. Even if it is not drowned, it is likely to be exhausted. The vast expanse of Starry Sea is boundless, and Mana is bound. If no one is rescued by boat, it will not be possible to swim to the other side for 800 years. It should be a good business to lay robbery on this star. There are indeed a lot of robbers in this wild starry sea. They are specially robbed by ships. They are commonly known as pirates in the mortal world. Xiao Lingwei glanced around, we will meet if you are not safe. Compared with pirates, I think the talents in the back are more difficult. Ye Chen said, looking to the rear, there were hundreds of ancient warships heading straight for them. The warships were of different sizes, but they were neatly arranged. On the square team, nearly 10,000 people stood on each battleship. Looking at this situation, the worship of the moon gods will be enough to work with us to the end. Xiao Lingwei also turned to look at it, and from a distance, she saw hundreds of warships lined up in line. Lie, on each battle flag, there is a depiction of the Yunyu, a totem to worship the moon god. Copying someone's hometown, it's strange not to play. Play your life, play your life, our warrior class battleship, who is afraid of anyone. You maintain the protective enchantment, I'm going to attack the attack formation. Ye Chen went to the highest part of the battleship, where there is a formation, more accurately a turret, with a muzzle of three feet, but the attack on the battleship the array of guns is comparable in power to the virtual sky lore array on land. Get it? Xiao Lingwei also jumped onto a platform, and then spit out hundreds of storage bags, each of which was filled with source stones. To maintain the enchantment, although their ships are large, there are many other ships, but they cannot be sunk. Don't forget to drive the boat, don't stay still. Ye Chen said as he also took out hundreds of storage bags, containing tens of millions of source stones, to maintain the consumption of the attacking array. Rest assured, you have to show off when you're in position. Xiao Lingwei grinned and made an okay gesture. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xian Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Kill. As the two talked, a monstrous wrath rang out from the moon worshipping king, and the sound shook Juxiao. Each of the strong worshippers is like a madman, and he wants to break away from the worship several times to kill the past, but due to the strange binding force of the Xian Huang Xingai, he has to be restrained by his worship. Hum. 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 Hundreds of warships buzzed and pushed away the vast expanse of wild starry sea, as fast as gloomy. It is worth mentioning that although there are many warships, most of them are quasi-holy soldiers. They are more than a star point away from Ye Chen and Xia Lingwei, let alone the ship's attack and defense. You know, the battleships that Ye Chen and Xia Lingwei moved out of worshipping the moon star are holy soldiers. This warship has a long history. Its name is Thunder. It is the only warrior class warship worshipped by the moon god. It is sacrificed by the originator of the worship of the moon god. On the ban, its speed, defense, and attack are extremely fierce. This is exactly the case. Xiao Lingwei and Ye Chen did not drive the boat for the first time. They were holy warships. The attacking circle and the defensive enchantment were leveraged, so they did not accept it. Speaking, hundreds of warships worshipped by the moon gods were less than 50,000 feet away from the thunder battleship where Ye Chen was located, and the speed was still soaring and the turrets had all recovered their peak power. Hit. Seeing this posture, Xia Lingwei couldn't sit still, could not help but snorted at Ye Chen. Hit your sister. Ye Chen cursed, the longest range of this battery is only 30,000 feet. You can pull it. This is a holy warrior class ancient battleship. The battery can only hit 30,000 feet. No way, it's just such an inch. Ye Chen shrugged helplessly. But you don't need to care about these details, even the Holy Warrior class warship can hit 30,000 feet, and the Quasi Holy warships that worship the moon gods on the opposite side have a range. Shorter, in my opinion, it can only hit 20,000 feet. That's right. 
Xiao Lingwei scratched her head. Here it is. Ye Chen flashed in his eyes, standing firmly as a mountain, urging the formation turret as much as possible, aiming at a warship rushing in front of him, and firing a thick thunder god. The turrets of the sacred warships are comparable to the virtual sky lore array on the land. The power is extremely arrogant. The thunderous road can be described as dazzling, carrying through destructive holes. At that moment, the opposite warship was recruited. The hull was punctured on the spot. Those who worshipped on the ship were turned into pieces of fly ash. Many people fell into the Zingai and threw in the star water. Asshole! The holy king of the moon worship who stood on the central battleship was furious, roaring like a crazy dog. Attack, attack me! As soon as this order came out, hundreds of warships trembled at the same time. Hundreds of attacking turrets aimed at the thunder warships, and unparalleled godsmen fired. Of course, what makes people vomit blood is that although their attacks are fierce, their range is poor. When they are less than 10,000 feet away from the thunder battleship, the fortress mansions annihilate the power. Do it again. Ye Chen was also very conscious. He whisked out 100,000 source stones and revived and attacked the formation battery. Boom! With a boom, the opposite battleship was sunk again, and a scream rang through the sea of stars. Good job! Xiao Lingwei grinned, her face was eager to try, and she also wanted to run to give the opposite side a shot. Attack, attack me! The moon worshipper is still roaring, holding the boat in his own hands, charging ahead, hundreds of warships lined up behind him, and shooting at the same time, while galloping only to shorten the distance to 20,000 feet in the shortest time inside, otherwise their turrets will never reach each other. However, how could Xia Lingwei let them do the same, chasing one foot across the opposite side, and he retreated one foot and kept the distance between the two sides at 25,000 feet at all times. I have to say that his cooperation with Ye Chen was very tacit. He drove and maintained the enchantment, Ye Chen attacked the turret, and the warships rushed by him were mostly named one by one. In addition to these, they have more powerful capital, which is the Source Stone. Earlier, they worshipped the Moon Stars, and the Source Stones of the Worship of the Moon Worship were swept away. Their quantity was not ordinary, and they could spend extravagantly, without a lot of pain. Boom! Boom! The Xian Huang Xingai is lively now, and the roar is endless, and the Zingai Zingai is even more terrifying. Such a big movement made the monk on the Zingai Sea look surprised, what the hell? The monks who came to watch the crowd also drove the boat. They saw this lawless scene in the distance, and each grinned, don't worship the moon, but you see a nt be lifted by a boat. It's strange to be able to raise your head. Someone groaned. The warship is mostly used for hoisting and the other side is a holy warrior class warship. It completely crushes the moon worship regardless of speed, defense, and attack. I wanted to get some oil and water, but now it seems that it is more reliable to go back to sleep. A distant battleship emerged from the distant Zingai, but the pirates in the legend of Suanhai Suanhai were all worshipped by the moon gods. He couldn't lift his head, and shrank back. Don't, kill them. In the discussion, a wolf howl was particularly loud. It was a small lingwei, astoundingly earth-shattering, with the power of self-cultivation and the power of a domineering dragon soul. Run, where do you want to go? Ye Chen kept urging the turret and violently bombarded a warship that came from the worship of the moon gods, firing a destructive array of mansions. Look at the ship that he bombarded, and it really ran fast, because it was the holy king who worshipped the moon. The worship of the moon worshipper is indeed different. It is larger than the other warships of the moon worship god. It blesses the king's mana, I do nt know the speed, and the defense is much more powerful. However, even though it runs fast and the defense is overwhelming, it can't hold Ye Chen's life bombardment, all the turrets are buzzing, and the trembling and trembling are almost blasted by the bombs on several occasions. In the following, the pieces were shattered into blood mist. The moon worshipper vomited blood. 
I don't know if he was angry or injured. The Divine King has never been so aggrieved, chasing and failing to catch up, and hitting and hitting. He is subject to warships, and can only keep his own warships one after another and sink. Break me! With a roar, Ye Chen, a beast-like creature, piled up a million source stones directly, and shot three gods in succession. The strong warship of the Moon Worshipper was bombarded from beginning to end. Let's look at the people on the battleship, whether they are ancestors or disciples, fell into the Xingai with the collapse of the warships. Whether they were ancestors or disciples, their mana was bound and threw in the water. The monk on the sidelines looked wonderful, a divine king, who was like a mortal at the moment, and even more ridiculously, he could not swim, just like a dry duck on land. Patriarch. The moon worship warships came to rescue one after another. If a holy king drowned, then it would be nonsense. Of course, not only they flew away, but also the thunder warship that Xiao Lingwei and Ye Chen moved. Now that the moon king is falling into the water and his mana is tied, it is equivalent to a mortal without the power of a chicken. How can Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei easily let go of such a rare opportunity? The monks were shocked. How could they not see Ye Chen's plan? This is to kill the king. Save me! The moon worshipper shouted, he really couldn't swim, and drank more than one sip of water, just like a drowning man, tossing in the starry sea, the divine king was majestic, and now he disappeared. Fast, fast! The worship of the of moon worship is in hissing. If the ancestors are so destroyed, as far as the worship of moon gods is concerned, then it will be a great blow. Those who meet the worship of moon gods will be in distress. Fast, fast. Ye Chen was also neighing and drinking, while blasting the Xingai with the turret, while spreading the sound of the little Lingwei. Xiao Lingwei's blood rose, and while he piled up the source stones, he also infused the blood of Tyrannosaurus Rex, the battleship was buzzing, the light was shining, and the speed increased sharply, like a ray of gods, reaching the extreme. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. The picture is magnificent and exciting, and the monks watching the quartet's heart are throbbing. The worship of the of the moon is to save the holy king of the moon, Ye Chen and Xia Lingwei want to destroy the holy king of the moon. The two sides fight for time. Whoever comes first and who is fast and slow is related to the life and death of a holy king. Ye Chen's beast of life, the life-heaving source rock, kept the attacking fortress's turret at its peak at all times, and one Shen Mang followed by another Shen Mang, blasting the sea of stars. You can't aim, you can aim again and fight. Xiao Lingwei, the owner of the boat, couldn't help yelling. Although Ye Chen shot a lot of gods, he failed to hit the moon worshipper. He seriously suspected Ye Chen's marksmanship, this time is urgent, but they have no time to let go of this nonsense. At least 23,000 feet apart, you want to hit one person in the vast starry sea, do you think it's fun? Ye Chen is not too angry, and the Moon King is a human, no more than those warships, the vast star sea, he just like a grain of sand, it is really difficult to hit him. That's why he spurred the turret madly. This was a cover attack. Really don't say, this trick really worked. The Moon King's magical power was bound, and he looked like a mortal. The fortress gods were so powerful that even if he couldn't hit him, the aftermath was enough for him to drink a pot. The main thing is not these, but that he can't swim, and is drowned by waves again and again, over time, it is not impossible to be drowned. Is this Xingai mysterious? In the spotlight, the warship distance between the two sides was shortened to 20,000 feet. Hit me. This time, Chu Chu still worshipped the moon, and the sound of wolf howls continued to shake. Immediately, hundreds of warship turrets pointed at Ye Chen's warship at the same time, and at the same time, they shot overbearing gods and blasted into each other's enchantment. Boom. Boom. Ye Chen's warship trembled. Even if it was a saint-class warship, it almost collapsed under this wave of attacks. 
facts have proved that the absolute suppression of quantity can also reverse the lack of quality. Retreat. Ye Chen passed on the voice to Xia Lingwei, saying that he didn't forget to give the Xingai the last shot. Needless to remind him, Xiao Lingwei also drove with enough horsepower to escape. The other person had a lot of ships, and if she went on like this, they would probably be blasted to death. This is not land, this is the Xianhuang Xingai. Chase me! The Lord of the Moon Worship roared leaving several warships in search of the Lord of the Moon Worship who did not know where the Xingai was rolled, and the remaining hundreds of warships, all with full horsepower, went straight to Ye Chen and chased them. Want to show off? Xiao Lingwei shook her head, and her palm handling technology was good. The huge warship had a gorgeous drift on the Xingai Sea, perfectly avoiding the bombardment of the moon-watching warship. Ye Chen was not idle either holding the source stone for improper money, burning piles of piles, which ship was the fiercest to chase, and the one that was not sinking and sinking was not finished, and the moon worship that still hit could not lift his head. The worshippers of the moon gods are all like madmen, and finally managed to reduce their distance from Ye Chen. How could they give up and rest, a ship was sinking, and the second ship was instantly filled up. Once it caught up, it was directly open the bomber which tube does not aim, cover attack. Boom! The vast expanse of starry sky set off a stormy sea because of his pursuit and confrontation. The sound of screams, roars and rumblings became one after another, like a tide. The monks from the quartet all looked dissatisfied. They hurriedly retreated, fearing that they would suffer the aftermath. The Xianhuang Xingai has a special existence, it seems that the stars are shining and shining, but everyone knows its weirdness. Once caught in the waves of Xingai, most of them do not end well. If they are not careful, they will lose their lives and worship the Moon King did not know where he was beaten, let alone them. These two goods are really crazy. Too many people were stunned, hiding from a distance to watch. Thanks for being a holy warrior class warship, otherwise it would have been blasted into dregs. Someone booed, can't you use their source stones? You don't have money to make them like this. Looking at this posture of worshipping the moon gods, is it not over without chasing the barren continent, endlessly? When you arrive in the wilderness, there will be more terrible giant engines waiting for the two goods. The moon worship is so miserable that the taking palace will give up? It is no wonder that the world is chasing them. I'm curious that the king of moon worship is dead or not. Someone muttered softly. It hasn't been bombed by the gods, and it has mostly been drowned. Many people looked at the sea of stars. People worshipping the moon gods were still salvaging, but they never found the figure of the moon worshipper. Hit, hit me fiercely. As the quartet discussed, the roar of the lord of the moon worshipped through the sea of stars, and hundreds of warships were like dogskin plaster, chasing after each other. Hey. I have a bad temper. Xiao Lingwei quits, no longer holds the boat, jumps directly to the turret where Ye Chen is located, and screams, You go down, change it for me, and kill him. Don't wave. Ye Chen left in an instant. Look. Xiao Lingwei was even more fierce than Ye Chen, and was too lazy to aim, and the piles of source stones were squandered unscrupulously. A turret was shot by him to cover the attack. The warship was a ship. Did not fight, but it blasted the Black Sea Zingai. I like your urine. Ye Chen glanced at him, and concentrated on the ship. The source stone Jing Yuan and the Eucharist were intertwined with blood and blood. While maintaining the protective enchantment, he moved the huge warship. I have to say that the technique of holding the boat is good, and the position is more arrogant than that of Xiao Lingwei. The ability to avoid attacks is really not covered. The gods are all shot by rubbing the ship's body. Okay? Only before a wave of attacks escaped, Ye Chen's eyes narrowed sharply, staring forward. Ahead, the starry mist is hazy, and the vast sea of stars is turbulent, setting off waves of waves. When the starry mist is cleared, there are only a few hundred ancient ships, and there are battle flags on each of them. Lie. 
on each battle flag of Huli, there is a totem depiction of the moon. My Nima, what's the situation? The little Lingwei, who was still bombarded by the imperial turret, found the abnormal shape in front of her. Where can there be so many warships worshipping Luna? It seems that the worship of the moon is not all a fool. Ye Chen frowned. Knowing that we can't catch up with us, this sent the warship back to the breadcrumbs in the early days to pinch back and forth. Surround them. Compared to them, the moon worshipper who was still chasing after him laughed and snarled like a crazy dog. As Ye Chen expected, as soon as they chased into the sea, they sent out. The warships deterred and they were indeed not fools. Under the decree of the worship of the moon, more than 600 warships galloped before and after the worship of the moon, and the lined-up warships instantly changed their shape and surrounded them, coming from the four sides. There are many churches worshipping Luna. The monk on the sidelines receded again, sighing. You don't want to think about how the moon worship came about. An older monk scratched his beard and said something profoundly, their predecessors were pirates, and housekeeping was naval warfare. There are such hidden feelings. These two waves are less ferocious, and there are more than 600 warships before and after the worship of the moon gods. Even their holy warships, they cannot stand the siege of such battles. Surrounded, surrounded. I don't know who snorted and attracted everyone's attention. Ye Chen's battleship was surrounded by the 80,000-foot Xingai Sea, and the quartet was besieging. Then, as soon as the distance got closer to 20,000 feet, they started firing directly. I said, let's not do it, let's run away. Xiao Lingwei urged. Obviously, I want to fight in groups. Once the distance is close to 20,000 feet, our warships will not be able to carry a wave of attacks. Escape? How to escape? Ye Chen glanced at the little Lingwei. Going to heaven. I think, the problem is that I can't move. Can't. Xiao Lingwei stunned, can the Xingai Xingai still suppress your fairy eye? Really, as you said, this strange starry sea makes me helpless. Ye Chen grinned. The mysterious power in the meditation has isolated the ability of fairy eyes to communicate with black holes. That's what to do. Xiao Lingwei was half-hearted, I don't want to die in this crap. Left behind, fight forward. Ye Chen immediately slammed into the millions of source stones, the holy body rolled out, intertwined with the source stone essence, and then the chaos god ding and more than a thousand magic instruments in succession fly out blessing on the worship protective enchantment. Understand. Xiao Lingwei immediately turned the turret and aimed at the warship that was galloping across. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xi'an Mu Emperor as soon as possible. Call me. Seeing Ye Chen rushing, on the opposite battleship, the elders worshipping the moon gods waved swords, pointing away. Call me. The Lord of the Moon worship chasing behind him also waved his sword, leading hundreds of warships to gallop. At that moment, the battle formation turrets of more than 600 warships before and after the worship of the Moon Gods all aimed at Ye Chen and shot out unmatched gods, each with a destructive power. Their semi-crusader class warships, despite their limited range, were blasted by the bleak starry sea. Ye Chen ignored it directly. The palm boat broke through the horrible waves and the target was southeast. Because there were relatively few warships in that direction, he had to find a breakthrough from that direction and kill the encirclement. If you want to say that Xiao Lingwei cooperates very well, you do NT need to communicate with Ye Chen, you know Ye Chen's thought, the battleship turret is concentrated on that side, and two warships have been bombed opposite. The distance between the two sides was finally closer to 20,000 feet. Has reached the range, the worship of the moon gods are all crazy, urged the turret, do not take their own source stone as money to see, playing with the bombardment of life, and finally gave way to release. Boom. Boom. The rumbling sound shook Juxiao. Even though Ye Chen was in control of the ship's technology, the warship continued to be damaged. He was shaken from side to side. 
the powerful guardian enchantment became fragile under the bombardment of such a lineup. The magic weapon is also one broken after another. This time, he vomited blood, only because of the blessing of his blood on the battleship, so that every time he was attacked, his sacred body would be cracked, and some golden blood was sprayed. Little Lingwei was not much better. After all, she was on a warship, her enchantment was wounded, and he was injured. Stand firmly. Ye Chen hissed, his blood rose, his face was mad, and he burned nearly a million source stones, urging the warship to the utmost, the speed of the warship soared, pushing away the waves of waves, all the way to the gods. Went straight to the southeast and ran into the past, trying to hit a gap. Just hit it directly, the goods are crazy. The onlookers of the monk pounded in shock. Otherwise, the longer they drag, the more disadvantageous they are. Although this kind of play is crazy, it is very straightforward. The warrior class warships are much harder than the quasi warrior class warships. Once a gap was made, and it was possible to escape from birth. It seems that the two goods are more than just teasing. Fighting is a fierce one. Crazy, he's crazy. In the discussion, Zingai in the southeast direction heard the horror of worshipping the moon gods. They watched Ye Chen hit all the way, and many people couldn't help it. Backed off, and even worse, turned directly into the Zingai. Stop them. On the other side, the lord of the moon worship was roaring. Stop it. Ye Chen sneered, even more crazy, speeding up instead of falling, rushing all the way. In the spotlight, a warship worshipped by the moon in the southeast was crushed to pieces on the spot. The warship's people turned into flying ash, and fell into the Zingai. Of course, this is not over yet. Ye Chen is still in charge of the ship and colliding all the way. The Holy Warrior class warship is indeed strong. Although there are many war warship ships, it is not beaten to the Holy Warrior class and has been bumped up. Stop! The four sides were screaming in rage, more warships came galloping, and the array of turrets continued to form. Ye Chen ignored this. You who hit you, I hit us, see if you bombed us first, or if we knock you over first, and leave no way for you, then dry up. Because of his fierceness and madness, the Paladin-class warships can be described as slashing. They came across all the way, and one ship was sunk. He rushed out of the encirclement, and was shocked to see the monks look around. I have never seen such a fight in a naval battle. However, the Thunder warship also paid a bitter price for this. He was constantly hit, and the Guardian Circle was beaten with sores. If he and Xia Lingwei were physically overbearing, most of them would have died. Hai Kuo walks away with a leaping fish. He rushed out of the siege, Ye Chen drove the boat, and burst out several hundred feet in an instant. Asshole! The Lord of the Moon Worship growled, took control of the ship himself, and chased it with hundreds of warships. Come, then come! Little Lingwei yelled above the warship but it was piled up with millions of source stones, and the array of fortifications followed one another without panting. Boom! 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 The Xian Huang Xingai was lively again, and the waves of waves overwhelmed the waves, causing a lot of scolding. This is a huge picture. A warship flees in front, and more than 600 warships are chasing behind. The two sides chase each other all the way, making the Zingai chaos. The speed of the warrior-class warship is much faster than that of the quasi-warrior-class warship, and the distance between the two warships is quickly pulled away. As a result, the battle returned to the beginning, Ye Chen, and they were able to bomb each other, but because of the range of the moon worship warship, it was hot, but none of them could hit each other. Wave, continue to wave. Xia Lingwei yelled, and the turrets of the royal movement method called each other. Wave your sister. Ye Chen didn't listen to him. He drove his boat to death. He had been hit before. With a wave of collisions, their warships were infinitely close to scrapping. Whatever the accident, most of them will bury themselves in the desolate Zingai. Slow down, the fight is good. 
Seeing the speed of the warship soaring beyond the range of the turret, Xiao Lingwei could not help but curse, and it seemed that she would work hard for him for a hundred years. You, get down and repair the warship. Ye Chen scolded while driving. I'm boring. Xiao Lingwei gave a defamation in her belly, and finally gave a shot, and jumped off the platform. Beep again, and kick you with a kick. Ye Chen glanced and brushed back the source stone over the turret, used to support the speed of the warship and maintain the guardian enchantment of the warship. Because of his unwillingness to fight, the speed of the warship was lightning fast, and the distance between the two warships was widened again. The Lord of the Moon worshipped vomiting blood, his eyes were red, and his liver and gallbladder were cracked. I wonder if he was injured or angry. The shame, the great shame. The home was copied, the baby was robbed, the ancestor was bombed out, and more than six hundred warships were worshipped and killed by the worship of the moon god, all surrounded the other, but they were still escaped since worshipping the moon, since the establishment of the school, we have never lost such a large person. Chase, chase me. The more I thought about it, the more angry I was, and the lord of the moon worshipped on the bow of the ship, roaring like a crazy crazy dog. Ye Chen left unheard of, still flying soaring, leaving the moon worshipper worship far behind him. However, they still underestimated the perseverance of the worship of the moon goddess, even though they were not as fast as the holy soldiers, but they were still chasing after each other, and they vowed not to let the die. Niubi. Looking at Ye Chen, they went away, and the monks grinned again. Today's drama is really beautiful. Ye Chen and everyone at the scene understood it. Looking at it, many people started to leave the boat, and no one caught up to the theater. Even the warships worshipping the moon could not catch up with the two beasts, and their boats couldn't catch up. The figures dispersed, the cursing still existed, and it was transmitted from the direction of the warship of Luna Worship, a good starry sea, because the two sides were confronted, stained with blood, the sea was a mess. Although the onlookers retreated, the drama did not end, and the worship of the moon gods was still persevering. Ye Chen, if they were going to the Xianhuang continent, they would chase the Xianhuang continent. When they got there, at least there was the taking palace to help hunt and kill the two bitches. How could they hate it? www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xian Wu Emperor as soon as possible. The vast starry sea, the waves are magnificent, and the thunder warship is galloping like a streamer. The little Lingwei who repaired the battleship boarded the fort once again, gathered her eyes, and looked backwards, as far as she could see, and no longer saw the moon worship warship. Some were just rough waves. At this point, he was relieved, like a wolf dog, squatting on the platform completely, even if it is reincarnation it still does not change the faults of previous lives, quaking chewing source stone. Looking at Ye Chen again, without him being so leisurely, his blood was still rising, and he was spurring the warship. Nine days have passed since the naval battle that day. Although he has left the worship of the moon far behind, he dare not slack off, because he knows that the worship of the moon is still chasing, and he will catch up with him on the day of the inconsistency. What are you anxious for, the cubs can't catch up with the puppets. Xiao Lingwei glanced at Ye Chen. Running fast, I'm relieved to run faster. Ye Chen said, and piled up another hundred thousand source stones. I haven't seen such a desolate holy body. You persuade, and you are also bullying. Well, Xiao Lingwei looked disapproved, and continued to eat the source stone. Yet. Ye Chen was too lazy to take care of the goods, and used mystery to fix the direction of the warship. Then he jumped out of the battleship, and then ran about on the warship. Soon, the warship buzzed and shrank a few dozen times. The ship was blessed by the evolution of the heavens and its breath was masked. To outsiders, this was an imperial class warship. Xiao Lingwei glanced and said nothing. She knew what Ye Chen did this time. The crises and crises were in danger. Too many unknowns existed. Too much swagger would attract powerful pirates. Next, 
the ship was much quieter. Ye Chen meditated on her knees, and Xiao Lingwei slept loudly. Sun and moon change, day and night cycle. In the blink of an eye, it was already nine days past. The worship of the moon worship did not catch up, and the Xingai was fairly peaceful, but Ye Chen couldn't sit still. Everything is because of this vast starry sea, which is really not an ordinary expanse. With this saint class worship, it has been soaring for nine days, but it has not yet reached the other bank, and the shadow of the other bank has not been seen. In your inherited memory, there are other secrets of the Xian Huang Xingai. It's too big to know what it is. Helplessly, Ye Chen slanted the little Lingwei above. You should have heard of the Emperor Suangu. Xia Lingwei stuffed a Swaliang source stone into her mouth. I've heard it. Ye Chen nodded immediately, with awe in his eyes, Suangu Emperor, one of the most amazing emperors of the human race, six emperors in the demon realm alone, one blocked in the heavens eight hundred years in front of the door, the last drop of blood was exhausted, and it was the only emperor who died of war among the one hundred and thirty emperors of Xian Huang. That was a history. When it comes to the Emperor Suangu, it seems to have a relationship with the ancient ancient Eucharist. Xiao Lingwei glanced at Ye Chen. The combination of the ancient ancient Eucharist and the Taoist spirit is overbearing. I know this. I don't need you to remind me specifically and say something I don't know. Ye Chen gave a glance at Xia Lingwei, what is the connection between the Xian Huang Xingai and Suangu Emperor? Xian Huang Xingai is the Danhai of the Suangu Emperor. This. The Emperor of the Human Race is respectable. Xiao Lingwei continued, with a look of awe, that was the respect of the human emperor by the vein of the Dragon King. I transformed the Xingai with my own Danhai and surrounded the wilderness. This is a big barrier against the demon. It should be the last effort of the Emperor Suangu for the heavens and the world and to guard the lives of the worlds from generation to generation. That's it. Ye Chen's state of mind was quite calm. He was even more in awe of the mysterious ancient emperor. The emperor of the human race, after fighting the last drop of blood, was still protecting the life. This is also the reason why the Xian Huang Xingai can restrain the monk's mana. Xiao Lingwei continued, this is the secret of eternity. Few people know it. I do nt know if it is not a memory inheritance. The heavens and the world are full of mystery everywhere. Ye Chen took a hard breath. Well? There is a warship in front. When Ye Chen groaned, the crouching little Lingwei stood up and stood on two legs, holding a magic weapon called a telescope in his hand. Hearing that Ye Chen also looked sideways, and when he saw his eyes, he saw the turbulent waves in the sea ahead. After clearing away the misty star fog, he saw that there were more than a dozen ancient warships. These battles were not small. During the talk, the dozens of warships gradually became clear, lined up, and came in waves, and each warship stood with more than a dozen figures, each with a large sword. Stop the ship and rob. Then, a howling whistle blew through the sea. Hey, I have a bad temper. Xiao Lingwei came to her spirits, and began to pile out piles of stones to recover the source, attacked the battle array turret, and was always ready to fight him. I really met a pirate. Ye Chen could not help but touch his chin, secretly saying that the other 80% of them regarded their warships as imperial class warships, otherwise they would not run to rob. Stop the ship and rob. The cheers resumed, with the arrogance and fierceness that a pirate should have. Yet, Ye Chen, who was preparing to run the battleship, could not help but hesitated. His eyes were like a torch, his eyes gathered, and he stared at an ancient warship in the center of the opposite, as if he could be separated. Tens of thousands of feet above the sea, saw two figures standing in the bow. Those are two old men, very cheap and insignificant, one is picking the nostrils, the other is picking the ears, and they are picking very vigorously and from time to time they stop and punch a throat. An ancient tea, a boundless person. Ye Chen's eyes lighted up instantly. After calculation, it was quite certain that the two goods were reincarnation, and they were still relatively familiar too, 
and their seniority was not low. Suddenly, his mind began to hesitate again, or every time he saw the reincarnation, he couldn't help recalling their previous lives, just like the two goods opposite, and he still remembers it. Boom! When he was stunned, the battleship where the ancient Three Links and the Boundless Taoist were located was penetrated by a battery of gods, and he watched as the two goods fell into the Xingai. Ye Chen was awakened instantly, and she looked up and yelled, Whoever you let you fire. Why, is there a problem? The little Ling Wei, who was just about to make another round above, suddenly hesitated. Needless to say, it was this who had just blasted the ancient three links and the battleships of the borderless men. Reincarnation, that's the reincarnation, you're stubborn. Ye Chen cursed, raised his foot to the platform of the boat, burned the source stone frantically, the holy blood rose to it, and the imperial ship galloped towards the starry sea, all right? It's easy to meet two reincarnated people. If this is drowning, then it is nonsense. Hearing Ye Chen's words, Xiao Lingwei's look was wonderful, but he was domineering and leaked, and he bombarded another opponent's warship. Who would have thought of this bridge? It happened to be awkward. Looking at the opposite, more than a dozen warships have stopped, each looking at this in horror. You know, the sinking warships are their main ships, but they are quasi-holy warriors. They can bombard a quasi-holy warship with one shot, and know that the other warship is holy warrior with their butt. Mistakes, serious missteps. The faces of a dozen warships turned pale. Obviously, the opponent's warship is not like the emperor level, but a holy warrior. If the opponent's warship is a holy warrior, the fool will come to rob them. Quickly, save people. A moment of shock, someone hurriedly yelled, and the people on the ship that was bombed by the sinking ship were still flopping in the Xingai at this moment? No one was bombed to death, but most of them would be drowned later. Immediately, a boat sprinkled special fishing nets to salvage those who fell into the water. As for the remaining dozen warships, they have been lined up and blocked in front. All of them have revived the formation turret. They must stop the galloping thunder warship from gaining time for salvaging people. It's fair to say that these people are still righteous. Now that they are the enemy, they have not scattered to flee, but they are still trying their best to salvage the fallen people, and for this they are at the mercy level. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Zion Mu Emperor as soon as possible. I don't want to attack, my own family. Ye Chen opened up before waiting for more than a dozen warships to fire. Booming the warships of ours, and talking about my own family. A dozen or so warships screamed at each other, and the fortified battleship turret was buzzing, and he was ready to blast him into darkness. This group of people's heads are not so bright, they seem to be unable to explain. Xia Lingwei shrugged. I see it. Ye Chen sighed, no longer explaining, and directly sailed past the ship. Retreat, quickly retreat. In the rear, the ancient three links and the boundless Taoist who had fallen into the water have all been picked up. A dozen warships turned their bows immediately, and their opening and closing speed was not ordinary. It's really a ghost. The goods of Wu Yao Tao and Gu Santung shouted while spitting the seawater, robbing them for so many years, they have never seen such shameless people. They are obviously warrior class warships but it seems to be a section of the imperial realm, apparently posing as a pig and eating a tiger. Hey! Zheng Huan, who was scolded by the two goods, suddenly saw the turbulent waves of the starry sea ahead, and looked away from them. Thirty ancient warships came straight to them, all of which were quasi-holy. Taiching Palace Seeing the fierce battle flags on the thirty warships opposite, the ancient three links were frightened, as if they had passed the battle flag and recognized the power of the party. It's really a ghost, the woundless scolded. Come out and talk about so many birds. Yang Xian and Gu Zhen, let my husband find him easily. When they talked, there was a laughter from Yin Yin on the battleship of the taking palace opposite, I thought it would be all right to escape here. Heavy, you mother-in-law's dog. 
Gu Santung and woundless Taoists screamed and snarled, and drove the ship to change directions, and a dozen ships drifted collectively. Follow me. The order was solemnly ordered, and thirty quasi class warships followed. Well, the two sides had just chased and fled, and Ye Chen had arrived by boat and looked at the bun. You can recognize which side's battle flag. Ye Chen looked up at Xia Lingwei. Taking palace. Xia Lingwei thought for two or three seconds and gave a definitive answer. It is also considered a hero in the Xian Huang continent. To be more precise, it is the patron of the moon worship. It's the worship of the moon again. Ye Chen drew her ears and lifted the four words, making them inexplicable. On the battleship of the Taking Palace, there is our reincarnation. Xiao Lingwei glanced at Ye Chen. No. Get it. Xiao Lingwei twisted her neck fiercely, and she had millions of stones. Looking at Ye Chen again, the warship has been chased up. Even if there is no such relationship as moon worship, he will definitely fight. Everything is because of the reincarnated people among the people who were killed. In an instant, this sea of stars was lively again. The ancient three links in front of them were fleeing. The battleship in the taking palace in the rear was huge, and finally Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei were also chasing their lives. Soon, the rumbling sounded and the Taking Palace warship that chased and killed the ancient Three Links did not know what was going on. A huge warship was bombarded by Xiao Lingwei's puppet. In front of him, the heavy rumor sounded and looked back suddenly, staring at the thundering warship that was coming. How could it be, an Imperial class warship could bombard the semi-holy soldier class? For a brief moment, another ship in the Taking Palace was bombed and sunk on the spot, and many people were affected. Yin Zhong was furious and shook Xingai. Wu Nai taking palace is so heavy. Can you wait for death? However, for his anger, Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei ignored them directly, and it was okay not to mention taking palace. This said, the two goods were even more fierce, and the cooperation was not a general tacit understanding. Ye Chen took the boat. Rushing all the way, Xiao Lingwei moved the turret of the array method bombarded frantically. The battleship of the Taking Palace was damaged, and the two ships were destroyed by a wave of operations. The battleships were sunk one after another, and the people on the ship fell into the Xingai. Asshole! The heavy anger shook the sky, suddenly raised his sword, pointed away from behind, hit the old man. As a result, the Taking Palace warships chasing the ancient Three Links and the borderless Taoists stopped under heavy orders and turned the turrets collectively, aiming at Ye Chen's thundering warship. Of course, their warships are of the Quasi class, with a limited range, and they cannot reach Ye Chen's thunder warships. When Ye Chen drove the ship into their range, they scrambled like a rat, and couldn't hit anything. Even if there were one or two hits, it was no different from the priesthood. The Xingai is lively, and the movement is not small. The two sides are banging, and the blast of this Xingai is violent. In front of them, the ancient three links that had fled also stopped. They looked back subconsciously, and when they saw the scorching heat behind them, they all looked stunned, what's the matter, why did they do it? The old man's finger counts, the master of the holy war class warship is also the enemy of the taking palace. Gu Santung's face was serious and hearty, it happened to happen, but I just did it. Holy warrior class warships really hanged. The boundless Taoist groaned. Thirty quasi military warships of taking palace, he was embarrassed to be beaten by a warship. Eighty percent are also pirates. Or else, let's go back and help. A wretched old man in the purple robe asked tentatively. Help the wool, go. Gu Santung first opened. Reliable. The woundless Taoist also moved the warship. These two goods will kill the Taking Palace and they will come back to clean up the soldiers. Seeing that the ancient three links were running away, Ye Chen, who was still in the blast with Taking Palace, almost didn't come up. You are helping you. You two are better off, and they are running away, shameless. Immediately, 
Ye Chen had to catch up with the Imperial ship. The reincarnated man, who could not find it, couldn't slip away. How big is the vast expanse of Xingai? Once there is no shadow, God knows how to find it. However, he wanted to leave, but the Qing Palace was so energetic that they thought they were going to flee, and a swarm of bees and warships swarmed up, one more fierce than the other, like chicken blood. Hey! Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei are also angry, and then go back and continue, I wanted to spare you, but waited for the bulls to be happy and coquettish. In that case, there is no need to go back today. This Xingai, because of their counterattack, was suddenly choppy, and the turbulent waves were one layer higher than the other. The fighting between the two parties is in full swing, and the scene is very grand. It is worth mentioning that although there were many warships in the Taking Palace, they were unable to lift their heads. Thirty warships were more than half sunk, and three or five were destroyed and lost their combat effectiveness. Retreat The sound of rage rang through the sea of stars, and his face was fierce and solemn. The first boater withdrew from the battlefield, and now he understands that the other party is the emperor level and clearly the holy soldier level. The warrior class warships are so fierce. If they continue to fight, the whole army must be wiped out. At this moment, he had some regrets. He shouldn't stop the opponent, so that he suffered a heavy loss. This is the end of his own power. This time, he will most likely be punished. Retreat. The leaders were gone, and the rest of the Taking Palace warships dared to fall in love. They turned the bows of the ships one by one, and they were also angry with persecution. Ye Chen did not know why they attacked them. Come again. Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei scolded each other, but they did not catch up, but turned the bow directly to the direction of the ancient three links and the boundless people to escape. The pursuit was slow, and the eight achievements were gone. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xi'an Wu Emperor as soon as possible. The sea of stars at night is magnificent, the fairy light is overflowing, intertwined with the starlight moonlight, dreamlike. I don't know when the night's silence will be broken by a loud bang, and it will clear the vast sea of stars. Looking away, there were more than a dozen warships, and when they looked carefully, it was the ancient three links and the boundless Taoists whose warships were all raged, lost power, and suspended on the sea. Looking at them opposite, it was a towering battleship, magnificent, and the whole body was overflowing with brilliant gold, each strand was under the pressure of the holy soldiers, and the sea was surging. Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei stood on the warship, and looked at the ancient three links and the boundless people with black faces. They chased all the way, and they caught up with these cheap goods for a whole 80,000 miles. Run! I won't run anymore! Xiao Lingwei stood on the stage, scolding the spittle star flying all over the sky. If you don't run, don't run. Gu Santung and Woundless Taoist shook their heads and sat at the bow with a group of younger brothers Bubula. The boat was ruined and let them run. Nonsense! Ye Chen cursed, raising his hand to carry the ancient three links and the boundless person. Misunderstanding, misunderstanding! Gu Santung and Woundless Taoist laughed at each other, showing yellow teeth. I really like your nature. Ye Chen cursed, sacrificing Xian Guang, and fell into the hearts of the two. Suddenly, the two trembled, and they fell to the ground with a thump, their heads clasped in their hands, their expressions were extremely painful, and their painful roars, and the old eyes became blurred with the sea of humming. Seeing this, his two younger brothers were discolored, thinking that Ye Chen was going to torture the ancient three links and the boundless man to death, and as younger brothers, most of them couldn't escape death. Ye Chen glanced out, and then he took out the jug and sat at the bow. Be honest, don't take it seriously. It was said that although more than 200 people were willing to resist, they were unable to move. They have reasons to believe that if they acted arbitrarily, they would be bombed on the spot by the opponent's battery. Ye Chen didn't say much, didn't bother to explain sipping drinks and watching the ancient three links quietly. 
Xia Lingwei also jumped off the platform, took out the source stone, and chewed cheering rhythmically. Under the watchful eyes of the two, the ancient three links and the boundless Taoist have collapsed to the ground. With the continuous integration of Xian Guang, an ancient memory gradually manifested in Chen Hai, intertwined with the memories of this life. A quarter of an hour later, they saw their bodies stop trembling, the pain gradually dissipated, and their memories recovered. Both of them raised their old faces, their murky old eyes, and stared at Ye Chen in front of them. Two hundred years of sleep, you can sleep comfortably. Ye Chen Rao looked at the two with interest. In this world, there is reincarnation. Gu Santung and Woundless Taoist cried. They were all old tears, they all cried without a sound. For two hundred years, the past and present are like fantasy dreams. Your two weapons, the things belong to the original owner. Ye Chen whisked his hands and took out an iron sword and a bronze mirror. This is the ancient soldiers of the ancient Tees and the borderless Taoist. Contaminated with the blood that had not dried up, it was their blood, and it was also of vicissitudes of time. Thank you. Gu Santung and woundless Taoists took it one after another, crying with tears in their faces, holding their own magic soldiers, goodbye to the relics of previous lives, even though they are just a weapon, they are also kind. What about the others? They accepted the Shen Bing, and the two wiped away their tears, hoping to look at Ye Chen. Looking a lot. Ye Chen smiled. When I find it completely, he will take you back to your hometown. Okay, okay. I said, is there anyone else? It makes me very embarrassed. Xiao Lingwei, who was chewing on the source stone, opened her mouth, interrupting the hazy minds of the ancient three links and the borderless Taoist. The ancient three links and the boundless Taoists bowed their heads, looked up and down the little Lingwei, it is a dragon, an extremely overbearing dragon, they think they have no memory of this dragon in their memory. However, when they saw Xia Lingwei chewing the source stone, the two found a small, fluffy little thing in the memory. They also like to chew the stone. They are not big, and their meals are amazing. At the same time, the two looked tentatively at Ye Chen, hoping to get a definitive answer. Ye Chen smiled and nodded gently. Next, they saw that the ancient three links and the boundless people began to pull their sleeves, and their old faces were as coke as they rushed to Xia Lingwei. Not long ago, this little thing was sinking their main battleship. Shouts and screams suddenly sounded, the ancient three links and the borderless Taoist are both sages, and their strength is not weak, but Xiao Lingwei's nagging is not vegetarian. Ye Chen ignored it directly and drank the little wine with interest, admiring this wonderful picture. Soon after, the goods stopped, all with blue noses and swollen faces, but leaning on the bow of the ship and laughing. Who would have thought that they could reincarnate, and who would have thought that two hundred years later, they would meet again in this situation? Not long ago, they chased and fled, which was really interesting. The subsequent pictures were a little sensational. The three men and one dragon sat on the bow of the boat, all holding the jugs, and staring silently at him, as if they could see the beautiful mountains and rivers through the endless years. In such a scene, the little brothers who saw the ancient three links and the boundless Taoists were aggressive and didn't know what they were doing. They cried and laughed for a while, and they even fought in such a harmonious fight. However, it is worth noting that their boss knew the young man and the dragon, and they were still good friends, otherwise they would not provoke taking palace to save them. It wasn't until late at night that Ye Chen stood up, his eyes were like a torch, and he stared at a sea of stars, where the waves were turbulent, and there were a lot of powerful warships approaching, including the Paladin. The ancient three links they also got up, fixed their eyes and looked away. When they saw the battle flags roaring on those warships, their faces suddenly became ugly. It is a warship of the Taking Palace, and the battle is not small. Go. Ye Chen immediately boarded the battleship, and Xia Lingwei also went to the battlefield. Here comes here at a fast speed. Gu Santung and Woundless Taoist greeted their little brothers. 
Although those people had doubts in their hearts, they still did not move slowly. They boarded the ship with great speed. The thunderous ship started, like a stream of light across the vast sea, and disappeared instantly. Not long after they left, the battleship of the Taking Palace arrived. The battle was indeed not small. There were hundreds of warships, including one of the Paladin class, and the heaviness was also impressive. Chase a glance at the ancient Three Links and the boundless Taoist people their dozen scrapped warships, and immediately ordered, hundreds of warships lined up, and went straight to one side to chase after them, extremely fast. Ahead, Ye Chen blessed Zhou Tian evolution on the Thunder battleship, first glanced at the rear, and then looked at the ancient Three Links, it seems that you two have not robbed the Taking Palace warship. Waffle. Woundless Tao cursed immediately. If they weren't, they wouldn't be pirates. Oh. I waited for the barren continent. The ancient three passages came to the truth. Only because they provoked the taking palace and were chased all the way, they hid in the barren starry sea, and became helpless pirates. These people are almost the same. Woundless Taoist glanced at the younger brother behind him. Many people's families have been destroyed. I waited for the group to keep warm. I never thought that the Taking Palace would chase Xian Huang Xingai. I'm late. Ye Chen sighed, with a sad tone, and the monk Da Chu, who had fought for the lives of Wang Yu, was actually living so hard, it really made people resentful. It's useless to say these things. Xiao Lingwei shook her head. Thinking about the road is reliable. This is it. Ye Chen touched his chin. We have the back road. Gu Santung smiled slightly. One hundred thousand miles southeast, there is a small island, that is our old nest, and we hide there, there is no problem. Small island. Ye Chen raised an eyebrow. You two aren't afraid to be found. Look, look down on that island, isn't it? Woundless Dao grinned. Although the island is not big, it is not simple. It is a big part of it and the emperor may not find it when he comes. Unintentionally, when he saw his mystery, he found a place to stay. There is such a wonderful place. Ye Chen hissed, the Xingai really has surprises everywhere. I have been hiding in that small island for years, and the Taking Palace has not been able to find it after many searches. This is also the boundless starry sea. How difficult it is to find a small island, not to mention that the small island is still a big circle inside, said Xiao Lingwei. So, go to that small island first. Take off the battleship behind Taking Palace. Relax, you must show your position. Xiao Lingwei volunteered, jumped onto the platform of the ship, and then Tyrannosaurus resurrected with blood and blood, intertwined with the burning source stone, and drove the warship as fast as possible. Zeng after a gorgeous and elegant, all the way through the waves. Good domineering blood. Smell the blood of Xia Lingwei's rising blood, the ancient three links and the boundless Taoists were surprised, so strong, not weak at all, too weak ancient dragon, the two are quite equal. He is Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ye Chen heard a voice. No wonder. The two sighed, but they looked a little strange. They were both Dacher reincarnations. They were the blood of Tyrannosaurus Rex, but they became pirates. This gap is so big. It turns out that character is very important. Ye Chen said with a deep voice. Roll. Don't talk nonsense, I'm idle, I'm going to wash your blood. Ye Chen poured the last ray of wine in the pot, and began to stretch his body fiercely. The ancient three links and the boundless Taoist smiled one after another, sitting down cross-legged immediately, the origins of the sacred ancient holy body washed up the blood, but it was a chance, for the monks, it was a gift from heaven. The same is true of their younger brothers. Although they don't know why Ye Chen's blood is so majestic, they know that Ye Chen's blood is absolutely overbearing, at least not weaker than the dragon on the platform of the boat. On the battleship, there was a moment of silence. Every time at this time, Ye Chen worked very hard and never sang medicine and blood for his family. 
Little Lingwei was not idle, sacrificing a ray of dragon blood, intertwined with the source of the Eucharist of Ye Chen, and using the power of the two to wash the blood, it had absolutely unexpected results. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Yu Emperor as soon as possible. Well. 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 A painful low roar soon sounded on the battleship. The origin of the Eucharist and the blood of Tyrannosaurus Rex are too overbearing, and the pain of washing the blood is beyond the ordinary people's tolerance. Contributing to the blood of Tyrannosaurus Rex, Xiao Lingwei concentrated on sailing, and the huge warship was racing all the way. Looking behind him, the battleship of the Taking Palace is also speeding up and chasing and killing. However, the ability to navigate the ship weakens Xia Lingwei. Although they have many warships and large battles, they cannot catch up. Near dawn, I saw Xiao Lingwei driving on a calm sea. As for the Taking Palace behind her, she chased her all night, but chased after her, but she lost the Thunder battleship, and she had already been dumped at this moment. Where, Zhengli scolded his mother collectively at the bow. It's okay to force it. Xia Lingwei pulled out the large storage bag, and narcissistically chewed on the source of chewing stones. I don't know if the people were crying. How far is that from the small island? Ye Chen glanced around and looked at the ancient three links. I came to drive the boat, and it was not easy to find. Gu Santung got on the platform of the ship, and he consciously stunned Xia Lingwei. I have never sailed a holy warship. It should be good. It's pretty good. Go home. The ancient three links moved the warship, and his sailing skills were also leveraged, soaring all the way. Go home. Gu Santung and the younger brothers of the borderless man smiled and closed their mouths. This time, it was a real change, and they walked away at the gate of the ghost twice. At this moment, they were a little scared. Fortunately, not surprisingly, not only came back alive, but also had a good fortune, the blood was trained, many people have forcibly advanced into the realm because of this opportunity. The next way, it was much calmer, and the warship was flying unscrupulously in the Xingai. An hour later, the warship stopped again. Gu Santung stretched a lazy waist, jumped out of the palm boat platform, raised his hand and pointed at the Xingai not far away. Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei both looked in the direction of the ancient three links, glanced, and rubbed their eyes again. After rubbing, they looked at each other, and looked at each other. They looked wonderful. There is indeed an island there, it is really a small island, and the circle is only three feet in size. At first glance, it is a reef. If Ye Chen had amazing eyesight, they would not see it. Then the small island in your mouth. Ye Chen and they looked at the goods of Gu Santung one after another. Why, aren't you young? Gu Santung and Woundless Taoist said, already beating Yin Ju. Now you know why the Qing Palace can't find you. Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei both grinned, the Suanhai Suanhai is so large, and the island is so small, it's strange to find it. Heavens cover the tiger, the pagoda town demon. When the two men grinned, Gu Santung and Woundless Taoist sighed, shocked that Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei were almost peeing. Soon, the small island buzzed and trembled, and a three-foot-tall fairy light gate slowly opened. Then, a light-paved road appeared under the Gate of Light, extending under the Battleship of Thunder. It was also engraved with ancient runes, which was a magical power connected to the Gate of Light. Gone. The ancient three links and the boundless Taoist took the lead in the light path, stepping into the bright light door. Interesting. Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei collected the thunder warship and followed them, followed by the younger brothers. When you enter the gate of light, it is another scene. In front of you, it is really a large world of space. There are 100,000 feet in the square, ancient trees, brooks, rain and mist, misty. Spiritual power is abundant, quiet, and peaceful. It's like a paradise in troubled times. This place is really good. Ye Chen touched his chin, the fairy eyes opened, glanced at this large space world, 
and found many hidden restraints, overflowing with ancient forces. There is a huge ancient law formation to maintain this space. Xiao Lingwei whispered. From this space world, you can see the Xingai outside, but you can't see the inside. Ye Chen glanced at the outside and could clearly see the vast Xingai. There is a powerful secret to cover the opportunity. People who open up the big world of space are at least the level of quasi-perfect emperor. Xiao Lingwei groaned. It is possible to open the space in the Xianhuang Xingai. Between the two of them, there were people in front of them. There were as many as three hundred, mostly old women and children. Most of them are the family members of the ancient Three Links, and their cultivation is not very high. The younger brothers of the ancient Three Links and the boundless Taoist greeted them. Many people picked up their children. They smiled mildly, and it was really commendable to have the warmth in this troubled world. We all live this way on weekdays. The old and the weak women stay in the category, and we go out to rob. The boundless Taoist pinched his beard, it's quite peaceful to live in a lingering state. But this time out, you can lose the old man. Gu Santung looked at Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei with a black face. The only dozen warships, one of which was bombed by you two. Left. Listen to what you mean, we blame us. Xiao Lingwei quit, if it weren't for you fleeing, how could there be so many birds and you wouldn't stop honestly if you didn't kill you? It's just blame that you didn't unlock the memory before, who knows you? Both goods shrugged. But since we are here, you don't need to be pirates anymore. Ye Chen couldn't help laughing, whisking out hundreds of large storage bags, hanging in the void, and then burst together. Immediately, a piece of source stone lingered down the sky, piled up piece by piece, piled stiffly into a towering mountain, except for the source stone, which is a miracle, suspended in the air, the number of which cannot be estimated, the lowest order are five patterns, each shining like stars. Wow! The children raised their small faces and looked up with big eyes, showing their innocence and solitude. The ancient three links and the boundless people were shocked, and their little brothers were shocked, or the people present were shocked. This is such a huge fortune. It has nt been so much in a lifetime. This is not the end. Little Lingwei also sprayed out hundreds of storage bags. Most of them contained spiritual grass and spiritual fruit trees, and they were connected one by one, planting the entire small world, just like the sea. Instantly, the richness of the spiritual power of the space world raised several levels more than once. It used to be a paradise, but now it has become a fairyland on Earth. There are treasures everywhere. The cheers sounded, especially those old and weak women and children, with tears of excitement in their eyes, with such treasures, their families no longer have to go out and rob, and they do not need to worry about the safety of their families, everyone here can live in peace peaceful life. This holy place has been ransacked by the two of you. Gu Santung looked at each other with a tongue in their faces, looking at Ye Chen and Xia Lingwei like monsters, but they did not know they were still carrying such wealth. What a sacred place! I just went to worship Lunaism for a while, and grabbed it by the way. Xia Lingwei pulled out her teeth. It is undeniable that our anger was a little bigger that day. We both want to know what's going on with the baby in your family. You haven't moved out. Don't make trouble, all the places where our robbers have been robbed are bare. Good job. These training materials can support you for at least a hundred years. Ye Chen laughed. In the past 100 years, I have been staying in the realm of space. I don't have to go to Xingai to commit robbery. With this wealth, no one has to go out to find excitement. Gu Santung grinned. Forbearance for some years, he will take you back to your hometown. Relax, Menurking. Gu Santung and Wu Ji Tao smiled cheerfully, go, drink. The scent of wine quickly permeated the entire world and the atmosphere was still very hot. There was no need to worry about livelihood, and there was no burden in my heart. Night fell, and it wasn't until the ancient three links that they tilted their heads to sleep that the space world fell into silence. 
Ye Chen got up, leaving Xian Huo, Tian Li, and the source of the Eucharist to cleanse the blood of those who were asleep, but he strolled around and waited for dawn to leave, looking for a reincarnated person. The space world at night was very quiet. Ye Chen came along all the way and realized that here is more extraordinary than imagined. There are too many secret restraints. One ring at a time, it can be said to move the whole body with a lot of restrictions. He could not see through his eyes, it was very mysterious. He was extremely certain that the person who opened up the space world must be a strong man with a clear view of the earth. Okay? As he passed by a rock wall, he stopped slightly, leaned his head slowly, and stared at the mottled rock wall with narrow eyes, more accurately, a few lines of ancient characters carved on the rock wall. That should be a poem, sad and desolate, the soul pin leaves leaves and flowers, and the moon is easy to grow old and desolate. The lonely wind drifts into the rain, and the hemorrhocolis is full of worries. What is the wish of Kang Sheng? Kang Tian he grudges? He had hoped that there was a shadow of a king on He Chiao, but he did not see the name of the three lives. Ye Chen frowned, staring at the poems on the rock wall, all the strokes brought vicissitudes. For a moment, he reminded him of a lonely back, but it was not Hong Chen, but Lai Yudeo, because Hong Chen was in Dachua at that time, and the person who could do this poem must be Lai Yudeo. For a moment, he seemed to be breaking something. The so-called big space of the space was mostly opened by the six roads. He was so horrified that he had forgotten the purpose of this time and space, but it was like a red dust, remembering a woman named Chu Xian and even left this sad poem. The breeze was shaking, the dragon was raging, and the little Lingwei came swiftly. The blood of those people has been washed up. We should go on the road too. This road has been delayed for a long time. Ye Chen didn't speak, and finally glanced at the rock wall, then turned silently, sacrificed a consciousness, imprinted in this space, the consciousness contained many words, and if he returned in six years, the consciousness would be automatically unblocked. Explain the reason so as not to hurt the ancient three links. Little Lingwei also followed, and looked at the ancient poem on the rock face inexplicably before leaving. The two of them left, leaving the space world while everyone was asleep, but never noticed that there were two murky old eyes sending them away. They were the ancient three links and the boundless person. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Out of space, Ye Chen sacrificed the warship, and went straight to the east according to the starry sky map. It is still Xiao Lingwei's warrior who is moving the warship, and the operation is so loud, soaring all the way. As for Ye Chen, when he came out of the space world, he sat on the top and kept silent from beginning to end, still thinking about the poem, Lu Dao and Hong Chen are his lingering phantom. Xiao Lingwei stunned more than once, and she didn't know what Ye Chen was thinking, just like wood. In this way, three or five days passed quietly, the warship did not listen, and the two still did not see the other side of the zinc. Until the ninth day, meditation Ye Chen stood up and looked distantly. There is a majestic battleship, with magnificent momentum, purple gold surrounding the fairy light, extremely bright, speeding all the way, the speed is extremely fast, pushing the vast expanse of stars and seas. Quasi Emperor Class Ye Chen murmured, even though it was far away, he could still feel the pressure like a mountain. Xiao Lingwei also raised her head and glanced at her. That is a mysterious force on the barren continent. Its strength is unquestionable. Few people know its origin. If the ship was to be robbed, it would be very windy. Ye Chen could not help muttering. Do you think they are all like you? Xiao Lingwei gave Ye Chen a white look. The Quasi Empire class warship has been there since ancient times. It travels to and from the Suanhai Zingai all year round. People in the Star Domain want to go to the wilderness, and they often take their warships. Zundi class warships, the commission charged should not be low. Ye Chen touched his chin. It's more than low, it's scary, Xiao Lingwei sighed. 
It takes 100,000 source stones at a time, but it's not a problem to get on board the ship. Looking at the warship, at least 100,000 people can be seated, and 100,000 yuan per person. The commission charged on this trip is sky high. That mysterious force can really earn it. Ye Chen grinned. No way, who makes people strong? Xiao Lingwei shrugged. Compared to the 100,000 source stones, his life is more important. A quasi empire class warship, which pirate dares to rob. During the talk, the quasi empire warship has already arrived, and it is indeed magnificent. Compared with this big block, the Thunder Warship is a brick, and it will be crushed and crushed when passing by. Xia Lingwei hurriedly hid the boat to hide away, for fear that the other person in charge of the ship accidentally hit them in the wrong direction and knocked them. Although the Holy Warrior class warship was strong, it could not carry the Quasi Empire. How awkward! Watching the Quasi Empire class warship go away, Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei coughed one after another. The same warship, the gap is so big. People go back and forth, robbing you for a long time. Gone. Xiao Lingwei shook her head and took away the small eyes of worship, and immediately drove east. Of course, he only moved the warship, and saw a smashing and smashing goddess shot from the side of the oblique side. He hit the thunder warship impartially. The goddess was too strong, and the warship was tilted. You scum. Xiao Lingwei and Ye Chen kept their figures one after the other, and looked sideways, only to see hundreds of warships lined up in a row. The first warship was the largest and was a soldier. Taking palace. Xia Lingwei cursed, hurriedly drove the ship, her blood rose, she piled up the source stones, and she immediately opened her mouth. Ye Chen was not idle. He settled on the formation turret piled up nearly a million source stones in one breath, revived the formation turret and guardian enchantment, and bombarded the opponent's warship frantically. Surround them. The warrior class warship of the Taking Palace shouted a lot of drinks, and it was the solemnity of the Taking Palace. The uncle's anger was not small, and his face was fierce, especially when he saw Ye Chen and Xia Lingwei, they were even more angry. He chased Ye Chen and they ran away all night. After that, he led hundreds of warships to search the Xingai Sea for a large circle. He didn't find it, but never wanted to see the other party on the way back. What else can I say, strike me dead. Boom. Boom. The front had already dried up, and the three quasi-sanitary warships surrounding it had been sunk by Ye Chen. However, the Taking Palace has not flinched because of this. This time is different from the previous one. They have a holy warrior class and nearly a hundred soldiers. The lineup is absolutely suppressed. Look at the two goods of Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei. They are also top lunatics, a spurring turret, and a mad crash into the past. They are not completely surrounded yet. If they are blocked here, this Xian Huang Xingai is their burial place. Boom. Boom. The war began, and the Sea of Stars became lively because of them. The Thunder Warship was damaged, and was constantly hit by the warrior class warships of the Taking Palace. The Guardian enchantment almost cracked. Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei who were on the ship vomited blood and were seriously injured. Stand firm. Xia Lingwei yelled, Tyrannosaurus resurrected his blood, piled three million source stones, and ran into the boat all the way. The battleship surrounded by the Taking Palace was struck by the fire. For this reason, they also paid the due price. The Thunder Warship was hit with blemishes, and the Quartet attacked, the Guardian Enchantment was breached, and the hull was almost bombed on the spot. Where to go? The Warrior-level warship of the Taking Palace was angry, and then a thick iron chain shot. The chain was engraved with ancient runes, which were special ceremonial instruments, and an iron hook at one end. The Thunder Warship, which was too close and still colliding in front, was caught on the spot and caught by the iron. He wanted to escape, but was pulled back by the Holy Warrior-level warship of the Taking Palace through an iron chain. Seeing this, 
hundreds of warships in the Taking Palace also fired iron chains with iron hooks, one after another hooking the Thunder Battleship. The Thunder Battleship was instantly restrained and could not break free. Call me. Call me. Suddenly he waved the killing sword suddenly, his drinking sound seemed to echo. You can listen carefully, but it is not an echo. The second sound comes from elsewhere. More accurately, it comes from a galloping warship. The person standing on the bow is worshipped by the Lord of the Moon. After the Lord of the Moon worship, there are more than 300 warships, all of which are quasi-holy. Yes, they also came. They wanted to go to the Xianhuang continent to ask for help from taking palace. It was unexpected that they had encountered this naval battle before reaching the Xianhuang continent. When they saw the goods of Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei, they said nothing. Said, directly firing up and chasing you all the way, but it is catching up. Bye. Seeing the worship of worshipping the moon gods, Ye Chen and Xia Lingwei both scolded their mothers, and they did not know that the worship of the moon gods had emerged from them, and they had fallen into the wind. Since then, it has only worsened. Boom. Boom. The sea of stars has become horrendous due to the joining of the worship of the moon gods. There are nearly 500 ships of the Taking Palace and the worship of the moon gods, and there is also a saint-class worship. Kneeling, really kneeling this time, Ren Xiaolingwei took the position and then showed up again, and Ren Saint-level warships resisted again. They could not stop the joint attack of so many warships. The Thunder warship was bombed on the spot. The Thunder warship exploded, and the two were also blown out, falling into the Xingai Sea in sequence. This time it hangs. Ye Chen stabilized his body in the water, and his face was ugly. If he was on the land, with his fighting power, he was not afraid of the other party, but this is a strange and wild star sea that can restrain the monks' mana. Once they fall into them, they just like mortals, they can be drowned at all times. Nonsense is that the Zion Lun Shandeo, which has always been unfavorable, cannot communicate with the black hole in space in this desolate Zingai, so that it cannot escape by it. This blow is devastating. Eh? Just as he had nothing to do, he suddenly realized that the mana in his body was not restrained, his Danhai mana was still surging, and the blood of the Eucharist was spraying thin, without any interference. What's the situation? Subconsciously, he looked sideways in the direction of Xiao Lingwei's falling into the water, and saw that the puppet was splashing in the starry sea, and had poured more than one sip of sea water, and it was likely to sink at any time. Ye Chen was even more embarrassed, and likewise fell into the water, Xiao Lingwei's mana was restrained, but he had nothing to do. Is it? When Ye Chen's light moved, it seemed to think of a possibility. The desolate ancient body is the bloodline of the ancestral line of the Suangu Emperor. The body is not bound, and it is mostly the privilege granted by the Suangu Emperor. Thinking about it, he laughed. Laughing and smiling, he revealed two rows of white teeth, and voluntarily pinched the mace. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Call me. Yin Zhong shouted and shook Zingai. Life or death? The Lord of the Moon worship was also roaring, and his voice was higher than heavier. It is not necessary for them to order that the Taking Palace and the Worship Tank of the Moon Worship Gods have already aimed at the Sea of Stars where Ye Chen and Xia Lingwei fell into the water, destroying the dying gods one after another. That piece of Zingai, blasted by the raging waves, and the little Lingwei who was still floating in the water, was drowned on the spot, and the Diranosaurus Rex was just like a mortal in the Zingai. Helpless, Xiao Lingwei was caught in the waves, sank to the bottom of the sea, and smelled the breath of death. Of course, at this moment, a big golden hand caught in the water and rescued him. In the bright starlight, the little Lingwei faintly saw who the man was, wasn't it Ye Chen's nagging? Suddenly, Xia Lingwei stared round and round, and clearly saw Ye Chen's body overflowing mana and thin blood, which is where the mana is bound, this is nothing at all. He was aggressive, the same fell into the water, 
Lao Tzu was drowning, why aren't you shit? Ye Chen grinned without explanation, and brought it into the chaos tripod, sealed in the sea of God. After saving the little Lingwei, Ye Chen, a godlike man, flies through the sea and heads directly to the battleship of the Taking Palace and the worship of the Moon Gods. In his hand, the mace is golden and the unmatched power is converging. On the sea, nearly 500 warships of the Taking Palace and the worship of the Moon Worship are still bombarding, as if the Sea of Stars is to be blasted out. This is extremely angry, and each of them is beaten. What's the matter? Such a huge movement, looking at the passing warships look faint, what nerves are the Taking Palace and the worship of the Moon Gods, what are the 500 warships fighting? The old man's finger counts, 80% are fishing, and he wants to pull it back to stew the fish soup. A wretched old stick squeezed his beard, I am very optimistic about the old man in such a huge battle. Don't make mistakes with your children. Someone said, but I heard that the worship of the moon gods and the taking palace only sank a holy war class warship, and most of them are bombarding people who fell into the water. What a hatred it is. Everyone has fallen into the water, and this fight is still being held, not taking their own source stone as money. Hit, hit the old man. Regarding the quartet's discussions, Yan Zhong and the Lord of the Moon Worship were unheard of, and the two of them were louder than the other, just like two crazy dogs. I don't know how long it took before I saw the roar extinguished. Nearly 500 warships of the Taking Palace and the Worship of the Moon Gods finally died down, all hanging over there to look at the sea, but never saw the goods of Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei floating up. Most have been blasted into ashes. Someone said, even if it is not blasted, it is doomed to drown. This is the price that should wait to provoke me to worship the moon god. The lord of the moon worshipped coldly. Worship, don't be honest. You are worshipping the ancient stars, why do you come to this stark Zingai? Glancing at the moon worshipper, he also mobilized the ancient battleships of this lineup. Do not hide the old man. I waited for this time to come and kill the two people. The Lord of the Moon worshipped in a hurry, with a respectful look, and conveyed many things into divine knowledge. After reading the divine knowledge, the old face suddenly became gloomy, and said coldly, the worship of the Moon Gods was turned upside down by the two Quasi Saints. What are you doing? Ji Lao Mingjian, I'll wait, hey. Before the words of Luna worship were finished, a calm picture turned over the waves, and even a warship was swallowed up on the spot. This. The people who worshipped the moon gods and the taking palace suddenly changed their looks, and even the solemn monks and the monks who worshipped the moon and the monks who looked away from the quartet were stunned. Boom. When everyone was dismayed, a warship of the taking palace burst inexplicably, and was bombarded by a godman from the bottom of the sea from the bottom up. The godman was too strong and everyone on the ship suffered aftermath. There are creatures on the bottom of the sea. Zunchen Wang Xiaowei's solemn response came first, and he drunk suddenly. As soon as his words fell, he heard a voice of Klong Dragon rang from the bottom of the Xingai Sea, which was vigorous and overbearing. Then, the waves reappeared in the Xingai Sea, a golden dragon came out of the sea, turned into a blurred figure in the sky, and hung a toothpick, and a mace in his hand. In the spotlight, the blurred figure gradually manifested its true features, wasn't it Ye Chen? This, this is impossible. Seeing Ye Chen, his heavy eyes suddenly stood out, and he was incredibly looking up at Su Tian, not just him, the moon worshipper, the moon worshipper, the taking palace, the monks from the quartet were shocked and couldn't believe what they saw. You know, this is the Zingai Zingai. It's weird and everyone knows that monks below the Quasi Empire level are bound by unconditional mana. It's hard to fly, even if it's difficult to swim in the sea. Ye Chen is definitely accurate saint, can actually walk in the sky over the Xingai. I heard that you played very well. Ye Chen said, not forgetting to take a breath on the mace, and then wiped it with his sleeve, now change my look. Hit, hit me. Yin Zhong suddenly lifted his sword and pointed at Ye Chen. 
Although he did not know why Ye Chen ignored the shackles of the Sea of Stars, he knew that Ye Chen was not a quasi empire, but just a quasi holy. Ordered that, whether it was the Taking Palace or the worship of the Moon God, nearly 500 warships, the turrets aimed at the empty sky at the same time, revived the divine power, and swept out the unparalleled gods. Ye Chen sneered, stepping back into an inch to avoid it, and then threw his mace Ling Tian and smashed it down. The fierce thing was that when the mace fell, it instantly became huge. On the spot, a warship in the Taking Palace was broken by a smash, and the monks in the quartet looked shocked. Asshole! He roared heavily, waved the killing sword frantically, and drank the attack again. However, although there are many warships in the Taking Palace and the worship of the Moon Gods, and the turrets are fierce enough, none of them can hit Ye Chen. Blame Ye Chen's body is unpredictable, and the turret cannot keep up with its speed. Boom! Boom! Ye Chen kept firing, and every time he swung, one of the warships was sunk, simply and neatly, but in just ten moments, only seven or eight warships were smashed into scrap iron by this rampage. The screams sounded, dancing with the bangs, and the blood was stained with red blood. Now, Ye Zhong's face was ugly. Ye Chen's weirdness was far beyond his imagination, not only because he ignored the constraints of the Sea of Stars, but also because of his strength and quasi-sanitary level. He was extremely powerful, and could make the moon worship upside down he has reason to believe that Ye Chen is a demon-level figure. Retreat Without much thought, he solemnly ordered that the other party ignore the constraints of the Xingai Sea, have fierce fighting power, and have a fancy body style. If they fight again, it will not be impossible for the entire army to be here. He was still very clear. Since Xingai couldn't help Ye Chen, he went to the barren land. Only when he landed on the land, they were not restrained by the Xingai and could fully exert their fighting power. Therefore, at the same time, nearly 500 warships of the Taking Palace and the worship of the Moon Gods retreated collectively at the same time, the source rocks burned, and they were driving at full horsepower. The direction was extremely clear, and that was the barren continent. Go! Ye Chen sneered, and immediately caught up with it and a warship that had been pulled was smashed and cracked on the spot. However, the Taking Palace and the worship of the Moon Worship did not dare to fight, and each fled. Behind him, there was a constant boom, and in each boom, a battleship was blasted by Ye Chen. This is a scary picture, it can be said that it is lawless. In this vast starry sea, nearly 500 warships were actually chased by Ye Jun's Hung. This scene is scary just looking at it. What is the origin of that man? Sifang Monk also chased after the ship, ignoring the shackles of the barren starry sea and his combat power, it is a bit outrageous. Zhu Tian Wang Yu never lacks strange people, that person is one of the freaks. The existence of evil levels. My husband practiced for more than 2000 years. I have never seen such a weird person nor have I ever seen the Taking Palace and the Moon Worship so embarrassing. Nearly 500 warships have been chased and beaten. Retreat. Quickly retreat. In the rumors of the successive talks, the Taking Palace and the Worship of the Moon Worship were all shouting, but it was also difficult to block a battleship and then a battleship was sinking. Asshole. Yan Zhong was furious again, and his old face was distorted like a devil, shame. Strange shame. He was a quasi-sacred king who led nearly 500 warships, but was chased by a quasi-sacred man. He hasn't been as embarrassed since monasticism. For the heavy roar, Ye Chen turned a deaf ear and hunted with a giant mace all the way, but when he caught up with the ship, he said nothing more than a word, and drove directly, extremely fierce. Fight, fight to death. The little Lingwei in the Chaos Ding yelled, Watching Ye Chen show off his mighty power, he was extremely excited, eager to look at it, and was quite likely to get out of the chaos ding. Boom! Boom! The Suanhai Zingai was lively again. The road was too dynamic and attracted more people's attention. When they saw Ye Chen walking in the sky, his eyes were glared. 
This product is hanging. Far ahead, I have seen the end of the Xingai Sea, and I don't know how far away, I can see the mountains and lush forests, which are the edge of the barren continent. Seeing the other side of the Xingai, they seem to have seen the hope. The warship that was already flying soared by one level in an instant. As long as they reached the other side, they could go back and fight. They saw it, Ye Chen naturally saw it too. Qi and blood suddenly rose, and their speed was astonished. What Yin Zhong could think of, how could Ye Chen never imagine that once he left the Xian Huang Xingai, the situation would be very different. Without the shackles of Xingai, he would not be able to pack each other so easily. In this way, they solemnly are speeding, Ye Chen is also flying. Time, they are fighting for time, depending on whether you first bombed us or we fled to the other side first. Let's look at the Taking Palace and the Worship of the Moon Worship. He was beaten by beasts all the way. Now there are less than a hundred ships left, and most of them have been treated with scars. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com Update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. The end of Xingai is a beach. The beach is crowded with people all year round, and there are crowds of people, some coming to ferries and some wandering. During the period, there were many stalls with various treasures. As for the owners of the stalls, most of them were pirates, disguised and disembarked ashore, and used the treasures robbed from the Suanhuangzing Sea to sell the stolen goods. The pirates are guilty of thieves and want to take money away as soon as possible. This is the reason why the monks rushed to buy their treasures. Therefore, as the beach on the edge of the Xianhuang Xingai, it has always been a gathering place of cow, ghost, and snake gods. Today's beaches are as lively as ever, and everything is proceeding in an orderly manner. Of course, such a routine was broken by the warships coming from the Xingai Sea. It was led by the Taikagong's Holy Warrior class warship, followed by dozens of Quasi Holy Warrior class warships. Well? Seeing the Taking Palace and the worship of the Moon Gods coming fast, and there was no intention to stop, no matter whether it was a traitor, a sister, or a fairy on the beach, they scolded. However, when everyone on the beach saw Ye Chen flying in the air after the warship, they collectively stunned, Can you fly in the sky in the Xianhuang Xingai? How can there be so many quasi perfect emperor class? Many Xiu Xiu beard bearded beards, the Xiu Sui is no doubt, why can you fly in the air and ignore the constraints of the Xingai? I'm not mistaken. It is an ancient Eucharist. Someone said with a stunned expression. I said, did those warships come over? No if you know, and quickly escape. Someone scolded and walked away because the Paladin-class warship headed by Taking Palace had rushed to the beach from Xingai, the speed was extremely fast, the coercion was extremely arrogant, no due to the slowness of escape, few people were crushed into flying ash on the spot by the battleship. After the Holy Warrior-class battleship, there were dozens of quasi-military-class warships that followed, rushing all the way, directly rushing to the beach, a good beach, and was instantly hit by a mess. The cursing sounds suddenly sounded on the beach, mostly pirates who came to sell stolen goods and monks who came to buy treasures. Are you full of food? If you are all on the shore, you still do NT stop. On the beach, we monks are not so pretentious. Roll. In the swearing, Yin Zhong had taken the warship, and moved to the edge of the Xianhuang Xingai in one step, holding a killing sword in his hand. The Quasi Saint King's power appeared, and the ground that ran was buzzing. After that, the Lord of the Moon worshipping and the only hundreds left also swarmed forward, and each of them was murderous, and he looked at Ye Chen standing on the Xingai Sea with his teeth, looking fierce like a ghost. That s right, Ye Chen is still in the Xingai Sea and hasn't landed. She shakes her head like nothing is wrong. Your yes are all stuck on the shore and the fool will go ashore and get beaten up by going up. Get out of here! He roared heavily, like a mad dog with a crazy hair, growling madly, if not for fear of Xingai's bondage, he would have killed him and tore Ye Chen Sheng into pieces. Frighten me less, some kind of up. Ye Chen began to wipe the large mace again. 
kill. Yin Zhong was so crazy that a sword cut out a dead sword. Of course, his swordman's power on the shore did destroy the world, but once he entered the range of Xingai, he instantly annihilated the power, and was resolved into nothingness on the spot by the mysterious power of Xingai. The same is true of other attacks such as the worship of the moon gods. Attacking Ye Chen from the shore of Xingai from the shore does not work at all. The strangeness of Xingai is so overbearing and disobedient. However, although they couldn't hurt Ye Chen, it didn't mean that Ye Chen couldn't hurt them. One fist punched through the void, and one of the elders of Taking Palace was immediately sent to Huang Chuan. Seeing this, in addition to respecting the Honorable Holy King, the other elders of the Taking Palace and the worship of the Moon Worship dare to approach the Xingai, and the elders of the Taking Palace that were destroyed are examples. Get out! Yin Zhong growled again, and the Quasi Holy King had no combat power, but he could only watch. I have no time to accompany you crazy. Ye Chen sneered, and immediately set off, but instead of going to the beach, he went straight to the depths of Xingai and went to another beach to sneak ashore. The Taking Palace moved to Zundi to hunt him down, and he would most likely die. Puff! He vomited blood severely, and the wounded was still angered. After a while, he still watched Ye Chen run away. What made him angry was that he knew that Ye Chen was running, but he was afraid to chase. The Lord of the Moon worshipped them and they were no better. The old blood spurted and wanted to hunt, but they didn't dare and wanted to stop them. But the vast expanse of starry sky was endless, and God knew where Ye Chen would land. On the beach, the figure was like a tide, grinning and looking at Ye Chen like a god. Too many people have heard about Xingai. Ye Chen, the fierce one, was hunted by nearly 500 warships of the Taking Palace and the worship of the moon gods. This feat is not something ordinary people can do. The ancient Eucharist will surely be famous. Too many older monks have shown meaningful meaning, that is amazing and comforting to the younger generation. Everyone's attention, Ye Chen disappeared into the sea, like a godsman, across the vast sea of stars. For a long time, he spent a lot of time wandering the Xingai to find a place suitable for landing. It was not until the night fell that the puppet landed on the shore from the Xingai, a towering mountain. Bathed in the starlight moonlight, he climbed to the highest peak of the mountains and looked at the quartet. As far as he could see, it was a vast expanse. The giant mountains were towering, the river Chong Chuan was rolling, the atmosphere here was thick and majestic. There seems to be mysterious power over the world. He smiled. There were tiredness and vicissitudes in the smile, and there was also sorrow and dimness. After two hundred years, he finally came to this monk's holy land. If he didn't let him down here, it seemed that he had come to a flood land, and it seemed that he had come to his real hometown. Xia Lingwei emerged from the chaos tripod. First, she stretched a lazy waist, and then looked at Ye Chen, well, this legendary barren continent is different from what you think. It's really different. Ye Chen smiled slightly. When I came to the wilderness, I knew my own smallness. The hidden and mysterious here, the vicissitudes and the ancients, the majestic and vast, even the flowers, the trees, the trees and the trees are like it's a myth that no one can find. I didn't expect that when you first came to the wilderness, you would have this kind of knowledge. Xiao Lingwei smashed out the source stone. This continent is full of unknowns and monks' holy places, and it is by no means targeted. Stop that! Ye Chen gathered his thoughts. You know where we are now. It should be Dong Huang, well, it's Dong Huang. East Shortage Xian Huang continent is divided into five domains, Eastern Desert, Western Desert, Southern Region, Biu, Zhongzhou, and we are now on the edge of Eastern Desert. Xiao Lingwei said slowly, and the Kun Lun Su you are looking for is in Xian Zhongzhou, a barren continent, is a long way to go there. How far can it be? Ye Chen raised his eyebrows. Say this. If you fly to Zhongzhou from here, the sun and the moon will stop, and you will arrive 90,000 years later. Nine. 90,000 years. 
Rao was Ye Chen's determination, and her eyes were straightened. The mysterious continent is far wider than you think. Xia Lingwei shrugged. With the power of your quasi sage, 90,000 years are conservative estimates. Maybe you haven't flown out of the eastern wasteland in 90,000 years? The monk's holy land is so simple, it can be so big that you cry. 9,000 years, the turtles are alive. Ye Chen grinned. It's too big. It's okay, there is a teleportation station. It's not a problem. It's more than a few transmissions, and everything is there. Xiao Lingwei said, and chewed a source stone again, it's good to get used to it. My mother is gone. Come, talk to brother, so not to be bound by the Xian Wang Xingai. Xiao Lingwei looked at Ye Chen. Most of it is because of my desolate ancient body. Ye Chen replied at will. The bloodline of the patriarch of the Suangu Emperor should be privileged. I can't find any other reason besides this. Thank you for being an ancient sacred body, otherwise we would both kneel. Xia Lingwei sighed. It's more reliable to find reincarnated people first, Ye Chen said, immediately lifting his feet. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xian Mu Emperor as soon as possible. Under the starry night, the two stood side by side, like two gods, across a towering mountain. Flying all the way, Ye Chen was looking around the quartet, and was very new to this boundless vast land. As he said, everything in the wilderness was even more extraordinary than imagined. As for Xiao Lingwei's nagging, he has turned into a swaying juvenile. The appearance of Tyrannosaurus Rex is too dazzling, and it is inevitable that it will be caught by wrongdoers. It is an unnecessary trouble. In addition to this, Ye Chen also used Zhou Tian evolution to cover his breath to confuse audio-visual. Towards dawn, the two men have fallen in front of a vast city. This city is very old and reveals the vicissitudes of ancient simplicity. It is the oldest city closest to the Xian Huang Xingai. The sky was bright, and the ancient city was already full of shadows, and there were many weird people. There was no lack of demon and magic. Just a glance, Ye Chen found many powerful bloodlines. While talking, the two came under the city wall. Under the city wall, many monks gathered and pointed at the notices on the city wall. The notice content is a reward and killing order which is engraved with a portrait of a person, more accurately a portrait of Ye Chen. As for the reward order, it is needless to say that it is the Taking Palace. The Taking Palace is a big force in this world, and every move will attract the attention of the quartet. Just as the notice of the reward and hunting order was posted, it caused a stir. This is the desolate ancient body. Someone looked up and down at Ye Chen's portrait. It doesn't look so good. It's because of the blood that goes against the emperor's shoulders. This is really unfair. What kind of bird theory are you? Many people glanced at him and said, In my opinion, you are not as good as others, like you. God is fair. You. The man was instantly angry, his face flushed red, but he didn't dare to make trouble easily. There is still the Eucharist inheritance in this world. The crowd ignored the nagging directly and looked at Ye Chen on the notice. Most of their eyes were amazed. Legends about the Eucharist are immortal myths. It was possible to wipe out almost the entire army of the Taking Palace and the worship of 500 warships. It is not as simple as saying that the ancient Eucharist is so simple. I was there that day, and the picture said that it was blasting the sky. It's strange to say that the Eucharist is not bound by the Xian Huang Xingai. This is really weird. Old man, let me figure it out, you can still force it. Listening to the quartet's argument, Xiao Lingwei couldn't help but say something, when he first came to the wilderness, it caused a lot of movement. Ninety million source stones, nine holy warrior level magic instruments, nine seven stripe spirits, taking palace fruit is rich in wealth. Looking at Chiang Shangbo rewarding to catch up with the spirit notice, Ye Chen could not help but sneer. Thanks to the concealer's cover with mystery. Xiao Lingwei drew her ears. Otherwise, 
this will be more lively. The foundation of the Taking Palace is deep and strong, like a cloud. I don't want to be chased and killed all day. Look, people in the Taking Palace. In the discussion, I don't know who said something, and attracted the attention of the people present. There have been more than a dozen figures coming from the sky, flying into the city, overwhelming and imposing magnificent, the vacant sky buzzing all the way, just want to collapse. All are saints, and the battle is not small. It seems to control the ancient city's teleportation platform. Someone groaned. The ancient city with a radius of millions of miles is controlled by the taking palace. It looks like the situation is waiting for the rabbit. Once the holy body with the help of the teleportation station, it must be captured. I also heard that the son of the taking palace also went out and threatened to chop the Eucharist to prove the avenue. Taking God's son, that's a ruthless character. Someone took a deep breath. I still remember the blood burial mountains of the past. He in the imperial realm actually beheaded three saints and shocked Dong Huang. Today's cultivation is quasi holy, it must be even more terrifying. I don't know if he fights against the ancient holy body, and is weak and stubborn. Too many people have scratched their beards. If the myth of the same invincibility of the holy body can be broken, then his path must be reversed. The emperor has died, and I'm afraid of you. Ye Chen turned around, but he didn't have time to compete with the taking godson. He was still concerned about reincarnation. This was his true purpose of coming to Xian Huang. The two stepped into the ancient city without distinction, and Ye Chen has moved Zhou Tian to evolve, and deduced to the utmost. Xiao Lingwei shook her head and looked at the quartet, their eyes were round and thief lighted. After waiting a while, she looked at Ye Chen, look, there may be reincarnation in this ancient city. Have. Ye Chen smiled and went straight to the city center. Xiao Lingwei heard that her eyes were bright, and she immediately followed. The center of the ancient city is obviously more prosperous. Everything is due to the teleportation station here and there are a lot of monks, most of whom come to use the teleportation station. Among them, there are many hidden supernatural beings. The barren continent is too large, and it is much faster to transmit the domain station than to fly. If you want to go to a distant place, you need the agency of the domain station. This is the main reason why the domain station is extremely precious. When Ye Chen and Xia Lingwei arrived, a lot of people had gathered under the platform of the teleportation field, forming a long line. Ye Chen's eyes were like a torch, and he found a figure in the crowd very accurately. It was a young man in purple clothes. He was not very strong, but he had a fourfold imperial realm and his blood was extremely ordinary. Looking at that face, he looked embarrassed, and in the depths of his memory, he found a piece of old past. The name of Hao Tian Chen Ye was casually pulled, but he had a father because of it as a result, the yin and yang errors in the meditation have also become. That's right, the young man in purple is Hao Tian Chen Zhen, and the previous life is the lord of the northern Chu Hao Tian family. Suddenly, Ye Chen showed an apology in his look, that is, he had a lingering sorrow in the past, so that Hao Shen Chen Zhen had death with regret, and he had not heard him call his father. Seeing Ye Chen so, Xiao Lingwei sighed, as if she had seen Haoshan Xianzhen in the crowd. No one knows about Ye Chen and Haoshan Xianzhen, but as a good friend of Ye Chen, he knows more, a Haoshan dust night, which causes cause and effect to entangle past and present life. When Xiao Lingwei sighed, Haoshan Xianzhen, who was at the forefront of the team, had already stepped onto the teleportation platform and passed the commission of the teleportation array to an old man in black guarding it. The old man in black was the elder of the Taking Palace. He was sent by the Taking Palace to guard the teleportation platform. The purpose was very simple. It was to search Ye Chen. There were many saints in the Taking Palace secretly. Where to go? The old man in black gave a faint glance at Haoshan Xianzhen. The old eyes stayed a little more on the storage bag hung by Haoshan Xianzhen, and his eyes narrowed slightly. Senior, go to Dongtian ancient city. 
Haoshan Xianzhen hurriedly returned, looking respectfully. You can go and leave the things that are too clear to me. The voice of the old man in black was majestic and dull. 2. Things of the Qing Palace Haoshan Xianzhen shuddered, wondering what the old man in black was saying. Pretending to be confused. The old man in black snorted, brushing his hands over the storage bag of Haoshan Xianzhen, and grabbed a golden divine bead from the inside. This is the bright moon divine bead of my taking palace. The predecessor was wrong. Haoshan Xian panicked. This is the heirloom of the younger generation. Dare you believe in female sex? The old man in black burst into anger, and the powerful sage level coercion suddenly appeared, pressing Haoshan Suanzen's face pale, don't you know my own thing? Senior, this, this is really a heirloom of my family. Haoshan Xianzhen trembled in tone and humbled his words. It was also seen as the intention of the old man in black. Stubbornness. The old man in black said a cold sigh, come, quickly catch me. At that moment, the taking palace strongman who was hidden in the dark surroundings appeared. Each of them was extremely powerful and surrounded Haoshan Xianzhen on the platform of the teleportation field. His face was cold and fierce. Haoshan Suanzen's expression was pale and icy, and he couldn't be moved by a group of saints. He regretted a little bit, knowing the other party's intentions, he shouldn't bump into him, so that he would offend the other party. He could imagine his own end. The Qing Palace was fierce, and he was extremely clear. The quartet looked at the size and backed up. Although they knew that the Taking Palace was bullying, it was too furious to say what the existence of the Taking Palace was. It would be extremely miserable if it provokes it. Such examples are who dares to step in. For a while, monks from the quartet all cast a pity on Haoshan Xianzhen. The husband was guilty and guilty of guilt. Blame him only for being too weak. In the strong world, the weak should deserve to be bullied. Take away. In the spotlight, the man in black opened his mouth, his voice was quiet and silent, and he also had a touch of drama. At the order, someone sacrifice a special rune chain of runes to lock Haoshan Xianzhen. Of course, before the man came forward, he saw a golden man shoot from under the platform of the teleportation field, with the cold and destructive power, the space that was crushed all the way was broken. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Yu Emperor as soon as possible. Hum. The sacred man was as fast as lightning. Everything was between lightning and flint. It was impossible to say that it was a monk from all directions. Even the sages of the Taking Palace on the teleportation platform failed to respond. On the spot, the sage of the Taking Palace who was locked in Haoshan Xianzhen was hit, and the beaten pedal stepped back. Of course, Ye Chen was the one who shot. How could he be bullied like Haoshan Xianzhen when he was here? Who? The sage of the Taking Palace stabilized his body, and he was furious and angry, and the scream of the sage appeared suddenly. He was a distinguished sage of the Taking Palace. How could he tolerate being attacked? At the moment, everyone's eyes are focused on Ye Chen, because under the teleportation platform, there is no one except the one who walks slowly, and he is undoubtedly the one who shot the attack. Sneak attack on my sage of Taking Palace, so bold. The old man in black screamed angrily. Everything can be robbed all over the world, why can't I sneak attack? Ye Chen came slowly, his pace was unabated, and his words twisted around his neck fiercely, his murderous spirit overflowed. Look for death. The saint in black was furious, and immediately poked out his palm, transfigured his big hand, with the palm of the saint's coercion, as heavy as a mountain, and pressed against Ye Chen, to be crushed by one palm. Ye Chen sneered, like a gloomy figure, and easily escaped. He instantly appeared on the teleportation platform. The last moment, Haoshan Xianzhen, who was dizzy, had been taken down by Ye Chen. Only moments before and after, surprised the monks from the quartet, marveled at Ye Chen's magical body, constantly escaped the crushing capture of a saint, 
and successfully rescued Haoshan Xianzhen. I belittle you. The saints of the Taking Palace have besieged one after another, with ugly faces and a terrifying look. Ye Chen didn't say a word, only responded with the strongest and most powerful attack. The golden big hand turned empty, and a big stone tableter flew out one of the saints. Then the chaos vision appeared, sketching the world of the thousand, and the chaos was merged. And many secret magical powers, coercion is extremely overbearing. The monks at the quartet looked shocked, not only shocked Ye Chen's combat power, but also shocked Ye Chen's visions. He had seen many mysterious visions, such as Ye Chen's vision. That is no longer a vision, but a world, full of fascinating colors and immortals, in which the mountains, rivers and even flowers, trees, and trees are evolving on their own, which contains infinite truth. The sages of the Taking Palace knelt down and were dropped by the chaotic vision that suddenly appeared. The Divine Saints, and more than a dozen, were collectively disadvantaged in the eyes of the public. Holy Eucharist, he is a desolate ancient Eucharist. After the wolf got up, the old man in black snorted suddenly, as if he had smelled something in Ye Chen's blood, and the blood pressure could not be duplicated. The nose is so smart. Ye Chen yelled, and killed in a flash, with six fingers in one finger, piercing the old man's eyebrow, trying to destroy the old man's god's platform and destroying his god. However, to his surprise, Shen Hai, the old man in black, had a powerful magic weapon to protect him. However, there is no difference between it and no one. If you can't do it with one finger, you can add another finger. This time, even the powerful weapon was pierced. The Yuan Shen disappeared, and even the screams were saved. When life and death lingered, the old man in black knew what it was to regret. He should regret not to be greedy to win people's beads, and even provoke such a god, and sent himself into a state of utter danger. Destroyed the old man in black, Ye Chen sacrificed the Chixiao sword and went straight to the next saint of Taking Palace. With the blood splattering, the second saint was instantly killed his head rolled down, and Ye Chen stepped into mud. The Yuan Shen couldn't escape his doom, and turned into ashes under the swallowing of magic. The remaining sages of the Taking Palace were shocked, and immediately offered the light of God to summon the strong men of the Taking Palace. However, the wish is beautiful, and the reality is cruel. Only then was that divine light entered into the supper, and it was cut off by Ye Chen. He also wanted to call someone to beat me. Do you want more? Suppression. A sage came out with his eyes full of hearts, and a mirror flew out, shining brightly. He was a horrible sage, imprinted with strong restraints and mighty. Ye Chen glanced at it, the chaos was flying out, the tripod was buzzing, the armored sky was arranged by itself, the chaos was around, the chaos was raging and the thin copper mirror was crushed instantly. The sacred weapon was broken, and the saint suffered a powerful backbite, and flew out. During this period, the flesh broke apart, blood spattered, and was very dazzling. He was split by Ye Chen before falling. Die. The three sages of the Taking Palace came together and were divided into three parties, each of them secretly opened a forbidden secret formation and enveloped Ye Chen eroding the blood of Ye Chen and restraining Ye Chen's mana. This is the Sanking Sealed Magic Array method of the Taking Palace. It is extremely fierce. It requires at least three saints to perform, otherwise it will be attacked by the legal array. Such a counterattack can instantly wipe out a quasi-sanctification. From this, we can see the horror of the law formation, but anyone who heard of this law formation also knows its fierce name. It is said that the ancestors of the Taking Palace used this array to seal a powerful quasi-perfect emperor, but that is an ancient legend. No one knows whether it is true or false, but its hegemony is beyond doubt. Ye Chen was blocked. If he entered the mud, all his mana was bound by an inexplicable force. Of course, who is he? He is the emperor of Great Chu who swallowed up the world, the ancient holy body of the majestic world. He once slaughtered the emperor, how could he be blocked by a law formation, and he was held by three saints. 
In an instant, his blood trembled, and the power of reincarnation was intertwined with the chaos road. A golden fairy sword was condensed, and the sword broke through the puppet, like a dragon. The three saints were wounded, bleed blood, kicked back, and when they settled down, Ye Chen killed them. Blood splattered again, and the three saints were killed in succession, and their looks to death were shocking. The next picture is enough. A dozen saints in the Taking Palace are like cabbages, one after another is beheaded. The so-called holy soldiers and divine prestige are like decorations in front of Ye Chen. Although he is Zunchen, but in terms of combat power, absolutely suppress each other. The monks of the quartet were shocked, their hearts were shaking, their faces were pale, and the Eucharist was stronger than they expected. These exorbitant combat powers, which live up to the Eucharist mythology, are awesome and horrifying. Looking at Haoshan Xianzhen again, it looks like a petrified one. Looking at the scene in disbelief, dozens of powerful saints in the Taking Palace were unable to lift their heads by a quasi sage. Moreover, he did not know who Ye Chen was, and he did not know why the ancient Eucharist had to save him. I do not know when the screams could be wiped out, and more than a dozen saints in the Taking Palace were all beheaded. The blood has stained the teleportation station in the world, and the picture is striking and elaborate. At this point, Ye Chen only accepted the Chixiao sword, and there was a sword mark on his shoulder, with a murderous silence. Previously, this was the only move, but for him, it was just a skin trauma. Gone. Waving his hand to wipe out the scar, he took Hao Xianzhen to step into the transmission area Taichung. Xiao Lingwei also stepped in, holding a pile of storage bags, Ye Chen hit the sky with heat, and he was not idle, his task was to pick up the treasure, anyway, idle is idle. The teleportation platform buzzed, the power of space fluttered, and the three of them disappeared instantly under the gaze of the quartet. After they left, the ancient city exploded. Things here floated to the quartet like wings, but everyone who smelled it looked horrified, the Eucharist was not strong, and its name was well deserved. Soon after, the sky was filled with thunder and thunderous clouds, and there seemed to be thousands of horses and gallops. The Taikagong strong man was here, and he was so imposing, but what he saw was a ruin. Asshole! The roar sounded like an eternal thunder, shaking the sky, and the world was shaking for it. Here, Ye Chen, they have reached a towering mountain and stopped on a steep mountain. Thank you seniors for helping. Hao Tiangsuanzen salutes Ye Chen respectfully, and it is still a junior ceremony. It can destroy more than a dozen powerful saints, and the rank of the ancient and holy body should not be low. His expression was grateful. If Ye Chen had not taken the shot this time, he would have been taken away most of the time. The consequences would not have to be known. Once he stepped in, it was Ji Huang Chuan. Ye Chen smiled, didn't speak raised his hand to sacrifice Xian Guang, and fell into Haoshan Suanzen's brows. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xian Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Suddenly, Haoshan Xianzhen trembled, his hands suddenly clasped his head, and growled in pain. That fairy light is like a key, unlocking the shackles of memory, and the past is slowly intertwined into a complete picture. During this time, someone has something to do with mountains and rivers, and there is love, righteousness, and hometown. Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei stood quietly on one side, both were speechless, waiting for Haoshan Xianzhen to restore her memory. It is the chaos god Ding. At this moment, he is very active. There is a vortex in the mouth. He swallows one after another. The instruments are all robbed by Ye Chen. Among them are some holy weapons. Counting it down, it swallowed a lot along the way, but there was no sign of advanced Saint King soldiers. To this point, Ye Chen understood very well that Chaos's appetite was too big. Somehow, the Chaos tripod came to a halt, choosing in midair and evolving on its own. Haoshan Xianzhen also stopped yelling, settled her body, and looked at Ye Chen in front of him. 
After recovering the memories of previous lives, how could she not recognize Ye Chen, it was his child. The past life and this life are like a fantasy dream. You can see your child after you wake up. This may be the gift of God. The confusion about reincarnation is not an excitement to meet again. The breeze blew, with the warmth of the next generation, and vicissitudes of tears, hazing the eyes of Haoshan Xianzhen, the dignified seven-footed man also burst into tears, his body trembling, and he could not cry. Welcome to return. Ye Chen smiled, as many moments in the past, the vicissitudes overflowed in the smile. My child! Haoshan Xianzhen finally couldn't hold back his excitement, and suddenly came forward and hugged Ye Chen, more tears poured out, wet Ye Chen's clothes, and also wet his age. Senior, I'm not your child. Ye Chen spoke slowly, with a guilty tone. Reincarnation of this past life, this two hundred years, you still cannot let go of the mustard of the previous life. Haoshan Xianzhen released Ye Chen, hazy eyes looked at Ye Chen. The so-called mustard was laid down the moment you died. Ye Chen shook her head and smiled. But Kang Tian makes people, I'm really not your child. The younger generation swallowed the sperm of the son of the earth, and the blood was in harmony with all beings. This is why Qian Qin's mirror is bright. This. Haoshan Xianzhen, who was hazy with tears in his eyes, shuddered, and the whole person was petrified. Sorry, the juniors didn't know about it until later. Ye Chen leaned over and performed a junior ceremony to Haoshan Xianzhen. If there is any disrespect at that time, you still want Senior Hai Han. You. Are you really my child? Haoshan Xianzhen looked at Ye Chen tentatively. It's been so many years and it's not necessary for juniors to deceive their seniors in this way. Ye Chen said. As soon as this remark came out, Haoshan Suanzan's look suddenly became wonderful. After reincarnation, he was dizzy. At this moment, he felt a sense of persecution. He thought that reincarnation was the pity of God, who had expected it. Ye Chen will give him such a big surprise. On the mountain peak, there was silence, and the atmosphere became awkward and abnormal. It was not only Ye Chen, but even Haoshan Xianzhen didn't know how to speak. This surprise really made people miss. Is there an urge to stab him? After all, Xiao Lingwei broke the silence with a whisper. If it weren't for this bitch, you wouldn't have to die with regret and guilt. Anyway, I still lost a lot of women. Haoshan Xianzhen laughed with husky and guilty. They may have also given birth to a child for me. Their childhood should be desolate, just like Haoshan Kan Knight, from the moment there is a memory in this world, the whole world is dark. I do nt know who my father and mother are, but I am hungry to find something to eat. Rats, cockroaches, tree roots, and everything I can eat, I will desperately go mouth stuffed. Haoshan Xianzhen said slowly, as if he was telling a tragic story. As Ye Chen told him in the past, it was a picture. The tragic people could not help shaking, as a father he has long been stricken with guilt. Little Ling Wei was silent, no longer making a fuss, scooping out the source stone, eating quackly and rhythmically. Ye Chen was also silent, very aware of Haoshan Xianzhen's state of mind. It was because of guilt that Haoshan Xianzhen wanted to make every effort to make up for it but regrettable that Ye Chen put down the mustard, but he was no longer his child. It's more regretful, and destined to live in guilt for life. I don't know how long it took before I saw Ye Chen gently lifted his palm, placed it on Haoshan Suanzan's shoulder, imbued the source of the Eucharist, and trained his blood. There are seniors from Hawaiing, and three daughters. They are all waiting for you. They're okay. Haoshan Xianzhen temporarily closed his thoughts and looked at Ye Chen with eyes full of hope. Shi Yu and Shi Shui are in Dichu. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and then sacrificed Xian Huo and Tian Li. The predecessors of Huayan and Xia were reborn to the heavens and earth, and the younger generations have found them. Thank you very much. Haoshan Xianzhen cried again, as if she had forgotten the pain of the veins of tempering. Honestly, 
your heirloom is really good. Seeing Ye Chen and Haoshan Xian Zhen sensationalize endlessly, Xiao Lingwei broke the topic, holding the bead of Haoshan Xian Zhen playing. That is the Hao Yu God bead. Hao Tian Xian Zhen said, could not help but look up at Xiao Lingwei up and down, guessing that he can work with Ye Chen, most of them are also reincarnations of Da Chu, but in his imperial realm vision, but really cannot see who is the reincarnation of Xia Lingwei. He is a small Lingwei. Ye Chen smiled, I am the purest person in the heavenly blood. Loki, Loki. Xiao Lingwei frowned her hair, and consciously put Hao Tian Xian Zhen's heirloom into her arms, just like her own, very politely. You can't even force your face. Ye Chen cursed, raised his hand into Xiao Lingwei's arms, and took out the Hao Yu Shen Zhu, and then returned it to Hao Shen Xian Zhen intact. Well. Xiao Lingwei disagreed, feeling boring, and began to chew the source stone very rhythmically. I won't support you. Ye Chen ignored the uncle directly, and concentrated on training the blood for Haoshan Xian Zhen. Speaking of reincarnation, I once saw a monk in Dongtian ancient city, who looks exactly like my Da Chu. I don't know if he is a reincarnated Da Chu. Haoshan Xian Zhen said. Which one are you talking about? I don't know. Xia Lingwei could not help but glance at Haoshan Xian Zhen. The first general of the Great Chu Temple, Mo Yuan. Haoshan Xian Zhen said, I have met Mo Yuan's predecessors, and even after reincarnation, I still remember his appearance. Yes and no, you will know when you go to see it. Ye Chen closed his palms and the source of the Eucharist, and he has trained the blood of Haoshan Xian Zhen to help him advance to the quasi sanity. Then no ink, let's help. Xiao Lingwei was interrupted by the howling wolf from a distance before she finished speaking. It was said that the three of them looked subconsciously, but when they saw the sky in the distance, a donkey was rushing in. Although they were not small, they were embarrassed and looked like they were being hunted down. Seeing a donkey, Haoshan Xian Zhen and Xia Lingwei were nothing, but Ye Chen, his eyebrows could not help but pick up because he knew the donkey that was being hunted down, wasn't that the king of Qi? Previously, King Qi was with him, only to hear the name of the worship of the moon gods halfway, scared and ran away. To his surprise, the uncle came to the wilderness and happened to meet him. Let's look at the people who hunted down the Qi king. They are three old men, one black, one white, and one purple. They are not too low. They are a saint and two quasi sages, all wearing taking palace robes. That donkey is really motivated. Xiao Lingwei touched her chin, and her expression was very meaningful. The old man's finger counted, the goods should have been stolen from the taking palace. I heard the fart that scared when I worshipped the moon god, and I dared to steal the treasures of the taking palace when I came to the Xianhuang continent, and my guts are good. Ye Chen sighed. The blood is weird. Haoshan Xianzhen groaned. There is a mysterious power hidden in the body. Heirloom of a unicorn bloodline, but also an overbearing royal unicorn. Xiao Lingwei pulled her ears out, as if she could see the extraordinary blood of Qi King through the vast void. Leave. Ye Chen turned around immediately, not intending to rescue him, nor did he have the spare time. Although the King Qi is a quasi-sacred class, there are many ways to save his life. Whoever hangs him will not hang. Leave. Xiao Lingwei and Haoshan Xianzhen followed, and went to Dongtian ancient city to find Moi Wan. Hey! Only two steps later, Ye Chen stopped again, and suddenly looked back, staring at the queen-stricken King Qi, who was fleeing, more precisely, at the bell hanging on the neck of King Qi. Look what? Let's go. Seeing Ye Chen stop, Xiao Lingwei hurried impatiently. There is a reincarnation. Ye Chen I, I pointed out that the fairy eyes had also been opened, and at a glance he wore a bell hanging from the king's neck, which was a storage weapon, which contained a fairy grass, which was a reincarnation. You won't tell me, that donkey is the heir to the world. The unknown baby Ling Xiao glanced at Ye Chen, even Haoshan Xianzhen also cast a look, 
looking at Ye Chen strangely. Ye Chen smiled and didn't answer. He stepped onto the sky one step and went straight to Qi Wang's side of the sky. The second thing was a few words, and he turned out a big hand and swept away. Immediately, they heard the roar of the other party, and in the tumbling smoke, the saint and two quasi sages of the Taking Palace flew out, and they were flown together, as well as the goods of King Qi. The sound of shouting and yelling was suddenly sounded, and the king of Qi Qi jumped all over the sky. When he saw Nai Yuchen, he suddenly hesitated, My mother is gone, how can you come out? This time I went to Taking Palace and stole a lot. Ye Chen Rao looked at Qi King with interest. Speaking blindly, I picked it up. King Qi shook his head and said, still not forgetting to move his storage bell to the ground, because he found Ye Chen's look at the bell was something wrong. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xian Wu Emperor as soon as possible. When Ye Chen and Qi Qi were at a loss, the three elders of the Taking Palace who had been flying were killed. Previously, they all focused on King Qi, so much carelessness that they were taken carelessly, and now they are reacting, how angry they are willing to give up. Of course, when the three people saw Ye Chen's face, it was an instant discoloration, desolate, desolate ancient body. Ye Chen didn't say a word, and started to work directly, shrinking into a step in one step, killing in an instant, splitting one of the quasi saints with one palm and turning the second quasi saint into a blood mist with one hand. The sage of the Taking Palace turned pale, and turned away before Ye Chen killed him. The domineering nature of the ancient and holy body was clear. The nine saints were destroyed, and he was far from enough. Where to go? Ye Chen chased in one step, the golden big hand turned across the sky, the scriptures flowed between the palms, and the chaos was merged. One palm was as heavy as a mountain, and it had not really fallen yet. Boom! With the bang, the sage of the Taking Palace who was still fleeing suddenly fell, the flesh was crushed into blood mud, and Yuan Shen wanted to escape, but was swallowed by the little spirit baby who came. The battle came fast and fast, but three breaths before and after. One saint and two quasi saints in the Taking Palace went to Huang Chuan. They were all depressed until they died. It was bad for anyone. Seeing Ye Chen so sturdy, Qi King grinned. These days he was in Donghuang, and he also heard about Ye Chen's incident on the Xianhuang Xingai Sea, and only Ye Chen did it. Ye Chen ignored the grinning expression on his face and raised his hand to remove the storage bell hanging from his neck. You stunned. King Qi quit and jumped up and leaped up. There was also Ming Qiang. Let's play. Xiao Lingwei stepped forward and the King Qi just rushed up, and he was pulled to the side by one hand. Don't take care of Grandpa, Lao Zi's temper is not very good. Hey, I have a bad temper. Qi King cursed, shouted, and rushed up again. Xiao Lingwei simply didn't speak, and raised a beautiful slap, and when he screamed, King Qi went to his knees on the spot. A good donkey with a self-motivated heart, was snoring instantly. After packing Qi King, Xiao Lingwei narcissistically froze her hair, and then looked at Ye Chen. But seeing that Ye Chen had scooped out a fairy grass from the king's storage bell, that fairy grass was very extraordinary, the whole body was overflowing with divine light, there was a bright fairy light dancing, and it was inherently spiritual. In addition to these, it is a vision transformed on the fairy grass, but it is a phoenix, which seems to be looming, and there is a squeaking sound of the phoenix. Although it is a fairy grass, it is nirvana on its own. Exquisite phoenix! Ye Chen touched his chin and looked up and down. It is one step higher than the reincarnated dragon's grass, no wonder that cheap donkey is willing to risk his life to steal. I'm curious about who it is reincarnation of. Xiao Lingwei stared at her with big, round eyes. Xian Nu Xian Nu. Ye Chen smiled slightly, and when he said the name, he felt an inexplicable pain. Xian Nu's congenital Dan Ling was still in his body. In the past years, she and Luo Xi sacrificed. 
Dang Kung refined Tian Ji Dan to help him achieve the Eucharist and slaughter the Emperor that day. It just happened to be met, otherwise Xian Nu is really Xian. Xiao Lingwei could not help but sighed. If this is brought back by that cheap donkey, it will probably be swallowed, that is really nonsense. It's really a surprise to me that there are exquisite phoenixes in the Taking Palace. Haoshan Xianzhen also spoke, slowly groaning. That donkey can steal this treasure, which shows that he has great magical power. It's okay to be shocked. Ye Chen smiled, instead of transforming Suanv into a human figure, but put it into Dan Hai, nourished with the source of the Eucharist, and only when the time was ripe, she would transform herself. After receiving the Xian Nu, the three went on the road again, and the slain Qi Wang was also taken along by the three. As for the treasures in the king's bell, Ye Chen did not move, and he also gave away a sacred of blood. After all, the exquisite phoenix was too precious, and it was taken away, always fortifying other treasures. The next way was extraordinarily calm. The ancient city of Dongtian was not too close to this place. The three of them hurricaned all the way. It was not until nightfall that a huge ancient city appeared. The King Qi woke up, but the donkey face looked dark at Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei, but the exquisite phoenix in the storage bell was missing, and even shouted, and he whimpered desperately with the two. However, when he saw a sacred blood in it, the uncle consciously received the bell. Compared to the sacred blood, the value of Ling Long Phoenix was weak, and that was the treasure. There is still a baby in Taking Palace, do you want to do another vote? After receiving the benefit, Qi Wang grinned. Do you think I'm busy? Ye Chen glanced at the goods, and then he went straight to the ancient city of Dongtian. He doesn't go to me. Xiao Lingwei put one hand on the neck of Qi Wang's donkey and smiled abnormally. While I'm free, let's go shopping. I'm the best at stealing. You have to say that, I think we should go to Yuling Xing first. Why go to Yuling Xing? Yuling Xing has dragon eggs, and we both stole a pot of stew. Qi King eagerly tried. As soon as this remark came out, Haoshan Xianzhen and Ye Chen, who were walking in front of them, turned around subconsciously, first glanced at Xiao Lingwei's nagging, and then looked mercifully at Qi Wang's goods. Soon, she saw that Xiao Lingwei rolled up her sleeves and twisted her neck fiercely. Then, the screams rang through the silent night, and the king of Qi, who was still talking about it, was dried up by his palm. You, you want to stew Laozi, you shit. As a result, the king Qi, who had just woke up not long ago, went into dreamland happily, and was stuffed into a self-developed space weapon by Xia Lingwei, and he was not ready to release it in a short time. Between the words, the three have arrived under the ancient city of Dongtian. As in the previous ancient city, a notice was posted on the wall of this ancient city in Dongtian, but it was a reward order. The reward and hunting order here is naturally also made by the Taking Palace, not one, but two, one of which is a portrait of Ye Chen, and the second one. Needless to say, King Qi. In this regard, Ye Chen is not surprised at all. The King Qi stole the exquisite phoenix fairy grass of Taking Palace. What a treasure is not to be wanted, and the bounty is not less than Ye Chen. The ancient city of Dongtian at night is still prosperous, and the streets are full of people and lively. Entering the ancient city, Ye Chen moved Zhou Tian to evolve, and if he lived up to expectations, the reincarnation Mo Yuan was really in this ancient city, and it was also the only big Chu reincarnation in this ancient city. Without much thought, he walked towards the party with a very clear goal, walking through the bustling crowd. It is worth mentioning that there is a lot of hidden atmosphere in the ancient city of Dongtian, and there are not a few strong taking palace powerhouses hidden in the dark. The purpose is obvious, that is to guard the plant and catch the Yechen. Ye Chen sighed all the way. If it were not for Zhushan's evolution, he would be beaten by the crowd as soon as he entered the ancient city. Not long after, the three talents appeared in a quiet little garden in the corner of Dongtian ancient city. The quaint and natural layout of the small garden has no luxuries. 
only the old man meditates under the old tree and crosses his knees. The cultivation is not high, and there is only the empty realm. He was clearly a quasi sage before. Looking at the reincarnation Moyuan, Haoshan Xianzhen could not help but wonder. There is an injury. Ye Chen saw the clue at a glance. There was a weird scar on Moi Wan Yuan Shen. It was not a road injury, but caused by the strong. I know, you can heal. Xiao Lingwei shoved a sore stone into her mouth, I can't beat you. It's hard to say. Ye Chen sighed, and a fairy light popped up. Mo Yuan opened her eyes before seeing that fairy light fell into his eyebrows and went straight to the god's stage deep in the sea of god. The painful low roar soon sounded in Xiao Yuan. For unnecessary trouble, Ye Chen also sacrificed the enchantment, so that Moi Wan's painful roar would not disturb the taking palace strongmen in the city. Xia Lingwei has found a comfortable place, while drinking leisurely, chewing the source stone. Haoshan Xianzhen stood quietly in place, only Ye Chen stepped forward, opened his eyes, and stared at Mo Yuan's Yuan Shen. The scar was extremely overbearing, which was why Mo Yuan was downgraded. In the middle of the night, Mo Yuan stopped yelling, and looked at Ye Chen them suddenly, thinking that they were in a dream, but the dream is so real, and the memories of previous lives have entangled many past events. The subsequent scenes were particularly sensational. Rao was Mo Yuan's constant force, and he became silent. In the past and present, the two hundred years are too long, and his old eyes are muddy, and his memory is also blurred. As the first general under the throne in the past, he is even older than the vicissitudes of time. He was sorrowful. He once fought the world with his prince, and the late heroes caught up with the invasion of the demon and gave old life to the great mountains and rivers that he had once guarded. After two hundred years, he passed another round. Years have turned into the dust of previous lives. Ye Chen, you did not disappoint Da Chu. Mo Yuan sipped a drink, and Mo Yuan smiled comfortably. You are more amazing than Tai Wang, and wrote an immortal myth of slaughtering the emperor. The predecessor is too modest. Ye Chen smiled. The predecessor of Tai Wang is still alive, and he should be in Da Chua at this moment. Tai Wang is alive. Mo Yuan froze for a moment. Not only he is alive, but the nine emperors of Da Chua are alive. Ye Chen smiled. In the past, the emperor of Chu was not silent, but came to the heavens and the world, and was in a state of self-confidence for a long time. The heavens and the heavens asked for help and the emperors of the past were unsealed. Although the sword gods of the heavens and many great magical powers of the heavens and the heavens went to find Chu, most of them are on the road to return. It's still something like this. Mo Yuan was so excited, old tears crisscrossed, even though he had reincarnation past and present, and spent two hundred years, but he still hasn't forgotten the old King Tai. If Senior King sees you, he will be glad. Old man can't wait. I think it's most reliable to treat injuries first. The sensational picture was broken by Xiao Lingwei again. When it comes to the wounds of the predecessors, it's really strange. Ye Chen closed his thoughts and focused on the scars on Moi Wan Yu and Chen. These scars, which he saw for the first time, were more difficult than that one. Did someone in the Taking Palace hurt his predecessor? Haoshan Xianzhen tentatively looked at Mo Yuan. It's a city without tears. Mo Yuan smiled and shook his head. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xian Wu Emperor as soon as possible. A city without tears. When he heard these words, Ye Chen suddenly turned his head, looked at Mo Yuan with excitement, his eyes flashed with dazzling light, elders have seen a city without tears. About a few decades ago, I accidentally bumped into each other. Mo Yuan said slowly, recounting the ancient past, at first the old man didn't know that it was a city without tears. A fairy descended from her self-confidence. She seemed to be looking for something. With just one more glance, he was in distress. A few decades ago. Ye Chen's eyebrows were slightly wrinkled, 
and the ancestors of the Ji family had seen the city without tears. The calculation time should be more than a hundred years ago, a hundred years before and after Mo Yuan's sight. Speaking of that fairy, I remember now, but I always feel familiar. Mo Yuan continued. The troubled seniors looked at it, but the person in the portrait. Ye Chen hurriedly took out a picture scroll and hung it in front of Mo Yuan. As for the person on the picture scroll, it is needless to say that Chu Xian. It's no doubt about her. Mo Yuan recognized it with a quick glance at the scroll, and her tone was extremely certain. She has a very special tattoo on her brows, like a tear, which I still remember. The senior knows what she is looking for. I don't know. Why it wasn't me. Ye Chen's eyes were dim, his fists clenched tightly. If the husband's expectations are not bad, the woman on the scroll should be the peak owner of Henjai Hu Zanjai Hu Girl Peak. Mo Yuan, bearded, still looking up and down the scroll, it seems to remember something. I'm curious, as a member of the Great Chu Expeditionary Force, haven't you seen Chu Linger? Xiao Lingwei glanced at Mo Yuan. The of the temple, the memory is a bit worse. The years are too long. Mo Yuan shook his head and smiled. Maybe I'm really confused. Don't talk about the city without tears, heal his predecessors first. Ye Chen smiled forcefully, slowly retracted the picture, and then withdrew his thoughts, sacrificed the fairy fire and sky thunder, and the origin of the Eucharist. Mo Yuan also cooperated. He crossed his knees on the cloud, closed his old eyes gently, and kept quietly on the Yuan Shen heart platform. Ye Chen took the shot, wrapped Moi Wan's Shen Hai with fairy fire, shrouded its primordial with a thunderbolt, and used the celestial fire and the thunderbolt to temper the primordial at the same time, and resolved the scar of the primordial with the source of the Eucharist. Soon, the moaning sounded, Mo Yuan's expression became painful, the sea of spirits hummed, and his head was about to burst. I do nt know why. Ye Chen today is not very in the state. Although he is healing for Mo Yuan God, his mind remembers Chu Xian and Chu Ling in his heart, so that he has lost his standard, and it is miserable to refine Mo Yuan. What's funny is that he has deep thoughts, but he doesn't know. To say that Mo Yuan is also true, knowing what Ye Chen is thinking about, and also knowing the relationship between Ye Chen and Chu Ling Chu Xian, so he didn't have the heart to disturb secretly carrying the pain, and the refined mind was blurred. Haoshan Xianzhen on one side couldn't stand it any more, and could not help but cough, but did not wake Ye Chen. It was still Xiao Lingwei directly, and there was a violent encounter, you take care, and you can't go wrong. Ye Chen was finally awakened, seeing Mo Yuan's painful distortion, he could not help but laugh, forced his thoughts down, he had no foreign objects, and concentrated on healing Mo Yuan's dark injuries. Because of his concentration, Mo Yuan's painful look also wiped out a lot, and slowly closed his old eyes. The small garden fell into tranquility, only the sound of the little Lingwei rattling and chewing the source stone was very rhythmic. As for Haoshan Xianzhen, he was doing nothing, took out the jug, and found a comfortable place, while pouring turbid liquor, looking up at Hao starry sky he seemed to miss his hometown. Eh? After some time, the tranquility of this small garden was broken by Ye Chen's frivolity. Hearing sounds, whether it was the little Lingwei who chewed the source stone, or Haoshan Xianzhen who was drinking, all cast a surprise light, even the Mo Yuan sitting cross-legged could not help but open his eyes. But seeing Ye Chen, he already opened six fairy eyes and stared at one side. His eyes were like a torch, and he seemed to be able to see a figure walking into the ancient city of Dongtian across the palace halls. It was a strong man, three feet tall and red. He had naked arms, muscles like a dragon, and was full of explosive power. Su was so strong that his body was thundered with lightning. His blood was so strong it is overbearing and majestic, like a wild dragon. Ye Chen smiled, and without having to make calculations deliberately, he knew that the gigantic goods were the reincarnation of Da Chu, and he was probably the one he was more familiar with, 
the bulky mountain in Xiling Bashu. Ye Chen also happened to twist his head when he saw it. He seemed to be aware that someone was looking at him, and he seemed to be able to see Ye Chen over the palace hall, what are you doing? In a word, Ye Chen was embarrassed, but he underestimated the perception of Manchin. The next moment, the surface of the barren mountain was shrouded in a layer of divine light, which was an extremely mysterious mysterious magical power, which instantly covered his whole body's opportunity, and also blocked Ye Chen's fairy eyes from peeping. Ye Chen rubbed his eyes, and was dazzled by the bright light on the surface of the mountain, his eyes were full of Venus. Like him, Haoshan Xianzhen, Mo Yuan, and Xia Lingwei's nagging were also rubbing their eyes. They all looked at Manchin with mystery. They were dazzled by the dazzling light of Manchin. It's awkward. As the four rubbed their eyes, a domineering curse sounded through the quiet night, what are you talking about? Then, the rumbling sounded, the entire ancient city of Dongtian shuddered, the pavilions collapsed, the rubble and dust were flying all over the sky, and many of them were embarrassed monks. Looking at it, it was the stubbornness of Manchin Mountain. At this moment, a large mace was moving to show its might, and it was hot with the strong men in the taking palace in the city. The saint could not lift his head, and the monks watching each other grinned. Ye Chen, they have flown out of the small garden and headed directly to the other side. During the period, Xia Lingwei offered a rune, which included Mo Yuan and Haoshan Xianzhen, and there will be a big battle next. The two are too weak to be affected. When the two of them were killed, the heaven and earth were in a mess, overlooking the heavens and the earth, full of scars. The powers of the Taking Palace hidden in the ancient city of Dongtian have all appeared. The battle is not small. Nine saints, eighteen quasi saints and hundreds of imperial peaks have surrounded the mountains and killed them. Let's look at Manchin again, carrying a mace, full body blast, thunder torn, chi and blood rising majestic with mountainous coercion, a pair of big eyes gathered, people dare not look directly. Thunder, it provoked me to the taking palace, and it was impossible to find death. A sage in taking palace was angry, and his face was as fierce as a demon, and he looked at the mountain with his teeth gritted, as did the other strong taking palace. Go to your taking palace. Shan Shan yelled, sounding like a thunder. A group of bear cubs first calculated and then hunted down, Lao Tzu is very angry, this time I was looking for you. Okay, good. The sage of the taking palace smiled angrily and waved his sword suddenly. Fight me. Dare to scare me. The wild mountain moved. Although the block size was large, the figure was strange, disappeared in an instant, and appeared again. It was in front of the saint of the taking palace. I turned it out without any mystery or mystery, but played cleanly. Seeing this, the remaining eight saints, eighteen quasi-sages, and hundreds of imperial realms, all swarmed with bees or swordsmanship or palm prints, or artifacts, and pressed against the mountain without a cap. The sky suddenly collapsed, turning into a place of chaos, and cracks in space raged. It is said that Manchin is also a fierce master. He moved the mace, and it was an unparalleled hegemony. The Taekagong strongman who was rushed up was taken away one by one, and the realm of the emperor was directly killed. The monks of the quartet were shocked, and each of them shouted, Where is this big man? Nine sages, eighteen quasi-sages, and hundreds of imperial realms peaked, and they were flying all over the sky by his quasi-sacred class. Someone groaned. Only this combat power can stand up to the Eucharist. What happened to the Taking Palace these days, the former is the Eucharist, and then the cheap donkey, and now it is this big man. Someone scratched his beard, there are many enemies in the Taking Palace. How can I blame anyone? Too many people sneered, burst is only because the Qing Palace is too arrogant. You can see what kind of blood is the mountain. In the sound of the argument, Ye Chen Xian turned to the little baby on his side. It's the blood of the brutal race. Xiao Lingwei touched his chin. But there is another overbearing power hidden in his body. I guess it should be the blood of the Diranosaurus. 
Tyrannosaurus. Ye Chen raised an eyebrow. It is also a kind of dragon family. Xia Lingwei said leisurely. Its status in the dragon family is second only to Tegzukulong and Tyrannosaurus. Although it has not been an emperor, it is one of the best princes. And the holy body Sakura front, casually dig out each one. No wonder. Ye Chen hissed, and looked at Manchin again. The flesh was indeed powerful. He regretted the weapon and many attacks, and was itself an indestructible shield. I said, would you like to help? Xiao Lingwei said, not forgetting to put a sore stone in her mouth. Late is changed. Ye Chen shot out in one step and joined the battle circle. Yi Jian Sheng split a quasi-sacred class. Ancient Eucharist. The quartet viewers were shocked, and the brows of Manchin also raised their eyebrows. He was also in the ancient city of Dongtian. The Taekagong powerhouse was frightened, only to be trembling in the soul, and it was tricky to be alone, not to mention the Eucharist, which could not be beaten at all. Retreat The sages of the Taking Palace immediately ordered the fierceness of the Eucharist, but they were very clear. Where to go? As soon as the Taekagong strongman was about to walk away, Xia Lingwei rushed over and turned into a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Although it was only the size of a wine tank, it was unparalleled. B.A. Tyrannosaurus Rex The spectator was startled again, looking at Xia Lingwei with an incredible look. I'm not mistaken. Is that the Tyrannosaurus Rex that can be compared with Tegzukulong? He likes this little dragon cub. Manchin glanced up and down the little Lingwei, looking very pleasing to the eye. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Retreat. Quickly retreat. The sage of taking palace shouted with a throat, and it was too much tonight. There were holy bodies in front of the mountains and mountains, and now even the Tyrannosaurus reeled out. Want to leave? Manchin glanced from Xia Lingwei, and the stick was up, and one smashed a quasi-sacred level into mud, and even Yuan Shen couldn't escape the silence, as fierce as ever. Fighting quickly. Ye Chen gazed at Chixiao, headed straight for a saint, and he was unparalleled. Fuck him. Xiao Lingwei was also a fierce dragon, and she moved her talents. A saint who played Taking Palace was going crazy, but she couldn't break his defense and was destroyed by the sky. At night, because of the war, it became unsettled. It can be seen that, although the number of strong men in the Taking Palace was large, it was completely out of the wind and was scattered by the three people. Regardless of the imperial realm, quasi sage, or saint, they were destroyed one after another. The Safang monks retreated, looking at this side pale, and had never seen such a hang before, and it was not one, but three, the fierce one at a time. Among the magical instruments that Xiao Lingwei was carrying, the King Qi was awake from the goods and looked outside, but she looked wonderful. Not long ago, I wanted to pull Xia Lingwei to steal the dragon eggs from Yuling's house, and stew it for fun. Now I can see Xia Lingwei's real body, and I almost scared to cry. Now I know why he was beaten. Outside, the war came and went fast, the Taekagong powerfuls were destroyed, and none survived. The rumbling annihilation, no matter Ye Chen, Xia Lingwei, or Manchin, rushed out the ancient city of Dongtian as soon as possible, because they knew that the Taking Palace might kill them soon, but could not stay. The three of them left, leaving a stricken Dongtian ancient city, and a good ancient city, turned into a ruin, and many slow people were buried in it. Just as Ye Chen thought, within a quarter of an hour, the Taking Palace powerfuls were killed. The battle was not ordinary. There were three quasi sage kings, a dozen sages and hundreds of quasi sages. Coincidentally, the solemnity is still there, and the ancient city of Dongtian, which has been ruined, is full of anger. At this moment, Ye Chen and the others passed through the teleportation team, and they did not know where they were. They reappeared as a valley where the birds did not shit. Cool. The pretty mountain grinned and seemed to be in a good mood. 
he got out of the wine jar and threw it to Ye Chen and Xiao Lingwei. Don't make trouble, you can't do me. Xiao Lingwei picked up the wine jar and let it dry. Blindly, I can fight well. The belligerent pretty mountain quit talking and brightening his large mace, I'm not blowing with you, I can make you cry when this stick goes down. I have a bad temper. The little Lingwei, who turned into a humanoid, immediately rolled up her sleeves and rushed up. It's like someone has a bad temper. Manchin was also energetic, killing him with a mace. As a result, the quiet valley is no longer calm, the rumbling is not constant, and the world is shaking. Ye Chen rubbed his eyebrows, consciously found a mountain and sat up, took out the jug, and drank the little wine with interest, while admiring the war not far away. I have to say that the scenes of the two are really huge and fierce, and they do nt keep their hands. One side is barbarian and Tyrannosaurus blood, and the other is Tyrannosaurus. Both are quasi-sacred, regardless of their height. It's extremely powerful, it's all against the disabled. The time passed by one minute and one second. The wild mountains and the little lingway of the war, not only did not have the intention to stop their hands, but they became more and more fierce, a posture of not stopping the other party. Ye Chen couldn't stand it anymore, drank a drink in the last pot, and killed him by his sleeve. This time, the valley that was already rumbling became even more lively. The sturdy Ye Chen was fierce. He didn't come to a single jump and went straight to the point. I don't know how long it took before I saw Manchin and Xia Lingwei falling into the sky and smashing the earth out of two deep pits. The blood of the barbarians and the Tyrannosaurus Rex were almost physically disabled. Did you take it? Ye Chen descended from the sky, bloody, and looked at the scum of Manchin with interest. Served. Manchin covered his big face, shook his head, and the whole man didn't pull a few. Serve. Ye Chen turned to look at Xia Lingwei. Served. Xiao Lingwei waved her eyes, rubbing her eyes, and Venus was still drifting. Don't talk. Ye Chen cursed, and a fairy light popped up, missing the eyebrows of the pretty mountain. At that moment, Manchin hugged his head and snarled in pain. Compared with the scars of the Battle of Ye Chen, this pain caused his heart breaking, which made his sea buzz and his heart blurred. Ye Chen released Haoshan Xianzhen and Mo Yuan, and sat back on the stone, waiting for Manchin to return. Mo Yuan and Haoshan Suanzen's eyes became a little weird. They looked at Manchin and glanced at Xia Lingwei. They were a Tyrannosaurus Rex and a Barbarian Tyrannosaurus plus the blood of Tyrannosaurus. Why is there such a big difference between these two cheap goods, is this a matter of character? Here, Xiao Lingwei also released the Qi Wang's nag from the implement, and was bored and amused. But King Qi doesn't do anything. As soon as it was released, he had to pull his leg and ran, and was carried by Xiao Lingwei on the spot, and in order to show his friendliness, he stole Qi Wang's goods on the ground and gave him a fat meal. After half an hour, the memory of Manchin was awakened, and he looked at Ye Chen with a faint look. The subsequent pictures are still very sensational. Rao is a big man who can't hold back his excited mood, crying with tears on his face, and he has been awakened for two hundred years in this past life. He can see the people of his hometown at the moment of opening his eyes. This is the gift of God, coexistence of surprise and joy. A few did not stay long and they set off near dawn, and continued to look for the reincarnated Da Chu. As before, Ye Chen encloses Mo Yuan and Hao Tian Chien Zhen and Mo Yuan into the rune. Mo Yuan will restore cultivation, and Hao Tian Chien Zhen will consolidate cultivation. Runes are a good place to go. Once again on the road, Ye Chen, Xia Lingwei, Manchin, and a Qi King were also beaten up. The next way, they have a low key enough, each covered with mystery, haunted the ancient cities, all the way down, luck is good, looking for many reincarnated people. During this period, it was inevitable that there would be conflicts with the Taking Palace, but they were all shocked and still alive. So, the ninth day passed quietly. Until the early morning of the tenth day, several people fell in front of a magnificent ancient city. 
Still under the city wall, several people caught sight of the reward hunting order posted on the city wall. It is still a reward from the taking palace, not one, but four, a donkey head, a dragon head, and a head. The fourth one is still pretty, at least more normal than the first three. That's right, the four people wanted on the defendant's notice are needless to say, King Chi, Xia Lingwei, Ye Chen and Manchin, and there is not much difference between the bounty and Ye Chen's. Otherwise, the bounty is higher than those of you. Chi King grinned unconvinced. My bounty has gone up a lot, and I am so relieved. Xiao Lingwei's sigh was meaningful. I thought my bounty was a bit low. The big man could not help but touch his chin. Lao Zi's finger counts, I like your nature very much. Ye Chen's face was grave. These are the four, destroying the taking palace strong one after another. The monks surrounded by the notice were not few, and the sound of hissing and whispering one after another, the master of the taking palace has gone mad. I heard that the taking palace sent a holy king. Are you looking for them? In addition to these, there are many senior monks who are also seeking advanced scholars. The bounty is too attractive. Flash on, flash off. In the argument, the cold chirp sounded from behind, his tone was very arrogant. Everyone heard the sound and looked back subconsciously, but they saw that the three young men in white had entered, and the repair was not high, only the imperial realm, but they wore the robes of the taking palace to let the crowd give way instantly. But seeing three jade disciples from taking palace crushed a jade bamboo slip, the seal of which was a reward and hunting order notice, which was imprinted on the city wall, behind Ye Chen's notice. Hey! Seeing the portrait on the notice, Ye Chen, Xia Lingwei, and Manchin could not help but tap. But seeing the notice is a portrait of a young man, lifelike, with a sharp outline of the face, a bit of beauty in Ying Yu, a bit of coldness in indifference, and a pair of ancient eyes without waves, hidden inexplicable words connotation is extraordinary in ordinary. Lu Yi Manchin and Xia Lingwei glanced at the notice portrait, and looked at Ye Chen very consistently. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Xian Yu Emperor as soon as possible. Just looking at the portrait, I don't know. For the eyes of the three, Ye Chen shook her head with a smile. I thought 80% was Lu Yi. Xiao Lingwei groaned. It looks exactly the same. How big are all the heavens and earth, and how many people look alike? Ye Chen yelled. I have come all the way, I have seen too many such examples, and in the end I am happy. God bless you, I hope it's his reincarnation. The big man took a deep breath. It's actually Tai Chi. The monks watching the quartet were also discussing, with a lot of surprise in their tone. Why the taking palace even wanted him, and the bounty was a lot of Tyrannosaurus Rex. You don't know about it. A well-informed old man shrugged his beard. When the Tai Chi true body advanced to the Kuei Sai sacred, the elder Tai Ching palace secretly attacked and nearly let him die. This time the Tai Chi true body slowed down. How could he give up and kill the attacker, which led to the taking palace being hunted down, and most of the people sent could be destroyed? The reason is roughly the same. If that's the case, then the Qing palace deserves it. Many people laughed one more cheerfully than the other. While in the weak time, we don't have to bully the quartet, and we should let it suffer. You said, will the five people wanted be a group? Someone touched his chin. It was a coincidence that they were all dealing with the taking palace, and the movement was not small. It's possible. Too many people showed deep meaning. Most premeditated. If that's the case, it's enough for the Qing Palace to drink a pot. The quartet's cheering voice started again. A barbaric ancient body, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a barbaric body, a donkey with the blood of a unicorn, and now a Tai Chi true, it's weird that Taekagong can sleep well. In the debate, Ye Chen has turned and walked into the ancient city, and Xiao Lingwei and Manchin immediately followed. It is also a prosperous ancient city, with monks coming and going. There are many hidden secrets hidden in it, and there are many saints. 
Among them, there is also a quasi-sacred king, who is a strong man of taking palace. Under the evolution of Zhou Tian, Ye Chenji deduced everything. After three or five seconds, he regretfully received the supernatural power. Although this ancient city is large and the number is not less than 300,000, there is no reincarnation. Take a break. Ye Chen shook his head helplessly, but a moment of blood flowed out of the corner of his mouth the moment he turned around. Although he tried his best to hide it, he was still captured by Xia Lingwei and Manchin, and it was easy to guess what kind of force was destroying Ye Chen, who would be except the condemnation. The fact is just as they thought, the condemnation is here again, and this time it is not ordinary ferocity so fierce that Ye Chen had to temporarily give up looking for reincarnated people and chose to rest. The two didn't say much, followed closely behind Ye Chen, their faces didn't look very good, only the king Qi nagging, unknown, so shook his head all the way around, very uneasy. Soon after, the four stopped in a quiet little garden and spent 10,000 yuan Qi renting it. Stepping into the small garden, Ye Chen went straight to the room, and the back door was closed tightly, and the enchantment was manifested. Seeing this, Xia Lingwei and Manchin have not been idle, they have performed mysterious magical powers, laid a strong enchantment, and covered the entire small garden, so as not to find the taking palace powerhouse hidden in the city. In the room, Ye Chen had vomited blood, his figure was stunned, he threw himself on the ground, hugged his head, and painfully roared. His entire body was covered with heavenly condemnation and thunder, destroying his internal organs and strange veins, limbs and bones, and souls deep in the Yuan Shen. What's more, Zhou Tian evolved back to bite, magic and Buddhist Tao came to chaos again, intertwined with multiple forces, danced with the condemnation of heaven, devoured his vitality and blood, and tortured him. Outside the room, Xia Lingwei and Manchin walked around, sometimes glanced at the room with an anxious look, as if she could see Ye Chen holding her head and kneeling on the ground snarling across the wall. Everything came too abruptly, Rao was caught by Ye Chen, the sacred body was shrouded in blood. Time slipped quietly between the fingers until the night fell, but Ye Chen was not seen out of the room. Xia Lingwei and Manchin are still waiting. Several times they want to rush in, but they have stopped their bodies. That is the exclusive condemnation of Ye Chen, which looks like a scourge. They cannot help outsiders. They were waiting, and King Qi was restless, and he was doing nothing, out of the quiet garden. Xiao Yuan, fell into peace, Ye Chen's painful roar was annihilated, and he crossed his knees like a blood man. In this way, day and night change, day and night reincarnation, three days passed quietly, everything is so calm. It was not until the dawn on the fourth day that the King Qi who slipped out for three days ran back. There were scars all over his body. It looked like he was being strangled with others, and he was also taken lightly. Xiao Lingwei and Manchin glanced at each other, for some reason, watching the limping of King Qi, and they felt an inexplicable sourness in their hearts, and they almost laughed. It's lively, it's really lively outside. Qi Wang didn't notice the strange eyes of Xia Lingwei and Manchin. After sitting down, he held the wine jar and blasted, the bear cubs in the taking palace were crazy. Laozi runs fast, otherwise most of them have been pulled away for stew. Your mother, can you give Lao Tzu a little bit of time? Xiao Lingwei's face was black and she stepped forward. They are all wanted and they are so noisy, so you are not afraid to be caught by the taking palace. If you bring taking palace, I will kill you with a hammer. Manchin also scolded with a throat. Say it blindly, I'm going to inquire about the news. Qi King disapproved, and then spit out a memory spar, come, you two take a look, is it Lu Yi you are looking for? Hearing that Xia Lingwei immediately crushed the memory spar. Even if a picture appeared, the crowds in the picture were all taking palace powerhouses. They were hunting and killing a young man, and the young man was hunted down. It was the same person as Lu Yi. Seeing this, Xia Lingwei and Manchin both frowned. Just looking at them, 
they weren't sure if they were reincarnated Lu Yi, let alone them, even if Ye Chen saw them, they could not give a definitive answer. In order to determine if the answer is accurate, Ye Chen had to see it, and Ye Chen went there in person. What's more, he is in a very poor state at the moment, and obviously cannot go forward. Looking at this picture, it should be in the direction of Longchuan Mountain. Manchin said, not too close to this place. It's best to go to Malur. Seeing the two of them stunned, Chi Wang yelled, The battle in the Taking Palace is not small, even the Taking Godson has gone. In addition, there is also the of the palace. And the Supreme City Godson, the fakes are fierce and fierce. Yun Palace? Supreme City? Xiao Lingwei raised her eyebrows. What kind of power is this? It's a level of existence with Taking Palace. Manchin frowned, as if he knew the palace and the supreme city, as if he knew their strength, and his face was ugly. I'm not sure if it's Lu Yi, save it before you say, what if it is? Xiao Lingwei said immediately. You can start. The wild mountain was very popular, one step on the empty sky, Xiao Lingwei immediately followed, Chi Chi wanted to go, but was stunned, and then two more scolding came back. Take care of Ye Chen for Lao Tzu. If he is in trouble, he will look good on you. Frighten me again. Chi Wang coughed, but still obedient, he had reason to believe that Manchin and Xia Lingwei really dare to kick him, but they were two fierce masters. He murmured in his heart, shook his head and shook his head toward the room, and saw Ye Chen inside. I do nt no. I was shocked at first. Ye Chen who had been so glamorous before, turned out to be old, with grey hair, wrinkled skin, and skinny, like a dead body crawling out of a grave. With the blood, the wrinkled skin is still falling off. King Chi froze, rubbed his big round donkey's eyes, and watched again, heaven. Heaven and five. How Hao had seen people crossing the sky and five robberies, which looked too much like Ye Chen at the moment, but he was shocked that Ye Chen, who was no more than two hundred years old, had touched the piece of the saint. Of course, looking at it, he touched his chin and shook his head again. No, it's not the five robberies of heaven and human beings, it should be a kind of self-nirvana, so I said, how can a two hundred year old be a saint? Thinking to myself, the goods were lying in front of the door, staring at the eyes, watching Ye Chen metamorphose. Ye Chen is indeed transforming. He is a kind of weak and extreme self-nirvana, which is very similar to the five decays of heaven and man, but it is not the five decays of heaven and man. He is only two hundred years old, and is far from the saint level. Naturally, this nirvana came not for no reason, but the exquisite phoenix who was in his Dan Hai. It was her who led nirvana. Nirvana overflowed with a ray of phoenix and subtly incorporated his holy body, the phoenix. Nirvana, also took him to transform together. At this moment, under his wrinkled skin, there is a new sacred body, crystal clear and dazzling. Also changing is his white hair, which is turning into black, and his skinny body has become angry in Nirvana, gradually becoming full and flexible and full of vitality. In the underworld, there were low dragon groaning and phoenix hissing, all passed from his body, and the nine-day vision of the dragon spiraling and the phoenix dancing appeared around the body, which was very mysterious. The King Chi looked terrified, and he did not know why Ye Chen's nirvana was so weird. He even had a lot of mystery in his transformation. Although there was no holy body, every strand of blood was incomparable. Suddenly, Ye Chen opened his eyes and the two immortal Xian Mang holes penetrated the door. On the spot, the King Qi, who was standing in front of the door, was knocked out by the two Xian Mangs. When he climbed up, the door of the room was opened, and Ye Chen, who stretched his waist, came out. After transforming into Nirvana, he became very extraordinary, giving a mountain-like weight and a magnificent sea. The King Qi grinned and walked forward, the Eucharist is the Eucharist, and it was born congenitally. Ye Chen ignored the discourse and glanced at Xiao Yuan, but he didn't see Xia Lingwei and Manchin. 
Then he looked at the King Chi in front of him, where are the goods? Long Chuan Mountain. The King Chi was too lazy to explain, and passed on a ray of knowledge from Ye Chen, rolling a picture. You ah, don't say it earlier. After reading the consciousness, Ye Chen yelled suddenly and disappeared instantly. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. This is a stretch of mountains, magnificent. If there is a sky overlooking it, it will be like a giant dragon, embracing the earth, hence the name Long Chuan. Today's Long Chuan Mountain is very lively. Looking away, the sky is full of people. The crowd is like a sea, full of quartet voids. Many of them are too strong, and there are also people who come to watch the show. However, although there were many strong men in the Taking Palace, they did not participate in the battle, but instead stood outside the Long Chuan Mountain. However, seeing the central world, two young men, one white and one purple, are at war. They are both and bloody. On one side, the young man in white stepped on Tai Chi, holding a fairy sword, surrounded by magical powers, and mysterious magical powers all evolved on their own, carrying heaven and earth, and conquering Juxiao, they looked like gods. On one side, the young man in purple clothes wore a purple gold crown and leaned against the Xingai Sea. His vision can be described as splendid and natural. He frequently shot, and the sky was falling down, standing in this world, just like a fairy emperor. The identity of the two is not simple. The youth in purple clothes is the son of Taking Palace. As for the young man in white, it is the real body of Tai Chi. The one who is wanted by the Taking Palace in recent days is him. He has the same face as Lu Yi, but it is not reincarnation Lu Yi. The world is booming, the scenes of Taking Godson and Taiji battle are very large, the mountain peaks are collapsed, and the two are indistinguishable from each other. The real body of Taiji is well known, and it can be indistinguishable from the Taking Sun. The rumors continued one after another, the tone was marvelous and the sound of hissing and pursing was endless. The old man thought that the winner must be the taking godson. An older monk groaned. Although the two are at the same level, the taking godson has been advanced to quasi-sanctification for nearly a hundred years. Compared to the taking godson, Tai Chi is true. Not long after the body advanced advanced quasi-sanctification, the understanding of the Tao should be weak. Dao Hu said this. Someone shook his head with a smile. The Tao is strong and weak, but there is no order. It has advanced the age of quasi-sanity to judge the victory. It is really too arbitrary. That's what it says, but Tai Chi Palace battles today, Tai Chi can go out alive. This is reasonable. Someone froze his beard, and said to him that he had not forgotten, the son of the Imperial Palace and the of the Supreme City also came and Taiji realism is dead. I want to say if the Taking Godson is full, so many strong men in the Taking Palace are here to kill them directly. Most of the Tai Chi real body is destroyed, but they have to be singled out with the Tai Chi real body. What do you know, Taking Godson? This is to cut Tai Chi truth alone to prove his way. This battle seems to have been unfair from the beginning. An old guy said meaningfully, Tai Chi Genti has been severely damaged in the previous siege, and it is no longer at the peak. There is no real fairness in this world. Someone booed, now that you are stuck here, most of you cannot escape. It would be a legend if you could defeat the Taking Sun before death. Surrounding the quartet, we must not let the Tai Chi real body escape again. In secret, the Taking Palace strongmen were all murderous, and if the Taking Gods were defeated, they would cover up in the first place. I said, this battle is a little bit big. In the corner, Xiao Lingwei glanced at the imaginary sky, and could not help but cough. Will we be killed if there are so many strong ones? I'm curious whether that Tai Chi real body is reincarnation Lu Yi. Manchin scratched his head. If it weren't for us, it would have been a loss of money to kill us like this. Or else, look first. Then look first. You will be chopped today. 
As the two spoke, the sound of drinking rang from not far away. The Lord taking landed on Juxiao, and a sword slashed down into the sky. Tai Chi doesn't speak the real body, the immortal sword is screaming, it is also a peerless sword, Yin and Yang help each other, Qian Qun can reversed, this is a heavenly secret technique, which combines his Tao and Taiji magical power, unmatched in power and domineering. In the spotlight, two peerless mysteries collided together, and at the point where the two swords collided, a tangible halo spread indefinitely. Wherever they passed, the space collapsed, the Taiki real body fairy sword and the taking sun the Excalibur was also blasted out together. Kill. The master of the taking dynasty came with a big seal, and his face became fierce. He has become a quasi holy century, but after 500 strokes, he failed to win the Tai Chi real body, how could he not be angry? Tai Kai's real body is 9 and 9 feet long, and he tried to pull back and retreat several times, but he was entangled by the madman of the taking godson. The battle resumed, the roar trembled for nine days, blood poured down like rain, and the battle was fierce. The spectator retreated, for fear of the aftermath, and hissing was overwhelmed, and he was so shocked by Tai Chi that he had been fighting with a well-known Quasi San for so long. I don't know how many rounds there were, and the battle was quite equal, and this was the direction to one side. Taking Shenzi fell into the wind and was suppressed by the Taiji true body. It was difficult to reverse his defeat by letting his secret technique go through the sky. The Taiji true body fell down Juxiao and collapsed a mountain. I do not believe. The prince of Taking roared, his eyes were red, he was unwilling to lose, and he could not accept the fact. He rushed out of the ruins, shed his hair, and looked like a demon. The real body of Taiji suddenly raised his hand, there was Taiji evolution in the palm, many mysteries were combined, and the palm was as heavy as a giant mountain, and then he rushed into the supreme sun of Taking in the middle of the night. Having overpowered the Taking sun, the Taiji real body immediately turned around and moved one step away from the Fang Xuxian. Now he knows the situation clearly. The longer he drags on, the more disadvantageous he is. Kill. The Taekagong strong men pounced on them. They did not expect that the Taking Godson would be defeated, but since the Godson was defeated, then they came. In any case, they could not let the Taiji real body escape. However, as soon as they were swarmed up, they had not yet started, and they saw a sturdy Mang soaring into the sky, but it was an ancient secret formation with swords flying and thunder raging. This is a masterpiece of Xia Lingwei and Manchin. When the Taking Shenzi and Taiji real body were fighting, they were not idle, and carved this horrific killing array to help Taiji real body get out of trouble. Facts have proved that this wave of operations is indeed quite sultry. However, the Taekagong strongman was killed by a hand rubbing, and the shadows of the people turned into blood mist, and Yuan Shen was hanged. Knowing that someone was helping in the dark, Tai Chi really cooperated with it, and a sword cut out a blood path. Of course, he was about to kill, and the two figures were killed like ghosts, wearing a black robe and a white robe, the son of the palace and the son of the supreme city, blocking his way. Everyone is here, and still want to leave. The goddess Hamamiya smiled sadly with an eerie smile. I'm lacking a special blood sacrifice for the refining soldiers. The blood of Tai Chi is just right. The Supreme City God also smiled, two rows of white teeth shining with radiant light, and bloodthirsty in his eyes. Kill. At the same time, taking Shenzi, who had previously been crushed by Juxiao, also killed from behind. Taiji really frowned and didn't even want to get rid of it directly. One to three, he would undoubtedly lose. Both the palace and the gods of the supreme city sneered, both of which were eccentric in shape and shadow, and once again blocked their way, sacrificed a powerful magic weapon, performed magical powers, and blocked the Tai Chi real body. The battle started instantly, Tai Chi true body fell into the wind with one enemy, Tai Ching Sun rushed like a crazy dog, joined the war, Tai Chi true body that had fallen into the wind, was wounded on the spot. You scum. Xia Lingwei came to the sky, 
transfigured the appearance of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, blocked the gods of the Supreme City, and Manchin also stirred the mace to kill, blocked the gods of the palace, and attacked the fierce and overbearing. Tyrannosaurus? Brutal? As soon as the monks of the Quartet were stunned, even the Son of God and Supreme Son of God were also stunned. Kill me! The strong in the Taking Palace came from the Quartet. It was never expected that the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Barbarian wanted by the Taking Palace were also present. Even so, it was not said, and you do nt need to go back today. This time, the Longchuan Mountains were lively, and the few remaining broken peaks collapsed instantly. It can be seen that, whether it is Taiji True Body, Xia Lingwei, or Mansion, they have been completely suppressed. Regardless of the ruthless roles of taking God's son, Supreme God's son, and Ji Shenzi, let us say taking palace is strong. It was so overwhelming, how great the battle was. At this point, Rao is the fierceness of the Mansion and the Xia Lingwei, and they have also lost their tempers. They are singled out but there are many others. There was a wave of blackness, a wave of retreat, and more came. It's hanging now. The quartet hissed one after another. Tai Ching Palace is such a huge battle. T-Rex, brutal and Tai Chi reality can hardly escape. Most of them want to drink and hate in Long Chuan Mountain. Let's just say that. The Tai Chi real body and the Dragon King and that big barbarian body are one group. I don't know if the ancient ancient Eucharist and the cheap donkey have come. Someone muttered, and said without looking at the quartet, if the two goods also come, this is called lively. When the man said nothing, he saw a figure of golden light coming from afar, and he was full of blood and blood, and every strand was extremely heavy. The rolling space was booming, and the rolling heaven and earth lost their color. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. It's really coming. Seeing that golden light was Ye Chen, all the monks in the quartet were surprised. It's lively now. The monks of the quartet were all bright, for fear of missing the wonderful picture. If you come today, you don't have to leave. The rumbling sounded the sky. A powerful sage of the Taking Palace went straight to Ye Chen, holding the crown of Yin and Yang, sweeping out the immortal, and wanted to kill Ye Chen in one hit. Ye Chen didn't say a word, and didn't bother to care about him. He shrank away in one step, and killed him in an instant. The sage of the Taking Palace suddenly changed color. I didn't know that Ye Chen's body was so strange. He wanted to retreat and escape, but it was too late. Ye Chen turned it out with his palms and his body was almost knocked out. Fight! Three more powerful saints arrived and joined forces to control a bronze furnace, sweeping out a piece of magic. It was a horrifying magical instrument, the Holy King level, which was tempered by the blood of the Holy King, imprinted with the supreme rule, and every strand of mysterious essence pouring down was as heavy as a mountain, dead and cold. Ye Chen did not regret it. Chaos God Ding flew out of the Sea of Shen, with a strong Ding body, regret the copper furnace. Why not say that chaos is overbearing? Although it is only a saint-level instrument, it is a fierce anomaly. With just one collision, the saint-level instrument is cracked, and the four sides are shocked. The Sacred King's copper furnace was wounded, and the three saints were also backbitten, vomiting blood and stepping back. Ye Chen did not chase him down. Instead, he smashed into the crowd like a wild demon dragon, splitting a blood path with one palm, heading directly to Xia Lingwei and Mansion. Destroy him! The sages and quasi sages of the Taking Palace were killed from the quartet, or they were using magical instruments, or they were in control of magical powers, or they were in line to kill a raise. Without exception, they all pressed against the piece of virtual sky where Ye Chen was. Outlaws, open. But when Ye Chen opened a chaotic world with a cold whistle, and outlined a magnificent world of cluttered things. It was a chaotic vision, with flowers, grasses, trees, and trees evolving on their own. Ye Chen stands among them, like a of war, the Tao is flying, the fairy light overflows, 
and he holds the world. This majesty in the world has made the monks of the quartet astounded that they have never seen such a vision in the thousand years of spiritual practice. In the sound of surprise, the quartet attacked and blasted into the chaos world. Although they were stricken with scourges, they were not destroyed, but many quasi-sages were crushed into fly ash on the spot. Go! Ye Chen drank, stepped into the sky, and there was a galaxy at his feet to the distance. It was a supreme mystery. The bright galaxy was like the vast avenue, and he wanted to lead Xia Lingwei back. Seeing this, Xia Lingwei, Manchin, and Taiji Reality who were still in the war turned around immediately, no longer fighting in love, and stepped on the bright zinc regardless of their succession. Where to go? The prince of taking snarled and snarled, chased with a shawl, and turned into a magical sword with Ling Tian splitting towards zinc. The Supreme Godson and the God Godson also waved swords and cut out the immortal man's, wanting to break Zing. Ye Chen coldly hummed, separated from the sky by eight thousand feet, and knocked over the taking sun with a punch, then stabbed the sword, split the Supreme Immortal God and the Emperor God, and protected the bright Zing. Because of his protection, Zing was kept, and Xia Lingwei, Manchin, and Taiji True Body were brought back. Go! Ye Chen pushed the three of them into the distance, and immediately turned around, not ready to be with the Taking Palace. The battle of the Taking Palace today is really too big. Once it is entangled by it, it will be a battle if the King of the Qing Dynasty and the King of the King of the Qing Dynasty are killed. Of course, just before he was gone, there was a mysterious and powerful force covering him. In an instant, he disappeared into the sky. When he showed up again, he was surrounded by the tide and the sea, and the four sides were all Taekagong strong, but the piece of virtual sky he had stood on had been replaced by a humming sword. Change the world! Ye Chen raised her eyebrows lightly, and knew very well what kind of magical powers she had. It was a secret method of space replacement, that is, someone secretly replaced the space with him, and then replaced it back. For this secret method, he always liked it but could not penetrate the mystery like Xi Xian and Long Ye, and never thought that someone in the Taking Palace knew it, and said it was a surprise. Kill. The Taekagong strong men rushed from the four sides, all faces were fierce, all murderous, and the crowds were like the sea, covering the sky like a black ocean. They wanted to submerge Ye Chen. Seeing this, the Taiji true body who had escaped from birth suddenly turned around and had to kill back to save Ye Chen. Although he didn't know why Ye Chen wanted to save him, he owed a life and could not see death. Xiao Lingwei and Manchin are faster, but they are not trying to save Ye Chen, but they are grabbing the Taiji real body. The only way to protect your life is that you can get out of trouble safely. He has his own secret method to escape. Said, Xia Lingwei waved a light gate, disappeared with the real mountain and Taiji. As Ye Chen's good friends, they still know Ye Chen very well. When it comes to escape, no one in the heavens and the world can match Ye Chen. When they kill and go back to rescue, they will only increase Ye Chen's burden. Seeing that the three men successfully walked away, Ye Chen was not idle. He moved in one step, avoiding the attack from the quartet, waving his hand and swiping to one side, and then again shrank into an inch, spanning 3,000 feet of virtual sky. However, the strong men here in Taking Palace are not all ubiquitous. It seems that they have seen through his miraculous powers, sacrificed the Holy King soldiers in advance, and collapsed the empty sky. As a result, Ye Chen, who had just moved over, had not yet shaken Shenner, so he was caught off guard on the spot, the Holy King soldiers were extremely overwhelming, and Rao was also hesitant for a while. Nonsense! Ye Chen cursed, stabilized her figure, and opened again, but saw someone blocking her way. It was the goddess of the Taking Palace. He gritted his teeth and looked fierce, coming out like a crazy dog. Previously, he was defeated by the real body of Taiji, but was bombarded with a punch from Ye Chen. He was already angry. The real body of Taiji ran away, and he could not breathe out. But the holy body was here 
how could he let it go? Ye Chen sneered, while evading the attack from the quartet, killing the past in the void, and his eyes were like a torch, and he stared at the purple gold crown worn by the taking godson, more precisely an ancient word imprinted on the purple gold crown. Glittering and shining, that is a geogiation word. Kill. The prince of taking snarled and pushed out a sea of stars with one palm, but it was supernatural. Once it was swallowed up, it would be crushed into flesh and tumbling all the way, and there were already pieces of vanity collapsed. However, Ye Chen was a different species and rushed in directly, like a dragon tossing and breaking the Xingai into pieces, and the taking godson was also backswept, his blood was vomiting, and his body was cracked. He lost again, taking Shenzi couldn't accept it, and his blood-stained finger was on his brows, and he banned surgery. Immediately, an ancient pattern appeared on his brows, his momentum surged, the split body instantly recovered, the whole body surrounded by fairy light, the rolling blood raged like a sea, and it was turbulent. Ye Chen didn't take it for granted. He broke the virtual sky in one step and merged hundreds of secret magical powers in one punch and eight wastes. Kill. The prince of taking came forward, and the palm of his hand saw the ancient scriptures circulating, and the magical power was also evolving. Boom. The fists collided, and the fang Xuxian split instantly, and the person closer was caught on the spot. Looking at the two sides again, Ye Chen was nothing, but the of the Qing dynasty was miserable, and he was blown away by a punch from Ye Chen. The body that had just healed soon broke apart and Sensen's bones were exposed. I do not believe. The of taking was crazy, this time he was crazy, madly burning blood, in exchange for more powerful combat power. Ye Chen ignored it directly, and killed him with weather. He didn't care about winning or losing. What he cared about was the armored sky on the Zijin crown of taking godson, and once he got it, he walked away. However, the nonsense happened again, and he only killed the imaginary sky of the taking godson, and before he could attack, he was again moved to another place and replaced by a crowd of people. You scum! He forcibly stabilized his shape, Ye Chen didn't even think about it, and he opened it directly, because the sky attack had greeted him from the quartet, among them there was a lot of lore and sacred kings. Obviously, this is a premeditated plan. Ye Chen was replaced by a move to another place in the arranged trap, and then the lore was executed, and the time and location were just right. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. Under the scrutiny of many people, the sky attack came instantly, all with the icy murderous power. On the spot, the virtual sky collapsed, the space shattered, and the space cracks appeared in pieces. The road and the sky were inviting, and one good world turned into a place of chaos in the silence. The spectators were frightened, most of them were pale, and the meticulous design of the taking palace was enough to wipe out a quasi-sacred king in an instant, even if it was an ancient holy body, it was impossible to escape. In fact, this is exactly the case, the smoke slowly spread away, but Ye Chen was not seen. The monks of the quartet sighed, and the sighs were one after another. The sacred ancient Eucharist, which was hard to see for one hundred thousand years, was so destroyed. The blood on the shoulders of the emperor, I do nt know when we can reappear. Compared with them, the taking palace smiled a little bit, this is the end of the taking palace. Of course, when everyone unexpectedly heard that, Ju Xiao Jianming was suddenly heard, and there were too many and they became one piece, and the whole world was just the buzzing of the sword, which made the eardrums ache. Subconsciously, both the monks watching the quartet and the taking people raised their faces. At this point, everyone's heart in the sky was stunned, but above the sky of Juxiao, there was a fantasy of swordsmanship in the sky, each one was golden, and each one was with the power of silence. It's huge and countless. The scalp is numb. Holy! Eucharist? The sharp-eyed man captured a figure, standing in the midst of the million swords, like a fairy sword of the world, 
shining brightly in the heavens and the earth, resembling the king of thousands of swords, ordering the heavenly soldiers. This is impossible. The taking palace people's eyes were highlighted, and the spectators' pupils shrank to the size of a needle tip. The previous lore was enough to destroy a quasi-sacred king, but he failed to kill Ye Chen. How could they believe? However, where do they know Ye Chen's means, and where they understand how Ye Chen exists? As Xiao Lingwei said, Ye Chen's ability to open the door is beyond the reach of the heavens and the world. The previously carefully designed lore is indeed enough to destroy him. The problem is that one second before he was attacked, he it has entered a black hole in space and waits for the crisis to pass. Impossible, this is impossible. The Taekagong Strong still roared in anger, but forgot to sacrifice a protective enchantment at the first time. Wang Jian Chao Zone In his horrified eyes, the cold chirping sound rang through the world, Ye Chen had suddenly waved his sword, Ling Tian Yeo pointed below. Immediately, Wang Jian shouted and Ling Tian came down like a rain of swords, covering the world. At this point, the still roaring Taekagong strongman reacted, hurriedly sacrificed the magical instruments hanging above his head, the saints cast spells, and laid the enchantment, covering the Taekagong people. However, before their defense was completed, the heavenly sword mansions arrived, and the enchantment laid by them was pierced with piercings. Wherever the sword mansions passed, they turned into pieces of blood mist. Passion, the blood instantly reddened the world, shocking. This is a scary picture. The black silhouettes of the taking palace vacated one after another. What was attacked by a wave of group attacks was people who turned their backs and suffered heavy losses. Asshole. The sage of the taking palace was furious and suddenly waved his sword, pointing to the sky, kill me, kill me. Ordered, the embarrassed taking palace went to the strong one after another, aimed at Ye Chen, and wanted to bombard. Ye Chen sneered, disappeared in an instant, and appeared again. It was already in the crowd. The second thing was a few words, and he slashed with a sword. A sword can be said to be dead, no more living creatures. Kill. It is also the prince of the Qing dynasty. He was the first soldier to die, and the first one came out. He was crazy and perverted. He was unwilling to fail, and the supernatural powers of the world played frequently without any cost. Like the taking godson, the Supreme Godson and the Crippled Godson also killed from both sides, with a smile in their laughter and a perverted excitement, and they will scramble to cut off the ancient ancient body to prove the avenue. Ignoring the Supreme Son and the Divine Son, Ye Chen went straight to the Taking Godson, wiped out the Taking Godson's supernatural power with one palm, and killed him in front of him, and flew the blood and bones of his body with one palm. Seeing this, a black sage in the Taking Palace suddenly knew what to do, and what he knew was the secret method of changing heaven and earth. Capturing the mysterious power of space replacement, Ye Chen couldn't help sneering. He once suffered a loss and was twice cheated. Really thought that the third time was still useful to Lao Tzu? Too underestimated me. In a brief moment, his blood was rising like fire, his whole body was flying, intertwined with the power of blood the powerful ancient sacred body became heavy like a mountain, crushing the space of thousands of feet. Now, the sage in black in the taking palace vomited blood, but he moved Ye Chen to heaven and earth, but Ye Chen moved the secret method, the holy body was as heavy as a mountain, and he could not move by his way. I'll pack you up later. Ye Chen cursed and went straight to taking Shenzi, staring directly at the armor of Tianqi. Taking Godson roared forcibly condensed his body, stood up and fought, and collapsed Xiuxin with one palm. You are far behind. Ye Chen snorted, and Bawankin made a strong attack. He was unparalleled. He punched through the void. One of the princes of the Qing dynasty knelt on the spot. His powerful body was destroyed by half of his body. Falling into the sky, Ye Chen raised his hand and brought it into the Qunqin bag. Having won the purple gold crown, Ye Chen did not stop, but turned abruptly and went straight to the black sage of the taking palace, 
who knew the inverse secrets of moving heaven and earth, and could go out to study. Where to go? The Supreme Son of God and the God of Demon arrived, blocked them, and pressed the two palm prints in any order. Looking for abuse. Ye Chen snorted, stepping away from the palm print in one step, killing him in front of him, and flying it off with one palm, then turned abruptly, and kicked out the Supreme Son. Kill. The two killed back instantly, and in various looks, they were long-established quasi-sages, the goddess of the great faction, the two were beaten back together, how can their pride be tolerated? Ye Chen was again blocked by the two goods, and nothing to say, he responded directly with the strongest attitude. Seeing the three men fighting, the surrounding Taekagong strongmen stopped, and each had a good plan in his heart. If he wanted to fight, I would give you a fight, and wait for the defeat of both sides. Of course, there was such a restless main rush to the past, and it was shocking. Needless to say, the man is too clear. If you want to say that the puppet really has perseverance, he was turned over and over again and again, but he was not convinced, he was beaten half disabled, and he ran over to make fun. For his arrival, Ye Chen can only say that it doesn't matter, playing too and snoring is really no different for him. The ancient and holy body is invincible. Come on again, Lao Tzu will cry you. Kill. The three of them rushed together. What faces at this moment? It is the kingship to win, and they have opened up visions. The supreme godson leaned against the ancient city of Jiangbang, the head of the godhead hanging in the sea of clouds, and the taking godson stepped on the galaxy. Vision, Ying Xing's sky shone, and the sky of sky was rumbling. Ye Chen is also extremely powerful. He opened up the chaos world, covered the heavens, and the three-person vision broke. The vision was broken, but the Tao was suppressed. How willing the three of them were, each with their own powerful magical powers. They were all the secret methods of the world, powerful and icy with the power of icy silence. Ye Chen is not the master of vegetarianism either. He peddles seven stars and crosses the sky for nine days. He is too imaginary to act in a magical way. He holds a lot of magical powers. The palms have the evolution of the sun, moon, and stars. The war started and it was shaking. A taking palace godson, a gong palace godson, a supreme city godson, and a desolate ancient holy body, all of them have the same level combat power, and they are fighting against each other. What appeared in the sky was a scary scene. In the chaos, all four turned into a dazzling dragon, one gold, one purple, one silver, and one red. That was the confrontation of the Tao, which stirred the heavens and the earth. This is a rare event for thousands of years. The ancient and holy body is one of three and still steadily prevails. You know, the three people he picked, but the three amazing sons who are astoundingly thousands of miles away, have the highest combat power in Donghuang, but he couldn't lift his head. The powers of the Taking Palace frowned, and the eyes were full of cold mangs, and Ye Chen's strength was far beyond their expectations. If such people give them enough time, they must be in serious trouble, and they must not be allowed to live. The monks of the quartet grinned again, and their eyes were glittering. The desolate ancient body, the same invincible is indeed not covered, that is really a peerless and cruel man, shoulder to shoulder with the emperor, the ancestors will not deceive me. One pick three is still the upper hand, I do not know the holy ghost and the goddess of the Yeokai gods are weak and weak. Dong Shen Yeokai Apart from her, the younger generation of Xianhuang mainland dare to use this title. East God, West Emperor, South Emperor, South Emperor, North Saint, I am the most amazing four heavenly pride of the mysterious continent, Ye Chen has the qualification to shoulder shoulder with them. There are older monks meaningfully shaved their beards. In the heyday, Emperor Road will be more fierce than expected. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com, update the latest chapter of Zion Wu Emperor as soon as possible. In the discussion, the three figures bleed blood regardless of the sequence, and fell like a meteorite to Sun Xuxian. Obviously, 
it was taking, son of supreme and son of God, who smashed the earth out of three deep pits. They were bloodless people who had no human shape. The three of them joined forces and were defeated. Looking at Zhu Xiao, there is only Ye Chen standing alone, who is like a of war, holding the world. What? The roar and roar rang through the heavens. They were the princes of taking. They lay weakly in the deep pit, their eyes were blood red, and they were unwilling. They wanted to get up and fight, but they couldn't help it. Lost, the three together, or defeated, proud, they cannot accept the fact of fiasco defeat, today's defeat, it is doomed that they will never be able to reach the highest peak of life. I said don't mess with me. Ye Chen glanced down and moved out in a flash, because the Qing dynasty's Xuxian lore array had been blown over, and the lineup was huge enough to instantly destroy the Quasi Sacred King. Of course, although the Taking Palace's attack was strong, it failed to hit Ye Chen. Instead, it collapsed Su Tianhong's collapse, and the cracks in space appeared again. A good side of the world turned into chaos. Asshole. The sages of the Taking Palace first came to death from the Quartet. After that, there were countless quasi-sanitary and imperial realms, and the figure was like a tide, flooding the world, and they would swallow Ye Chen. Ye Chen sneered, and walked away instantly, splitting a blood path with one palm, standing in the middle of the crowd, as if in no one's realm, all the blockers were annihilated, and blood stained the sky. His goal is extremely clear, that is, the saint in black clothing who is well known in the Taking Palace. That's a personal talent. If I go back and study carefully, I can squeeze out one or two secret methods. For example, the anti-natural magical power that moves the world for the earth, does he like it very much? Long Ye and Zi Xian are well versed in changing the world. In the past, when he was in Da Chu, he wanted to learn, but when he could get to the future, the demon came, and the delay was two hundred years. As for the mystery, it is as narrow as an inch, and the fairy eye cannot be copied. Blame this level of mystery is too mysterious and requires years of enlightenment, but at least there must be a guide. Today, the saint in black is the guide, and he rarely catches one. He will never let it go. During the talk, the nine saints had already come, and they joined forces to move a bronze mirror, which was a holy king soldier. With great coercion, once it was sacrificed, it collapsed Juxiao, and its power was destroyed. Ye Chen didn't say a word, and didn't dare to regret it easily. The nine saints almost vomited their old blood, but their attack was lore, but they missed Ye Chen, and the puppet was like a mouse. Like them, the rest of the saints in the Taking Palace were all mad and mad, eager to spit blood. Many people have hang-ups, and a panic god has no shadow, so it's hard to catch up. This hasn't started yet, and the cricket ran again, and it wasn't as fast as the cricket. In this way, this heaven and earth appears to be such a weird picture. Among the crowds, Ye Chen's nagging is like a streamer, walking around, and seeing the seams. The monks from the quartet grinned, the ancient Eucharist's combat power was overbearing, and the speed of opening and closing was not the speed of the pot lid. Nearly 200,000 people before and after the taking palace could not catch that. Where to run? When the monks of the quartet shouted, Ye Chen's shouting came from one side of the world. He was sturdy and rushed all the way, eventually killing the saint in black, not far away, a pair of eyes like a torch, blooming immortal, staring at the saint in black, locked it. Seeing this, the saint in black frowned, and his eyes froze. His vigilance was still very high, knowing that Ye Chen's target was him, otherwise there were so many people in the Qing Palace, so he chased him. Knowing Ye Chen's purpose, how could he dare to stay, and immediately opened up, where would the man go? Although his realm is higher than Ye Chen, his combat power is far behind. Once he is overtaken, he should not be too good in the end. In addition to being timid, he dares to fight Ye Chen and only has one mind to escape. Stay. Ye Chen's foot was too empty, and he came after him. Stop him. 
The saint in black was angry and drove away, but he kept running away and letting others run forward. The saints ordered that they did not dare to disobey, and the taking palace strong men flew into pieces, or printed their hands, or fisted shadows, or instruments, or killed arrays, and converged into a tide. Ye Chen stretched out the vision defense, waved Chixiao, cut off one piece, and chased the saint in black. Stop him! The saint in black is still retreating, like a dog of a bereavement, and the monks who watched it sighed. You are also a saint. Even though the Eucharist is powerful, it is only a quasi-sanctity. Have you never had the courage to do it? Not to mention that there are nearly two hundred thousand monks in your taking palace. Regarding the contempt of monks from the quartet, the saint in black directly ignored it, like a bereavement dog, and did not dare to go back to fight. He was frightened by Ye Chen's power and was afraid of losing his life. Goodbye behind him, the Taking Palace powerhouses rushed up into pieces, but they turned into pieces of blood mist, many saints were beheaded, and no one could block the pace of the Eucharist. The saint in black is even more afraid. He retreats, and every time he steps back, he pushes the person beside him. Rat! Ye Chen stepped down to catch up, catching up without saying a word, raising his hand to cover the Fang Xuxian. However, he still underestimated the saint in black, who moved the heavens and heavens to change the space, and replaced the space with a taking palace quasi san, and instantly avoided him. Although the saint in black had escaped, the quasi sage replaced by him was miserable, and before he knew what was going on, he was beaten by Ye Chen, his body burst instantly, and the Yuan Shen could not escape. Good for you. Ye Chen cursed, soaring all the way, three or five shrunk to catch up again, Ling Tian is a palm. The saint in black is indeed not a vegetarian. He is still changing the world, avoiding Ye Chen's lore, and flew far away in an instant, and constantly replaces the space. The thief is fast. Hey! Ye Chen has a temper and kills him with stubborn enthusiasm. If he doesn't catch you, he will follow your surname. As a result, this world has become extremely lively because of the pursuit and escape of these two people. Ye Chen's speed is unparalleled, and the ability of the saint in black to walk away is also invincible. The two goods rushed forward and backward among the black crowd, and the quartet was dazzled. What annoys the Taking Palace strongest most is that the saints in black are very unruly. In order to escape, they have replaced the space more than once. The Taking Palace people have been replaced one by one by the past. Among them, there are many saints who do not know where to go. Ye Chen split his head and covered his face for a moment. The scolding voices soon sounded, all of them are the powers of the Taking Palace. Only because of a wave of sage manipulation by the saints in black, many people have suffered, and for a time, a kind of rush to help Ye Chen hunt down the black clothes the sages urge, once caught up, said nothing and strangled him directly. Save me! The sage in black screamed and cast wildly to change the world. His blood was lacking and he couldn't hold it. Can you go? Ye Chen killed him and chased it before the saint in black wanted to perform a change of life, and Ling Tian smashed the saint in black with a palm knife to the knees in the void, and blood spit with it. I fight with it. The saint in black roared, the blood sacrifice the origin, came through with a finger, with unmatched hole penetration. Ye Chen didn't hide, didn't dodge, and didn't defend. He stabbed a finger of the saint in black, splitting his head and covering his face was another palm, as strong as a saint, he couldn't hold it, his body cracked, and his blood was thin. The saint in black knelt, and one kneeling face to face knelt, sealed by Ye Chen in the great tripod. Surround him! The strong men of the taking palace rushed in, and the saints in black suits were not sloppy, but after all, they were still the elders of the taking palace. If they were captured, they would be punished if they returned. The main thing is that Ye Chen is a man wanted by the Taking Palace. If he flees, why does the face of the Taking Palace exist, and nearly 200,000 monks can't win a quasi-sanity, then it will really be a shame. Roll.
Ye Chen opened the killing ring. One hand of the dragon sword and one hand of the Xiao Xiao sword were chopping all the way, like a crowd of people. He was killed by a road and emerged from the force. See you. Jumping out of the encirclement, the slander was not as fast as usual, and it disappeared in the blink of an eye. Chase. The sages of the Taking Palace screamed in anger, still leading the ranks, and behind them there were overwhelming figures to follow, all faces were fierce, all powerful, and the world was turbulent. Looking at the monks from the quartet again, they didn't catch up with the theater because they knew that the Taking Palace could not catch up with Ye Chen. They had seen Ye Chen's ability to open up, and most people could not catch up with him. Facts have proved that the Taking Palace did not catch up with Ye Chen. In other words, Ye Chen disappeared after chasing, as if the world had evaporated. Asshole! The anger shouted over and over, and most of the sages of the Taking Palace vomited blood, not only wounded but also angry. In such a battle, instead of winning Ye Chen, they were captured by a saint. Bikug www.mtlnovel.com